how brave is this guy? He doesn't have the standard surgical certificate of a doctor, but he is happy to accept the suture of the tattooed gangster. The gangster threatened that do you know who my father is? If you suture badly or leave any symptoms for my wound, your house will be the brightest in this province. If you meet me, you will definitely give up your job and go back to your hometown to herd cattle for your health, my brothers. Not long ago, the system panels suddenly appeared in front of Lang Ran. As a medical student, his first reaction was that he was sick. So he went to the hospital for a series of tests. But the results showed that everything was normal. He just believed that the system in front of him was real. Lang Ran swallowed and opened the gift package for the newcomer. Congratulations on your mastery of suture anastomosis technique. Technique. But Lang Ran was a little dissatisfied. It's just a suture technique. Isn't it a bit stingy? But the system replied mechanically. This suture technique has a total of six types, which are divided from low to high. Advanced, master and perfect master. Master is the third level among them. But Lang Ran was still not satisfied. Even if there are many types, it is only the most basic suture technique. Can't you give me something else? The system said no. Listening to the system's stereotyped answer, Lang Ran decided to try the master anastomosis technique, so he took a banana out of his pocket, carefully cut a line and then started the suture surgery. The craftsmanship seems to be smoother than before. The moment the suture needle touches the banana peel, a lot of information will appear in his mind. No need to think too much. The wrist only needs to rotate slightly and the needle can easily pass through. Very smoothly, the suture is finished. The distance between the two stitches is exactly the same. The stitch Stitches are also offset to one side. The operation time is also the ideal perfect time. It seems that this master anastomosis technique is quite good. So what is the level of perfection above the master? The scene changed to the day of internship at Yunhua Hospital. Before they can go to the operating table, they need to complete a test. That is to perform vascular anastomosis surgery on the tail of a white mouse. Kong Juliang showed his power from the beginning, saying that this operation is extremely difficult. Even an experienced surgeon may not be able to do it. The students below thought he was looking down on them. Kong Juliang looked at the unconvinced expressions of the students. He said if you are not convinced, you can come up here and compete with me. The students raised their hands one after another to give it a try. Finally, a pockmarked boy came up. But it seems that this boy is not very good. His hands were already shaking before he started. He punctured the blood vessel as soon as he started. Seeing this, the students were as discouraged as if they had been poured with cold water. Only Lang Ran held his head high. Kong Juliang thought that Lang Ran was still not convinced, so he let him try it. Lang Ran put on a mask and gloves, said that he was ready after Kong Juliang gave simple instructions. Lang Ran began to suture with the assistance of the master anastomosis technique. The suture needle did not encounter any obstacles. The combination of needle and clamp was also very good. The operation was completed in no time. Kong Juliang was stunned when he saw this. This operation was clean and tidy. The rhythm was perfect and very orderly. He did didn't want to admit it, but he had to admit that Lang Ran's sutures were even better than his own. If there was no guidance and a lot of surgical practice, it would be impossible to achieve such a level. So he tried to test Lang Ran, asked which hospital he had practiced in before, but he said that he only helped out in the clinic opened by his family. This mouse tail was cut into 60 pieces. Medical students have to suture them perfectly, and the blood flow rate must be guaranteed to be 95% or more. But only Lang Ran can do such a difficult challenge. The head of the department Department asked him which department he wanted to enter. Lang Ran thought for a while. The system panel suddenly appeared in front of him. The task for the newcomer is to suture the wounds of 10 patients. The reward is the technique of intermittent longitudinal anastomosis. Lang Ran thought for a while. This suture technique is quite good and is often used. However, the only department that can allow medical students to quickly participate in the treatment of patients is the emergency department. So Lang Ran decided to go to the emergency department. The head of the department was surprised when he heard this. This is really not a simple boy. The roommate also advised him to think carefully. Because the work in the emergency department is very hard. But Lang Ran said that he had thought it over. Because this task requires completion within 10 days. It can only be completed in the emergency department. On the first day he arrived at the emergency department. Lang Ran met his first patient. It was a male patient between 40 and 50 years old. After falling, a branch pierced through the palm of his hand. The chief surgeon was Dr. Zhou, and Lang Ran was an assistant to support Dr. Zhou. Lang Ran felt that Dr. Zhou seemed very easy to talk to, so he asked him if he could perform the wound suture surgery. Dr. Zhou thought that young people are not easy, so if he can help, he will help. 
This type of wound only needs to be cleaned. Then follow the normal procedures, usually there will be no errors. So Dr. Joe agreed to Lang Ran's request, and he took the opportunity to take a nap. But less than two minutes later, he was awakened by Lang Ran. He told him that he had finished the sutures, which almost made him bite his tongue. This kid, don't just suture randomly because you want to show your speed. But when Dr. Joe checked the wound, he was immediately stunned. This suture was done so perfectly that it was unbelievable. Dr. Joe has worked in the emergency room for many years and has met many fast surgeons. But such excellent surgeons are definitely not just some inexperienced medical students. Dr. Joe looked at Lang Ran again. Suddenly felt that he was shining brightly. Perhaps he is an expert from a certain hospital who came to Yunhua for exchange and study. At that moment, a tattooed man suddenly walked into the hospital. He said that his head was chopped off by someone. The doctor was asked to suture it immediately. There was a group of gangsters behind him. It seems that if the sutures are not done well, the entire hospital will be in trouble. Dr. Joe has never encountered such a situation before. He was so scared that he broke out in a cold sweat. But Lang Ran was very eager. As soon as Dr. Joe picked up the clamp, his hands began to tremble. After reluctantly cleaning the wound, his face was already covered in sweat. Suddenly, Dr. Joe turned to Lang Ran and asked him if he wanted to suture. Dr. Joe had already figured it out. If he was an expert from another hospital who wanted to come here to show off his skills, then let him suture this guy and see how it goes. Lang Ran of course would not miss any opportunity to practice. He immediately agreed, and he was very grateful in his heart. Dr. Joe is really a good person, but the tattooed man was stubborn. He asked what he meant by letting a newcomer suture him. I have been to many hospitals. If the sutures are not done well, all of you will have to bear the consequences. While he was still talking, he suddenly realized that Dr. Joe's expression was wrong. To put it bluntly, what are you doing? Dr. Joe pointed at him and stammered that his wound had been sutured. Lang Ran put away the instruments coolly, and twisted the tattooed man's head twice. He also rubbed the man's smooth nape with his hand. Then he said with satisfaction, it's warm, it's perfect. Then Lang Ran handed him a mirror to look at himself. The tattooed man looked at the perfect suture on his nape, and couldn't help but praise him for suturing faster than he could slash. The sutures were beautiful and even. Then he put down the mirror. His eyes lit up and he asked Lang Ran for his business card. He even said that he would come to him again if he was slashed in the future. Lang Ran hurriedly told him to sit down, as his wound had not been bandaged yet. But the man stood up and said, why bandage it when the suture is so beautiful? I'll come to you again whenever I get injured. Then he said to his younger brothers, let's go. Follow me and let's slash them again. Then he and a group of younger brothers left in a huff. Dr. Joe next to him let out a sigh of relief. He had sutured the wound while the patient was still talking. Moreover, the patient did not even realize it. This was the first time he had seen such a strange surgery. So this guy asked Lang Ran to suture the wound on his arm by name. He blushed and wanted Lang Ran to protect his deer tattoo. Lang Ran's face was full of question marks. This is not a deer, it is obviously a pink pony. He scratched his head and explained that this used to be the antler of a deer, but some bastard doctor sutured it wrong. Now it can only be changed to a unicorn pony. Lang Ran looked carefully, and found that the current wound was quite large, and the muscle tissue was exposed. If not careful, the tattoo is likely to be deformed. When he heard this, his face was sad. Really don't want to have to remove the tattoo. Besides, I'm used to unicorns now. At least the girls will like it. Lang Ran said he knew, then started to suture. At this moment, Wu Zuyuan suddenly yelled. Isn't he an intern? The tattooed man angrily scolded him for yelling. Didn't you see that Dr. Lin was performing the surgery? Wu Zuyuan immediately shut up after being yelled at by him. At this time, the wound was sutured. The pony guy kept praising Dr. Lang for his well-deserved reputation. It doesn't look like it's been sutured. The tattoo is preserved now. But Wu Zuyuan showed disdain. He thought that everyone was blind. What an exaggeration, and he is just an intern. But when he saw the sutured wound, Wu Zuyuan was shocked and his mouth was wide open. Damn, this is drawn. What kind of suture is this? He no longer looked disdainful, and praised Dr. Lang with an admiring tone. You sutured so well, how did you practice it? Lang Ran was too focused to realize it yet. He then casually replied that it was a gift for beginners. Dr. Wu was stunned for a moment and then smiled wryly. Dr. Lang is really funny. We have met before. I thought you were an intern. I didn't expect you to be a doctor in the hospital. Lang Ran just realized that he had made a mistake. He sighed and said, just call me Lang Ran. I am really an intern. I'm not bragging, that's it. After a busy day, Lang Ran finally completed the novice task. He acquired the professional skill of interrupted vertical mattress suture. 
This sutering technique is mainly used to suture sagging skin incisions, and is often used in urology. He returned to his family's clinic, eager to try out his new skill. Boss Yang accidentally cut his hand while slaughtering. The wound was also very deep, and his entire palm was about to be severed. Dr. Shang of the Shahia Clinic said that the wound was too severe, and he had to be transferred to a large hospital immediately. Lang Ran, who was standing by, couldn't help but cough twice. Shahia Clinic. When encountering a patient with an accident dental injury, the first thing they thought of was to transfer him to another hospital. It was really not worthy of the name of a clinic. Lang Ran put on a white coat, and was about to help out. As soon as he made up his mind, the system's reminder also appeared. Novice task. Heal boss Yang's hand. If the treatment goes well, you will receive a novice treasure chest as a reward for the task. Lang Ran was used to this sudden system, so he continued calmly. But Dr. Shang didn't expect him to be able to help. He thought that a new intern like Lang Ran wouldn't be able to do anything. But Boss Yang kept bleeding like this was not the way to go, so he should still do some simple treatment first. So he called the only nurse in the clinic, Quen Zi, over, and asked her to prepare the medicine for disinfection. Lang Ran looked at the complete surgical instruments next to him. He thought that this was enough to suture the patient's wound and satisfy the patient. So he started to wash his hands and prepared to suture Boss Yang's wound. Dr. Shang hurriedly said that his wound was quite deep, and may have injured the tendons and muscles, so it was best to go to a large hospital for examination. At this time, Lang Ran had already put on gloves, and said that it was just a wound on the palm of his hand, not a severed hand. The injury was not too serious yet. Dr. Shang still insisted on taking stability as the main point, but before he could finish speaking, Lang Ran had picked up the clamp and started the surgery. He asked Quen Zi to cooperate and prepare the necessary medicines. Dr. Shang wanted to stop him, but after seeing Lang Ran's amazing hand speed, he did not hesitate and had already made more than a dozen stitches in an instant. With the support of the master suturing technique. Lang Ran quickly sutured the wound. Dr. Shang next to him was stunned. As far as he knew, even a doctor who had worked in a hospital for two years might not be able to complete such a suture on his own. Lang Ran's father, Lang Jichu, clapped his hands excitedly. With Lang Ran's surgical skills, he was qualified to sit in the family clinic. At this moment, the son of the boss, Yang Hu, rushed in. He angrily accused Dr. Shang of coming to this small clinic to suture the wound. Although the boss, Yang, tried his best to persuade him, Yang Hu was still not satisfied with Lang Ran. My father makes a living with his hands. If he can't recover his normal function, then you will have to support him for the rest of his life. After he finished speaking, he didn't even look back, and took his father to a large hospital for a re-examination. Looking at the backs of the two people leaving, Lang Ran saw that the system panel had not changed. It seemed that he had to wait for them to finish the examination before the task could be considered complete. At this moment, a beautiful girl came to the clinic on a motorcycle, holding a big fish in her hand, and asked if Lang Ran was there. Lang Ran's father saw the beautiful woman in front of him, and his eyes lit up. He thought to himself that his son had only been a doctor for a few days, and someone had already given him a gift. He really is my beloved son. At this moment, Lang Ran also came out of the house. After learning that the girl had come here for his brother, he immediately asked who her brother was. This was the first time this girl had met the handsome Lang Ran, and she blushed unconsciously. I am Lu Jingling, and my brother's name is Lu Heishan. He has a deer tattooed on his hand, and you helped him suture the wound a few days ago. Lang Ran suddenly remembered that it was the man with the pony tattoo. Lu Jingling planned to leave after giving the fish, but now she didn't want to leave. She didn't wait to be asked, but asked directly. Do you guys usually eat salmon? Let me cook it. After saying that, she didn't wait for Lang Ran and his father to reply, and went straight into the kitchen to cook. After a while, a plate of sliced salmon was served on the dining table. The family of three couldn't stop praising Jingling's cooking skills. The taste was also excellent. Lu Jingling was very proud of this and said that the salmon from Yunhua were all from her family. Even the smuggled goods from other places were not as fresh as those from her family. Then she suddenly changed the subject. Jingling suddenly asked Lang Ran's mother if she would like her to be her daughter-in-law. Lang Ran's mother almost spit out the salmon in her mouth when she heard this. Lang Ran's father was also shocked. These Zhang Hu's sons and daughters are really rash. Seeing everyone's reaction, Lu Jingling quickly withdrew her words. I was just joking. I'm not ready to get married yet. A few hours later, Boss Yang and his son came back from the hospital. Lang Ran's parents stepped forward to ask about the results of the re-examination. Boss Yang said with embarrassment, The doctor at Yunhua Hospital said that my hand was able to recover because Lang Ran sutured it so well. I was a bit too much before. I apologize to everyone. 
After he finished speaking, he told Yang Hu to take out a flag. The flag was embroidered with four golden characters that glittered, golden hands in the village. It was the first time that someone had given his son a flag, and Lang Jichu was overjoyed. In the future, if anyone thinks that Lang Ran is young and incompetent, just show them this flag and make fun of them. But Dao Ping thought that she could not let her son be slandered for no reason. The Yang family could not come and go quietly. She told her husband to go to the supermarket to buy two strings of firecrackers and hang up the flag to show it off. A moment later, the sound of firecrackers rang out in front of the clinic. At this moment, Lang Ran's system panel also appeared. Novice task completed. Received a novice treasure chest. Then, a blue treasure chest appeared in front of Lang Ran. He touched the chest, and it opened immediately. A test tube-like item floated up slowly, shining. The words, Stamina Recovery Potion, were written on it. The potion can restore your stamina. Lang Ran picked up the potion, feeling extremely surprised. He didn't expect that this system could actually produce real items. The hospital was a very strange place. As long as you said that you were free, you would definitely get busy. The students said that they were bored to death today. And then Nurse Wang Jia hurried over and told everyone to go to the emergency room. Lang Ran also received a task from the system. Treat multiple patients in one day. You will receive a novice treasure chest for every 10 treatments completed. Outside the door of the emergency room, Director Huo Kangjun said with a serious face that a boiler explosion had occurred in a factory in the suburbs, and many injured people were on their way here. You guys must be ready to fight. This was the first time Lang Ran had encountered such an unexpected situation, and he seemed a little nervous. Seeing this, Dr. Zhou asked Lang Ran to go with him. Although he trusted Lang Ran's suitoring skills, the patient's problem was very strange. If he didn't have the right experience, it would be easy to mess things up. Soon after, several ambulances stopped in front of the door. The doors of the ambulances opened, and bodies covered in blood were carried inside. The doctors rushed forward without hesitation. Their white coats were stained with blood. Dr. Zhou also brought Lang Ran over and assigned the suitoring work to him. Wang Jia reminded Lang Ran to consider serve his energy, as more ambulances might arrive later. But Lang Ran had superb suitoring skills. These things were just a piece of cake for him. Now he was thinking about how to complete more tasks. Lang Ran just said calmly that it was fine. Wang Jia didn't expect him to react like this. She thought to herself that Dr. Lang was really not like those who only knew how to pretend. Patients kept coming in, and the emergency room was packed. If more patients came, the doctors would definitely be too busy to handle it. But once the patients were brought in, it couldn't be transferred to another hospital. Lang Ran suddenly asked if he could help others after he finished treating the patients assigned to him. Dr. Zhou hesitated for a moment. He thought to himself, wouldn't it be nice to finish his own work and then go and rest? But in order to encourage the intern, Dr. Zhou said that if he wanted to help, no one would stop him. The resident doctor next to him also got excited, and shouted to Lang Ran, let's hurry up and work together. But Dr. Zhou immediately poured cold water on him. I'm talking to Lang Ran, not you. You have to follow me obediently. Lang Ran's next patient was another challenge for him. His entire leg was covered in wounds, some shallow and some deep. Lang Ran observed carefully, and decided to use different methods to treat them. He used interrupted sutures for the long wounds, continuous sutures for the shallow wounds, and cross sutures for the wounds under tension. Although he had the support of the master suturing technique, Lang Ran still expended a lot of energy. Dr. Zhou, who was standing next to him, was increasingly frightened as he watched. He couldn't help but exclaim that Lang Ren not only had a wealth of techniques, but also made very accurate choices. The patient, seeing Dr. Zhou's expression, couldn't help but worry. Afraid that there was something wrong with Lang Ran's surgery, Dr. Zhou paused for a moment after hearing this. Then he gave a thumbs up, indicating that the surgery was very successful. Hearing Dr. Zhou say this, the patient was relieved. Lang Ran had already finished suturing another patient. He turned to Dr. Zhou and asked if he could go and suture the others. But Dr. Zhou told Lang Ran to sit still and not move, and instead asked Wang Jia to go and call the patients. If the doctor went directly to the crowd to choose patients, he would be surrounded by the anxious family members of the patients. This would affect the speed of patient treatment. In order to complete more tasks, Lang Ran asked Wang Jia to find patients with minor injuries that only needed simple suturing. Because Lang Ran had superb suturing skills, and the patients he treated all had minor injuries, he quickly completed the first task. The reward for this task was still a potion that could restore stamina. He went to another place and secretly took out the potion. Dr. Zhou had just finished treating a minor wound on a new patient when he saw that Lang Ran had finished his work again, and he happily gave up his place to him. He went over to comfort the patient, 
saying that Lang Ran was the best suture in our department, even better than me. You can rest assured and enjoy it. The patient was not very happy and said that he could enjoy something else. Also, this doctor is so young. Is he really that good? Lang Ran didn't care about the patient's attitude. He said that no matter where the wound was on the body, he could suture it. After treating 10 more patients, Lang Ran discovered that the mission rewards could be received multiple times. This made Lang Ran very happy. This was a good opportunity, not only to receive more system rewards, but also to accumulate the number of surgeries. After all, the emergency department did not usually have so many patients. In order to receive more system rewards, Lang Ran decided to find someone to help him. He suggested that Dr. Joe take care of the disinfection, the head of the department take care of the bandaging, and he would be responsible for the suturing. Cooperating in this way would greatly increase the speed of suturing. Dr. Joe looked at him after hearing this. Brat, you want me to help you clean the wound? Lang Ran immediately changed his words. If you don't want to, I can find my roommate. Dr. Zhou agreed, but he had to inform the doctor in charge first. Tran Van Hao and Wang Zhuang Yang were overjoyed. They didn't expect to have the opportunity to perform the surgery themselves. Lang Ran said that he needed someone to clean the minor wounds and someone to bandage them. The two of them chose for themselves. After assigning the tasks, the smooth surgical procedure officially began. Wang Jia also came to help, bringing many patients with minor injuries. With their cooperation, Lang Ran and his friends treated all the patients with minor injuries, but he still had no intention of resting. The system quest bar still needed two more treatments to reach 40, and he didn't want to go back empty-handed like this. After hanging up the phone, she and her junior arrived at the door of the bar. I heard that someone was going to come here to cause trouble today, so someone would get hurt. Sure enough, not long after, there was a loud sound of fighting inside. Then a group of people came out with their wounds. Lu Jingling immediately ordered his men to take all the injured to Yunhua Hospital. Lu Jingling looked for Lang Ran, saying that he had brought him a car full of patients. She also asked him if these people were enough. If not, she could send another car. Then the younger brother led two more cars over. He said that all the people with minor injuries had been brought here. Just like that, Lang Ran continued to fight continuously for several hours, and his colleagues had already fallen asleep. But Lang Ran was still full of energy. Because he had taken the energy recovery potion in advance, now he was completely like someone who had just woken up from a good night's sleep. This intern had been fighting in the emergency room for a day and a night, but he didn't feel tired at all. At this time, he had sutured at least 50 patients. Huo Kong Jun was furious when he heard about it. The most taboo thing for a surgical doctor is to be greedy and careless. He thought that Lang Ran was treating the treatment as a joke. Then he looked at Lang Ran with a scrutinizing and judgmental eye i but he found that Lang Ran's movements were still very precise. Although Huo Kong Jun put so much pressure on him, Lang Ran was still able to ignore his surroundings, completely controlling the rhythm in his hands. So how did he deal with the important stitches? The location of the anesthesia was correct, the area around the wound was cleaned very cleanly. The skin was also sutured quite well, and the standard interrupted sutures were impeccable. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran had sutured more than 50 patients in a row and was still able to suture so precisely. Huo Kong Jun's heart, which wanted to find fault, was in suspense, and he secretly praised this intern in his heart. Only then did Lang Ran discover that Huo Kong Jun was standing behind him. He exclaimed and asked when Dr. Huo had come. Huo Kong Jun was stunned. Unexpectedly, this kid was still so calm. Then he told Dr. Zhou to carefully check Lang Ran's surgical records and the condition of the patients in the following days. Then he turned to Lang Ran and said that he should come early tomorrow so that he could take him to surgery. The others were shocked when they heard this. Holy crap, the intern is already on the operating table. What a jackpot. Lang Ran was also very surprised. He didn't expect the director to be so interested in him. At the same time, Lang Ran had achieved a new achievement of suturing 50 times in a row, and the reward was an intermediate treasure chest. When he returned home in the evening, he opened the intermediate treasure chest he had just received. In the silver chest, what appeared was a shining book. This was a skill book, which could raise a basic skill to the level of perfection. Lang Ran originally intended to raise the master suturing technique to the level of perfection. In addition, he also wanted to see what the level of perfection looked like, but this was quickly dismissed. Instead of raising the master suturing technique to the level of perfection, it would be better to raise another technique to the level of perfection. So he opened the skill book. There were two options on it basic surgery and basic internal medicine. But basic internal medicine was grayed out. It seemed that only basic surgery could be chosen. Immediately after that, 
six options flashed, all of which were some basic surgical procedures. Lang Ran chose the hemostasis skill that he needed most at the moment. Next, four items about hemostasis appeared. Lang Ran chose manual hemostasis without hesitation. Because in the emergency department, this was the one that could be used immediately. Lang Ran lay on the bed and stretched out his hand, imagining controlling the patient's liver in the palm of his hand. After thinking for a while, he fell asleep in a daze. The next day, Huo Kong Jun asked Lang Ran to go on rounds with him. Huo Kong Jun held the medical record and asked Lang Ran to briefly introduce the patient. Lang Ran took the medical record and recalled. The patient was a 19-year-old female who had fallen down the stairs this time and had to clean and suture the wound on her elbow. Because the area of the laceration was quite large, if a thick thread was used, it might leave a scar. So he chose a zero-gauge suture with a diameter of zero. 15 millimeters, but Huo Kong Jun thought that if a zero gauge suture was used, the wound would be very easy to crack. Moreover, there were many causes of scars related to the patient's physique and the condition of the wound. From this perspective, a zero gauge suture was not a good choice. The patient's mother immediately became anxious when she heard this, thinking that there was a problem with the surgery. Huo Kong Jun hurriedly comforted her, asking Lang Ran to explain his specific thoughts. Then Lang Ran said that the stitches on this patient were also interrupted sutures, and the knots would be uneven after the sutures were made. In this way, before the scar was formed, it could act as a cushion. The wound was thick, so the needle was inserted shallowly. If the wound was thin, the needle was inserted deeply. Moreover, the patient had skin problems, so the knot could not be tied too tightly. Otherwise, the blood circulation around the wound would be poor, resulting in slow healing. Then, paying attention to removing the stitches could minimize the possibility of scar formation. Everyone immediately clapped their hands and said that they had remembered everything. But Huo Kong Jun told them not to learn. There were many ways to cover scars, but as doctors, the first thing to consider was how to save the patient. Lang Ran's arguments and considerations were due to his great talent and courage. Those who were not skilled enough should not think too much. Just suture the wound for me first. Hearing this, the young doctors were disheartened. Their heads, which had been held high at first, now drooped. Dr. Huo turned to Lang Ran and said that this time he had passed the test. He went to change the patient's dressing. When he was changing the dressing, the female patient asked Dr. Lang with a blush on her face. Can I come to you to have the stitches removed? It's okay if you're not on duty. I can wait. Lang Ran's tone suddenly became serious. You can't wait to have the stitches removed. Removing the stitches in time can reduce scar tissue regeneration. It's okay to remove the stitches a little early, but you can't delay it. Moreover, any regular hospital or clinic can remove the stitches. It's not necessary to look for me. At this moment, the girl was infatuated with Lang Ran and didn't listen to him. The mother next to her hurriedly said that they understood. Would definitely remove the stitches on time. Lang Ran followed Dr. Huo on rounds. When suddenly a patient who had been in a traffic accident was brought in. The patient had a 20 centimeters open wound on his abdomen. Part of his intestines and mesentery were exposed. Blood dripped down to the ground, forming a puddle. After Dr. Huo examined him, he found that the patient's left rib had been dislocated. He was bleeding too much and needed a blood transfusion. Then he went to find the patient's family. After learning about the situation, Dr. Huo asked them to sign the consent to surgery and the consent to treatment. This was to protect the doctor as well as the patient. But at this moment, there was bad news. The patient's bleeding could not be stopped. Dr. Huo hurriedly used a flashlight to shine into the patient's pupils. He decided to open the abdomen immediately to check. The attending physician hesitated a little. It was still not clear whether the bleeding point was in the abdomen. What if the surgery was a mistake? But as soon as he finished speaking, there was news that the patient was in shock. During the emergency, the patient going into shock was not good news. After hearing this, Lang Ran turned and left. He went to the next room and began to wash his hands. Another kind doctor reminded him that it was enough to use disinfectant for normal operations. Washing his hands like this would easily cause the skin to peel off. Lang Ran didn't look up. He replied, I'm preparing for surgery. He almost fell over. What surgery? He thought to himself, it can't be that surgery, right? It's good enough to be a gopher. How could he possibly get on the operating table? Even Dr. Huo wouldn't let him make a mistake on a critically ill patient. But then he was shocked. Lang Ran put one hand into the patient's wound. Everyone thought he was crazy. This was not even a field of medicine. How could he operate directly with his bare hands? Dr. Huo didn't dare to stop him. 
doing so would cause secondary trauma to the patient. He could only order Lang Ran to let go of him immediately. But Lang Ran's words explained what he was doing and needed to do. Then he turned his four fingers down, firmly holding the patient's liver, and then using his little finger to press on the bleeding point. The bleeding was successfully stopped. He told everyone that the patient had bleeding under the liver capsule. Moreover, the location was not good, and it was very difficult to suture. He had to stop the bleeding quickly. Dr. Huo couldn't believe it. Then he looked at the monitor, and found that the bleeding had actually stopped. At this moment, he was struggling internally. Huo Kong Jun knew that Lang Ran used the method of manual hemostasis, but he could do it to this extent. Even in the military hospital, it was extremely rare. How could an intern like him, who had no practical experience, do it? Time waits for no man. The patient's condition could change by the minute. Dr. Huo was no longer allowed to think too much. He told Lang Ran to hold his position, and not to touch other internal organs. Then he ordered the attending physician to perform the surgery with him. Just like that, Lang Ran became a human hemostat for more than an hour. When he was finally released, his entire arm was numb, but he had observed the chief surgeon's surgery at close range. This experience was also extremely valuable. After the patient's vital signs stabilized, Dr. Huo finally breathed a sigh of relief. He asked Lang Ran, how did you know where the bleeding point was in the liver capsule? The patient had lost a lot of blood, and his abdomen was basically exposed, but there was no problem with pleural effusion. So pay attention to the condition of the bleeding. Lang Ran was also very surprised by this answer. He didn't expect that he could achieve the perfect technique of manual hemostasis. What he had gained was not only muscle memory, but also the corresponding reserve knowledge. Dr. Huo valued this intern even more. Whether it was technique, reserve knowledge, or adaptability, he had already reached the level of a top doctor. Before, he only thought that Lang Ran was a pretty good guy, but he didn't expect him to be a genius. So, Dr. Huo turned around and asked him where he had learned these things. Lang Ran didn't want others to know about the existence of the system, so he said that he was in his clinic. Dr. Shang taught him. With this answer, Dr. Huo naturally didn't believe it. But since Lang Ran didn't say anything, he didn't ask too much. But Dr. Huo still had one thing he didn't understand. Normally, it was very easy to injure the liver by squeezing it with your hand. And if you were not careful, it would cause complications in the liver and bile ducts. But Lang Ran's technique was very careful. The blood flow was quite smooth. What method did he use? Lang Ran explained that because the position of his hand was not good, he used the inner side of the second joint of his little finger. Then he used his thumb to hold it loosely, preventing the organs from shifting, minimizing secondary damage to the organs. Dr. Huo couldn't help but sigh after hearing this. Holding it loosely could really solve the problem of organ displacement. It could minimize secondary damage. Whether the little finger was flexible or not had been a major headache for surgeons for the past hundred years. Dr. Huo is over 50 years old now. I'm afraid he won't be able to learn this technique in his lifetime. Thinking of this, Dr. Huo immediately asked Lang Ran to go back to the office with him. If this kid is a talent, then he doesn't mind teaching him a little more. After the nurse checked the instruments and gauze, Dr. Huo immediately asked Lang Ran to start the surgery. Lang Ran took the suture needle that the nurse handed him. First, he needed to suture the subperitoneal layer. This was very simple and there was no need to consider aesthetics. Next was the rectus abdominis. When ordinary people sutured this step, their hands would easily tremble, but not Lang Ran. Finally, he sutured the subcutaneous layer. For Lang Ran, this was even less of a problem. The attending physician, Zhao Luoyi, did not leave, but stood beside him to observe Lang Ran's operation. He didn't believe that Lang Ran could suture the abdomen without any mistakes for the first time. Everyone makes mistakes to grow. Only by being scolded in the operating room can one grow. In just one minute, Zhao Luoyi felt his mind go numb. He had never seen such a beautiful suture technique. After saying this, he couldn't help but sigh. He must be hacking. Dr. Huo didn't understand this internet slang. He asked Zhao Luoyi what he meant. Zhao Luoyi quickly changed his words. I'm saying that little Lang did a pretty good job. Dr. Huo also thought it was very good. It was just that Lang Ran still lacked experience. He needed Zhao Luoyi to teach him more when he had time. Zhao Luoyi agreed with his mouth. But in his heart, he thought, what nonsense is Dr. Huo talking about? This was not a young man who lacked experience. He had probably dissected more cadavers than he had eaten. 
wait a minute, Zhao Luoyi and Dr. Huo thought of writing a Psi paper on this blood-stopping surgery without using any equipment, or on the surgery using the inner side of the second joint of the little finger to write. So Dr. Huo turned around and asked Lang Ran if he knew how to write a thesis while Lang Ran was in a daze. The system also gave him a new task. Completing a thesis would reward him with an intermediate treasure chest. The intermediate treasure chest he had opened before contained the perfect anastomosis technique. Compared to the primary treasure chest, which could only open energy potions, the intermediate treasure chest was obviously much more interesting. Thinking of this, Lang Ran immediately agreed. Dr. Huo took off his mask and smiled. He asked him if he knew how to write. It wasn't that he was asking if he could write, but he understood this answer. But I don't have time to teach you. Then he handed this task over to Dr. Zhou. After all, Dr. Zhou was Lang Ran's tutor. Dr. Zhou was very honored after hearing about this. Dr. Huo was not only the head of the emergency department of Yunhua, but also a famous figure in the emergency community. He asked Lang Ran to write a thesis. It was almost certain that it would be published. But Lang Ran didn't understand what Dr. Zhou meant. He only knew that Dr. Zhou said that Dr. Huo was the leader. But the next day, when Lang Ran entered the emergency room, everyone was cold to him. Although it had to be admitted that Lang Ran was talented, everyone was now worried that if he failed. To put it nicely, it would be a medical accident. But to put it bluntly, it would be a disregard for human life. So before Lang Ran could correct his arrogant and unruly character, they decided to draw a clear line with him. Dr. Huo came in and asked who would be in charge of Lang Ran today. Everyone pretended not to hear him. They were just busy with their own work. Huo Kongjun said helplessly that it seemed that they were all busy. You continue to follow me today. In the evening, after work, Lang Ran found out that countless videos of him stopping the bleeding with his bare hands had been spread online. The video was very blurry, and it was obvious that it had been shot by the patient's family. He opened the comments to take a look. Most of them were words of praise, but a doctor named Chi Zhenhai caught his attention. He said that this was one of the most reckless things he had ever seen in a non-instrumental case. Stopping the bleeding with bare hands was possible but it required a lot of experience and a combination of top-notch theoretical knowledge. In the whole country, the number of surgeons who could do it could be counted on one hand, but there was probably not a single surgeon who dared to do it. The young doctor in the video probably didn't even know how risky it was. If I were in charge of that hospital, I would suspend that doctor immediately and conduct a thorough investigation. Lang Ran read and reread this comment. He suddenly realized that. Dr. Huo asked him to write a Psi paper not only to train him, but also to teach him how to use weapons. In the medical community, a thesis was a way to introduce oneself, explain yourself, attack others, and defend yourself strongly. Simply put, a thesis is a surgeon's weapon. It was obvious that this thesis could not be delayed any longer. He got up and went to the hospital library. He stayed up all night and finally finished the outline of the thesis. The next day, Dr. Huo was surprised to see the thesis. In this outline, there was indeed a section on how to identify the bleeding point without using instruments. Dr. Huo said with satisfaction, you did a good job and thought very comprehensively. He handed the outline to Lang Ran and told him to write the thesis quickly. Then, Huo Kongjun led Lang Ran and the others to check the ward. The doctor touched the patient's waist and asked him if he felt anything. The patient said he didn't feel anything, and the doctor pressed twice on the side. There was still no feeling. Dr. Huo nodded, he was very satisfied with Lang Ran's surgery. The wound on the waist, after local anesthesia, will result in loss of strength in the waist, pain in the lower back, no feeling indicates that the debridement and suturing were done quite well. The patient's family members were moved and held Dr. Huo's hand to thank him. At the same time, Lang Ran also heard the familiar system prompt sound. New achievement. Patient's gratitude has been achieved. Reward is a primary treasure chest. This was the second time Lang Ran had achieved the sincere gratitude achievement. Since only Lang Ran could see the system and the treasure chest, he directly opened the chest. After all, it didn't matter if he had more energy potions. But what was unexpected was that this time it was a silver skill book that was shining brightly. Master Suture Technique. Looking at the introduction that filled a whole page, Lang Ran couldn't help but wonder if this was a technique specifically used for suturing techniques tendons. That's right, Lang Ran thought to himself. Tendons are one of the many tissues in the hand, but their injuries are the most difficult to recover from. Tendon suture surgery in the hand is also one of the most difficult surgeries in hand surgery. Adding to the previous skill, it seems that the system is forcing him to go to the hand department. For a moment of distraction, 
Dr. Huo called him back to his senses and told him to go to the emergency room with Dr. Zhou. He told Dr. Zhou that patients who were not too serious could be handed over to Lang Ran, but he could not let him act on his own like last time. Two days later, Lang Ran submitted his thesis to Dr. Huo. Huo Kongjun rubbed his chin with interest. Compared to the previous thesis outline, it was much more interesting. Deputy Director Du heard this and walked over with a smile. He asked Dr. Huo if he had seen the article. Dr. Huo handed him the thesis and said, you are the best thesis writer in our department. Come and help Xiao Lang take a look. Dr. Du took the thesis and looked at it. Not only was the writing style a bit crude, the English abstract also does not conform to the journal's regulations, but the content is quite good. After listening to this, Dr. Huo told Lang Ran to go and revise the thesis. Then he turned to Dr. Du and said that Qi Zhenhai from the provincial hospital must be invited to the off-site consultation in a few days. Now that Lang Ran's barehanded hemostasis is being commented on online, it is understandable that they are suspicious. But this Qi Zhenhai is too much. He is the one who scolds the most. We have to settle this properly. Dr. Du broke out in a cold sweat when he heard this. It seems that there is going to be a good show soon. Today is the day of the Yunhua Hospital consultation. Those who can attend are all outstanding people in the medical field. Among them is Dr. Qi Zhenhai from the provincial hospital, who is the one who scolded Lang Ran online. But he did not target Lang Ran, but Dr. Huo, who was the chief surgeon at that time. So this time, Huo Kongjun also intended to settle accounts with him. During the meeting, Dr. Huo directly showed everyone the video of Lang Ran's bare-handed hemostasis. The expression on the face of Director Liu of the General Army Hospital changed from doubt to slight interest, and finally turned into amazement. The more he watched, the more he liked it, and then suddenly exclaimed, Oh, why is it gone? Such a good video is so fragmented. Dr. Huo said that the patient in the ward used a mobile phone to shoot it. If you want to have a movie, you can continue shooting it later. Bare-handed hemostasis is not magic. I still intend to promote it widely. Then he asked Lang Ran to distribute copies of the thesis to everyone. However, Qi Zhenhai was a little alert when he saw Lang Ran. This hot boy's face is not wrong. It is him, the hot boy doctor I criticized online at that time. What right does a hasty doctor have to be a celebrity? Is it just based? Based on his face, Qi Zhenhai received the thesis, and immediately began to look for loopholes. He did not believe that an intern's thesis could write something of practical significance. However, Dr. Huo suddenly spoke up. Dr. Qi, you don't want to know if barehanded hemostasis is feasible in the absence of equipment, do you? Does this thesis explain it clearly to you? Qi Zhenhai smiled and said, Dr. Huo, what do you mean? Dr. Huo directly projected Qi Zhenhai's comments at that time onto the big screen. Now tell me, is it feasible? Qi Zhenhai smiled and said, so you want to defend this intern? When Dr. Huo saw that Qi Zhenhai was still being provocative, he exploded. In my whole life, I despise people who frame others the most. Although Lang Ran is an intern, but in terms of hemostasis, a person with no knowledge like you is not qualified to criticize him. Dr. Huo became more and more agitated and raised his fist to give him two punches. Fortunately, Director Liu persuaded him at this time. Qi Zhenhai was not only unafraid, but also continued to provoke him. I'm not saying that barehanded hemostasis is not possible. For an intern to perform barehanded hemostasis, it is a medical accident to put it nicely. And to put it bluntly, you are despising human life. As soon as he finished speaking, the two of them suddenly became tense. Director Liu was fed up and hurriedly told the two of them not to argue anymore. Let the author of the thesis say something. Qi Zhenhai raised two questions. First, when you decided to perform barehanded hemostasis, how sure were you? Second, did you consider the consequences of failure? Lang Ran skipped the first question directly. He said that failure could lead to the patient's death or cause severe bleeding during or after surgery. After listening to this, Qi Zhenhai's voice became agitated. Knowing that there would be such serious consequences, you still hastily performed bare-handed hemostasis. Lang Ran calmly replied, Yes. Qi Zhenhai burst out laughing after hearing this. I didn't expect Lang Ran to be so easily angered. Do you know what you're saying? You're admitting that you had a medical accident. Lang Ran still calmly said. But in fact, there was no medical accident. This answer shocked everyone present. Even Qi Zhenhai didn't expect it. A junior like Lang Ran would dare to contradict him. 
Huo Kongjun laughed and said, well said. It's clear that there was no medical accident. Qi Zhenhai thought to himself that he absolutely could not let these two people lead him by the nose. So he changed his mind and continued to ask Lang Ran, have you ever thought that if you fail this time, it might ruin your future career? Or did someone order you to do this? Hearing this question, Director Lu couldn't help but be shocked. He wanted to drag Dr. Huo down with him. Lang Ran looked at him and said, according to the situation at that time, Barehanded hemostasis was the most beneficial option for the patient, and this is a basic medical judgment. Qi Zhenhai did not expect to receive such an answer. Director Liu burst out laughing. Okay, okay, young people nowadays still have their own ideas. If you give up the best treatment option just to follow the medical procedure, then you are distorting the nature of medicine. When Qi Zhenhai heard this, he felt that Director Liu was also speaking up for Lang Ran, and the anger in his heart grew even greater. He pointed at Lang Ran and shouted, You don't take medical procedures seriously, and you won't be a doctor for long. A medical accident could end your career. But Lang Ran had a different view. In his opinion, doctors are like cells in the human body. It should function to its full potential. If a cell loses its original function in order to survive for a long time, it will become a cancer cell that is harmful to the body. Qi Zhenhai almost spat out blood after hearing this. Lang Ran's answer was clearly referring to him. Dr. Huo also chimed in. If one doesn't die when old, one becomes a bandit. Those who want to live forever are not good things. If you only think about how to climb up, you might as well go into administration. Dr. Huo's crane-like remarks, coupled with Director Liu's deliberate neutrality, made Qi Zhenhai furious. He gritted his teeth and said, that's it for today. I have a meeting in the afternoon. After saying that, he turned and left. Dr. Huo laughed and told him to delete those comments. After Qi Zhenhai left, Dr. Huo said smugly, if there are no other problems, then dismiss. But his eyes were on Lang Ran. All the doctors didn't want to work the night shift, but Lang Ran was an exception. He was full of expectations for his first night shift. With Lang Ran working the night shift, Dr. Zhou also felt much more relieved. He could even get a good night's sleep. Because of his high appearance value, Lang Ran immediately became the most popular person at the nurse's station. Even the married head nurse came to greet him. She said that Lang Ran didn't need to be here, and that the nurses would come and notify him if there were any patients. She also asked Lang Ran what symptoms he was interested in, and if any appeared, she could leave them for him. Lang Ran thought for a moment and said that patients with tendon injuries could be left for him, as it would be a good opportunity to try out the ladder suture technique. The head nurse asked if there was anything else, and Lang Ran suddenly had an idea. He recalled that after mastering the interrupted vertical mattress suture technique, he had never used it. So he said with a straight face, if there's a ruptured testicle, be sure to wake me up. The nurse blushed when she heard this, not expecting Lang Ran to have such a strange hobby. No, bad people have strange hobbies, and Dr. Lang is considered a lone ranger. Returning to the break room, Lang Ran worried that there would be an unexpected incident tonight, so he had to seize the time to rest. When he woke up, it was already morning. He found a new set of toothpaste and toothbrush on the table, and a note. Lang Ran picked up the note to read it. It turned out that there were no unexpected incidents last night. He sighed. There were no challenges at all, and his first night shift full of expectations was in vain. After returning to his clinic, Lu Lingling suddenly called. She asked, why aren't you at the hospital? I just bought an ambulance and brought a car full of patients to you, but you're not there. Lang Jichu listened intently next to him. When he heard that there was a car full of patients, his eyes lit up, and he snatched the phone from Lang Ran. The so-called good bait should not be given to others. Why don't we take them to our clinic and trick them? Lu Jingling also came to her senses immediately and she said that these patients were all injured. If Lang Xiao was there, it would definitely not be a problem. Not long after, an ambulance arrived at the door of the clinic. There were all kinds of injured patients, and some of the patients had very strange requests. Some requested that he must use number 5 suture thread because they were afraid of scarring. Some requested that he suture the wound a little wider so that they would look more ferocious and powerful. But for Lang Ran, none of these were problems. He met all their requests, and the patients kept expressing their gratitude to him. As a result, Lang Ran received another primary treasure chest from the system. Lang Jichu next to him was overjoyed. Our Sha Go clinic is not far from making a fortune. Just this morning, there was an accident on the highway. The patient's condition is very critical. The rescue plane is on its way back. Because today is the weekend, apart from the doctor on duty. The only ones on duty are a few interns and Lang Ran. But for patients who are so serious that they need to be rescued by helicopter, these few doctors can't help at all. Dr. Zhao, although he doesn't usually like Lang Ran very much, 
can't find fault with him now. After all, it's right before his eyes. As long as he can be cured, there will be no problem. Dr. Zhao quickly made a decision, and asked Lang Ran to perform the surgery. Lang Ran was a little surprised, but still agreed. The patient was quickly brought in, and the surgery began. After Dr. Zhao confirmed that everything was ready, he was about to cut the tourniquet on the patient's leg, and reminded Lang Ran to be careful. But Lang Ran just nodded without looking up. What he was thinking about now was that the patient's condition was very complicated. But if he looked at each wound individually, it was actually actually not as difficult as he had imagined. Perfect manual hemostasis technique could stop the bleeding. Just when he lost his focus, Dr. Zhao had cut the tourniquet, and blood gushed out like a fountain. Seeing that Lang Ran was not responding, he shouted, which brought Lang Ran back to reality. At that moment, Lang Ran's hand quickly passed over the wound, and he pressed hard on the patient's upper thigh. The wound that had been bleeding just a moment ago stopped bleeding in an instant. Dr. Zhao reacted only now, forgetting that this young man knew the manual hemostasis technique, and that gauze pressing and the like were not necessary at all. But he still had to remind Lang Ran of one thing, that no matter how good his technique was, he was not allowed to lose focus during surgery. With Lang Ran's cooperation, Zhao Luoyi's wound suturing speed was very fast, the patient's blood pressure and heart rate were also very stable, and the surgery went very smoothly. Dr. Zhao decided to reward Lang Ran, and gave him a chance to practice, he handed over the entire hand to him to suture. Lang Ran was as calm as ever, and nodded and said, Okay, Lang Ran performed the surgery, and asked the nurse to bring the corresponding instruments, tweezers, gauze, blood vessel clamps, and when he called for the microscope, Zhao Luoyi's expression changed immediately. He didn't expect that this kid would dare to cause trouble right in front of him. Dr. Zhao then turned to Lang Ran and asked, What are you doing with the microscope? Lang Ran adjusted the patient's hand. The hand is broken. I need to connect the torn blood vessels in the hand and suture the tendons. Zhao Luoyi was furious. I told you to suture the hand, not to suture the tendons. Suturing the tendons is the job of a hand surgeon. What you're doing is beyond the scope of the emergency department. Dr. Zhao yelled at him to stop. Who told you to suture the tendons? Lang Ran paused for a moment, but Dr. Zhao said to hand over the entire hand to me to suture. I said the hand, not including the tendons. I told you to treat some wounds, not to suture the tendons in the hand. Stop it now. But Lang Ran had no intention of stopping, and said that he would finish the suture as soon as possible, and it wouldn't take much time. Dr. Zhao was so angry that he couldn't speak. Was he afraid of wasting time? But he was afraid that he would cause a medical accident. Whether the hand was sutured well or not did not matter much, but suturing the tendons in the hand was different. If he was not careful, the patient would lose the function of his hand. That would be a big problem. Thinking of this, Zhao Luoyi ordered Lang Ran. Lang Ran, I order you to stop the surgery immediately. But this time, Lang Ran said, I'm using the ladder suture technique now. If I stop, the damage to the patient's tendons will be completely unavoidable. These contemptuous words made Zhao Luoyi furious once again. Who allowed you to use the ladder suture technique? He shouted. Lang Ran thought that the patient had a zone 2 tendon rupture. It was indeed the right place to use the ladder suture technique. The human hand tendons are divided into five zones, and zone 2 is the most complex. This means that almost no one can perform surgery on patients in this position. It was not until Professor Shuang Jinba of Nantong University University, Zhang Su, invented the new ladder suture technique that solved this difficult problem. And during the self-test in the training room, Lang Ran could achieve an excellent rate of 80% with the dedicated ladder suture technique, let alone the master ladder suture technique. Lang Ran's confident and concise answer left Dr. Zhao speechless. Although he was the chief surgeon, but he had no reputation in the field of tendon suturing, there was no way he could take over Lang Ran's surgery. In other words, Zhao Luoyi had lost control of the surgery. Now the chief surgeon was not Dr. Zhao, but Lang Ran. At this moment, Zhao Luoyi couldn't bear it any longer, decided to find someone with a reputation to help. Zhao Luoyi ordered a nurse to tell her to go to the operating room quickly to invite Director Huo. After hearing the news, Director Huo immediately went to the operating room. He asked Lang Ran if he was the one who had performed the surgery beyond the scope of his authority without permission. Lang Ran said that he knew while performing the surgery. If you know, why do you still go ahead with the surgery? Lang Ran thought seriously for a moment, then raised his head and said, Before I started the tendon suture, I didn't know it was a violation of the regulations. Only then did they remember that this kid, Lang Ran, was still just an intern. He didn't understand these things at all. But Zhao Luoyi thought he was being stubborn, and asked Director Huo to punish him. 
Director Huo said seriously, in the operating room, the chief surgeon has the highest authority. All activities must be authorized by the chief surgeon. You know what to do in the future, right? Lang Ran thought seriously again. Then let me be the chief surgeon in the future. Nurses laughed out loud when they heard this. Dr. Lang, are you being serious? But despite the laughter, the most important thing now was how Lang Ran's surgery turned out. Huo Kongjun put on a microscope and carefully observed the patient's fingers. Very neat, and the stitches were very firm. The surrounding injuries were not large either. Director Huo took off his glasses and breathed a sigh of relief. At least he didn't find any mistakes. Then he told Lang Ran to continue the surgery, but Dr. Zhao said anxiously. Director Huo, how can you let him do it? Wait until he finishes this tendon, and then send the patient to the hand surgery department. Director Huo snorted coldly. My people can do it. Why should I let them do it? Zhao Luoyi was so angry that his face turned purple. He suddenly remembered that Huo Kongjun was the first person in the country to advocate that emergency medicine should be expanded and professionalized. In the past, during the period when doctors were supported by medicine, surgical surgery could not make money, and the emergency department could still try to do some surgeries. After the provincial medical reform, surgical fees increased dozens of times. As a result, surgical doctors competed for surgeries. It was no longer easy for the emergency department department to do a better surgery. Now the emergency department has appeared to master the latter suture technique. As a doctor with difficult surgical skills, Huo Kongjun couldn't let go of this opportunity. At this time, Huo Kongjun took the excuse of anesthesia to go out first, and then held a small meeting for the people in the emergency department. First, he criticized Lang Ran for acting on his own, not taking discipline seriously, and punished him by extending his internship time at the hospital. Lang Ran also realized his mistake, and this punishment was considered light. Next, Director Huo talked about the second thing. Our emergency department has a patient with a tendon injury every three days. He asked Lang Ran if he would like to do the latter suture technique again. Lang Ran naturally wanted to. Director Huo continued, if this surgery goes well, it can be done if there is authorization from the attending physician. Tendon injury surgeries can be major or minor, and after a while, a lot of patients can be accumulated. Zhao Luoyi suddenly realized, if what Director Huo said is true, then the emergency department can do 10 ladder suture techniques every month. It seems that in the hospital, this is also considered a very advanced surgery. When the year-end summary comes, the bonus will be indispensable. Thinking of this, his attitude towards Lang Ran also changed. Whether this matter can be successful depends on Lang Ran's skills. To find out how good Lang Ran's suture technique is, Huo Kongjun looked for the deputy director of the hand surgery department, Wang Haiyang. When he arrived at the ward, Director Huo asked him to talk about the steps of suturing the wound. Lang Ran pointed to the back of the patient's hand, and talked about the steps and his thoughts during the surgery. After listening, Wang Haiyang couldn't keep calm. He had seen the actual surgery of the Shuangjinba method before. Although the effect of this surgery is very good, the burden on the doctor has increased by more than one or two times. But listening to him, he didn't feel the burden at all. On the contrary, it was easier to understand. After a while, Wang Haiyang suddenly came to his senses. I came here to find fault, not to listen to lectures. So he put on gloves and planned to evaluate the patient's hand function. He asked the patient to perform a few simple movements. After a round of examination, the patient performed very well. But Wang Haiyang was even more surprised by the sequelae of the hand tendon suture surgery. The most troublesome thing is the tendon anastomosis and the broken tendon. Lang Ran's ladder suture surgery was obviously very good. Then he turned to look at Lang Ran. Unexpectedly, this young intern could perform such a surgery. But how terrible is the strength of this intern? Wang Haiyang distributed some hand function evaluation forms to everyone for an on-site evaluation. But after finishing, everyone was shocked. This score is the evaluation result after three to four weeks after surgery. Wang Haiyang was full of doubts. Why did he recover so quickly? Is it possible that the wound has healed after the suture? Lang Ran nodded. That's right. I cut the tendon so that I can stimulate the tendon to grow, and enhance the tendon's ability to recover. While talking, Wang Haiyang naturally used the word Dr. Lang. Although neither of them noticed, the resident doctors on the side were all amazed. This shows that Lang Ran has been recognized by Wang Haiyang. At the same time, the system's prompt sounded in Lang Ran's mind. You have received the achievement compliment. The compliment of a colleague is the greatest reward for a doctor. The primary treasure chest reward appears. Lang Ran opened the box, and it was still the energy potion inside. He has received eight bottles in total. Used one bottle, and there are seven bottles left. 
For a doctor who can stay up 10 nights in a month, seven bottles of energy potion are very precious. Langran quietly put away the blue potion without anyone noticing. He asked the system, who is the best at the ladder suture technique in Yunhua? The system replied, it's you. Two months passed, Langran's hair grew longer, and he became more handsome. During this time, he also did many flexor tendon suture surgeries. But because Lang Ran did not have a surgery qualification, the surgery record stated that Dr. Huo was the chief surgeon. Lang Ran was the assistant. When it came to the surgery, Lang Ran would be the chief surgeon. But Dr. Huo was very busy, so it was not practical to let him be an assistant all the time. Thinking of this, he muttered to himself, For convenience, I still need another assistant. Dr. Huo just arrived. Before he could speak, I was going to arrange for you. Let Lu Wenbin follow you. He just finished his training. Let him follow you to learn more. Lu Wenbin's eyes widened in disbelief. Director, do you really want me to be an assistant to an intern? Dr. Huo said no, just as a foil. Lang ran as an intern, but his ability is better than yours. You should learn from him. Before Lu Wenbin could finish thinking, Dr. Huo had already left to find a hospital to contact. Lang Ran looked at this assistant. Why does he look so stupid? But it doesn't matter, as long as he can retract the skin during surgery. That afternoon, they went to the practice room. As soon as the door was opened, a row of pig's feet came into view. This is the raw material they use for flexor tendon suture experiments. Lang Ran had cut the extensor tendon at the interphalangeal joint of the pig's foot. The transection is basically equivalent to the flexor tendon injury of zone 2 of the finger joint. Lang Ran planned to give Lu Wenbin a demonstration. Because if he brought an assistant who didn't know how to suture, it would be quite difficult. While talking, Lang Ran had already started the surgery. After the transection, the suture must be passed back longitudinally and tied at the end near the tendon. Lu Wenbin watched Lang Ran perform the surgery. Finally, I understand why the director let him be an assistant to Lang Ran. Because his skills and methods have reached a superb level, Lang Ran continued the surgery. After tying the knot, it is important to note that the second loop should be tied in the middle of one loop, and then along the length of the tendon. Lu Wenbin became more and more excited as he watched, and began to imitate Lang Ran's movements. He thought, is this the legendary ladder suture technique? And after I learn it, what will happen to the emergency department? If we want to compete with the hand surgery department, we can't rely on Lang Ran alone. He has already fired the first shot. Director Huo will definitely find a way to replenish his strength. Then I will have plenty of opportunities. Thinking of this, Lu Wenbin no longer felt that it was shameful to be an assistant to an intern, and was even full of enthusiasm. This was the first time Lang Ran had faced such a serious challenge, because the patient's wound was too small, not enough to expose the fracture. Another incision had to be made, but Lang Ran was only good at suturing and hemostasis. He had no idea about making incisions. At first, he thought it was a typical zone 2 tendon injury, but he didn't expect it to be so complicated. Lang Ran held the scalpel, took a deep breath, and slowly cut down. After a few minutes, only a small incision was made. The anesthesiologist was speechless when he saw it. Four minutes and it was still not cut. Far below the average level of a surgeon. I don't know how this guy can be a chief surgeon. After a few more minutes, it was finally cut. At the same time, the system's prompt for the novice treatment task sounded in Lang Ran's mind. The task content was to suture the flexor tendon of the patient. The reward was professional skin incision. It's really what you want to get. The professional skill of incision is what you are not good at. But to complete the task, you must do it perfectly. At this time, he found that the previous evaluation of the incision was not very accurate. To perform the ladder suture technique, you need a clearer view. So he decided to make the incision a little bigger. Dr. Huo was surprised when he saw it. Such a simple incision was opened twice. Wouldn't it be laughed at if it was said? But Lang Ran didn't think so. He was still thinking about how to perform the surgery perfectly. The patient's tendon had been severed for nearly 20 hours, and the tendon was basically unavoidable. In order to increase the success rate in perfection, the incision had to be further enlarged, so he cut the wound for the third time, then used the clamp to pull the skin flap out. Lang Ran handed it to Lu Wenbin. Tell him to pull the skin to both sides. This time, the tendon was completely exposed. Lang Ran immediately asked Wang Gai to get the necessary tools. When he raised the suture needle, it was as if he had become a different person. The master level ladder suture technique was used by him fluently. Lu Wenbin trembled all over when he saw Lang Ran's smooth movements. This is the real working state of Dr. Lang. Compared with the afternoon in the warehouse, it is much more powerful. In just a few short minutes, 
Lu Wenbin felt the heavy pressure. He stared at Lang Ran's movements, hoping to remember more details. Huo Kongjun was relieved to see that Lang Ran was finally serious. This is the Lang Ran he knows. The level must be worthy of him personally going to other places to bring patients back. The sound of scissors cutting the thread sounded, and the surgery was finally over. Then Dr. Huo walked out of the operating room to inform the patient's family that the surgery was successful. Lu Wenbin was very excited, feeling that he had learned a lot from Lang Ran today. He asked Lang Ran hopefully what to do next, such as doing 300 more ladder sutures, or if he had any other tricks, and pass some on to me. Lang Ran turned his head and smiled. Now it's your turn to teach me how to write a medical record. Lu Wenbin almost dropped his jaw when he heard this. I didn't expect Dr. Lang to have performed so many surgeries but still not know how to write a medical record. The hospital admitted a patient with a ruptured testicle. When Lang Ran arrived at the treatment room, he saw the patient lying on the bed trembling. Lang Ran was also shocked by the wound. At this time, the senior resident next to him wanted to ask Lang Ran to check. According to your observation, what problems can be found? Lang Ran carefully observed the patient's bloody wound. He replied that the right scrotum was torn. The testicle was exposed, and dust and small stones could be seen adhering to the surface of the testicle and soft tissue. The wound had reached the tunica albaginia, but the tunica was intact. Lang Ran said a word, and the patient shivered again. He was afraid that his happiness in the second half of his life was about to vanish. Zheng Pei continued to ask Lang Ran to check carefully and then present the results of each examination. Lang Ran then put on gloves and stepped forward to check carefully. The wound was not in the same place. The deformation was not linear. The infection did not seem to be a traffic accident. Zheng Pei chuckled and said. I asked him, he wanted to skateboard up the iron railing of the park. As a result, he hit the iron railing with his whole body, and the railing was not round. Lang Ran continued Zheng Pei, so we have to consider the possibility of tetanus, and give him tetanus antitoxin. The patient's bleeding was not very serious, but when it came to the testicles, Lang Ran hesitated. What would normal testicles be like? If Lang Ran was given a complete male testicle and a scalpel, he would still be able to distinguish between normal and abnormal morphology. But the current situation is quite special. It is not a familiar anatomical structure and a definite conclusion cannot be made. Zheng Pei did not check to this step either. Hearing Lang Ran say this, he also observed carefully, muttering to himself, if it is not normal, the first thing to consider is whether the spermatic cord is twisted. The patient finally couldn't lie still when he heard this. What is testicular torsion? Is it Xiao Yanzi's? I'm so badly injured, and you guys are free to talk about movies from 20 years ago? Zheng Pei saw that the patient was anxious, so he asked Lang Ran to explain to him. Lang Ran explained to the patient in detail. The spermatic cord is the structure that fixes the testicles and transports nutrients, including blood vessels, vas deferens, lymphatic vessels and nerves. We are currently discussing whether your testes are normal. If there is a problem here, such as testicular torsion, surgery must be performed to repair it. Of course, there is also the possibility that the testicle will have to be removed. If this happens, there is no need to suture it. After hearing this, he shivered like a sieve. Where has his future happiness gone? At this time, Zheng Pei took another careful look, and found that the testicle had only descended slightly, not to the point of having to be removed, and then he told Lang Ren to suture the patient. Note that when suturing a minor wound, it should not be separated too much. At this time, the patient pulled the corner of Lang Ren's clothes with all his strength, telling his children and grandchildren to leave everything to him. Lang Ren said no problem. Then he began to suture the longitudinal cushion professionally. The longitudinal suture finally worked. Zheng Pei had never seen such a smooth suture. So he let Lang Ren open his eyes. The patient bit his lip tightly, not daring to open his eyes, praying silently that his baby would be fine. A few minutes later, the operation was completed. The system also issued a reminder that the task of treating the patient was completed, and the reward for professional incision was received. The patient only stayed in the observation room for one day before being discharged from the hospital. Zheng Pei curiously asked Lang Ran why he was so good at suturing. Lang Ran had been too lazy to find an excuse before, so he replied that he had sutured in a family clinic. Shaju Clinic, right? I heard that Dr. Lang has a family tradition of medicine. But are there so many patients with ruptured testicles in your Shaju? Lang Ran replied, 
it is not necessary to have a ruptured testicle to practice longitudinal cushion sutures, and sutures for the elderly's abdomen can also be practiced. Do you guys also have operating rooms? We also have surgery every month. Jung Pei had just asked casually, and now he realized that Lang Ran's attitude was just to smile and say nothing. Lang Ran also stood up and went to visit the patient with Lu Wenbin. Lu Wenbin introduced the patient's condition as they walked. The patient in room 5 is recovering very well, and the edema has completely subsided. It's just that there are a few more scars. Oh, don't mention it. I haven't been able to practice with Dr. Lang for the past few days, and my skills are about to rust. Are you free today? Would you like to practice with me? But Lang Ran said, forget it. I have to have surgery tomorrow. And I have to keep my spirits up. Although he has the technique of master level ladder sutures, Lang Ran will not be negligent because of this. Lu Wenbin shook his head as he watched Lang Ran's back as he left, thinking to himself that Dr. Lang is still too arrogant. Instead of taking a break to rest, he might as well practice skin incisions a few more times. At least I won't lose face like last time when I go to the operating table tomorrow. He suddenly thought that if Dr. Lang had given up on practicing incisions, if he didn't do it, he might as well do it himself. At that time, Lang Ran would have to turn to me and ask me to demonstrate the incision. Thinking of this, Lu Wenbin couldn't help but laugh out loud. Unexpectedly, the next day, reality slapped Lu Wenbin in the face. The patient had a severed tendon in the index finger and middle finger, of which the index finger and middle finger tendons were completely severed. The situation was quite complicated. Dr. Huo knew that this operation was a challenge for Lang Ran, but today he could only find such a patient. Zone 2 is the no man's zone, where the tendons are densely distributed. The deep and superficial tendons are constricted in the small tendon sheath. Therefore, it is easy to get serious adhesion after surgery, and the functional recovery is not very ideal. Also, the fact that the deep and superficial tendons are injured together means that the more active the movement is, the greater the probability of adhesion. But none of this is a problem for Lang Ran. Mastering the technique of master level ladder sutures, and at the same time, dealing with deep and superficial tendons is just a basic operation. Lang Ran checked it once, and then prepared to start the tendon suture surgery. Huo Zongjun knew that Lang Ran had no knowledge of incisions, and he originally intended to say that he would make the incisions, but after thinking about it, he didn't say anything in the end. He couldn't always help Lang Ran make incisions, and in the end, he would have to practice on his own. Thinking of this, he looked at Lu Wenbin next to him. Lu Wenbin performed quite well in the previous operation, so why not let him do it? Lu Wenbin felt Dr. Huo's gaze and was overjoyed. He thought to himself, do I finally have a chance to make an incision? But what he expected most was for Lang Ran to take the initiative to give up. It would be better if the incision work was handed over to him or if the director interceded for him. Suddenly, Lang Ran stood up, pulled hard, and called out to Lu Wenbin, who came back to his senses. At this time, Lu Wenbin discovered that Lang Ran had already drawn the suture line. Moreover, the location chosen was very good. Next, Lang Ran took a scalpel and used the fixed incision technique to incise the patient's hand. This incision technique is very basic, and it is not fancy but very useful. In just a minute or two, Lang Ran opened up the desired surgical area. Lu Wenbin was amazed when he saw it. This incision was indeed of the level of a senior doctor. Two days ago, Dr. Lang had to make two incisions. And how come he suddenly became an expert? Huo Zongjun was even more surprised, and stuttered, Lang Ran, have you been practicing incisions lately? Lang Ran nodded and said yes. He was silent after hearing this. I thought I had seen enough, but I didn't expect it to be enough. Then what about the previous incision? Could it be due to unstable performance? Meanwhile, Lu Wenbin on the side only felt depressed, remembering how he was still worried about Lang Ran yesterday and just now, and even wanted to take his place. Now he was so embarrassed. Lu Wenbin raised his head, and forced a smile and said, Dr. Lang, anyone who sees your speed will think you're hacking. Huo Zongjun standing next to him snorted. What do I care what others think? What our emergency department needs right now is a talent like Lang Ran. Suddenly, he changed the subject and asked. Lang Ran, I heard that you often buy pigs trotters to practice. Lang Ran said, that's right. Dr. Huo thought that he was currently only an intern, and his monthly allowance of a few hundred was not enough to buy pigs trotters. Moreover, the cost of practice materials should not be borne by individuals, but it would not be good to report the cost of buying pigs trotters. Though he proposed to transfer the surgical fee from his card to Lang Ran. Lang Ran had no intention of refusing. He responded with an okay and continued with the surgery. Lu Wenbin on the side was really envious when he heard this. He secretly made up his mind to master this last 
ladder suture technique, the sound of suture cutting rang out, and the surgery was over. At this time, Dr. Huo discovered that Lang Ran had completed the surgery in only two and a half hours. He also spent his own money to buy pig's trotters to practice his surgical skills. Lang Ran's internship allowance was already very little, and it was not enough to buy pig's trotters. After Dr. Huo found out, he proposed to give Lang Ran a part of the surgical fee. He asked Dr. Zhou to explain it to Lang Ran. Dr. Zhou said a lot of things there, and Lang Ran only caught one sentence. That is, if you perform three surgeries, you can earn 500 yuan. On. If you can perform three surgeries every day, then you will earn 15,000 yuan a month. A well-off life is just around the corner. This time, a new task appeared in the system. Complete 10 ladder sutures each month to receive a primary chest. This task came at the right time. Now, not only can he complete the task, but he can also earn money, and Langran's ladder suture technique has made Yunhua Hospital even more famous. Many patients with tendon injuries were also sent over one after another. After Langran looked through the medical records, he said that he would do five surgeries today. Huo Zongjun was surprised. No matter how good he was, he couldn't do five surgeries in one day. So he let Lang Ran do two surgeries first, and if he was in good condition, he could continue. But in less than two hours, Lang Ran had successfully completed the first surgery. The second surgery was even faster than the first. Liu Wenbin followed Lang Ran and constantly surpassed his own limits, challenging himself. But by the third surgery, he was a little overwhelmed. He hadn't eaten or drunk for nearly seven hours, and hadn't even gone to the bathroom. But Lang Ran didn't seem tired at all. Until the surgery was over, Liu Wenbin was exhausted. Although Wang Jia didn't look tired, she was also trying to hold on. Huo Zongjun told Lang Ran that there were no more patients today, and if he wanted to operate, he would have to wait until tomorrow. Lang Ran held up five fingers, meaning that he would do five more surgeries tomorrow. Liu Wenbin and Wang Jia were scared out of their wits when they heard this. If they were to follow Dr. Lang to perform five more surgeries tomorrow, they would probably have to prepare some things in advance. At this moment, two people suddenly came over and interrupted Liu Wenbin's thoughts. One was a resident doctor named Ma Yanlin, and the other was an intern nurse named Zheng Wuyi. They brought some local specialties to Lang Ran and said that they wanted to be his assistants and participate in the latter suture surgery. Ma Yanlin also said that Liu Wenbin was about to die of exhaustion, so he should let him rest. Liu Wenbin couldn't take it anymore when he heard this. It was too much for someone to try to steal his job. He couldn't keep quiet anymore and shouted, I'm not tired, Ma Yanlin. I'll call you before I die of exhaustion. In order to keep up with Lang Ran's surgery, Liu Wenbin even wore adult diapers today, saving time going to the bathroom. The first surgery went like this, time flies, and the third surgery is over. But at this time, Wang Jia was exhausted. She had been assisting in many surgeries in a row. Three surgeries in a row yesterday, and another Another three surgeries today. She asked Lang Ran if she could switch to assisting someone else for the next surgery. Lang Ran understood Wang Jia very well. Although the workload of nurses is not as heavy as that of doctors, the amount of work is still not small. Especially Wang Jia, who is an instrument nurse, it is also a challenge for her to concentrate fully on her physical and mental strength. Thinking of this, he agreed to Wang Jia's request. When Wang Jia left, she told Lang Ran, the nurse who replaced her is not very familiar with the ladder suture technique. You have to slow down a little, not as fast as when you were with me. Lang Ran said that he knew he would slow down at first. After Wang Jia left, Lang Ran suddenly remembered that he hadn't heard Liu Wenbin's voice all afternoon. He looked up and saw that Liu Wenbin was already standing and dozing off. Lang Ran got up to support him and wake him up, and told him to go and rest for a while. Liu Wenbin opened his bloodshot eyes, and hurriedly said, I'm not tired, and I don't need to rest. Today, I must finish the surgery with Dr. Lang. Lang Ran saw that he was not able to do it anymore, so he suggested that Liu Wenbin take a rest before the next patient was brought over. Just set an alarm clock, estimate the time, and come back. Liu Wenbin remembered that when he was in school, he could stay awake for the whole afternoon after just 10 minutes of deep sleep. So he quickly set the alarm clock and went to take a nap. When Liu Wenbin was awakened by the alarm clock, he went back to the operating room and was stunned. The fifth surgery was coming to an end, and Ma Yanlin was beside him, with a big smile on his face. Liu Wenbin looked at Ma Yanlin who had replaced him, and screamed in his heart, I only slept for a while. Dr. Lang, do you have someone else outside? But since he was already here, even though the only thing left was the final suture, he couldn't miss Lang Ran's experience. The surgery was completed, and the system panel also showed a message that the task was completed, and he received a primary chest. But this time it was not a potion of energy, but a skill of specialized diagnosis physical examination. 
The so-called physical examination is the operation of a doctor when examining a patient's health. It is through methods such as tapping, listening, and smelling to collect information about the patient. In this way, many laws of disease occurrence and prevalence can be discovered. It is very effective in developing preventive measures. Even doctors who stay in the operating room every day need some diagnostic skills. Lang Rand's skills can also be improved through the accumulation of experience, and his level can be improved. At this moment, Lang Ran was sitting in a taxi, touching himself all over. The driver in front was sweating coldly. This customer looks weird. When he reached the entrance of Sha Ko village, the driver saw that it was dark ahead, and refused to go in no matter what. Afraid that this strange customer had some special hobby, he hurriedly lied that the car was out of gas and asked the customer to get out and walk for a while. But the customer got out of the car and still fumbled with his body. At this time the driver had determined that this customer was a pervert. He was so scared that he didn't even want the money, and drove away. Lang Ran looked at him in a daze with the money in his hand, thinking to himself that the driver was strange. The next morning, Lang Ran received a phone call informing him that there were no beds available today. The surgery will be postponed until tomorrow. Lang Ran thought that he would not go to work today, and he could just help the patients in his clinic. At 9 o'clock in the morning, the clinic opened and Dr. Miao also arrived, followed by several female patients. It turned out that Dr. Miao was a part-time doctor hired by Lang Ran's clinic when he was not at home. Not not only does he know how to suture, but he also knows how to inject fillers for cosmetic purposes. Dr. Shang saw Dr. Miao coming, and said that Lang Ran came to see the doctor today. Dr. Miao only needed to suture and inject the medicine. Lang Ran looked up. There were quite a few patients today. It was a good time to test his new physical examination skill. But before he could start, all the female patients stood beside Lang Ran. After the examination, the patients went to Dr. Miao for injections and medication. At this time, Lang Ran asked the system whether his physical examination skill ranking had increased. The system displayed that 18 cases had just been completed, who have risen to the 127th place in Yunhua City. Lang Ran was very surprised. He didn't expect that examining 18 patients would increase his ranking. The two girls next to him were attracted by Lang Ran's handsome appearance, so they said they wanted to have a physical examination too. But at this moment, Dr. Miao suddenly ran to Lang Ran's side, wanting to examine the two girls instead of him. The two girls saw that they were about to be replaced, so they hurriedly said that they had forgotten to turn off the water tap because they were in a hurry. After saying that, they took the opportunity to run away. The next day at work, Lang Ran was still not satisfied. Before dawn, he called the patients up to have a physical examination. He touched the patient's body, combined with the patient's medical history. He knew that the patient had chronic gastritis due to prolonged head down work. There were also some minor problems with his abdomen and neck. Wang Jia also came to ask Dr. Lang. Yesterday you took a day off, and today you came so early. Don't you need to rest? Don't you need time to spend with your girlfriend? Lang Ran turned his head and said that he didn't have a girlfriend yet, and that his current energy was only used for surgery. Wang Jia blushed when she heard Lang Ran say that he didn't have a girlfriend. She automatically ignored the next sentence. Early this morning, Ma Yanlin gave Lang Ran a medical journal and said that his name was on it. Lang Ran took it and opened it to read. It was the paper he had written earlier on the topic of bare-handed he hemostasis surgery. At the same time, the system refreshed the reminder. The task of publishing a paper has been completed. The reward is an intermediate treasure chest. Immediately afterwards, a silver-white skill book slowly appeared. It says 3000 surgical experience book on it. What is this? Lang Ran curiously clicked on it. At this moment, the surgical scene appeared in his mind one by one. The monotonous and boring repeated surgeries had brought him rich surgical knowledge. The surgical experience of 3000 upper limbs is as difficult as perfect bare-handed hemostasis. A doctor has to devote his whole life to achieve this knowledge. He raised his hands and observed them quietly. The information that popped into his head was a complete image of the hand's anatomy. Wang Jia saw that Lang Ran was looking at his fingerprints and thought that he was reading his palm. So she also reached out her hand and wanted Lang Ran to help her read it. Lang Ran also wanted to find someone else's hand to compare it with, because the information on his own hand was too monotonous. So he took Wang Jia's hand and began to examine it carefully. Being held by the handsome Lang Ran, Wang Jia's cheeks turned slightly pink. All she could think about was holding hands, holding hands and holding hands. But Lang Ran observed carefully and found that Wang Jia's hand was not deformed. It was not special either. There was nothing to study. He let go of Wang Jia's hand and sighed. Wang Jia came back to her senses, asked him why he sighed. 
Lang Ran said with some regret, that he had previously discovered that her little finger was shorter than normal and suspected that she had short little finger syndrome, but after feeling it just now, it didn't meet the standard. When Wang Jia heard this, she just wanted to rush over and slap Lang Ran on the head. Believe it or not, I'll bite you into a short little finger syndrome right now. At this moment, Liu Wenbin came over and said that the surgery had been arranged. The first case was a simple hand laceration. In the operating room, when the scalpel touched the patient's skin, all kinds of information appeared in Lang Ran's mind. The skin on one side of the palm is thicker, while the skin on the little finger is thinner, and the palm and the ring finger are thicker. If you only want to cut the skin, you need to adjust it flexibly depending on the location of the cut. Lang Ran didn't expect that the surgical experience of 3000 cases would be useful in this kind of surgery. When he cut the skin, it was also very smooth, and the surgery went very smoothly. At this moment, the door of the operating room suddenly opened. Was Dr. Huo, who brought Dr. Bai from the Health Protection Hospital to investigate the implementation of their ladder suture technique. Dr. Huo signaled to Lang Ran and the other doctors to continue their work, not to be distracted. Dr. Bai looked at them with a provocative look. I think Huo Kongjun is bragging. Let's see how capable he really is. How can he do a ladder suture surgery in less than two hours? Isn't this a joke? Thinking of this, they all walked over there. But who could be fascinated when watching Lang Ran perform surgery? His movements were smooth, and each stitch was steady. Just as they were watching with rapt attention, Lang Ran's voice brought them back to reality. Lu Wen Bin, cut the thread. The surgery is complete. Everyone was stunned. Is it over? What? It's so fast. Dr. Huo saw that Dr. Bai was still not satisfied, so he asked Lang Ran when the next surgery was scheduled. Lang Ran looked at his watch. The next patient had a laceration on his finger, and the surgery could be done right away, but it was estimated to take only about 30 minutes. Can arrange the next patient first. The people present looked at each other, and they did not believe that anyone could complete such a difficult surgery in 30 minutes. Dr. Bai smiled meaningfully at Dr. Huo. Huo Kongjun is really putting on a big show. Dr. Huo was also stunned for a moment. Then he continued, as foreign aid, you must watch a few more cases. Then you can fully understand the capabilities of our emergency department before we can discuss further. In the blink of an eye, they arrived at operating room number two. Lang Ran was suturing very quickly. Dr. Bai thought they were seeing things, but he still didn't believe that Lang Ran could complete the finger laceration surgery in 30 minutes. After all, the latter suture technique was different from the usual tendon and muscle suture technique. The usual tendon and muscle suture technique is to pass a thread through one end of the tendon, then pass it through the other end of the tendon, and then pull them together tightly, thereby connecting the tendons and muscles. However, the latter suture technique uses three threads, and in order not to damage the tendons and muscles too much, there are other things to keep in mind when pulling the three threads. That is to say, the latter suture technique requires more time and effort, at least three times more than the conventional technique. If it is not an insensitive area, then it is true that someone can complete it within 30 minutes. But this is an insensitive area, and the latter suture technique is used. Lang Ran is basically unable to do it. But next, Lang Ran surprised everyone. Lang Ran completed this surgery in only 21 minutes. But Dr. Bai still argued, insisting that Lang Ran and the patient were both actors hired by Huo Kongjun. Dr. Huo was wronged when he heard this. If I were acting, I would eat all the objects on the operating table for you to see. Dr. Bai did not believe that a small intern could have such a level of skill. Dr. Bai wanted Lang Ran to perform a few more surgeries. He thought that being fast once did not mean being fast every time, and that perhaps this time was just a coincidence. At this moment, Dr. Huo's face immediately turned cold, and he asked Lang Ran if he had the strength to continue. Lang Ran said yes, and Dr. Huo waved his hand to signal them to go. Let's go to operating room number three. So Lang Ran performed a few more surgeries to prove himself. He pulled out a tendon and the suture needle pierced it. Dr. Bai took a deep breath. An ordinary doctor, when holding a tendon, would have to spend 20 to 30 minutes preparing it before it could be used as desired. This Lang Ran did not even think about it and just stabbed it in. But then Dr. Bai had his mouth wide open. Lang Ran had just held the tendon when he put it in the right position and adjusted it to the best possible state. This alone is something that most surgeons cannot do. Dr. Bai looked up again and found that the surgery was about to end. But only 17 minutes had passed. Seeing this scene, he could not hold back any longer and cursed out loud. When he calmed down, he suddenly had a bold idea, and turned to Dr. Huo and said, Old Huo, call Dr. Lang to attend the conference. Hearing this, 
Dr. Huo smiled, and teased Dr. Bai that Lang Ran was not qualified enough, right? Dr. Bai was so angry that he almost vomited blood. This technique is not qualified. Then we old men are even less qualified. Moreover, a doctor who is both handsome and skilled like this, you can't keep him in the operating room all day long. Lang Ran had just finished the surgery, and was also surprised to hear this. At this time, Dr. Huo spoke up. If you say so, then let's put him on a new stage. It was not until 4 a.m. that Lang Ran and the others were busy. Taking advantage of the opportunity for Dr. Huo to lead people to the survey, the number of patients was very large. They took this opportunity to accumulate a lot of surgical experience. When they left the operating room, the system panel also appeared. The system displayed that the latter suture technique training mission had been completed more than five times. This time, the reward was still energy pills. Ma Yilin smiled and said to Lang Ran, Dr. Huo will let you have a good night's sleep, and when you wake up, get dressed and go to the Wendamao Hotel at noon to wait for him. Inside the Wendamao Hotel, a large and eye-catching poster was erected. It read, Yunhua International Emergency Medicine Forum. Below it were pictures of some famous figures in the medical world. At this time, on the left side of the poster, there was a strange young doctor. Lang Ran became the center of attention as soon as he arrived at the forum. In no time, he was surrounded by many girls. Even Mao Wanshu, the director of the emergency department of the provincial children's hospital, wanted Lang Ran to be his son-in-law. This scene was clearly seen by the bigwigs in the medical world on the upper floor. Some of them criticized Huo Kongjun for unfair competition. How dare you play the game of bringing in a gigolo to get votes? Huo Kongjun just smiled and said nothing. At the same time, in the hand surgery department of Yunhua Hospital, the director of the hand surgery department, Fan Hua, suddenly returned from Japan. He also brought a Japanese doctor with him. On the surface, it was said that they were here to exchange ideas. But in reality, they were here to cause trouble for the emergency department. After all, the emergency department had taken away a lot of patients from the hand surgery department. Ashimoto Hiro was not roundabout either, and wanted to see Lang Ran's ladder suture technique as soon as he arrived. When director Jin heard this, the smile on his face immediately disappeared. It seemed that this was a confrontation with Huo Kongjun. He slowly said, Dr. Hashimoto, if you want to see the surgery of the emergency department, I can arrange it for you. But Hashimoto Hiro wanted to see the patients who had undergone surgery. After all, the results were the best reflection of the surgery. Director Jin immediately refused. The emergency department and the hand surgery department are not related to each other. The hand surgery department cannot decide the work of the emergency department. Even less can we go to the emergency department to see patients. But Fan Hua suggested that they could invite some patients to the hand surgery department for examination. Hearing this, Director Jin's face darkened, and he warned Fan Hua not to cause trouble, but he snorted. I heard that some of the patients who are undergoing rehabilitation are from our department, which is against the regulations. If anyone is causing trouble, it is the emergency department that is causing trouble first. Since Huo Kongjun wants to cause trouble, then I will not show any mercy. Just as the two of them were at a stalemate, Hashimoto Hiro suddenly spoke up. Although I don't know what you two are arguing about. Your actions are tarnishing the reputation of the no man's land ladder suture technique. Wang Haiyang said uncomfortably. What do you mean? Hashimoto Hiro was obviously prepared. He continued, saying that the first no man's land ladder suture surgery had consumed a lot of medical resources. In Japan, it would take a long time to discuss whether to perform such a surgery. But you guys just went ahead head and did it, and even performed dozens of surgeries in one go just to increase the number of surgeries in the hand surgery department. It is based on the large number of ladder sutures, which is very unhealthy. It is a wrong way to develop. These words made even Fan Hua unbearable, and he reminded Hashimoto Hiro to watch his words. But Hashimoto Hiro really didn't care. He continued to say that the strategy of less but better should be adopted, which could reduce the burden on medical staff, and it can also improve the success rate and efficiency of ladder suture surgery. You can't perform surgery just for the sake of performing surgery. If there are too many patients who need surgery, then you should decisively amputate the limbs of those who are not suitable for surgery in order to save medical resources for those patients who really need it. Wang Haiyang chuckled when he heard this. Healing the sick and saving lives is the duty of a doctor. What we should do is to bring hope to those who are desperate. Hashimoto Hiro did not refute these words. He proposed that before discussing topics such as medical ethics, 
they should first go and watch the ladder suture surgery performed by the Chinese doctor. And then they should go to the rehabilitation room of the hand surgery department. Here they could find patients from the emergency department who had undergone ladder suture surgery. But Hashimoto Hiro only glanced at them. He then asserted that at least half of the patients here would not be able to fully recover the function of their hands. Wang Hai Young was immediately displeased when he heard this. You haven't even examined them. How can you come to a conclusion? Hashimoto Hiro arrogantly raised his chin. Even if I examine them, the result will be the same. If you don't believe me, you can try it yourself. Wang Hai Young wanted to say something more but was pulled back by Director Jin. He would not let the doctors of his department argue with foreign experts. Moreover, Hashimoto Hiro's assessment was the same as his. Director Jin admitted that this Hashimoto Hiro was indeed not ordinary. He could tell the condition of the surgery just by simply observing the condition of the patient's hands. At this moment, Hashimoto Hiro said smugly again. That's why you should increase the rate of limb amputation. Only then can you increase patient satisfaction. A doctor's energy is limited. He spent six hours doing two unsuccessful surgeries. It's better to spend four hours doing one successful surgery. Then he pointed to a patient next to him and asked, Are these all patients from the emergency department? Fan Hua said that there are currently two patients from the emergency department in the rehabilitation room. The others are all from the hand surgery department. When Hashimoto Hiro heard this, he confidently wanted to guess. Then he looked at the patients with a fake smile and began to observe. He has a very good ability of logical reasoning. He is also known as the detective of the medical world. But this guess was wrong. Hashimoto Hiro used the safest method of elimination, and pointed to the two patients next to him and said, This must have been done by a master with the same level as Dr. Fan Hua. But at this moment, he found that Wang Hai Yang and Dr. Jin were smiling inexplicably. Seeing this expression, Hashimoto Hiro was very surprised. What? Did I guess wrong? Director Jin said with a smile that those two patients were done by a young doctor from the emergency department. Hearing this, Hashimoto Hiro's expression changed immediately. He has played this guessing game for many years, although he is occasionally wrong, but he has never been so embarrassed. Now he just wants to regain his face quickly. Hashimoto Hiro turned to Fan Hua and asked if he could examine these two patients. After Fan Hua agreed, he immediately used the golden needle method to examine the two patients. The golden needle method refers to the first examination method invented by Japan to test the movement of the upper limbs. The smaller the things that can be controlled, the better the recovery. But no matter how the examination was done, these two patients could perfectly control the smallest sticks. At this moment, Hashimoto Hiro couldn't stand it anymore. These two patients were rated as being able to reach a level of good or above. This is incredible. At the same time, the medical forum at the Wendamu Hotel was about to end. At this moment, Huo Kongjun was standing on the podium giving the final speech. But Dr. Zhou received a message saying that Director Fan Hua of the hand surgery department had returned, and also brought a Japanese doctor to cause trouble for them. Not long after, the four people in Huo Kongjun's group pushed the door and entered. Hashimoto Hiro's eyes lit up. He thought to himself, has the young chief surgeon of the emergency department arrived? I really want to meet you and see if your skills are as good as Fan Hua and Director Jin Shi. He stepped forward and asked Dr. Ling if he knew how to do ladder suture. Before anyone could answer, Hashimoto Hiro's bad habit recurred. He told everyone not to tell him, and let him guess who Ling Ran was. Hashimoto Hiro's eyes slowly swept over the four people, and finally stopped at Lu Wenbin. He smiled and said, I guess you are Dr. Ling. Director Jin Shi did not hesitate any longer, and hurriedly pushed Ling Ran out. Hashimoto Hiro looked at Ling Ran's handsome face and became even more angry. Not only is this doctor young, but he is also better at medicine and even more handsome. People like this usually only appear in TV dramas. This is indeed a perfect star doctor. But he thought for a while, is Ling Ran the star that Yunhua invited? But in fact, he knows nothing about medicine. And then let the media hype it up. A dignified Japanese doctor of medicine was defeated by a young doctor. And Yunhua Hospital will also become more famous because of this. This will make everyone think of Yunhua Hospital when they get sick. Even the fact that he was invited by Fan Hua could be a trap. Thinking of this, he sneered in his heart. Am I? Hashimoto Hiro, so easily led by the nose, so he went to Ling Ran, and said with a rather unfriendly expression, if I have the chance, I would really like to see Dr. Ling's ladder suture technique. Fan Hua, who was standing next to him, had a constipated expression on his face. He thought to himself that this Hashimoto Hiro was doubting him. How could this Fan Hua be from the same group as the people in the emergency department? In order to dispel Hashimoto Hiro's suspicion of him, Fan Hua suggested that Ling Ran should be arranged for surgery as soon 
soon as possible. Director Jin Shi, who was standing next to him, coughed twice and said, If Dr. Hashimoto wants to see it, there will be many opportunities. We will inform you after we have made the arrangements. But Fan Hua still insisted that Hashimoto Hiro's time was very tight. Hashimoto Hiro also cooperated. He bowed deeply to Ling Ran. At this moment, Huo Kongjun hesitated in his heart. Hashimoto Hiro was right. Yunhua Hospital was very likely to use his appearance to create a star doctor. But Ling Ran is still too young now. It is very possible that he will make mistakes during surgery due to too much pressure. Therefore, Director Huo had to use the excuse that there were no patients now to refuse. Dr. Zhou, who was standing next to him, could see Director Huo's anxiety. Immediately said that it doesn't matter if the surgery can't be done now. We can just watch Ling Ran's previous surgery videos. Director Huo was secretly delighted. This guy is really lazy, but he really has a lot of good ideas. Hashimoto Hiro thought for a while, and agreed to watch the video. Everyone quickly went to the meeting room. Lu Wenbin introduced the video, and Hashimoto Hiro watched the screen intently. He found that Ling Ran's operation was not only flawless, but also very precise. But when filming the surgery, they filmed the operation. Why did they keep filming the doctor? Then, his eyes stopped on Nurse Wang Jia. He thought to himself that Chinese nurses are so beautiful. Unlike in Japan, where all the nurses are old ladies. This nurse even acted coquettishly with the doctor during the surgery. Seeing this, Hashimoto Hiro's pupils dilated in surprise. He asked, what are you guys doing during the surgery? Hearing Ling Ran explain that this was to wipe away sweat. Hashimoto Hiro, who had been in the profession for many years, was truly impressed. So this is how sweat can be wiped away. The others left after watching the video, but Hashimoto Hiro and Fan Hua stayed behind to study it carefully several times. By this time, Hashimoto was so tired that his head was full of sweat. He couldn't bear it anymore and said to Fan Hua, You've watched it over and over again for hours. Do you still want to watch it? But Fan Hua insisted on watching it. He had to find a flaw in that brat Ling Ran. But after watching it all night, not only did Fan Hua not find any flaws in Ling Ran, he also developed a sense of admiration for him. He was also an expert who had studied the latter suture technique. Every time Ling Ran made a decision, he could often guess 70 to 80 percent of the time. Only doctors who had sutured ladders would know these details. But what impressed him even more was that most of the time Ling Ran's surgery went smoothly, without any obstacles. Even when he occasionally encountered new problems, he could quickly find new ways to solve them and avoid trouble. His level also improved rapidly because of this. Fan Hua took a deep breath of his cigarette. If he hadn't watched the video over and over again, he really wouldn't have believed that anyone could learn so quickly. Although he didn't want to admit it, Ling Ran's level might really be higher than his. Fan Hua suddenly felt a sense of urgency. At first, he was the only expert in the latter suture technique at Yun Hua. Now that Ling Ran had joined, Fan Hua's number of patients would definitely be divided. The reason Fan Hua had rushed back from Japan this time was because he was afraid that Ling Ran would perform too many ladder suture surgeries at Yun Hua, and would eventually replace him. It seemed that it was too late to come back now. So Fan Hua made a decision that went against his ancestors' teachings. He suggested to Hashimoto Hiro that he wanted to stay in the country for a while and postpone his training. But Hashimoto Hiro saw through Fan Hua's move and reminded him, those who panic often make the wrong decision. Hashimoto then stated his judgment. He knew that Fan Hua wanted to stay at Yun Hua Hospital to compete with Ling Ran, but that was a completely wrong idea. From the video and the patient's post-operative recovery, it could be seen that, in terms of tendon anastomosis, Fan Hua was far inferior to Ling Ran. If he stayed, he would only be left further behind by Ling Ran. Seeing that Fan Hua was silent, Hashimoto Hiro knew that he was wavering. Then Hashimoto stood up and continued to speak. His best choice now was to finish the three-day trip, and quickly return to Japan to study with him, improve his existing skills and learn new ones, then return to China and use his peak strength to crush Ling Ran. Fan Hua clenched the cigarette butt in his hand, thinking that his opponent, Ling Ran, could be crushed with just a little bit of effort, so he quickly made a plan. In the next three days, Hashimoto Hiro and Fan Hua performed a hip replacement surgery at the Shi Chong Orthopedic Hospital, and received much praise and admiration. Although participating in the surgery as an assistant to Associate Professor Hashimoto to perform the surgery may not sound very honorable, at least Fan Hua got to know the leaders in Shi Chong Province. Back in his office, Fan Hua recalled the tiring but fulfilling past three days, and felt very happy. He realized that in order to become a top doctor, building relationships was also very important. If one only knew the latter suture technique, no matter how well they performed, 
they would only be a good specialist doctor. Just let that Ling Ran be arrogant for a few more days. Thinking of this, the anxiety in his heart eased a little. Fan Hua did not forget to instruct some of his subordinates in the same department. Wait until I return to Japan to continue my studies, and then you guys can count for me how many patients the emergency department has taken away while I was away. A few doctors from the department of surgery immediately flattered him. Dr. Fan, don't worry. By the time you come back from your studies, Ling Ran will have nothing to do. These words were very pleasing to Fan Hua's ears. He suddenly asked how many tendon suture surgeries Ling Ran had performed in the past four days. The entire department suddenly fell silent. Fan Hua still had to point at Xiao Tai to answer. Xiao Tai looked embarrassed and said, 24 surgeries. This number immediately made Fan Hua's heart, which had just been soothed, tighten again. An average of six surgeries per day. This speed was truly unimaginable. Although he had known from watching the video before that Ling Ran could perform five surgeries a day, Fan Hua had thought that he was just trying to keep up with him, but he did not expect that in just a few short days, Ling Ran would be one step ahead of him in terms of speed. Moreover, his hair was still thick and black. This terrifying speed of progress made it impossible for Fan Hua to sit still. He immediately got up and went to the operating room to observe. Seeing Fan Hua appear, Ling Ran only glanced at him and was not affected by him at all. Fan Hua's purpose was not to observe the surgery, but to see what Ling Ran was better than him at. Sure enough, his current technique was even more exquisite than in the video. Even the medical team that worked with Ling Ran was very compatible, which helped him improve even more. Seeing this, Fan Hua lowered his head and pondered. It seemed that not only did he need to study, but all the people in the department of surgery had to catch up. Just recently, Ling Ran was still suturing 15 fingers a day, constantly refreshing his number of surgeries. Even the hospital rooms were not enough, but Ling Ran muttered to himself why the reward for the latter suture training mission was all energy potions. He had drawn 10 times in a row, but he did not get a single good item. There was nothing unexpected for a long time. Ling Ran also decided to be lazy for a while. He was about to rest for a while and play a game. Nurse Wang Jia was worried. Was Dr. Ling too tired from working continuously? She even thought about cooking him a bowl of 10 perfect tonic soup. Unexpectedly, at this moment, the system gave Ling Ran a new mission. Complete two bare-handed hemostasis. Reduce blood loss by 1500 cc to receive a primary treasure chest. No wonder the previous training mission could not be changed no matter what. It turned out that the system was still waiting for him. Seeing that there was a new mission, he could continue to fight. Ling Ran decided to stop resting here. He continued to perform the surgery. During this time, Ling Ran had not even finished a game. Lu Wenbin reminded him to rest for a while. Any game would be penalized if he quit in the middle. Ling Ran decisively handed the phone to Wang Jia, so that she could continue playing and not harm her teammates. But he did not know that this small act made her happy. Wang Jia only felt that she was unexpectedly happy. Had the relationship between her and Dr. Ling become so close that they could look at each other's phones? Ling Ran did not think so much. He went to the nurse's station to pause the next transfer, and began to search for the mission target. The mission required a reduction in blood loss of 1500 cc. A patient with such heavy bleeding should be sent to the emergency room immediately. So he went to the emergency room to wait. But after two hours had passed, he still did not find a target that needed bare-handed hemostasis. Seeing that Ling Ran was just standing there, Dr. Zhou told him not to wait any longer. There were a few difficult patients on their way. One needed a bone removed from his rectum, and another needed a nail removed from his prostate. Both surgeries sounded strange, but Dr. Zhou was very calm. He revealed that there was another patient who could only be saved by a miracle. The patient was immune to all drugs after being sunburned. Now, cardiopulmonary resuscitation could only be performed as a consolation, but the patient's heart had stopped beating for three minutes. In this case, only one out of 110,000 cases could be saved, and even then, they would be a vegetable. Even if a miracle happened and the vegetable woke up, they would not be able to return to normal. Although compared to other departments, the emergency department was more likely to have patients die. But this was the first time Ling Ran had encountered a case like the old man's. Dr. Zhou advised him not to think too much about it. Birth, aging, illness, and death were all part of life. The doctor is just a gatekeeper. Saving one person is one person. It is impossible to close the door completely. But Ling Ran still blamed himself. If Dr. Zhou had performed cardiopulmonary resuscitation instead of him just now, now, there might have been a glimmer of hope. But everyone knew that in such an extreme case, no matter who it was, the result would be the same. Dr. Zhou even repeated Director Huo's words, 
save people first, treat diseases later, because there were many lives that could not be saved. To comfort Ling Ran, he made an exception and invited him to have a drink after work. When he learned that Ling Ran was Dr. Zhou's colleague, the owner politely handed him a VIP card. Although he looked very healthy, Ling Ran could still see that his health did not seem to be very good. Dr. Zhou told him to be a little more confident, and to remove the word seemingly. Owner Xiao had been suffering from a congenital heart disease since birth. When he was in elementary school, he jumped high and broke his ankle. When he was an adult, he had one of his kidneys damaged in a fight. And after he got old, he had rheumatoid arthritis, and became a regular at the rheumatology department. It could be said that he was an old acquaintance of Yun Hua. He was able to live until now despite having so many diseases, entirely due to his positive attitude. If he was sick, he would go to the doctor. If he was cured, he would continue to open his shop. Just as the two of them were happily eating and drinking, they suddenly heard a cry for help from outside the shop. Then they saw a hooligan holding a knife and stabbing someone outside. In the chaos, a nearby patrolman stepped forward and wanted to subdue the hooligan, but he was stabbed by him, and then quickly fled the scene. Seeing the policeman fall to the ground, Ling Ran could not sit still any longer. He called Dr. Zhou and then rushed out to help. Fortunately, the policeman was still conscious at this time. He told them that there was a boy who was also injured over there. Dr. Zhou immediately handed this place over to Ling Ran, and ran over there. Ling Ran carefully observed the police officer's wound. There was only one stab wound that needed to be stopped immediately. This was a night market, not a hospital. So he hurriedly asked owner Xiao to help him get a bottle of white wine. Unexpectedly, owner Xiao was even more knowledgeable than him. In this case, white wine would not be very effective. So he immediately ran back to the store to get iodophore and a first aid kit. But the current situation was still very serious. The wound in the abdominal cavity could not be seen bleeding. It could only be completely based on guesswork. Ling Ran poured iodophore on the wound, washed it clean, and disinfected it. Normally, when emergency department doctors did not know the specific situation of a wound, they would waste a lot of materials to reduce the risk of infection for the patient. Then he pressed on the wound to stop the bleeding. But this was only suitable for ordinary people who had not been trained in emergency treatment. This method does not mean that internal bleeding is very difficult to control, but it is very life-threatening. Pressing on the wound can cause secondary damage. The injured person can only pray that he is lucky enough to avoid the vital organs. For Ling Ran, it was much easier. Easier. He used his professional skills and checked the patient's physical condition. He began to observe the patient's wound carefully. This surgery made the patient anxious. He kept shouting that he had to go to Yun Hua Hospital, criticizing that this doctor was just looking at the wound, and did not know what else to do. He had to go to Yun Hua Hospital to find a doctor who could save his life. At this moment, Ling Ran had analyzed that the injured person's spleen had ruptured. It could not be delayed until the ambulance arrived at the hospital. He did not say much, and directly reached into the wound. This pain almost caused the patient to faint. Owner Xiao also hurriedly told him to let go. But Ling Ran had already grasped the patient's condition, and stopped the severe bleeding in the spleen. But at this time, there was a more serious patient waiting for him. Someone ran over and said that Dr. Zhou was in trouble. His patient could not stop the bleeding, and might have to have an abdominal surgery right on the street. Ling Ran did not think much. He said he wanted to go over and help, but his hand was still holding the patient's blood, and could not be pulled out at all. He could only bother owner Xiao to find a trolley and send both of them over there together. He estimated that Dr. Zhou might have encountered a similar situation as him. Only when the bleeding point could not be found, would an abdominal surgery be necessary. If the two situations were similar, then the time over there must not be much left. Sure enough, Dr. Zhou could only temporarily use his hand to press on the wound to stop the bleeding but it was not effective. Due to excessive blood loss, the patient had begun to murmur. His face was pale and he began to stutter. It was obvious that he was about to die. The exact location of the bleeding could not be found. It would be too late. Dr. Zhou immediately told owner Xiao to borrow two kitchen knives, high concentration alcohol, and white towels. He was preparing to perform an abdominal surgery on the street by himself, but doing so would be very risky. If this patient could not be saved, he would not be able to explain it. If the child's parents made a fuss, he might lose his job because of this. But Dr. Zhou was a doctor. He could not just watch him die right in front of him. So he asked owner Xiao to be his assistant, to open the bottle of alcohol and prepare to disinfect. After pouring two bottles of white wine, Dr. Zhou prepared to take out the scalpel. Suddenly, Ling Ran shouted to stop, and asked someone to bring the remaining white wine to him to wash his hands. Then he asked everyone to carry both of the injured people to his side. Ling Ran began to check the condition of the other patient. He found that the patient had lost too much blood in his liver. 
Ling Ran did not say much. After disinfecting his hands, he directly used a knife to cut the injured person's skin in a bow holding position. Because it was a one-handed operation, he could only cut a slightly larger wound. After disinfecting his hands again, he slowly inserted his hand into the injured person's wound. This scene made Dr. Joe break out in a cold sweat. At first, he thought that Ling Ran was performing an abdominal surgery to find the bleeding point, but he did not expect that he wanted to use both of his hands to stop the bleeding with his bare hands. Ling Ran quickly used his hands to feel for the bleeding point in the body. The patient was trembling in pain. In order to prevent him from moving around, everyone immediately rushed up to hold down his limbs. Ling Ran quickly found the exact location. After he was done, he was so tired that he was sweating profusely. Now he was holding two lives in his hands. It was very tiring to hold on like this. Although he was able to stop the bleeding with his bare hands, it could only slow down the rate of blood loss. The patients had to be sent to the hospital quickly. But the entire street in the night market was occupied by businesses. It would be very difficult for an ambulance to enter. He had to temporarily mobilize the private cars of the people. It had to be a car that was big enough to accommodate three people at the same time. A female owner at the scene volunteered to use her van. Ling Ran finally breathed a sigh of relief. They were finally saved. After sending the patients to the hospital, Ling Ran was relieved, although he really wanted to participate in the abdominal surgery. But now his arms were so tired that he could not lift them up anymore. So he went to the nurse's station and said that he wanted to take a day off. The head nurse told him to go home and rest. After all, people needed to rest. As soon as Ling Ran returned home, his parents treated him like a distinguished guest. It turned out that the video of him saving people had been spread online. The praise from the neighbors made his parents very happy. In order to reward him for his hard work, his parents decided to reward him with a car. Ling Ran said that they were happy, and he went back to his room to take a shower and prepare to go to sleep. As soon as he finished taking a shower, he suddenly saw a system reminder. The bare-handed hemostasis mission has been completed, and a new reward chest has been received. He had lost all hope. According to the the system's personality. It would probably open another bottle of energy potion. Unexpectedly, this time it opened the master level limb MRI reading technique. Ling Ran was very surprised to have opened a new skill. After learning it, he found that with the previous experience in upper limb anatomy, he could see more information in the MRI map. He could even see the uneven magnetic field of the nerves on his arm through the reading. High contrast or not, the MRI scan could clearly distinguish each structure. This was equivalent to opening half of a perspective eye. But if someone asked him where he learned this trick in the future, he would no longer have a legitimate reason. Although Ling Ran was very excited, his body was too tired to bear it. He thought for a while and then fell asleep. The next morning, his mother woke him up. He was so regretful. It turned out that she was urging him to go downstairs to see the car. The garage door slowly opened. His father lifted the white cloth under the car, revealing a surprise. The promised black classic car had turned into a brand new red Volkswagen Beetle. Ling Jia was very sorry when he saw this, saying that he had taken the wrong one. This was the car his father had bought for his mother to go out for tea. Ling Ran suddenly felt that he should not have appeared here to watch the show. The car that really belonged to him was parked in front of the house, meeting all the necessary criteria. After a day of rest, Ling Ran drove to the hospital early in the morning. He went straight to the nurse's station and asked for five surgeries. It must be said that Ling Ran's surgery speed was much faster than before. The nurses saw that he had driven to work today. Ling Ran's fan group immediately updated their status. He was still an intern and could drive to work. His family background must be quite good. But now that Dr. Ling had a car, would he be cheated out of money and sex by women outside? When Xiao Shui heard this, she was alert. She thought that she must act first. Then she suggested that everyone ask Dr. Ling to go out with them. But when she just reached the door, she was stopped by someone, saying that Dr. Ling was concentrating on reading the film. Ling Ran took a pen and drew a line on the patient's palm, meaning that he would open it from the outside today. Ma Yanlin was startled. Opening from the palm was not common, although he had also seen related cases. Theory and practice were not the same thing. He tried to ask why the opening direction was different from usual today. Ling Ran explained that based on the MRI, if the patient was sutured from the palm, the strength of the tendon would be slightly greater after recovery. But Ma Yanlin found it even stranger. In his impression, Dr. Ling was a very rule-abiding surgeon, who completed each surgery step by step in the correct order. Today's surgical style had clearly exceeded the standard. As the surgery progressed, Ling Ran did not follow the usual method. Ma Yanlin could not help but worry. What if there was a problem? At this moment, 
Ling Ran had successfully flipped the tendon, and he found that if he still opened from the front as usual, the time taken for the entire surgery would be extended. The effect after suturing would also be completely different. This was also thanks to his ability to read MRI scans. That was why he was able to immediately come up with the perfect surgical plan. When the surgery was almost over, Wang Jia finally mustered up the courage to ask Ling Ran, Can we go out for hot pot together after work? Ling Ran answered decisively, Okay. By the time work ended, Wang Jia had already changed into a nice outfit. At this moment, a nurse suddenly came over to tell her, there's a surgery in the emergency department. Ling Ran can't go back. He asked me to tell you that he will definitely go next time. When Wang Jia heard this, she almost burst into tears. The male god conquest manual in her hand also fell to the ground. The plan to have hot pot with the male god that day had gone up in smoke. Ling Ran and Lu Wenbin continued to do a few more surgeries. He found that the tendon rupture was indeed the same as what he had seen on the MRI scan. Lu Wenbin was even more amazed. He found that Ling Ran now sutured a tendon in almost the same time it had taken him to suture a finger before. After the surgery, Ling Ran changed his clothes, and walked towards the rehabilitation room. With his experience in hand surgery, as well as his ability to read extremity MRI scans, his surgery time was now shorter. Since he had some free time, he went to do his rounds himself. When he arrived at the rehabilitation room, Ling Ran was praised by many patients. Therefore, he had completed many achievements. Sincere thanks from the patients. He also received many basic treasure chests. The previous sincere thanks were all received because Huo Kangjun had challenged challenged him, but now he could even receive them himself. Then, during the time when he did not go on rounds, were the thanks from the patients who had recovered and been discharged wasted? Thinking of this, Ling Ran felt that he had missed out on hundreds of millions. Now that he had received 10 basic treasure chests, he could finally open 10 chests at once. He went to a secluded place and gave an order. 10 basic treasure chests were opened one after another. Among the many bottles of energy potion, a skill book suddenly appeared. Ling Ran received the branch technique, a grandmaster level microsurgical nerve bundle suture technique used to repair completely or partially severed nerves caused by various reasons. Ling Ran smiled with satisfaction. This technique seemed very powerful. In this case, the patient had accidentally fallen, and his palm had been pierced by a hard object. Ling Ran asked suspiciously, were the nerves damaged? After receiving confirmation, Ling Ran thought to himself, the microsurgical nerve suture technique he had just learned happened to be suitable for this surgery. Previously, tendon suture surgery had always been a fixed sequence and procedure, unrelated to anything else. Now, with the addition of microsurgical nerve bundle suture surgery, it was equivalent to turning a simple bridge into an interchange. There were many more things to consider. He went to the operating room and announced that he would be performing a finger reconstruction surgery combined with microsurgical nerve bundle suture technique. Technique. Now, begin by making a Palmer incision. When Lu Wenbin saw this, he thought that this surgery must be very difficult. The same chief surgeon, performing the surgery with the same technique. The larger the incision, the more difficult the surgery. Ling Ren quickly completed the familiar flexor tendon suture. Next was the microsurgical nerve bundle suture technique. Nerve suture is usually a suture of the epineurium and perineurium at the same time. However, the most commonly used is the epineurial suture. But Ling Ren was now using the fascicular nerve suture technique. Although the controllability was better, the difficulty was also much greater. Epineurial suture can usually be seen with the naked eye, but fascicular nerve suture is completely impossible. Lu Wenbin could not see Ling Ran's movements clearly because he was not wearing a microscope. He could not even clearly see the movement of the 10 to 0 suture. Lu Wenbin could not help but break out in a cold sweat. After assisting Ling Ran in so many surgeries, he could not even see the progress of the surgery now. At this moment, Ling Ran suddenly said, the nerve bundle is really tough, almost like the pig's feet skin you used to make. Hearing that Ling Ran was still in the mood to give him an example, Lu Wenbin was even more amazed. This also showed that the surgery was completely within Ling Ran's control. When the suture knot was tied perfectly, Ling Ran declared the surgery complete. Lu Wenbin did not expect such a difficult surgery to go so smoothly. He could not believe it and asked, have you finished suturing all the fascicles of the nerve? Ling Ran said that he had finished suturing. When Dr. Zhou heard that Ling Ran had performed fascicular nerve suture surgery on the patient, 
he rushed over to him and asked about the suturing effect. Ling Ran said that the effect was quite good, and Dr. Zhou was relieved and waved his hand. Before leaving, he did not forget to remind Ling Ran that Director Huo would definitely come and ask him about it right away. Ling Ran's new surgery immediately attracted the attention of Dr. Zhou and Huo Kongjun, not only because fascicular nerve suture was the most difficult to deal with among the three nerve suture methods, but also because among the patients with tendon injuries in zone 2 of the hand, there were many patients with combined nerve injuries, and some with combined fractures. The emergency department flatly refused to perform nerve suture surgery because no one could do it. If they knew how to perform nerve suture surgery, the range of surgeries they could perform would immediately be raised to another level. Then these patients would naturally be treated in time. Dr. Zhou had not been gone for long when Director Huo rushed to find Ling Ran. Without saying a word, he pulled him away to see the patient. At this moment, the patient had woken up. When she saw a group of doctors staring at her, she was so frightened that she struggled and shouted, I want to change rooms. Director Huo frowned. Could it be that our department's first nerve suture surgery had failed? Nurse stepped forward and asked her what the problem was, and why she wanted to change rooms. She said that the fortune teller had told her, that her five elements lacked wood, and that she could not be near the color green. Your ward is full of green. You have to change rooms for me. If you don't change rooms for me, my illness will definitely not get better. Then her eyes lit up. Why don't you repaint the walls for me? I want pink. Pink brings in money. And what I lack the most is money. Director Huo sighed and turned to Ling Ran and told him to take her for a nerve electrophysiological examination. Analyze the patient's nerve recovery. Ling Ran pushed the patient to the neurology department and reminded the doctor there that this patient was rather special and to pay attention to her. The neurologist, Cao Yu, said, don't worry, just leave her to me. But before she could start, the patient asked if there was something wrong with her nerves. Cao Yu said that she would not know until she had examined her. When she heard this, she became anxious, and patted her chest and said that she was not afraid of death. Normal people don't go for nerve examinations for no reason. If I don't have a nervous breakdown, then what do I have? At this moment, Cao Yu discovered that there was something wrong with the patient's clothes. She was stunned for a few seconds. Why did it look so familiar? Seeing that the doctor was paying attention to her clothes, the patient immediately took off her coat, revealing the clothes she was wearing underneath. Cao Yu exclaimed in shock. Damn. Why are you wearing morning clothes to see a doctor? Unexpectedly, the patient became very serious. If you find out that something is wrong with my brain later, I will put on this outfit and jump off the roof so that my family will not be implicated. Cao Yu was in a difficult position. If she found out that this patient had a neurological problem, wouldn't she jump off the roof of the hospital? Then Dr. Cao ran out and found Ling Ran and the others to help. An hour later, the examination was finally completed. Cao Yu said that the patient's nerve suture was very good and that that there was no problem with the tendon suture either. However, her psychology was problematic. Everyone was relieved to hear the report. Huo Kongjun suggested that Ling Ran could also perform surgeries on patients with combined injuries. In addition, as far as he knew, in the entire West Sea province, there were only a handful of doctors who could independently perform flexor tendon suture surgery and nerve bundle suture surgery. Once Ling Ran performed combined nerve injury surgery, their hospital would not be far from becoming a tertiary emergency center. Then director Huo patted Ling Ran on the shoulder happily and told him to take care of his health. Once patients with combined nerve injuries were admitted, the number of surgeries would increase dramatically. At this moment, Huo Kongjun's phone rang, and the other side reported that the director's daughter had been scalded by boiling water, and had already been sent here. Then he and Ling Ran went to the ward, but director he had a request, which was to have Ling Ran examine his daughter. Director Huo was embarrassed, because Ling Ran was not good at treating burns. He Bei, director E's daughter, said that it did not matter, as long as he took a picture with her. Director Huo saw that He Bei was a young girl in puberty, so he turned to Ling Ran and told him to give director He some face, and to at least pretend to do something. Ling Ran rolled up his sleeves and went to treat He Bei's leg. He Bei held her phone and posed, and took a series of pictures. Not long after, after Ling Ran finished treating the wound, he said that he would come back to check on her later. He Bei seemed very reluctant, and asked Ling Ran if he could not stay by her side all the time. The nurse advised He Bei not to be so coquettish, since Ling Ran still had other patients to see, but she did not pay any attention, and posted a status on her QQ page, there is a blessing in disguise. If you meet a handsome guy, you will have a blessing. The next day, He Bei hobbled over to give Ling Ran a cup of hot milk tea, but Ling Ran was not in the 
habit of drinking milk tea, so he gave it to Su Mengshui, who had already bought breakfast anyway. When He Bei heard this, she began to examine the nurse standing next to her. This woman looked better than her, had a bigger bust than her, and was taller than her. He Bei was furious. She thought, why didn't I go to the central hospital instead of coming here? Wasn't it to report the enemy's situation to you? Ling Ran was puzzled. What was the enemy's situation? He Bei explained, Dr. Fan Hua and you are rivals, right? He's about to finish his training. And he'll also bring a Japanese doctor back to Yunhua Hospital to take up a position. And Director Fan is an associate chief physician. While you're still a resident, surely a large number of your patients will be taken away. Ling Ran felt that the situation was serious after hearing this. The Japanese doctor can finish a tendon suture surgery in just 30 minutes. That means he can suture 40 fingers a day. Director Fan's team can also suture 30 fingers a day. Although there are many patients in Yunhua, it's impossible to have so many fingers with tendon injuries every day. In other words, if Director Fan takes over, you might not have any surgeries to perform. Thinking of this, Ling Ren thanked He Bei and turned to leave. He Bei was no longer angry when she saw Ling Ren sincerely thanking her. In the operating room, Ling Ren announced this news to everyone. He also said that he would increase the number of surgeries starting now. Just like that, Ling Ran and Lu Wenbin, Ma Yanlin, Wang Jia, and Su Mengshui divided into two groups and took turns. They quickly accumulated 20 treasure chests. Fortunately, they received the penhold style specialized skin incision technique again. Currently, his suturing technique was number one in the entire Western Sea Province, and ranked 78th in the entire country. At the same time, at the airport, a middle-aged man and a young man stepped off the plane. The middle-aged man took a deep breath. After more than a month, Fan Hua had finally returned. The young man was Ueda Hayato, the doctor of medicine that Fan Hua had brought back from Japan. Fan Hua's eyes suddenly became thoughtful, and he said, let's go to the hospital. After all, the operating room was always the battlefield for doctors. Then, the two of them went to the hand surgery department of Yunhua Hospital. The people in the department organized a welcoming ceremony. Fan Hua waved his hand and said, Instead of doing these welcoming ceremonies, prepare some more difficult patients for me and Ueda. Xiao Tai said that he would arrange it immediately. Then, everyone took Ueda on a tour of Yunhua Hospital. When they arrived at the follow-up room, they found that it was full of Ling Ran's patients. Fan Hua looked disdainful. He thought that although Ling Ran was quite good at tendon suture surgeries, he was at most a resident who had learned some advanced techniques. He turned to Xiao Tai and asked, How many surgeries does Ling Ran perform each day now? Remember that he used to perform five surgeries a day. Xiao Tai said awkwardly, Ling Ran performs more than that now. Fan Hua laughed out loud when he heard this, thinking that Xiao Tai was talking nonsense. Ling Ran is currently performing flexor tendon repair and nerve anastomosis. Even if he's tired to death, how many surgeries can he perform? Xiao Tai stammered and said, on average, he can perform 10 surgeries now. Yuada was shocked. Doesn't he need to rest? Fan Hua's face darkened. He said coldly, tomorrow, we will start our counterattack. These surgeries will be Ling Ran's last feast. He's about to be pushed aside. The next day, Fan Hua and Ueda held a multidisciplinary consultation. Many patients came to see them because of their reputation. In just one morning, they had admitted 12 patients. In this way, they would not have to worry about not having enough patients. However, Ueda found it annoying. How can we finish so many patients? Fan Hua said that if they could not finish, they could transfer the patients to Ling Ran. I am the associate chief of the hand surgery department. And after returning from this training, I can prioritize the selection of patients and the difficulty of the surgeries. Next, I will try my best to surpass Ling Ran in the number of surgeries, become a legend in Yunhua, and then fight throughout the country. Ueda felt that he could also leave a legend in China after hearing Fan Hua's ambitious words. He said that he would definitely follow director Fan's arrangements. However, for Ueda, a flexor tendon repair surgery was already a rare major surgery. Although he had finally completed it, his speed was still much slower than Ling Ran's. The nurses and anesthesiologists who performed the surgery with him could not help but complain. If we continue to work with him like this, we will be exhausted. Although they said so, they still followed Fan Hua and Ueda to perform surgeries throughout the night. In the morning, the two of them came out of the operating room and smiled at each other. They felt that they would definitely be able to surpass Ling Ran this time. However, when they found out that Ling Ran had performed more surgeries than the two of them, and that he still had no intention of stopping. Fan Hua was furious. He gritted his teeth and said to Ueda, Ling Ran must be exhausted after performing so many surgeries, but we can't stop. We have to continue to perform surgeries. We have to surpass him in terms of the number of surgeries. Let's go and take a look. 
I don't believe that he's made of iron. The two of them hurriedly went to the operating room of the emergency department to investigate the situation. At first, they thought that Ling Ran had been performing surgeries day and night, and that his physical and mental strength could not bear it any longer. However, Ling Ran was still relaxed and comfortable at this moment, as if he had just performed his first surgery. Moreover, through the experience accumulated from many surgeries, he could now suture wounds using the latter suture technique very close to the edge of the wound. Many doctors could not perform this suturing technique even after a lifetime of practice. At this moment, he could not remain calm at all, and he did not expect Ling Ran's speed of development to be so fast. After leaving the operating room, he asked Ueda what he thought of Ling Ran's surgery. Ueda said, Dr. Ling's skills are already on par with the top doctors in Japan. Moreover, his nerve anastomosis surgery is even better than mine. Hearing Ueda's high praise for Ling Ran, Fan Hua became even more furious. No matter how outstanding Ling Ran was, he was just a surgeon who only knew one type of technique, and he would eventually become mediocre over time. At this moment, Xiao Tai hurriedly ran over and said to Fan Hua, Your brother-in-law's right hand was slashed and injured, and he's going to be transferred to our hospital soon. Hearing this, Fan Hua almost collapsed. In the past, when he was kicked out of the house by his wife, he often went to his sister's house to stay, so his relationship with his brother-in-law was also very good. Moreover, his brother-in-law was a designer, and if he could not use his hand, it would be difficult for him to make a living in the future. He thought for a moment and then ordered Xiao Tai to find a way to send his brother-in-law to Ling Ran. However, he was not allowed to mention his name, and it was best to find a way to monitor Ling Ran. Xiao Tai understood Fan Hua's intentions. He was afraid that he would not be able to control his emotions and ruin the surgery. He was also afraid that Ling Ran would play tricks during his brother-in-law's surgery. In the office of the emergency department, Xiao Tai lied that the patient was his relative. Moreover, the hand surgery department was very busy today, so he wanted to hand over the patient's surgery to Ling Ran, while he would just observe. Dr. Zhou did not think much of it and agreed to Xiao Tai's request. In the operating room, Ling Ran used his specialized scalpel skills to make an incision on the back of the patient's hand, following the direction of his pen. Next, he decisively pulled out a tendon. Xiao Tai felt that this scene was like digging a piece of fat out of a pile of lean meat. At this moment, Ling Ran suddenly said that he had finished suturing the first tendon. Xiao Tai looked up. Oh my god, it only took two minutes to suture the first tendon? If it were him, he was afraid that it would take him 20 minutes to suture it. Next, Ling Ran pulled out another tendon and sutured it. Xiao Tai watched and swallowed his saliva. But at this moment, Ling Ran said, My condition is not very good today. Xiao Tai immediately returned to reality, his face full of tension. He thought to himself that the patient was Director Fan's brother-in-law, and that he should not make any mistakes during such an important surgery. If his condition was not good, he should not accept it. Ling Ran took off his surgical microscope, looked at Lu Wenbin, and said, Was there a problem with the pig's trotters I ate at noon? Hearing Ling Ran say this, Xiao Tai felt his whole body go numb. What kind of situation was this? What pig's trotters? Don't mess things up at a critical moment. When Lu Wenbin heard Ling Ran say this, he suddenly stood up straight, and firmly guaranteed that there could be no problem with the pig's trotters, and that every pore had been thoroughly cleaned. Lu Wenbin misunderstood. Ling Ran explained that he had eaten two little pig's trotters at noon, and that his blood sugar was a bit low now. When Su Mengshui heard this, she immediately took out some grape sugar and let Ling Ran drink a sip. After Ling Ran finished drinking, he also began to become serious again. He found that the patient's blood vessels were ruptured. His voice was somewhat unsteady as he told Su Mengshui to press down on the gauze. Xiao Tai cried out in his heart that things were going badly. When the chief surgeon was angry, it meant that the surgery was not going smoothly. But but soon, the surgery gradually returned to normal. Xiao Tai's heart, which had been hanging in the air, finally settled down. Now, recalling Ling Ran's surgery, Xiao Tai felt more and more terrified the more he thought about it. Young and talented with excellent skills. Could this be the reason why Director Fan had asked Ling Ran to take over his brother-in-law's surgery? At this moment, Ling Ran took off his surgical microscope and announced that he had completed the nerve anastomosis and that the skin suturing would be handed over to Lu Wenbin. Lu Wenbin gave him a thumbs up. Xiao Tai was absent-minded. He pulled Ling Ran's hand and asked if he could suture the skin as well. My family member is in business, and he needs to look good when he goes out. Ling Ran looked at Xiao Tai and reluctantly agreed. But after the surgery was over, based on Xiao Tai's unusual behavior, Lu Wenbin felt that this patient was not simple, so he went to the nearby ward to investigate the situation. Lu Wenbin gently woke the patient up. The patient kept calling out Fan Hua's name in his delirium. Hearing this, 
Liu Wenbin knew that his intuition was right. There was indeed something shady going on behind this. He then asked the patient if he knew Director Fan. The patient said that he was his brother-in-law. After getting the answer he wanted, Liu Wenbin ran to inform Director Huo. At 5 a.m., Fan Hua had already arrived at the emergency department's rehabilitation room to check on his brother-in-law's wound. But his sister, Fan Jingguo, scolded him, saying that the doctor he had introduced was unreliable. How could he do rehabilitation after just finishing a 12-hour shift? Fan Hua told her to keep her voice down. He sighed and said that if Ling Ran's surgery had not gone well, then there would have been no need for him to go through all this trouble. Although Fan Hua did not want to admit it. In terms of flexor tendon and nerve suture, Ling Ran was indeed better than him. But Fan Jingguo still did not let it go. Look at your brother-in-law. He still hasn't been able to sleep after the surgery yesterday. He woke up before dawn today to do rehabilitation. Now he's all groggy. Fan Hua hurriedly explained. Doing this can reduce the risk of tendon adhesion. The chief surgeon knows the patient's condition better than you do. Fan Hua sighed as he walked out of the rehabilitation room. He was completely helpless against his troublesome sister. Suddenly, Huo Kongjun's voice rang out in his ears. Fan Hua turned his head in surprise. It turned out to be director Huo and Ling Ran. Huo Kongjun smiled and asked him if he had come to visit a relative. Fan Hua knew that he could not hide it any longer, so he had to admit it. Director Huo laughed out loud after hearing this. Director Fan's family member was also a family member of the entire Yunhua hospital. Then he turned to Ling Ran and said, let's go and check on our family member again. Ling Ran walked into the examination room, and without saying much, he began to examine carefully. He found that the basic tendon problem had been resolved. However, it would be difficult for the hand to fully recover. The patient was shocked when he heard this. The patients around him were in a similar situation, but their functional assessment results were all good. Ling Ran explained that his assessment results could also be considered good, but good did not mean that it was completely normal. It only meant that he could take care of himself in a simple way, but he could not do heavy work or work that required dexterity. After hearing Ling Ran say this, the patient hurriedly asked if he could write, eat, and use a computer. Ling Ran replied that he could. After hearing Ling Ran's words, the two of them were finally relieved. They sincerely thanked Ling Ran. Ling Ran smiled with satisfaction. He had been thanked again, and the reward had finally arrived. Soon after, the system notified him that he had received a sincere thank you from the patient, and the reward was a primary treasure chest. Ling Ran immediately opened the chest, and to his surprise, he obtained two skill books this time. They were the Master Level Head Massage Technique Manual and the Neck Massage and Manipulation Manual. These were the most common non-surgical methods used to treat neck conditions. As soon as Ling Ran returned to his office, he began to experiment on himself. He massaged and tested it on himself. At this moment, Huo Kongjun came over to inform Ling Ran that he had helped him get a health check for the urban management cadres. It meant going to a nursing home to conduct health checks for the patients. The work was very easy, but Ling Ran was very disappointed. He only wanted to perform surgeries. Director Huo was annoyed. I got this opportunity for you. You have to go whether you like it or not. Today, Ling Ran and Dr. Zhou went to the nursing home to conduct health checks for the elderly. After checking for a while, Dr. Zhou felt a little tired. He sat down and began to massage the back of his neck. Ling Ran discovered that the curvature of Dr. Zhou's cervical vertebrae had changed. To treat this level of injury, it was necessary to use the cervical spine massage and chiropractic techniques he had just learned. Ling Ran began to massage Dr. Zhou. There was a cracking sound, and Dr. Zhou cried out but then he felt relaxed all over. The cervical vertebrae that had been ravaged by overwork in the past two months seemed to have recovered. He stood up and asked Ling Ran what method this was. Ling Ran was tired of explaining. To put it bluntly, it's a master level massage technique. Dr. Zhou gave Ling Ran a thumbs up. A master is indeed worthy of the title of a master. I'll call it the best massage technique in Yun Hua. At this moment, a female doctor happened to pass by, and said that her neck was not very good, so she wanted Ling Ran to help her take a look. Ling Ran used the same massage technique as before, and pressed down on her neck. After a cracking sound, the female doctor felt as if she was floating, and the stiffness in her neck also disappeared. It was like a withered flower blooming again. After finishing, the female doctor kept praising Ling Ran's technique. The other doctors and nurses saw the scene and also wanted Ling Ran to massage them. After that, the nursing home was filled with unbearable screams. At this moment, the director of the nursing home came out angrily, and asked them what they were yelling about in broad daylight. A nurse, her face still flushed, came out and said that Ling Ran's massage technique made people feel too comfortable. Hearing this, the director of the nursing home became even more angry. How comfortable can it be? I think you're just fooling around. 
Dr. Joe and the female doctor saw that the director did not believe them, so they invited him to try it out. With a crack, the director felt his whole body floating. Then came a feeling of comfort, as if he was relaxing with his wife and children on the weekend, sitting leisurely on the sofa. The director could not help it either, and almost screamed like the others. After the massage, he waved his hand and told them that they could continue, but to keep their voices down. The others who were watching heard the director admit that Ling Ran's massage technique was good, and they all rushed forward, wanting Ling Ran to massage them. Dr. Joe stepped forward to maintain order, and asked them to line up one by one, but at this moment, a strange woman at the end of the line was covering her mouth and snickering. Her eyes were full of greed. She did not expect to find a treasure here, a young and handsome man. I can't wait to have you. She introduced herself as Li Luo, the agent of Langxing Entertainment Company. She asked Ling Ran if he wanted to become a big star. Ling Ran refused without hesitation. Li Luo rubbed the back of her neck, still maintaining a mysterious expression. The other day, you can come to the stadium. There is a Meng Shui concert tour. I believe you will definitely like it. Then she handed Ling Ran two VIP tickets. Ling Ran was about to refuse, but Meng Shui was a star that his mother had always admired. It seemed that he had to go to this concert. Two days later, Ling Ran and his mother went to the concert. When she saw Ling Ran, Li Luo greeted him enthusiastically, but at this moment, there was some bad news. Meng Shui and her dance partner had muscle cramps during the warm-up. Li Luo felt very uneasy when she heard this. The opening was in half an hour. What should she do? She suddenly remembered that Ling Ran knew how to massage. So she turned to ask Ling Ran if the massage could cure muscle cramps. Ling Ran said it could relieve it. Then Li Luo pulled him and hurried to the dressing room backstage of the concert. Meng Shui and her dance partner were kneeling on the floor, rubbing their calves hard, the pain causing tears to stream down their faces. Ling Ran took a closer look and saw that both of them had leg cramps. Li Luo pulled Ling Ran straight to Meng Shui. Ling Ran originally wanted to say that he could treat both of them at the same time. But before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Li Luo. Meng Shui was the one who needed to be treated first. Did he understand? People were divided into different classes, and if he wanted to treat them, he had to treat Meng Shui first. Hearing this, Ling Ran suddenly stopped. His footsteps showed his opposition. The injured were not distinguished by their status, and both of them were the same in his eyes. Moreover, I can treat both of you at the same time. Then, he pushed Li Luo's hand away, and used his master level massage technique to treat both of them. At this moment, Li Luo realized that she was being foolish. Perhaps in Ling Ran's eyes, she and Meng Shui were no different from ordinary people. Moreover, his eyes were full of responsibility and love for his profession. It was the eyes of a natural doctor. As soon as the treatment was over, the system suddenly sent a treasure chest and opened it automatically without him having to click on it. Ling Ran received a perfect level severed finger microsurgery technique book. Ling Ran's eyes widened. This reward was the best of the best. Just then, a staff member rushed over to report that an audience member had fallen, and his face was covered in blood. The doctor we arranged could not stop the bleeding. The injured person also said that he had a chronic illness, and asked to go to Yunhua Hospital. Ling Ran suddenly thought of an acquaintance. He went there to take a look and it was indeed Boss Xiao. As soon as he saw Ling Ran, he was about to say something, but Ling Ran told him not to. Then he used iodophore to disinfect his hands, and performed a manual healing hemostasis technique to stop the bleeding for Boss Xiao. It was stopped in no time. Boss Xiao tried to sit up and asked Ling Ran, since the bleeding has stopped, do I still need to go to Yunhua Hospital? The tickets for this concert were very expensive, and I have to try my best to watch it all. But Ling Ran found that Boss Xiao's complexion was even worse than before, so he told him to wait a moment, and then proceeded to check his physical condition. He examined Boss Xiao's abdomen. Ling Ran found that he had internal bleeding due to the fall, and had to be sent to the hospital immediately. The ambulance quickly took Boss Xiao to Yunhua Hospital. Ling Ran walked into the dressing room to change his clothes. He planned to perform the surgery on him himself. Unexpectedly, he was held back by a large hand. Huo Kongjun said angrily, I tried to let you rest for a few days. Why didn't you listen? Is there no other reliable doctor in the emergency department? Because you can now perform nerve bundle anastomosis surgery. Dr. Wang and I have discussed that we will put you in charge of the severed finger microsurgery. The reason why I asked you to rest for a few days is to find a suitable patient. Hearing about the severed finger, Ling Ran immediately became excited. He immediately said that he wanted to do the surgery right now. 
At this moment, Dr. Wang rushed over, saying that there was a five-year-old child who had completely severed eight fingers, and now the child's fingers needed to be reattached immediately. This five-year-old girl had completely severed eight fingers and needed to have them reattached immediately, but it takes about four hours to sew one finger of a child, and eight fingers would take 32 hours. No doctor could endure such a long time. Moreover, the best time to reattach a finger is within 24 hours. Eight hours in particular is the boundary. Many doctors recommend amputating the finger if it exceeds this time. Wang Hai Yang planned to open four groups at the same time, and perform the surgery together. But at present, many good hand surgeons are on vacation abroad and have not returned. Wang Hai Yang wanted Ling Ran from the emergency department to participate as well. In this way, he could flexibly do tendon anastomosis, blood vessel anastomosis, and nerve anastomosis. After getting director Huo's consent, Wang Hai Yang led Ling Ran into the operating room of the Department of Hand Surgery. Dr. Wang said to everyone, I'm borrowing Ling Ran as a flexible suture. If anyone is tired, you can let Ling Ran do it. As soon as he finished speaking, the chief doctor of the fourth group accidentally stabbed the wrong position because of exhaustion. Wang Hai Yang immediately asked the assistant to pull it out quickly, and then told the doctor that if he was tired, he should not try to endure it and turned to tell Ling Ran to replace him. Ling Ran first looked at the previous MRI and X-ray films. With his master-level MRI reading skills, he quickly grasped the condition of the severed finger. Next was the most difficult puzzle game in history. With the help of the nurse, Ling Ran put on a microscope and gloves, and then replaced the chief doctor of the fourth group. At this moment, Ma Yi Lin was still in a state of high tension, and had not yet realized that the chief doctor had changed. Until Ling Ran called out to him, he reacted. After reminding Ma Yi Lin, Ling Ran began the surgery. Just as the other chief doctors were preparing to clean the wound, Ling Ran had already finished the bone part, and was now preparing to fix the inside. This speed startled some of the chief doctors present. Wang Hai Yang could not help but comfort himself. Perhaps this kid Ling Ran was good at minor injuries and bone setting. Dr. Fei said that the progress was very good. This is a good start. Keep it up. Ma Yi Lin and Ling Ran were originally a good match. With Ma Yi Lin, Ling Ran was very familiar with the operation. Therefore, the operation went very smoothly. Before long, Ling Ran took off his microscope and said, Okay, I'll leave the skin suture to you. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. They did not expect that they had only completed half of the work, but Ling Ran had already sutured the skin. Wang Hai Yang could not help but sigh in his heart. It seemed that Ling Ran was not only good at minor injuries and bone setting, but also many other things. Dr. Guo was the most shocked, as he was still suturing the tendons, but Ling Ran had already sutured the skin. Surgeons often compared their speed with each other, and even the fastest one ones were no more than 20 minutes faster. This kid from the emergency department was now an hour faster than him. His first reaction was to doubt that this was not real. He turned to Wang Hai Yang and said, Director Wang, does Ling Ran's group 4 need to be checked? But Wang Hai Yang thought to himself that now was not the time to criticize. The progress of the other two groups was only halfway through, and the most important step of blood vessel anastomosis had not yet been completed. Looking at their current speed, they would need at least an hour and a half. But the patient was only 5 years old, and if they wanted all 8 fingers to be functional, they had to seize every minute and second. But Ling Ran was not inferior to the deputy directors in the room. Because he could do it, he could not stop. Wang Hai Yang turned to Ling Ran and said, Ling Ran, you continue with the ring finger on the left. Ling Ran looked at the MRI of the left hand. It seemed that the tendons, blood vessels, and nerves were not much different from the previous finger. But the finger was severed in the middle of the bone, so it was necessary to perform bone shortening. The finger would be about 0, 0.5 centimeters. After reading the film, Ling Ran also had a plan in mind. At this moment, Ma Yi Lin had just finished suturing the skin of the previous finger. Immediately afterwards, the two of them began to reconnect the left ring finger. With the assistance of the perfect severed finger microsurgery technique, Ling Ran quickly completed the suturing of this finger, which shocked everyone. How could Ling Ran's speed be so fast? But Wang Hai Yang was used to it, and he turned to Ling Ran and asked cheerfully, Can you continue? Ling Ran replied that he could. Wang Hai Yang then handed over the left little finger that Dr. Fei had originally planned to do to Ling Ran. 
Dr. Fay was a little flustered on the side. He comforted himself that it did not matter if the speed was fast or not. His severed finger replantation quality was higher, and the recovery process would also be better. But after finishing the two fingers, Ling Ran had already adapted to the perfect severed finger microsurgery technique, and could also be integrated into the interior. Then, Ling Ran and Ma Yi Lin began to suture the third finger. But at this time, they were a little tired, as today's surgery was really difficult. In the past, they did not feel tired after completing a three-layer suture, but now they were already tired before finishing three fingers. But the surgery was very important. Ling Ran took an energy drink, dispelling the feeling of fatigue. At this time, Dr. Fei finally completed the first finger. After taking off his microscope, he proudly asked Wang Hai Yang if he needed help. Wang Hai Yang said no. After being rejected, Dr. Fei thought to himself that he had nothing to do now anyway, so he might as well go and watch Ling Ran's surgery. Although he could not see the details under the microscope, Ling Ran's expression was very relaxed, and his movements were skilled and without hesitation. This showed that his surgery was going very smoothly, and more importantly, the surgical process was like dancing an elegant and gorgeous waltz. Such a surgery could be considered perfect. At this time, Wang Hai Yang, who was beside him, was so tired that his head was full of sweat. He raised his head and asked Ling Ran if the third finger was finished. Ling Ran said that the nerves were almost connected, but this little finger needed skin grafting. Wang Hai Yang waved to the skin grafting doctor and said, Dr. Kong, you can do the skin grafting. You come over here and help me. Ling Ran changed the battlefield again, and began to suture the fourth finger. With Ling Ran's cooperation, Wang Hai Yang felt much more relaxed. The people around were all stunned. How come after this kid cooperated with old Wang, the surgery went from difficult to easy? Half an hour later, Wang Hai Yang was so tired that he was panting. It seemed that he could not ignore his old age, and there was no way he could operate on both fingers. So he handed over the artery and vein anastomosis to Ling Ran to suture. Without much effort, Ling Ran sutured both arteries. When everyone saw this, the same thought flashed in their eyes. It was, so handsome, so cool. The best of the best, absolutely amazing. At the same time, the system also sent nine primary treasure chests. Praise from colleagues was the greatest reward for a doctor. After the surgery was over, Ling Ran saw Huo Kongjun waiting outside the operating room as soon as he walked out. Director Huo stepped forward and asked Ling Ran, Why didn't your mother go home in the middle of the night, and even brought a movie star to wait for you outside? Little brat, what on earth have you been doing outside? Ling Ran received a message, saying that his mother had brought a big movie star to wait at the door. He immediately ran over to take a look. As soon as he got close, he heard his mother talking to the other person. If there's anything about Meng Shui in the future, just let me know in advance. I've already made arrangements for Ling Ran, so it definitely won't be a problem. Unexpectedly, Ling Ran appeared beside her the next second. He asked his mother what arrangements she had made for him. Only then did Ling Ran notice that the female celebrity his mother had brought was Meng Shui. Apparently, after the concert ended, her shoulders and neck seemed to be in trouble again, so she came to bother Dr. Ling to give her a massage. Ling Ran only found it strange. What kind of injury could happen so quickly? Was the concert that strenuous? Seeing her son's suspicious expression, Dao Ping knew that he must be thinking about something strange. She put her hand on Ling Ran's shoulder and warned him not to embarrass her. She already said so. Mom knows your skills, and you'll definitely make her feel comfortable in less than 20 minutes. These ambiguous words would make anyone who heard them speechless. But Huo Kongjun, who was nearby, happened to see the scene. He suddenly realized that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The support of the celebrities, plus the great success of the severed finger replantation surgery last night. This was definitely a great opportunity to turn Ling Ran into a star doctor. The next morning, Ling Ran, who had not slept for a few hours, appeared at the hospital early in the morning. As soon as he arrived at the nurse's station, he was informed by the leader that he would go to the conference room as soon as he arrived at the hospital today. Ling Ran did not understand what was going on yet, when suddenly a patient came looking for him with gifts and a banner. He came to thank Ling Ran for the tendon repair surgery he had performed. The two of them also bought a lobster and insisted on showing him how to peel a lobster with their hands. Under the urging of the nurse, Ling Ran and the patient's family went to the conference room together. Seeing that Dr. Fei and Dr. Guo were also there, the patient immediately said, that's great. Everyone can watch him peel the lobster. Seeing that a patient had come to express his gratitude, the reporter, Zhou Ya Wen, 
quickly recorded this scene. Ling Ran was stunned when he saw this. It turned out that the severed finger replantation surgery he had participated in yesterday had been reported by the media. They had sent someone to interview him. It just so happened that a patient had come to express his gratitude today. The reporter had arranged for them to film the scene of the banner being presented. The other doctors on the side were both envious and jealous. They had to eat lobster in a sour mood. At this moment, Zhou Ya Wen had an idea. She suggested that the patient peel the lobster for Ling Ren to eat, so that everyone could feel the affection between the patient and the doctor. Ling Ren felt that it was a bit ridiculous, and Dr. Wang reminded him that he seemed to be incooperative. All of this was for Yun Hua, so he had to cooperate. As soon as the lobster peeling scene was filmed, someone rushed into the conference room looking for Wang Haiyang. He shouted, something's wrong. The patient who is addicted to cigarettes has a severed finger. Now his finger has a blood clot, and the blood is not circulating. Wang Haiyang sighed. It seems that we have to prepare for amputation. Ling Ran said that it was not time to sigh. With that, he prepared to go to the operating room to perform a miracle. In the eyes of reporter Zhou Ya Wen, this was another good piece of material. She had already thought of a headline. The patient must have an amputation to be saved. And this was definitely shocking news. Zhou Ya Wen carried the camera and followed him. As she was about to enter the monitoring room, she was informed that outsiders were not allowed in the room. But Dr. Wang whispered to her. If she wanted information about Ling Ran, she could go to the nurse's station and ask. Or go to the emergency department and find Lu Wenbin. Zhou Ya Wen felt as if she had discovered a new world. And she immediately went to the nurse's station and asked the nurses what they thought of Dr. Ling. But unfortunately, the nurse on duty was not very close to Dr. Ling. She told her to go to the parking lot to find Lu Xilin. She emphasized that her relationship with Dr. Ling was not simple. Zhou Ya Wen suddenly smelled the scent of gossip. If she could dig up some news about this romantic relationship, it would be amazing. Zhou Ya Wen immediately went to the parking lot to interview Lu Xilin. When she heard that she was going to interview Ling Ran, she asked in surprise, is our Ling Ran going to be famous? Zhou Ya Wen heard her intimate way of addressing him, and knew that there was something fishy going on. She immediately asked, Dr. Ling is an intern, but in such a short period of time, he has become a pillar of Yunhua Hospital, so do you know what his secret is? Of course it's because our Ling Ran is a genius among geniuses. Lu Xilin then began to tell Zhou Ya Wen the story of their first meeting. Up until today, she talked for several hours before she finished telling all of Ling Ran's heroic deeds. But there was not much news that could be reported. Zhou Ya Wen went to Lu Wenbin in the emergency department again. But unexpectedly, Lu Wenbin was even more exaggerated than Lu Xilin. He said that Dr. Ling only led his team to do things that other teams could not do. At the same time, he did not forget to praise himself. In order to keep up with Dr. Ling's progress, he had to wear diapers into the operating room. Because he did not even have time to go to the toilet when he was assisting Ling Ran. But now he was used to it. Just then, a doctor came to inform Lu Wenbin that Dr. Ling had finished his work. And asked him to prepare for the next few surgeries. He also specially instructed him that in case of any accidents, Lu Wenbin should remember to prepare diapers in advance. Knowing that Dr. Ling had finished his surgery, Zhou Ya Wen immediately ran over to interview him. Seeing Wang Haiyang give Ling Ran a thumbs up, Zhou Ya Wen understood that Ling Ran had once again saved a patient. As soon as Ling Ran walked out of the operating room, Lu Wenbin was full of enthusiasm and wanted to perform the severed finger replantation surgery with him. He now felt that the latter suture technique was no longer difficult for him. Ling Ran also had that intention, and patted Lu Wenbin on the shoulder and said, then let's do 50 cases first, because he had just been thanked by the patient's family. Ling Ran had received the professional skill of the running vertical mattress suture. At the same time, a new mission appeared replant 50 severed fingers. The reward was an intermediate treasure chest, a primary treasure chest, and a new suturing skill. These were all common items, but it was the first time he had seen an intermediate treasure chest. Ling Ran was eager to see it. After a day of continuous work, the two of them finally returned to the restroom. Seeing Ling Ran return, Huo Kongjun, who had been waiting for a long time, suddenly woke up. Because Ma Yanlin had been transferred to the hand surgery department, Director Huo knew that Ling Ran would be even busier, so he found a new assistant for Ling Ran who was very capable, and who had also achieved very good results in their department, Dr. Yu Yuan. Then he called out to Yu Yuan, who was lying next to him. Yu Yuan yawned and stood up with her hair in a mess. She introduced herself, 
Hello, Dr. Lang, I'm Yu Yuan, a specialist in proctology, and a graduate of Tongji University. Everyone was stunned when they heard her specialty. Why would a proctologist come to the emergency department? Yu Yuan then explained, when I was studying for my master's degree, I majored in emergency medicine, but I was more interested in proctology. So when I was studying for my master's degree, I always researched proctology problems. Even my graduation thesis was an investigative analysis of the relationship between female college students behavior and proctological diseases. Liu Wenbin thought to himself, why are you talking about such a smelly topic in the middle of the night? The next day, Yu Yuan participated in Ling Ran's surgery as the second assistant. While Ling Ran was reading the film, Liu Wenbin asked Yu Yuan curiously, what was the final conclusion of your graduation thesis? Yu Yuan said that it was related to lifestyle habits. The toilets in the university were mainly squat toilets, and female students did not have the habit of cleaning themselves after using the toilet. Cleaning the anus was very important. It was difficult to clean thoroughly after using only toilet paper. Residual feces would pollute the skin. And over time, it would weaken the local resistance, increasing the risk of proctological diseases. Liu Wenbin found this explanation very convincing. At this time, Ling Ran had finished reading the film and had a surgical plan. He announced that the surgery was officially beginning. Unexpectedly, Yu Yuan caused trouble at this time. She kept calling for a stop as soon as the surgery began. She thought that the patient had compartment syndrome, and that the soft tissue was severely damaged. It would be very difficult to perform microsurgery, and even if the patient recovered, the chances of functional recovery would be very low. Ling Ran asked curiously, have you had any contact with the Department of Orthopedics before? Why are you so familiar with this? Yu Yuan explained that she had been interested in emergency medicine before. Yu Yuan talked in detail about most of the cases of compartment syndrome and what to look out for when encountering and dealing with this situation. Liu Wenbin exclaimed from the side. Unexpectedly, Yu Yuan was a hidden expert, just like Ling Ran at that time. Not showy, not ostentatious. He would strike when the time was right. It seemed that he was about to fall to the position of second assistant. Ling Ran also admired Yu Yuan's professional knowledge. Although he had mastered the technique of perfect replantation of severed fingers, his knowledge of compartment syndrome alone was not as good as Yu Yuan's. Her understanding of this situation was indeed very rich. It seemed that it would be very easy to cooperate with her. Then he asked Yu Yuan to bring over the forceps to give it a try. But unexpectedly, Yu Yuan only took one look, and could already tell that he was looking for the vein. Even Ling Ran looked at her with different eyes because of this speed. Liu Wenbin, needless to say, had already decided that he would fall to the position of second assistant. Yu Yuan explained that because she had just seen Dr. Ling loosen the hemostatic bandage, the artery had already been sutured, so of course he was now looking for the vein. Ling Ran found this girl very useful, so he gave Yu Yuan the task of washing. Because the blood vessel suture time was very long, it had to be washed with saline regularly to prevent it from drying out. This was a very basic operation, but unexpectedly, Yu Yuan seemed to be pouring foot washing water, pouring it straight out. The two of them looked at Yu Yuan with puzzled expressions. Why are you suddenly as clumsy as a newbie? What's wrong with Yu Yuan? She hurriedly apologized. Liu Wenbin looked at her with suspicion. Ling Ran was still very calm and continued to suture, and asked her to get another basin to wash it again. This time, Yu Yuan was very careful, but the water flow was too small. Ling Ran kept asking her to increase the speed, but the water flow still did not meet the requirements. After Ling Ran repeatedly emphasized that she should increase the speed, Yu Yuan unexpectedly poured the whole basin of water out. Ling Ran and Liu Wenbin were both stunned by her strange behavior. It seemed that Dr. Yu was a clumsy person, who was only good at theory. At this time, Ling Ran discovered that her gloves were stained with blood. Microsurgery required a high level of detail, because blood could easily stick to the suture. Therefore, the basic requirement was that the gloves and instruments should not be stained with blood. Yu Yuan looked at her bloody gloves, and had no idea when she had gotten blood on them. After changing into new gloves, Ling Ran asked her to hold the Debeki forceps. These were forceps specially designed for clamping blood vessels. The jaws were specially designed with concave and convex serrations, round and small, which ensured that the blood vessels and other delicate tissues would only be subjected to very little pressure when clamped. When using them, it was absolutely forbidden to clamp the intima of the blood vessel. The adventitia could only be clamped when necessary, and it had to be done gently. Having said that, 
Yu Yuan began to try clamping the blood vessel, but because she was too nervous, she failed to clamp it properly twice in a row. Ling Ran reminded her that this type of forceps had been chosen after many surgeries. There was no need to use force, and there was no fear of it becoming loose. Only then did Yu Yuan understand that this was the kind of forceps that did not require force. After Yu Yuan learned how to use the Debeki forceps, Ling Ran took the opportunity to quickly finish suturing the blood vessel. To the next blood vessel, in order to keep up with Ling Ran's fast pace. Yu Yuan did not dare to breathe a sigh of relief. She had finally finished suturing the blood vessels, and began to suture the nerves. At this time, Yu Yuan reminded Ling Ran that although the nerve anastomosis technique was more effective than the epineural anastomosis technique, it took too much time. It was usually not used in severed finger replantation. Moreover, the nerve anastomosis technique was very prone to selecting the wrong nerve. Once the wrong one was chosen, it would be better to use the epineural anastomosis technique. Just as Yu Yuan was still talking, Ling Ran suddenly looked up and said that he had finished suturing. Yu Yuan was so surprised that her mouth fell open. Open. Had such a difficult surgery already been sutured? Ling Ran then handed over the task of suturing the skin to Lu Wenbin, ending the surgery. After Ling Ran left, Lu Wenbin praised Yu Yuan for her good flattery. She clearly knew that Ling Ran was very good at suturing nerves, but she still deliberately said how difficult the surgery was. Wasn't that just praising him? Yu Yuan hurriedly explained that she did not do it on purpose. But Lu Wenbin said that it did not matter, because now everyone was one team. I feel that there is one thing that I should tell you in advance advance. Yu Yuan thought that she had just offended something that Dr. Ling tabooed. But Lu Wenbin said this. Something that is 100 times more terrifying than taboos, is that Dr. Ling will keep performing surgeries, keep performing them. Hearing this, Yu Yuan was so scared that she almost cried. She then swore that when she got back, she would definitely do a good summary. But Lu Wenbin advised her not to do such useless things. We only have half an hour to rest. We must cherish this time. When you follow Boss Ling to perform surgeries, there are many things that cannot be predicted. Moreover, you don't need to summarize. Because very soon, it will become your muscle memory. At this time, a nurse called the two of them to quickly go to operating room number two. Dr. Ling was waiting for them there. Yu Yuan only then understood that what was meant by Dr. Ling performing surgeries continuously did not mean that he had a lot of surgeries to do. Instead, it was the literal meaning of the words, meaning that he would often perform surgeries continuously. Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan entered operating room number two. He asked Ling Ran if there was an emergency. Ling Ran said that this case was referred by Dr. Wang from the hand surgery room. The patient had a cervical spine injury and was right-handed, and his right thumb had been crushed. Without a thumb, life would be very inconvenient in the future. So I want to take the big toe from his right foot and perform a thumb reconstruction surgery. The so-called thumb defect reconstruction is to cut off the big toe, then connect it to the thumb position of the hand, thereby restoring the thumb's grasping function. Generally speaking, the second toe is the most suitable for reconstruction, but the patient's second toe was very small, and its thickness did not meet the requirements for surgery. So Ling Ran decided to use the big toe from the patient's right foot for the surgery. The first task now was to cut off the toe. Ling Ran told Yu Yuan and Lu Wenbin to be responsible for cleaning the wound, while he performed the cutting. But he had forgotten that Yu Yuan was a clumsy doctor, and she had made constant mistakes as soon as she started. Lu Wenbin suggested that she just clean the wound first, and not let Yu Yuan practice anymore. Ling Ran nodded, and then told Yu Yuan to be responsible for using the instruments to clean the wound. After cleaning, Ling Ran drew a line on the patient's toe, and then cut off the toe. When he cut off the toe, a lot of blood gushed out. Ling Ran told Yu Yuan not to panic, to first use suction, and then looked up and asked Yu Yuan what she thought about the surgery. Yu Yuan said that according to the MRI results, the patient's big toe had been deformed. It would be better to cut the bone after slightly loosening the joint. Hearing this, Lu Wenbin looked at Yu Yuan in surprise. He thought to himself, what was she thinking? Doing so would definitely increase the difficulty of the surgery. Someone who could not even do a good job of cleaning cleaning and suturing the wound dared to make requests about the surgical technique to Dr. Ling. Ling Ran agreed with Yu Yuan's point of view, although doing so would increase the difficulty a little, but for the patient, it was indeed the optimal solution. So he began to take the first step, loosen the surrounding soft tissue. With the cooperation of many people, the toe amputation surgery was successfully completed. Next was the anastomosis of the blood vessels in the hand. Another hour passed, and Ling Ran announced that the thumb reconstruction surgery was complete. 
wait. This time, Yu Yuan stepped forward and asked when the next surgery would begin. She still wanted to follow Ling Ran to continue learning. Yu Yuan knew that she was very messy in her practice, and it was very likely that she would disturb Ling Ran. So she asked Ling Ran if it was okay even if she did not practice. Ling Ran said that as long as she wanted to, she could follow him at any time. However, before that, Lu Wenbin needed to guide Yu Yuan in practicing more, just like how they used pig trotters to practice suturing before. So after work, Lu Wenbin would guide Yu Yuan in practicing. When they were working, Ling Ran's team would cooperate with each other. A few days later, Ling Ran's task of reconnecting 50 severed fingers was successfully completed. While waiting for the intermediate treasure chest to open, Ling Ran seemed a little nervous, secretly thinking that he would not open another bottle of energy potion again. For example, the advanced energy potion, which allowed one to not sleep for half a year after drinking it. But when he opened it, he only saw a red bottle. At the same time, the system notified him that he had received the medicine. All skills would be increased by one level, which could improve all skills by one level, lasting for two hours. For skills that one did not have yet, one could reach the introductory level after drinking it. It could be upgraded to the legendary level. Ling Ran was curious and wanted to try it right away. But then he thought again that it would be a waste to use it up just to see what it was like. So he decided to keep it for now. Maybe he could use it someday. This patient could eat two bowls of rice at each meal, but had not had a bowel movement in more than 10 days. After the examination, Dr. Joe suspected that it was an intestinal obstruction, and that surgery was necessary. It turned out that because the hospital beds had been full these past few days, Ling Ran had performed very few surgeries, so Dr. Joe had dragged him to the reception hall to look for special patients. There, they found a patient who was suffering from severe abdominal pain. The patient's family said that she had just had an appendectomy, and that she had suddenly developed abdominal pain a few days ago, and that her bowel movements had been irregular. Dr. Joe found that the patient's bowel sounds were very weak. It was very likely to be an intestinal obstruction in the elderly. He told the patient's family to have the patient examined in detail. As soon as Ling Ran heard that the patient had an intestinal obstruction, he called Yu Yuan, the expert in proctology. Yu Yuan ran over excitedly and asked where the intestinal obstruction was. Dr. Zhou gave her a thumbs up, and said that he would try to let her practice. After all, this was a very difficult task. The results of the examination were out. The patient not only had an intestinal obstruction, but also a narrow intestinal obstruction. This condition was very serious, and it seemed that surgery was necessary. But before they could enter the operating room, Dr. Joe handed out masks to everyone and told them to put them on first. Ling Ran still did not know how serious the problem was, and he asked why they were putting on masks so early. Dr. Joe only said that this was the most dangerous type of intestinal obstruction. As for how dangerous it was, he did not say. Yu Yuan excitedly asked if she could be an assistant. Dr. Joe sighed, and said that he would continue after opening the abdomen. After all, this patient had not had a bowel movement in several days. Moreover, he had heard that this old woman could eat two bowls of rice at a meal, so there must be a lot of inventory inside. When Dr. Zhou opened the abdominal cavity, foul smell wafted out. Only then did Ling Ran understand why everyone had been asked to put on masks so early. So that was the reason. Dr. Joe examined the situation, and found that the situation was not as serious as he had expected, so it was easier to deal with. Then he asked Yu Yuan, you've been observing all this time, right? Do you know what the next step is? Yu Yuan answered confidently, now is the time to expel all the feces. Dr. Joe smiled slyly, that's right, there's a week's worth of feces accumulated here, not to mention the old feces from before, aren't you excited? Yu Yuan's eyes lit up, and she said, of course I'm excited. Dr. Joe sighed again when he heard this. Yu Yuan, what I mean is that we have to take the feces out now. I know, said Yu Yuan. I read a paper on this before. When removing feces, it is common to contaminate the abdominal cavity and the surgical wound. So you can use a plastic bag wrapped around a fiber optic cable and insert it into the abdominal cavity, tying off one end. Then insert a plastic tube into the intestine and place it in the plastic bag in front. This way, the feces in the intestine can be put into the plastic bag. Dr. Joe thought to himself that Yu Yuan was so knowledgeable that he let her do it. Yu Yuan did not expect to be the primary surgeon, and she was very happy, but she still asked Ling Ran if he wanted to do it. Ling Ran quickly waved his hand and said no, and let her do it. So Yu Yuan began to remove the feces. After a while, she had removed two bags full of feces. By this time, the nurses could hardly bear it anymore, and they asked Dr. Yu how much more there was. Yu Yuan's face turned red as she replied, it's still early. 
This is just the digested part. Then she continued to take it out with enthusiasm. It seems that this old woman likes to eat rice. There are still a lot of undigested bamboo shoots. She just had an appendectomy. And she ate this. Of course it won't be digested. Yu Yuan cleaned up half of it and then turned to ask Dr. Zhou. Did I clean up the lower part first? And then go from the upper intestine to the lower intestine? Is that okay? After getting Dr. Zhou's approval, Yu Yuan began to remove the feces again. Seeing Yu Yuan working so hard, Dr. Zhou couldn't help but complain to himself. Can you even get addicted to removing feces? This idiot thinks the operating room is an exam room. So he told Yu Yuan to hurry up. Because the patient's abdomen had not been opened yet, Yu Yuan subconsciously sped up when she heard this, and finally removed four full bags. After the surgery, the two nurses immediately ran out of the room. As they walked, they complained about the unbearable smell, and said that they had to go wash their hands and change their clothes right away. Dr. Joe couldn't help but laugh when he saw this. These are really a bunch of greenhorns. They can't even stand intestinal obstruction in the elderly. If it were in the general surgery department, it would be a common thing to encounter such patients. Look at how strong they are and learn from them. Ling Ran was secretly glad. Fortunately, I came into contact with the microsurgery department first. Although the work is a little harder, at least it's cleaner than the general surgery department. Seeing that Ling Ran didn't like the general surgery department very much, Dr. Joe told him a story about when he was a student in the anatomy lab with a cadaver teacher. Dr. Joe said that he was not afraid of anything, and that he would do whatever needed to be done. The younger generation nowadays is really not like the old days. The so-called cadaver teacher is a respectful term used in the medical community for those who donate their bodies. Also known as the silent teacher, Yu Yuan, who was standing next to him, was very surprised. Aren't you afraid even at night? Hearing Yu Yuan's question, Dr. Zhou glanced at her. What are you surprised about? Compared to what you do, I'm just normal. Then, they went back to the lounge. Yu Yuan bought some pig trotters for everyone to eat to regain their strength. But when Ling Ran saw a tray of golden pig trotters, his face turned pale. He said that he was not hungry for the time being, so he would not eat. Dr. Zhou suggested that they wait for another patient. Neither of you have ever performed an appendectomy, right? Let's wait for a patient with acute appendicitis. It's better to arrive early than to arrive on time. Soon after, a patient with acute appendicitis arrived. Dr. Zhou waved his hand and said that he would take the patient, and then conducted a simple examination on the patient. The pain is suppressed, but the sharp pain is not clear. Suspected appendicitis. I suggest we take an x-ray first, because observation alone is not reliable. Soon after, the radiology department sent over the x-rays, but after Dr. Joe and Ling Ran read the x-rays, they found something wrong. This was another case of intestinal obstruction. Yu Yuan was immediately excited when she heard this. Dr. Zhou and Lin Ran looked at each other, and then stepped back to let Yu Yuan perform the surgery. She felt very happy at this moment, as if it was a day blessed by gods and angels. Also an intern, while Lin Ran had become an attending physician, his friend Wang Zhuangyang was still doing odd jobs. And when it was time for the department rotation, he transferred to the emergency department. This time, Wang Zhuangyang vowed to seize the opportunity. Then he would become someone who could take care of everything on his own, just like Ling Ran. But just as he was encouraging himself, another intern took his garbage. Come on, man. You're even taking my garbage. As the lowest level intern, working hard is the only way. Come on. Wang Zhuangyang. You can't lose when it comes to working hard. Before he could take a few steps, he bumped into Lu Wenbin. Wang Zhuangyang was so scared when he saw this tall and strong man that he kept apologizing. Lu Wenbin rubbed his shoulder and asked him if he was an intern. Wang Zhuangyang panicked and stammered, yes, yes. Lu Wenbin grabbed his hand and told him to help him with something. Then the two of them went to the practice room. Wang Zhuangyang looked at the room full of pig trotters and chicken feet and wondered why he had bought so many pig trotters and chicken feet. Lu Wenbin told him to wash them all, pluck the hair clean, and then cut the chicken feet nails. He also allowed Wang Zhuangyang to use a microscope to pluck the pig hair. Wang Zhuangyang was very excited to hear that he could use a microscope. He had been an intern for so long, but he had never used one before. Two hours later, Wang Zhuangyang had cleaned the pig trotters. Lu Wenbin was very satisfied when he saw this, and thought to himself that although the boy looked silly, he was very serious about his work. At this moment, Wang Zhuangyang suddenly asked him if he knew Ling Ran. Lu Wenbin suddenly felt a sense of foreboding, so he asked him back if he knew him, more than just knowing him. We're in the same dormitory at school. We're so close, it's like we're wearing the same pair of shorts. Wang Zhuangyang's answer made Lu Wenbin freeze. 
it was true that what one feared would come true. Thinking of this, he immediately raised his hand to grab the chicken foot from Wang Zhuangyang's hand and told him that he didn't need to cut the nails anymore. But Wang Zhuangyang thought that Lu Wenbin thought he was cutting too slowly. In order to get his hands on a real surgery, there was only one thought in his mind, and that was to never let Dr. Lu abandon him. Seeing that Wang Zhuangyang had no intention of letting go, Lu Wenbin completely collapsed. The big brother who wears shorts with the boss Ling. If you continue like this, how can I face him? At this moment, Lu Wenbin felt as if he could see Ling Ren questioning him why he was ordering his classmate around like this. Lu Wenbin snatched the chicken foot from Wang Zhuangyang's hand, and told him that he didn't need to cut the nails anymore. It was enough. Wang Zhuangyang saw that Lu Wenbin was sweating profusely and hurriedly handed him a towel to wipe his sweat. This action made Lu Wenbin blush, and he thought to himself, why didn't I meet such a considerate guy before? Now I'm stuck in such an awkward relationship. Lu Wenbin sighed and asked Wang Zhuangyang what he wanted to learn by following him to the emergency department. Wang Zhuangyang answered shyly, I've never performed a surgery before. I want to perform a surgery. Then Lu Wenbin took him to the treatment room. There are some patients here with minor injuries. You can perform minor surgeries on them first. Lu Wenbin let Wang Zhuangyang observe once. Sterilization, disinfection, wound suturing. Everything was very skillful. Unexpectedly, Wang Zhuangyang fainted as soon as he saw it. This is not what I learned in school. Lu Wenbin turned around and said, How long have the cadaver teachers in your school been soaking in formalin? This is fresh stuff. When Wang Zhuangyang heard this, he immediately thought of the fresh cadaver teacher, and his mouth began to water, and then a rainbow of vomit spewed out of his mouth. The intern Ling Ran had not been here for long, and the director of the surgery department wanted to take him to perform an emergency surgery. So called emergency surgery meant taking a plane to another hospital to perform surgery. Generally speaking, those who paid for emergency surgery were either for medical exchanges, or the patient's condition was too complicated and they needed to invite assistance. Therefore, generally speaking, those who could perform emergency surgery were all famous in the medical field. But Ling Ran thought that he had just become famous, and was not qualified enough to perform emergency surgery. Wang Hai Yang laughed and said, they only invited me, but I'm too tired, so I brought you along. Surgery will be much easier. The tickets have already been bought. The patient has two severed fingers, and the cost of the emergency surgery can be split in half. Ling Ran thought about how he didn't have a practicing certificate yet, but following him could still broaden his horizons. So he agreed. Agreed. Two hours later, the two of them took a high-speed train to Yichuan County Hospital. Kong Xiangming, the director of the hospital's second orthopedics department, led the reception team. But when they saw Ling Ran, who looked like a young scholar, they thought he was just someone Wang Haiyang had brought along to look good on paper. Don't judge a book by its cover. Kong Xiangming still greeted them with a smile. After some greetings, they went to the conference room to discuss the patient's condition. Half an hour later, they came up with a plan to reconnect the severed fingers. But Ling Ran said that he wanted to add a few more points. Kong Xiangming immediately looked at him with disdain. Thinking to himself, he's just here to look good on paper. Pretending to add something? Do you have that ability? Ling Ran slowly stood up and said, I think that the patient's digital artery arch shows signs of vascular rupture, and it should be incised and sutured at that time. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. It seemed that this guy was not just a pretty face. Although some blood vessels of the digital artery arch could be sutured or not, but to be able to see the patient's vascular rupture based on the MRI film alone, even many experienced doctors could not do it. Kong Xiangming broke out in a cold sweat. It seemed that this guy was not here to look good on paper but to be a helper for Lao Wang. He changed his attitude immediately and hurriedly gave up his seat to Ling Ran, and asked someone to take them both to change their clothes. When changing clothes, Wang Haiyang told Ling Ran that the opening of the blood vessels in this hospital must follow the low-risk plan. Ling Ran understood the meaning of this. The so-called low-risk plan was to connect more blood vessels, because the core element of reconnecting a severed finger is blood. As long as the blood is flowing, the severed finger can survive. However, connecting more blood vessels also means prolonging the surgery time, or finding ways to save time in other aspects. During the surgery, Wang Hai Yang and Ling Ran worked together seamlessly, completely in sync. For an older doctor, there was nothing more comfortable than having a well-coordinated assistant. It was even more comfortable than having someone carry you through a marathon. Everyone who watched was amazed. They never thought that there would be such a thing as alternative medicine in the world. This was the most advanced form of flattery in the medical field. However, when the surgery was halfway through, Wang Haiyang suddenly handed the scalpel to Ling Ran and asked him to be the primary surgeon. This shocked everyone even more. If the emergency surgery failed, 
the reputation of the primary surgeon would be damaged. Hong Xiangming did not believe that a cunning person like Wang Haiyang would let Ling Ran practice during an emergency surgery. There must be another reason. So he stepped forward and asked Ling Ran. Dr. Ling, what's your strategy for suturing the main blood vessels? Ling Ran replied that the patient's blood vessels were a bit stiff, so he would suture them according to the blood vessels of an elderly person. Hearing Ling Ran's answer, Kong Xiangming was shocked. He did not expect that Wang Haiyang would give the stiffer and harder to suture blood vessels to Ling Ran. In other words, this Dr. Ling was actually better than Wang Haiyang. Dr. Ling was the real top doctor of Yunhua Hospital. Ling Ran held the scalpel and sutured as fast as lightning, so fast that there was even an afterimage. Kong Xiangming, who was standing beside him, was shocked, and thought to himself, this guy isn't just sewing randomly, is he? Not long after, Ling Ran finished suturing the blood vessels and nerves, and turned to ask Kong Xiangming if he wanted to suture the skin. Normally, doctors who were invited to perform emergency surgeries would not let others touch the surgery. Ling Ran's intention was to let Kong Xiangming confirm again whether there were any problems with the surgery. If there were any problems later, it would be even more troublesome. Kong Xiangming observed carefully through the microscope. The blood vessels were sutured in the right position. The nerves were sutured in the right position. The severed finger was reattached in the right position. Ling Ran had really finished everything. Only the skin suture was left. After Kong Xiangming sutured the skin, the surgery was officially over. But just as Ling Ran and Wang Haiyang were about to leave, he kept the two of them in the canteen for dinner. Wang Haiyang looked at him with a puzzled expression. Normally, emergency surgeons would leave immediately after finishing the surgery. Now that Kong Xiangming had asked them to stay for dinner, it was obvious that he had something to ask. Sure enough, as soon as they sat down, Kong Xiangming asked the two of them to estimate the outcome of the surgery. Ling Ran said that the rate of achieving excellent results would not be high. The rate of achieving good results would only be slightly higher. There would also be a certain rate of necrosis. Kong Xiangming was shocked when he heard this. He did not expect that the success rate of such an expensive emergency surgery would be so low. Wang Haiyang was also unable to remain calm after hearing this. He asked Ling Ran, what's wrong with you? Is it because you're not familiar with the equipment? Ling Ran explained as he ate. Because the patient's blood vessels and nerves were both quite poor, he could only estimate the survival rate based on the survival rate of severed fingers in 70-year-olds. Wang Haiyang felt quite uncomfortable after hearing this. He did not expect that the patient's blood vessels were in such bad condition. And if the surgery failed, it would be troublesome. It was really not a good idea to accept this emergency surgery. Kong Xiangming was also anxious. But now, the most important the important thing was to ask about the worst possible outcome so that they could make arrangements in advance. He raised his head and asked Ling Ran what the probability of an excellent outcome would be. But Ling Ran said that the probability of an excellent outcome was about 90%. Kong Xiangming's face was full of question marks when he heard this. Didn't you just say that the rate of excellent results was not high? Ling Ran explained, I said that the rate of excellent results is not high, but the rate of good results is very high. Moreover, the patient's blood vessels are very poor, so it's not surprising that there are some unexpected situations. And necrosis is also possible. Also, when explaining to the patient's family, it's better to be a little more modest. Hearing Ling Ran say this, Wang Haiyang and Kong Xiangming finally breathed a sigh of relief and burst into laughter. You're so modest that you scared the hell out of these old guys. Don't be so modest in the future. Next day, when Ling Ran returned to Yunhua Hospital, the nurses rushed over to take pictures with him. It turned out that the news of his emergency surgery had spread to the nurse's station. Just as everyone was taking pictures, a nurse rushed over. A decorator had accidentally cut off two of his fingers while cutting glazed tiles. In about an hour, the patient's wife arrived at the hospital. She earnestly begged Ling Ran to save her husband's life, saying that without the pillar of their family, they would collapse. The woman hugged her daughter tightly, pleading with Ling Ran to save her husband. The family had died of cancer one after another, leaving behind a large debt. The husband, Yuan Wei, worked day and night to pay off the debt, but accidentally cut off two of his fingers. If he could not be cured, the family's life would be very difficult in the future. After Ling Ran understood the whole story, his nose felt sour, and he immediately told the radio radiology department to get ready. As soon as the patient arrived, they would perform a magnetic resonance imaging scan. At this moment, the system issued a mission to perform a perfect severed finger replantation microsurgery to reattach the patient's finger completely, and the reward would
would be an intermediate treasure chest. Not long after, the patient arrived. The magnetic resonance imaging scan was also available. At this moment, Ling Ran thought for a while. What exactly would be considered a perfect severed finger replantation? Stitching without leaving scars or cutting off the periosteum. But these two things were basically impossible to do. So, it could only be considered from the perspective of perfect function. Although he had the legendary skill enhancement drug, he only needed to reach the perfect level for now. Preserving his title would be a bit of a waste. To perform this surgery perfectly, Ling Ran called over the members who had worked well together before. Based on the magnetic resonance imaging scan, the patient's injury was at the most basic level, so there was not much room for improvement. So, they had to do well in every detail, and try to improve the completion rate of the surgery. So, consumables and instruments were also a very important link. Thinking of this, Ling Ran called the chief pharmacist of Xiyang Pharmaceutical Company, and asked him to bring the best medical consumables and medical instruments here within an hour. If possible, it would be even better to try them out, because he had no money. This no money made the chief pharmacist panic, but he still said that it was no problem. After all, Yunhua Hospital was the largest hospital in the city, so it was normal for them to try it out. In less than 20 minutes, the chief pharmacist had delivered the necessary equipment. Now, there was no other problem with performing a perfect severed finger replantation. While Ling Ran was fighting in the operating room, Yuan Wei's wife could not imagine the days to come if her husband became disabled. Not to mention the family's huge debt. Even the gossip of the villagers would be unavoidable. She and her husband could bear it, but what about their child? He was still so young. At this moment, the surgery was completed, and Yuan Wei was pushed out. She immediately rushed over to ask how the surgery went. Before Ling Ran could say anything, Huo Kongjun, who had just arrived, smiled and said to her, The surgery was very successful. I watched it in the monitoring room. Now, he just needs to do some rehabilitation exercises and he will be able to use his finger. Hearing director Huo say this, Yuan Wei's wife's heart finally settled down. She told her daughter to bow her head and thank the doctor. Early the next morning, Yunhua Hospital posted a notice that academician Zhu Tongji and his delegation would visit and tour Yunhua Hospital. The department suddenly became busy. Meeting an academician of the Academy of Engineering could be considered the highest honor that a Chinese doctor could receive. Moreover, it would also give them a voice and a say in the medical field. To put it bluntly, whoever showed up in front of him and flattered him a few times would become a sought-after person in the hospital, and might even be promoted quickly. Huo Kongjun thought to himself, if he could get old Ju's support, his dream of a larger emergency department could be more easily realized. The two fingers of the man who had been pricked by the needle did not hurt. Ling Ren carefully observed the two fingers, and muttered to himself, the wound has healed. The recovery is very good. Before Ling Ran could finish speaking, a voice suddenly came from behind, it can be considered a grade A recovery. Ling Ran turned his head and looked at the smiling old man and asked, Excuse me, who is this doctor? He did not answer, but instead asked Ling Ran to show him the patient's x-ray. After looking at the x-ray, he repeatedly praised, the surgery was very good. At this moment, Director Huo hurriedly pushed the door open and called out loudly, Old Zhu. Why did you come to the rehabilitation room first? The hospital director and the others are still waiting for you. Only then did Ling Ran realize that the old man in front of him was academician Zhu Tongji. Old Zhu smiled and replied, I was very curious about the severed finger replantation project that you guys are doing so I came to take a look first. Director Huo did not expect that old Zhu would be interested in his department's project, and immediately felt very honored, and hurriedly invited Zhu Tongji to the meeting room to discuss it in detail. Old Zhu did not expect that the surgery that Ling Ran had performed seven days ago would recover so well. He said that he wanted to hear about the surgical process. Ling Ran stood up and recounted the entire process. After listening, Zhu Tongji was very surprised by Ling Ran's technique and methods. It was because of his superb skills that he was able to perform such a perfect surgery. But the look on his face as he looked at Ling Ran was a little strange. Then, Zhu Tongji said, Dr. Ling, I have a case of a sports star with a sports injury. The requirements for the chief surgeon are quite high. Would you like to try and help me solve it? Before Ling Ran could speak, Huo Kongjun took a step forward and asked, Old Zhu, are you going to be the surgical director? Old Zhu nodded, I have already prepared the plan. I just need a suitable surgeon to hold the scalpel. But I heard that Ling Ran's suture technique is also very good. As long as he trains with me for a while, he will be qualified to be a chief surgeon. Although Old Zhu is old, 
He has not performed surgery for more than 10 years, but he can still design plans and participate in surgeries. With a higher status than the chief surgeon, he can direct the chief surgeon. Director Huo could not remain calm after hearing old Ju's words, so that's why he came to Yunhua. He ran to my emergency department first. It turns out that he came here to poach people. At this moment, Huo Kongjun could not help but worry. Although Yunhua is the top hospital in Shangxi province, but in terms of the whole country, it is only average. What if Ling Ran could not resist the temptation? At this moment, Ling Ran finally spoke up. Yun Hua has very good conditions. I don't want to go elsewhere. The training conditions are also very good. The moment he finished speaking, the system suddenly gave a reminder. Perfect wound suture mission completed. Reward. Intermediate treasure chest. Ling Ran opened the treasure chest to take a look, and inside was actually the perfect Achilles tendon suture technique. Then, streams of information flooded into his mind, and in the blink of an eye, he fully understood the Achilles tendon suture. At this moment, Old Zhu was still trying to persuade Ling Ran. He promised that as long as he went to train with him for a few months, he would definitely let Ling Ran become a chief surgeon. But before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Ling Ran. If it's an Achilles tendon rupture, I can do it. But if you want me to become a chief surgeon, it won't take a few months. But first, I have to practice some things at Yun Hua. Mr. Zhu, please help me find some patients with Achilles tendon ruptures. Hearing this, the other doctors all looked at Ling Ran with disdain. This is old Zhu directing the surgery. Is there room for you to bargain? But when director Huo heard Ling Ran say that he still wanted to stay at Yun Hua to practice, he was so moved that he almost cried. He thought to himself that it was good. Ling Ran still looked up to him. Then there was nothing to be afraid of. Just let him go and train. Huo Kongjun agreed to let Ling Ran go to old Zhu for training. But he could not let him go alone. Then he pointed at Lu Wenbin and said that he should go to Shanghai with Ling Ran for training and be a good assistant to Ling Ran. Two days later, Ling Ran and Lu Wenbin arrived at the Shanghai Vientiane stadium. They were greeted by old Jew's student, Shui Haozu. Shui Haozu asked Ling Ran to rest for a day or two first. Ling Ran looked unhappy when he heard this. Where am I going to rest? Did I come to Shanghai just to rest? Lu Wenbin saw that the boss didn't show any respect to Shui Haozu, and immediately stood up to mediate. It's not a bad thing to rest for two days. Just think of it as getting used to the environment. But after four days had passed, Ling Ran could not bear it anymore. He had not performed surgery for many days, and he felt uncomfortable. Ling Ran asked Lu Wenbin to go to the research center to ask about the situation. Lu Wenbin went to the research center, went to the information office and said, if we don't get to perform surgery, our boss will go back to Yun Hua. Dr. Ku, who was standing next to him, sneered when he heard the words go back in boss. Mere little intern is putting on airs. Lu Wenbin's face immediately darkened when he heard someone say this about his boss. And he asked Dr. Ku what he meant. It's already ridiculous that the director recommended an intern to perform surgery. There's nothing to hide. I've been deliberately ignoring him these days. Besides, I've also watched Ling Ran's surgery videos. His hand tendon repair surgery is quite good. But has he ever performed foot surgery? Shui Haozu spoke up for Ling Ran when he saw this. Dr. Dr. Ku, please give Ling Ren a chance. First, let him perform two surgeries. If there are any problems, we can discuss them further. After all, Ling Ran was invited by my teacher. Dr. Ku thought about it and agreed. If Ling Ran was left here for too long, he would not know how to explain it to old Zhu when he returned. So he called Ling Ran over. As soon as Ling Ran entered, he asked if there were any surgeries that needed to be done. Dr. Ku tapped a thick stack of medical records on the table and told him to do whatever he wanted. He wanted to use the huge number of surgeries to discourage Ling Ran. But he did not expect that he would be so happy. Although Yun Hua can also choose the surgery they want to do but usually the number of surgeries that can be chosen is only a few times. It's different here, the number of surgeries that can be chosen is countless. But since it's my first time here, I still need to adapt to all aspects, so it's better to be safe than sorry. So he chose the simplest and most common case, a patient with a ruptured Achilles tendon. Ling Ran then followed Dr. Ku to the operating room. The patient was a 38-year-old woman with a closed Achilles tendon rupture. It was necessary to perform a suture repair, and then the treatment plan would be decided. After a series of obstacles, Ling Ran's first surgery in Shanghai finally began. But what happened next surprised Dr. Ku greatly. Ling Ran and Dr. Ku gave orders to the nurse at the same time. Expand the structure. 
Dr. Ku did not expect that the two people who were performing surgery together for the first time could cooperate so well. The nurse also cooperated with Ling Ran very well, and Ling Ran's own operations were also very perfect. At this moment, Dr. Ku had a strange feeling, but he couldn't tell what was strange about it for the time being. As the surgery continued, the strange feeling grew stronger. He carefully recalled, from the beginning of the surgery until now, he had not once wanted to scold him. Dr. Ku carefully recalled the process of the surgery surgery, and it turned out that it was because the surgery was going too smoothly. Basically, as soon as he thought of something, Ling Ran had already done it. Such a surgery could be said to be extremely comfortable. If he had to make an analogy, it would be like when you want to pick up some food, someone has already picked up the food you like and put it in your mouth. But although the surgery was comfortable, Dr. Ku was not happy at all, because he liked difficult surgeries. Then conquer them step by step. Surgeries full of a sense of accomplishment. In this surgery, Dr. Ku even hoped that Ling Ran could make a small mistake. After all, the authority of a superior doctor is built on the mistakes of a subordinate doctor. In the blink of an eye, it was time for the crucial suture. At this moment, Ling Ran was ready. And once Dr. Ku made his move, the Achilles tendon would be straightened. At this moment, Dr. Ku had a bold thought. If he suddenly changed the plan during the surgery, would this kid make a mistake because he couldn't adapt in time? But then he immediately denied the thought. He couldn't put the patient in danger just to see his assistant make a mistake. So he sighed helplessly and said, pull out the Achilles tendon. Then Ling Ren pulled out the Achilles tendon. Dr. Ku began to suture the wound. Looking at Ling Ren's easy cooperation with him, Dr. Ku couldn't believe it. He took a scalpel to separate the tendon and asked Ling Ren if he knew how to use it. When he said yes, he handed it over to him. Ling Ren took the tendon scalpel in his hand under Dr. Ku's expectant gaze. He only needed to make two clicks to separate the Achilles tendon. This operation stunned Dr. Ku. An ordinary doctor would take at least 10 minutes to complete the operation. But Ling Ren only made two clicks and it was done. He went up and checked it several times. But he couldn't find any mistakes. Then, with the cooperation of the two, they officially began to suture the wound. Ling Ren could guess every step of Dr. Ku, whether he sped up or slowed down, or went in the same direction or the opposite direction. Ling Ren could easily cooperate with him. When the last stitch was cut, the surgery was officially completed. At this moment, Dr. Ku found that the cooperation between the two had created a 11 plus 2 effect. This surgery was obviously much better than the previous ones, and the entire surgery was recorded by Shui Heiasi and broadcasted live on the screen. In the afternoon after the surgery, Ling Ran went to the stadium alone. He sat in the stands and began to review the surgery. The Achilles tendon is the tendon that bears the most force in the human body. In other words, the core difficulty of the Achilles tendon suture technique is that the high-intensity exercise of professional athletes leads to the fear of tendon rupture. They have used their bodies to almost the limit. The intensity of use of the Achilles tendon is of course much higher than that of ordinary people. Although Ling Ran's Achilles tendon suture technique is perfect, when facing top athletes, he still feels that it is not enough. It seems that today's surgical experience should be carefully sorted out to find out where it can be optimized and improved. At this moment, Ling Ran suddenly received a call from Shui Heiasi, saying that Tong Yi had returned and asked Ling Ran to come over for a while. In order to test Ling Ran's ability, Tong Yi asked him to perform surgery on a patient with a severe Achilles tendon tear, and invited the famous orthopedic Dr. Ji Tinlu to assist in the surgery. On the surface, he was Ling Ran's assistant, but in fact, he was there to check if Ling Ran had any shortcomings to avoid any accidents. Soon after, the doctor from the radiology department explained the patient's MR I to Ling Ran, but Ling Ran wanted to confirm it himself. After all, this was a surgery that he was performing himself, and there could be no mistakes. Ji Tinlu watched Ling Ran with interest. Let me see if you have the qualifications to let me be your assistant. Ling Ran took a deep breath, and silently chanted to activate the master level MRI reading skill. The degree of damage is between grade 1 and grade 2. Use basic suture, and make an incision from this side. Ling Ran compared and explained his surgical plan, which shocked Ji Tinlu. The information that Ling Ran read out was not only completely accurate, but he had even come up with a surgical plan. This Dr. Ling really has some skills, just like the director said. After explaining the plan, Ling Ran and Lu Wenbin got up and went to change into surgical gowns. The news that a new intern was performing a surgery as the chief surgeon quickly spread throughout the research center. People came to the laboratory in droves, wanting to see the intern's skills. There were many screens in the laboratory that could be connected to the high-definition cameras in the operating room. The panoramic camera could capture most of the details in the operating room. 
After everything was ready, Ling Ran first drew a black line and a white line on the patient's heel. The black line was the incision line, and the white line was the location of the ruptured Achilles tendon. Ji Tinlu broke out in a cold sweat when he saw this. He did not expect that Ling Ran could read so much information from just an MRI image. It seemed that he was not just a little bit skilled. Ling Ran then pointed to the patient's injured area and explained. It can be seen from the MRI that the muscle tendon on the inner side of T1L and T2L has a high degree of limitation. The muscle tendon on the inner side is relatively thick, which is a characteristic of the injured area. Part of T2L can be seen that when its signal increases significantly, that is the most obvious tear. After explaining, Ling Ran picked up the scalpel, and used the scalpel to cut along the black line. It took less than a second to make the incision. Ji Tinlu was stunned by Ling Ran's operation. Damn, why is he so fast? Just as he was still hesitating, Lu Wenbin had already pulled out the Achilles tendon. Then he looked at Ji Tinlu, who was still in a daze, knowing that he was not used to Ling Ran's pace. Unlike those surgeons who were not confident enough and had to constantly confirm the content with their assistants, Ling Ran always did things his own way, and was a typical lone wolf doctor. At this moment, Ling Ran gave the first order, end-to-end -end anastomosis, and then he straightened the tendon himself. This was the improved Kessler recovery suture technique that Dr. Ku had used the other day. At this moment, Ji Tinlu regretted a little that he had not listened to the explanation of the imaging department. Otherwise, he could have also guessed the exact location. Now, every step was slower than Dr. Ling. After he came to his senses, he could not let Tong Yi lose face, and had to catch up with Dr. Ling. End-to-end -end anastomosis was the simplest form of suture. Starting from here, he finally caught up with Ling Ran's pace. But this time, Ling Ran had also entered the state, and quickly sutured the wound. Exclamations of surprise were heard one after another in the observation room. Why are there afterimages on the screen? Is the camera broken? Only Dr. Ku knew that this was the real horror of Ling Ran. At this moment in the operating room, Ling Ran suddenly asked Lu Wenbin to thread a number 10 suture. Ji Tinlu was a little panicked. Previously, a number 4 suture was used. This number 10 suture was three times thinner than the number 4 suture. Ling Ran explained that because the patient's Achilles tendon end was not flat, using a number 4 suture would cause damage. And if it was separated, it would not be as good as a number 10 suture. On the other hand, because the elasticity of the Achilles tendon is large, if the torn Achilles tendon is not flat, if only one suture is used to suture it, it is more likely to break when the Achilles tendon regains its elasticity. Therefore, I have to divide it into Achilles tendons with different knots and use sutures that match it. Everyone in the observation room shuddered when they heard this. Such short stitches were completely unclear. How did Ling Ran see that the tendon end was not flat? Even if he could see it, how did he know what size suture to use? This was completely a gamble. Tong Yi did not understand either, so he opened the microphone to ask what was going on. Ling Ran only said that he could feel it by pulling it with his hand. Dr. Ku broke out in a cold sweat when he heard this. How can feeling become the basis for surgery? Ling Ran continued, I often massage people, and I can estimate the pulling force by pressing on the tendons or muscles with my hands, and it won't be too far off. Then he reached out his hand and asked the nurse for a number 3 suture and continued continued suturing. Ji Tinlu looked up at Ling Ran's confident operation and believed 80% in his heart. Because when he performed Achilles tendon surgery, he had also operated according to his feelings. But the accuracy was a little bit worse. At this moment, Dr. Ku, who had never operated according to his feelings, was furious. He grabbed the microphone and shouted, Dr. Ku, do you still remember your responsibilities? Or should we stop the surgery now? Ji Tinlu did not care about Dr. Ku's words, and only told him to watch carefully and learn carefully. Ling Ran did not even bother to look up, and continued to perform the surgery. For such a simple Achilles tendon suture, he only cared about how beautiful the suture could be, and did not think about the possibility of failure. At this moment, it was time to wash it clean. Ling Ran tried his best to suture the ladder, making the suture flat and smooth. Ji Tinlu Lu looked at it for a while and was stunned. He could not help but ask, how did you practice this suture? Ling Ran naturally could not tell him that he had a system, so he only said that he practiced by suturing bananas. After the surgery, Ling Ran checked it again carefully. After confirming that there were no problems, he handed over the plastering to Ji Tinlu and Lu Wenbin, and left the operating room. Everyone in the observation room was cheering for Ling Ran's superb skills. Tong Yi smiled and asked Dr. Ku if Ling Ran's performance had exceeded his expectations. Dr. Ku knew that once he nodded. 
Liu Weishan could be operated on. But he could not lie in front of so many people. He suddenly came up with a plan to delay, and that was to continue observing a few more surgeries. But Tong Yi did not agree because Liu Weishan's surgery had been delayed for too long. If it was delayed any further, it would affect the surgical outcome and postoperative recovery. Therefore, the two of them invited Liu Weishan over to ask if he wanted Ling Ran to be his chief surgeon. The decision was up to him. Liu Weishan was a movie star and a sports star. He could not participate in competitions anymore because his Achilles tendon was torn. Because his surgery was very complicated, Dr. Ku hoped that Ling Ran could perform a surgery of a similar level, and then decide whether to let Ling Ran perform Liu Weishan's surgery based on the results of the surgery. Dr. Ku did this and because he had his own calculations, as long as Ling Ran had a failed surgery, Liu Weishan's right to treatment would fall into his hands. Fame, fortune, and money would also be easy to obtain. Even if it fails, it doesn't matter. Because as long as it is not a medical accident, it will not cause a fatal blow to the doctor. Ling Ran waved his hand and agreed. Ling Ran was about to go to the cafeteria to eat. When Dr. Ku called him back, don't you want to know the specific requirements for me to allow you to operate on Liu Weishan? I don't want to know. Why? Because it doesn't matter to me. Tong Yi invited me here to perform the surgery. And if the patient does not want the surgery, I will not force him. My goal is only to perform surgery. And any surgery will do. Liu Weishan, who was standing beside him, widened his eyes when he heard this. Since he was injured, many doctors had wanted to perform surgery on him, but never had a doctor had such an indifferent attitude. At this moment, he also wanted to see Ling Ran's skills. Then he turned around and asked, So when will you start, Dr. Ling? Ling Ran waved his hand and said that he did not know, and that it was more important to see when Dr. Ku would arrange 10 similar cases for him. After returning home, Liu Weishan did not sleep the whole night. Even in his dreams, he could still see Ling Ran's figure, especially the way he said that it didn't matter to him. Liu Weishan sat up and shouted, It doesn't matter to you, but it does to me. I want to cure my Achilles tendon so that I can return to the field. But to complete the best surgical plan, even the world's top orthopedic hospital, Mayo Clinic, could not do it. The doctor had made a suggestion to him. He could use a one-year recovery period in exchange for a tendon with high mobility for more than three months. Then, depending on fate, he could use a half-year recovery period in exchange for a tendon with high mobility for less than three months. In the end, he would retire on time. But neither of these options was what he wanted. Liu Weishan really wanted an Achilles tendon that could allow him to compete on the field for two years without being disabled. At this point, he immediately texted his agent. Get up. We're going to the research center. When it was light, inside the research center, Ling Ran had been fighting on the operating table all night. At this moment, his adrenaline was pumping like crazy, and his movements were smooth. Because before he came to Shanghai, he could only perform one or two surgeries a day. Now, he had suddenly arranged ten surgeries, which made him very excited. As for Liu Weishan in the observation room, he had also watched Ling Ran perform surgery all night. At this moment, he had made up his mind to let Ling Ran be his chief surgeon. When Dr. Ku heard this, he was immediately shocked and told him to reconsider. He said that the leaders of the department and his teammates might put pressure on Liu Weishan. But Liu Weishan sneered. The leaders are nothing. I only need Dr. Ling. Liu Weishan's decision immediately caused a stir on social media. On the day of the surgery, the entrance to the research center was packed with fans who had come to cheer Liu Weishan on. Tong Yi also reconfirmed Liu Weishan's physical condition before the surgery. At this time, Ling Ran, who had just finished the previous surgery, rushed over. When Liu Weishan saw the rabbit hat on Ling Ran's head, he couldn't help but laugh out loud. Are you going to perform surgery wearing this hat? Ling Ran also smiled. It seemed that Liu Weishan was in a good mood. Ling Ran asked Liu Weishan if he would use Tong Yi's surgical plan, and asked Liu Weishan if he understood the risks of the surgery. Liu Weishan nodded and said that he understood. Then Ling Ran told him to lie down, and activated the master checkup technique to check Liu Weishan's health. All the indicators were normal, and he could enter the operating room. At this moment, the system suddenly issued a new mission. Maximize the recovery of patient Liu Weishan's Achilles tendon. Each five points of recovery will be rewarded with a primary treasure chest after the patient's identity is verified. And Ling Ran asked the anesthetist to proceed with the anesthesia. 
Asia. Lu Weishan heard the doctor say to take the medicine and then fell into a coma. Then Ling Ran made a U-shaped incision on the inside of the calf. Then, Ji Tin Lu pulled Lu Weishan's skin apart. He used a clamp to expose the Achilles tendon. Ji Tin Lu frowned when he saw this. And unexpectedly, the head of the Achilles tendon was a horsetail type. Among the types of Achilles tendon ruptures, the horsetail type is the worst. If the patient is an ordinary person, it could even be used as a suture reinforcement material. But for an athlete, it would not be enough to support high-intensity training, so it would be useless. Therefore, Ling Ran and Tong Yi decided to remove this horsetail-shaped Achilles tendon. At this moment, the doctors in the observation room began to discuss. The Achilles tendon was cut about 3 centimeters, and if they wanted the patient to be able to run, they would probably have to use the most difficult method. It's really perverted, a nurse asked. Why do you say it's perverted? Because the blood supply inside the Achilles tendon comes from the posterior tibial artery, which then divides into 34 perforating arteries, which are almost invisible to the naked eye. But its shape and origin from the perforating arteries are not much different from the blood vessels outside the Achilles tendon. If the Achilles tendon is to ensure its blood supply, it must ensure that the blood vessels around the tendon are not damaged. At least eight small blood vessels must be avoided, and there are countless other branches of blood vessels. This idea is good, but it is too idealistic to implement. Even if this difficulty is delayed for another 10 years, I don't think anyone will be able to do it. At this moment, a young doctor rubbed his chin and said, actually, it's not a big problem to accidentally cut off the blood vessels, because the small blood vessels all have the ability to compensate even if they are cut off, after a period of time, the human body will automatically adjust the blood vessels, and the small blood vessels will reconnect on their own. But the director thinks that the compensation ability is too slow, and it will affect the speed and quality of the athlete's recovery, so he decided to avoid these small blood vessels. If the blood vessels are accidentally cut off, the blood vessels will have to be sutured. The surgical site of Lu Weishan is located in the area with the poorest blood supply in the human body, performing a high-difficulty surgery here, and it must also recover quickly and with quality. If there is no surgeon who can create a miracle, it cannot be done. While the doctors were discussing, Ling Ran had already finished suturing the Achilles tendon. Next is the most difficult blood vessel network. At this moment, Ji Tin Lu's expression was very serious. These broken blood vessels are too complicated, and it is very difficult to suture them, but suture Suturing blood vessels is already a very familiar job for Ling Ran. As soon as he arrived at Yun Hua, he started suturing rat tails, and then he had to cut off his finger and suture it back. Although suturing blood vessels was not as common as it is now, the accuracy was higher, and the blood vessels around the tendon origin do not require such high accuracy. Tong Yi's plan was to have two perforating arteries on each side and to ensure a certain amount of small blood vessels. Therefore, even if one or two blood vessels are not sutured successfully, it will not lead to the failure of the Achilles tendon suture. The people in the operating room watched Ling Ran's operation intently, and were even more nervous than he was. But Ling Ran's outward appearance remained unchanged, and his heart was filled with joy. In the past, it was a rare opportunity to operate on only two or three important blood vessels. Today, he was suturing an entire network, all of which were small, thin, and difficult blood vessels. That was the most important part of reattaching a severed finger, compared to being able to operate multiple times. At this time, Tong Yi reminded Ling Ran that the key point of the surgery was to pay attention to the dynamic balance. But Ling Ran wanted to add an extra shunt. Tong Yi asked suspiciously if there was enough time. The plan was to restore three or four parts of the blood vessel network. There is plenty of time. In fact, we did not cut many small blood vessels, so it is better to restore a little more. Lu Weishan's surgical plan was estimated to take four hours, and this time was calculated by Tong Yi. If the time is too short, the chief surgeon will not be able to complete the surgery. If the time is too long, the effect of the surgery will be greatly reduced. Doing so will definitely increase the number of surgeries within a limited time by nearly half. At this moment, Tong Yi finally understood that this kid was not thinking about how to complete the plan, but was instead thinking about how to surpass the plan. It is a good thing for young people to be ambitious, but they cannot go too far. Tong Yi reminded Ling Ran to try to ensure the quality. The risk of constriction still exists. Only the blood vessels that are flowing are useful blood vessels. Ling 
Ling Ren naturally knew that minimally invasive Achilles tendon surgery, which allows patients to be discharged and to try to recover very quickly, is because the quality of the blood vessels after suturing allows the Achilles tendon to recover quickly. And Tong Yi's plan was to suture Lu Weishan's Achilles tendon, making it an Achilles tendon anastomosis and vascular anastomosis. The difficulty was ten times higher than the previous plan. Looking at Ling Ren's confident expression, Tong Yi also breathed a sigh of relief. He was too concerned about this plan, and Ji Tinlu had been observing Ling Ran's operation. This plan required maintaining a certain level of blood vessel network, while also shortening the surgical time. In fact, it was a requirement for the chief surgeon to be fast, accurate, and ruthless. Before this, Ji Tinlu had surveyed everywhere in China and abroad. Doctors who did not meet the requirements were all performing major surgeries, and the good doctors who heard that Lu Weishan's surgery was a guided surgery all refused. After all, they did not lack money. At this moment, Ling Ran's voice interrupted his thoughts. He said calmly, If we connected here, one shunt will be completed. Ji Tinlu asked in surprise, Is it complete? That is only the first of the two shunts, and we need to continue suturing. Ling Ran said calmly as he handed over the forceps, but as soon as he touched the forceps, he suddenly felt that the reaction seemed to have changed slightly. Ling Ran asked Ji Tinlu to check the shunt first while he went to wash his hands. The sensor that he had touched the forceps with just now showed that the surgical gloves had changed in physical properties, which meant that they were no longer comfortable to wear. In addition, Bacteria on the doctor's hands were constantly accumulating, and if the gloves were torn at this time, it would be even more troublesome. When Ling Ran returned after washing his hands, Ji Tinlu had finished the inspection. He said that there was no problem with the blood vessel suture, but he thought that one shunt was safe enough. Ling Ran asked Ling Ran's nurse to put on new gloves for him, and told Ji Tinlu to let go and see. Ji Tinlu then loosened the artery vein clamp, and the blood flowed smoothly without any leakage, and this recovery rate was considered to be quite good. But for an Achilles tendon of this level, it was definitely not enough to participate in world-class competitions. Ling Ran thought about this and said without hesitation, proceed with the backup procedure. Everyone was surprised when they heard this. If they ended now, it could be said that the surgical time was short. The effect was good, and the benefit to the patient was also the best. Proceeding with the backup procedure would be suspected of over-treatment. Ji Tinlu stepped forward and advised, Dr. Ling, I think you have sutured this shunt enough. You want to consider ending the surgery early? Ling Ran retorted, we sutured the blood vessels, which is equivalent to the blood supply of two fingers at most. Are you sure it is enough? Seeing that Ji Tinlu did not say anything, Ling Ran continued, ensuring the blood supply is always the top priority, and later complications can be treated with medication. If the blood supply is insufficient, is there any other way to compensate for it? Hearing Ling Ran say this, everyone was shocked again. Tong Yi immediately said, continue the surgery. But before long, the system suddenly issued a warning that the task completion rate was decreasing. Ling Ran looked up, and unexpectedly, it had dropped to 70. He immediately asked the anesthesiologist to reconfirm the patient's condition. The anesthesiologist said that everything was normal. Ling Ran felt that something was wrong, but the feeling was not very good. At this moment, Ling Ran thought for a while. If he ended the surgery now, 70% function of the Achilles tendon was not enough for Lu Weishan to undergo high-intensity training but it was enough for daily activities. However, this was not what Lu Weishan wanted. Otherwise, he would not have dragged the surgery on until now. At this moment, whether it was a perfect Achilles tendon repair surgery or a perfect limb replantation, it was reminding Ling Ran that blood was always the most important, but the information at the scene was not enough. Now, he could only rely on theory to persevere. Lu Weishan wanted to return to the field, and he absolutely could not let him lose hope. Then Ling Ran turned around and said, let's continue. After 40 minutes, the recovery rate of the Achilles tendon had dropped to 55. Now, let alone participating in high-intensity training, even daily activities were rather difficult. He then asked the anesthesiologist to check the patient's condition again, but there was still no problem. So where was the problem? The surgery had only been extended by two hours. It should not have decreased so much. The only possibility was that building the backup shunt would have a bad effect on the patient. With such a judgment, Ling Ran continued the surgery under pressure. The others, although they did not know what had happened, could sense the invisible pressure on Ling Ran. The sound of the suture being cut was heard and the second backup shunt was completed. Ling Ran stared at the microscope and then released the artery R. Blood flowed out continuously and quickly filled the newly sutured perforating artery, and then spread to the surrounding blood vessel network. The system also gave a reminder. The task completion rate had jumped to 85. At this moment, 
Ling Ran finally breathed a sigh of relief. Lu Weishan's Achilles tendon had been severely severed, and the resected part alone was as big as a thumb. Recovery to this level could already be considered a success. An Achilles tendon like this would still be at risk if it underwent high-intensity training. But it was enough, at least it could maintain a state of movement. 85 was not the final value, and the completion rate was still increasing. It was time to end this time-consuming surgery. Ling Ran no longer hesitated, and immediately declared the second shunt a success. After suturing, the patient's surgical wound was completely sutured. At this moment, Ling Ran's mood was relaxed, and he handed over the task of giving orders to Tong Yi. Tong Yi saw the relief on Ling Ran's face, and he asked curiously in a low voice, Dr. Ling, how do you feel now? Ling Ran looked at the 18 primary treasure chests that were ready. He exclaimed, it's a feeling of harvest. However, at this moment, outside the research center, a black car stopped at the gate. Then, two middle-aged men got out of the car angrily. They shook Lu Weishan vigorously, trying to wake him up, but the patient did not respond. Tong Yi saw this and hurried forward to stop them. The anesthetic had not worn off yet, and even if he woke up, he would not be able to communicate. You guys go out. Director Wong of the Sports Bureau sighed, and let's talk outside. Then, a few people came to the guest room. Looking at the angry expressions of these two people, it seemed like they had come to cause trouble. He knew that medical problems could not be explained clearly. So for their accusations, Tong Yi just smiled and said nothing. After a long speech, Director Ma asked, Where is the chief surgeon? Can you let him come out and explain? Ji Tinlu said that Dr. Ling did not have time, and was currently performing surgery on another patient. Director Wang said that they could wait and ask Director Ma to call the media and experts. Not long after, a reporter and a rehabilitation expert from the Hanwenlin Sports Bureau arrived arrived at the guest room. At this moment, Ling Ran also finished the surgery and pushed the door open to enter. The reporter saw the young and handsome chief surgeon and his eyes lit up immediately, and took out his camera to take continuous shots. As for Han Wenlin, when he saw that the chief surgeon was a young man, a disdainful expression appeared on the corner of his mouth, and he wanted to show off in front of Ling Ran. Young surgeon, can you briefly introduce the surgical situation? Ling Ran immediately retorted, is it necessary? Hearing such an answer, Han Wenlin felt that he was being looked down upon. He pointed at Ling Ran and shouted, Of course it's necessary. Lu Weishan is an important athlete for us. And he is also a sports star that the whole country is concerned about. His physical condition must always be under our control. Ling Ran was too lazy to pay attention to him, so he turned to Tong Yi and asked, Is it okay? Tong Yi said with a smile, Expert Han wants to know the situation. You have to explain it to him. Han Wenlin heard Tong Yi's agreement and immediately stepped forward to ask, Why did Lu Weishan suddenly decide to have surgery? Ling Ran's face was full of question marks. Why are you asking me this question? You are the chief surgeon. Don't you know why Lu Weishan had surgery? Lu Weishan had surgery because his Achilles tendon was severed. Why did he suddenly decide to have surgery? You have to ask the person involved. This is not a clinical question. Han Wenlin was angered by this statement, and he shouted angrily, Dr. Ling, if you do this, you will only make the sports bureau lose confidence, and in the end, we will not be able to cooperate anymore. In Han Wenlin's opinion, Ling Ran and most other doctors wanted to perform surgeries on athletes to enhance their reputation, but Ling Ran thought that Achilles tendon repair surgery was still mainly for ordinary people. Although the demand for athletes was very high, the number of athletes was not enough. Not to mention that your unit is not in Shanghai. Even if it were you, you would not cooperate with the Sports Bureau. At this moment, Ji Tinlu smiled and said to mediate, Our cooperation with the Sports Bureau has always been good. Lu Weishan's surgery was also very successful. If that's the case, Dr. Ling, please tell us how the surgery went. Ling Ran briefly described the surgical process. Han Wenlin was shocked after hearing it. Too risky. How could you use such a risky method? Hearing Han Wenlin say this, the leaders of the sports bureau also became nervous. Ji Tinlu hurriedly advised, although the method was a bit risky, the surgery was very successful. Upon hearing this, the director turned to Ling Ran and asked if he could fully recover. Ling Ran looked up at the system. The completion rate of the mission had increased to 91. Then he said, relatively optimistic, but not certain. Director Wang felt that this statement was ambiguous. It's the same as not saying anything. At this moment, 
Ling Ran suggested watching the video. Then everyone went to the meeting room to watch the video. When he saw Ling Ran suturing the second guidewire, Han Wenlin's heart jumped into his throat. Fortunately, the surgery was finally successful. He was relieved, and also realized that the surgery had exceeded expectations. Ling Ran sighed when he saw this, and said that he still had patience, and had to go for surgery now, and then turned and left the meeting room. Tong Yi suggested, now that we have watched the video, let's go to the hospital's observation room and watch Ling Ran's surgery live. But as soon as they arrived at the hospital's observation room, Tong Yi heard Ling Ran and Lu Wenbin talking. Lu Weishan's surgery was over, and we should go back too. When he learned that Ling Ran was going back to Yunhua Hospital, Tong Yi tried every means to keep him in Shanghai, because Ling Ran not only successfully performed a difficult procedure, but also achieved good results. Now he had to seize the opportunity to do some cases to facilitate the expansion of the research. If the research technique was successful, he would probably be named, and it could be considered as leaving his name in history. But the most direct and effective way to keep Ling Ran here was to arrange for him to have a large number of patients. So he called Ji Tinlu back, and told him to arrange this matter properly. And and he instructed him to find a way for Ling Ran to meet with the media on this occasion, so that he could both publicize his own method, and attract more patients. The next day, Ji Tinlu called Ling Ran over. He told Ling Ran that as long as he accepted an interview, he could arrange for him to have five patients, and the cost of the surgery would be the same as in Yunhua Hospital. This condition was a benefit for surgery enthusiasts. Ling Ran agreed on the spot. Just like that, he performed surgery every day without rest. The assistants and nurses kept changing. In just a few days, he had accumulated more than 20 treasure chests. Ling Ran opened 20 chests in a row. Fortunately, this time he opened a master-level microsurgical nerve suture technique. But patients were not available every day. And in just a few days, he had treated all the patients provided by Ji Tinlu. Today, Ling Ran went to Ji Tinlu, wanting to use the interview to get a few more patients. Ji Tinlu said that he really had no more patients, unless he happened to meet a patient. Ling Ran looked disappointed when he heard this, and turned his head to say, Okay, I'll book a flight back to Yunhua tonight. Ji Tinlu was speechless when he heard this. In the past, doctors wanted money, and had to be served delicious food and drinks, and had to comment if they wanted to write an article. These requests were easy to meet. Requesting a bunch of patients like that was too difficult. Seeing that Ling Ran was about to walk out of the office, Ji Tinlu stood up and said, Hey, today, I can find five more patients with Achilles tendon rupture, but that's really the most I can do. So Ling Ran worked from dusk till dawn again. By the early morning of the next day, Ling Ran had once again completed all the surgeries. Influenced by Ling Ran, Lu Wenbin was also more energetic than in previous days. Seeing that he had no intention of resting, Ling Ran called Lu Wenbin and went on ward rounds with him. But as soon as they reached the door of Lu Weishan's ward, they heard a lot of noise inside. The two of them looked through the crack in the door, and saw that there were many male and female athletes drinking and celebrating inside. Ling Ran spoke up to check on the ward and pushed the door open. Lu Weishan explained in embarrassment. My friends came to visit me, and we chatted a bit late, and we haven't had a gathering for a long time. Ling Ran did not say anything but put on his gloves and examined him carefully. After so many days, the actual recovery level had only increased by one, and it did not seem to be a problem with the surgery or the care. Ling Ran wrote down his notes and said to Lu Weishan, I'll have you do another MRI. Lu Weishan wondered, I heard Director Ji say that I'm recovering quite well, so why do I need an MRI? Ling Ran sighed, it's true that you're recovering better than others, but it's still not as good as I expected. Lu Weishan said with some embarrassment, maybe it's because I haven't been resting well the past two days. Ling Ran did not say much and left with Lu Wenbin. This patient was a famous discus thrower from the capital. Because of his age, he was past his prime. If he did not win a medal in the national games next year, he would have no choice but to retire. She was now placing all her hopes on Ling Ran. The surgery began. Ling Ran drew a long line on the patient's calf. Ji Tinlu asked in confusion, why do you have to make such a long incision? Ling Ran explained that there was a bit of hair on the edge of the Achilles tendon, and that it was safer to make the incision a bit longer. After stretching the skin, he found that the patient's Achilles tendon was not completely severed, which could be considered a relatively minor injury. At this time, Ling Ran said, dissect the Achilles tendon first. Just as Ji Tinlu was about to start the surgery, Ling Ran stopped him. He said that he would do it this time. I've memorized the location of the blood vessels, and I'm ready to avoid the blood vessels as much as possible. Ling Ran had performed surgery on Lu Weishan, 
so he had concluded that many of the blood vessels that had been cut the last time could have been avoided by avoiding the smaller blood vessels. This would reduce the complexity of the vascular membrane reconstruction. During the surgery, there would be more blood vessels to supply blood. Ji Tinlu thought for a long time before he understood Ling Ran's intention. He asked in astonishment, could it be that you remember the location of all the blood vessels? Ling Ran smiled, of course not. I only remember the blood vessels around the Achilles tendon. After a while of surgery, the operation was coming to an end. At this time, Zhu Tongji asked anxiously, how do you feel? Ling Ran replied, he will probably recover better than Lu Weishan. Hearing Ling Ran's answer, Zhu Tongyi's eyes smiled so much that he could not see the sun. Two consecutive cases were successful, and the value of the plan would increase significantly. But would Ling Ran stay? For the next two days, Ling Ran still did not find a suitable patient. He thought that he might as well go back to Yunhua first, and come back when there was a suitable surgery. He was not worried that he would be replaced by someone else, because Ling Ran was currently the only one who had performed this plan, and holding the technique was also at the strategic level, as long as Ling Ran did not refuse. Zhu Tengyi's first choice would always be him. That afternoon, Ling Ran boarded a plane and returned to Yunhua. On the first day Ling Ran returned to Yunhua Hospital, he was surrounded by many nurses. Because the news that he had successfully sutured Lu Weishan's Achilles tendon had been posted on the Ling Ran journal, Ling Ran modestly said that it was thanks to the help of many people. Just then, the phone rang. Someone answered the phone and his expression became serious. A level 3 public event has occurred. Everyone go to the emergency room and check in. Hearing this news, everyone stood up and ran straight to the emergency room. Public events are classified in terms of their severity. Level 3 is a major event in which there may be three deaths or critical injuries. As soon as he left the door, Ling Ran met Dr. Zhou. He heard him say that three people in the car had died on the spot, and that the robber had been seriously injured and was being taken to the hospital. This time, Director Huo called Ling Ran back with a serious expression and asked, I heard that a robber will be coming soon. You know, I've heard of it. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's true. The robber stole something from an adult store and was hit by a car. One of his legs was badly injured, but his condition is still stable. Do you want to treat him? Ling Ran said, Of course, I do. Then he asked, What does Director Huo think? Huo Kangjun said, I used to be a military doctor, and I had to save people even if they were enemies when I received an order. At this time, a fat doctor said angrily, treating enemies can be used for propaganda. What's the point of treating a robber? It's better to shoot him. Saving him is just a waste of medical resources. But Director Huo didn't think so. He believed that the mission of a doctor was to heal the sick and save people. If you want to enforce justice, you can go to law school and become a judge. Soon after, the ambulance brought the patient. Director Huo first checked the patient's injuries, then asked the staff of various departments to prepare the operating room. According to Dr. Huo's arrangement, the robber who had been stabbed while driving in the opposite direction was taken into the operating room. First, the neurosurgeon examined examined the patient's head. There were no problems, so general anesthesia could be administered. Then the surgery began urgently. The patient's abdomen was normal, and there was no severe impact. His left arm was fixed externally, and four kilograms of plaster was applied. His left leg was too badly injured, and it was no longer worth saving, so it was amputated. Director Huo asked Ling Ran and the bone team to be responsible for the amputation, so that they could learn more. Amputation also required attention to the remaining limb, which had to be made cylindrical to look good. The wear and tear also had to be taken into account. Hearing Director Huo say this, the doctor in charge of the amputation joked, no matter how much attention you pay to it, it's not like a carpenter sawing wood carefully. Seeing that Ling Ran was ready, the orthopedic surgeon asked him to cut the skin and create a skin flap. After the skin flap was created, he began to teach. Now we need to cut the inner muscles to expose the tibia. Once the tibia is exposed, we use a saw to cut it off. Then we cut off the muscles on the sides to expose the fibula. The orthopedic surgeon taught while practicing. At this time, the bone resection was completed, and all that remained was to create a skin flap, which meant suturing it back together. Of course, Ling Ran was in charge of this. After the sutures were completed, Huo Kangjun asked Ling Ran how he had learned. Ling Ran did not show any modesty and said that he had learned quite a lot. At this time, he still felt in his heart that Yunhua Hospital was indeed the best, and that he had learned a lot of new knowledge. At 6 o'clock in the morning of the second day, Ling Ran and Lu Wenbin went to check the ward together. Because the two of them had been on a business trip for half a month, the patients who had undergone ladder suture surgery had been discharged from the hospital. Now there are quite a few empty beds. Ling Ran touched the patient's 
bedsheet, and exclaimed that he had not realized the importance of a bed before, and had not appreciated using it. He could not be so reckless in the future. But when the two of them entered the next room, they saw a patient who had already packed his belongings. Ling Ran asked if he was about to be discharged. Seeing Dr. Ling, the patient's face immediately broke into a bright smile. The nurse said that you would be here today, so I waited here for you on purpose. I could have been discharged yesterday, and my roommates who left earlier asked me to thank Dr. Ling. Thank you, I'm really grateful to you, doctor. As soon as the words of thanks were uttered, the system panel appeared. Received sincere thanks from the patient and his family. Reward. 11 primary treasure chests. This time, two skill books were opened, both for suturing the skin. Specifically, it is used for cosmetic skin suturing. This suturing method is only used in cosmetic surgery or cosmetic hospitals. Ling Ran thought to himself, if he used this technique to amputate limbs in the future, could he create a beautiful cylinder? When Ling Ran got home from work, he could smell the fragrant braised pork before he even entered the door. Usually, braised pork was eaten when there was something to celebrate at home. Ling Ran flattered his parents parents and asked, what's the good news at home? Ling Jichu said, our clinic has opened a beauty injection service, and Dr. Miao has been doing quite well recently. Dr. Miao also came in with a bowl at this time. He said, it's all thanks to Ling Ran. The friend always sends patients to this clinic. Ling Ran then understood that Lu Wenbin had been helping him all along. At this moment, a man and a blonde woman walked in. She was still covering her wound with her hand, and she muttered, is this small clinic okay? I've had my eyes done before. After seeing the blonde woman with the covered wound come in, Ling Ran immediately put on his white coat and went out. He first asked if she had any allergies. The girl said no, and then Ling Ran examined the wound for her. It was just a skin wound, but the wound was on her forehead, and if it was not sutured well, it would affect her appearance. Seeing that Ling Ran had cleaned and disinfected her wound, Dr. Miao also approached. He thought to himself that Xiao Ran's general suturing skills were quite good, but he had never seen him do cosmetic surgery. Although it was not a very advanced technique, it would take at least two or three years to learn how to suture well. When Dr. Miao came to his senses, he found that Ling Ran had already started to choose the suture. He was speechless. He was too unprofessional. Why was he still choosing the suture? Dr. Miao was about to rush up to stop him but he found that Ling Ran had already completed the basic suture. It took only three seconds from the beginning to the end, which was very fast. Then Ling Ran began to suture the inner skin. Unlike the lightning fast speed just now, this inner skin suture was surprisingly steady. Moreover, there was not a single scar. Dr. Miao was amazed, and he thought to himself that Ling Ran's cosmetic suturing skills had surpassed his own. After the suture was completed, Ling Ran said to the girl, There is a piece of skin missing from your skin. I will stretch it for you to tighten the skin underneath so that there will be no scar when the suture is removed. When you recover, try your best not to have a scar. She nodded shyly in agreement. Dr. Miao reassured her by saying that even if she searched all of Yunhua, she would not find a second person who could suture like this. Xiao Ran used this method to make up for the damaged skin, and the effect was even better than skin grafting. It did not stop there. After the suture and bandage were completed, the girl blushed and asked for Ling Ran's contact information. Ling Ran said that he did not make friends with ordinary people, and that he only made friends with patients who had lost three or more fingers. The girl listened to Ling Ran's reply and spread out her hand to count her fingers. She was so scared that she ran away. The next day, as soon as Ling Ran entered the office, Director Huo Kongjun rushed over to him. He said, a helicopter is about to deliver an important patient. You and I will go to meet the plane. Just do it and don't say anything, okay? Ling Ran nodded. Yun Hua's rooftop had a helipad. Zhao Lei thought carefully. The patient had abdominal pain and trauma. The trauma was easy to deal with, but the abdominal pain could be either mild or severe. If it was mild, it was probably caused by eating something wrong or by the patient's menstrual period. But if it was severe, it could be a more dangerous and complicated condition. For a patient who could afford to take a helicopter, if the abdominal pain was misdiagnosed, it would be a minor embarrassment. But to the hospital leaders and superiors, the person would become a doctor who had made a misdiagnosis. Therefore, it was absolutely necessary to not be careless with this patient. There was a loud roar as a helicopter landed on the rooftop. The patient came out, stroked her hair, and put her hand on her stomach. She greeted everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Tian Chi. I'm the biggest foodie you've ever seen. In just two days, she had visited four countries just to enjoy the local delicacies. As a result, she had developed severe abdominal pain, and she had also accidentally injured herself with a beer opener. Her attending physician, Zhao Lei, wanted to treat her, but Tian Chi had her eyes on Ling Ran, who was standing beside him, 
and she specifically asked for Ling Ran to treat her. She even recited a poem for Ling Ran. Wall cornered plum blossoms, blooming alone in the cold of Ling Han. The scalpel is not snow, but the fragrance of darkness has come. Ling Ran's face was full of question marks. Did you drink fake alcohol? Zhao Lei lost his patience, and told the two of them to quickly go to the treatment room, and not let the condition get any worse. In the treatment room, Tian Chi looked at the handsome Ling Ran who was treating her wound, and could not help but recite another poem for him. There are trees on the mountain and the trees have branches. My heart yearns for you, but you do not know it. Tian Chi said, if we were in ancient times, would we have met like this? But Ling Ran did not hear any of these flirtatious words. He was completely focused on suturing the wound. After he was done, Ling Ran handed the bandaging over to the nurse and turned to leave. Looking at Ling Ran's back as he left, Tian Chi gave a sly smile. It was as if she was saying, you can't escape from my clutches. Then she asked her assistant if she had found any information about Ling Ran. The assistant said that Ling Ran was very talented in surgery. Some media outlets had reported on him, and they knew that he lived in the Sha Ko Clinic. Hearing this, Tian Chi immediately asked, Does that mean he lives with his mother-in-law? What is his mother-in-law's personality like? The assistant heard Tian Chi start calling him, mother-in-law, like this, and it seemed that the young lady had fallen for him. She replied that she had not found out about those things yet, and told Tian Chi that she had several villas in Yunhua, and if she did not want to live with her mother-in-law, she could move out and live on her own. At this moment, Tian Chi seemed to have an idea. She asked her assistant, If Dr. Ling's car breaks down, Will he have to take a ride-sharing service or a taxi? The assistant nodded and said, yes. After hearing the assistant's reply, Tian Chi had figured out what her next step should be. Sure enough, early the next morning when he went to work, Ling Ran found that his car had broken down, and no matter how he tried, it would not start. It seemed that he had to think of another way. At 4 a.m. in the village of Sha Ko, it was impossible to get a taxi, so Ling Ran had to call a ride-sharing service. But in less than a few seconds, a black Rolls Royce stopped in front of him. Ling Ran took a closer look, and wasn't this the patient who liked to write poetry? Tian Chi pretended to be still half asleep. Oh, Dr. Ling, what a coincidence. I was just about to call a car to go home and rest. Ling Ran thought for a moment, and decided to get in her car. It was very difficult to get a car at this hour, and there were still patients waiting for him in the hospital. But as soon as he got in the car, Ling Ran received a call from Director Huo. He said that a major public safety incident had suddenly occurred and told Ling Ran to quickly come to the hospital. Tian Chi knew what was going on and told Ling Ran to rest assured that she would be there right away. Immediately, she stepped on the gas pedal and sped to the hospital. Dr. Zhou said solemnly, I heard that after the carjacking incident, the city is on high alert. We have to wait until the ambulance arrives to know the specific situation. The current news is that there is at least one death and four injuries. Dr. Zhou said, one of them has severe bleeding. Director Huo wants Ling Ran to operate. At this moment, Ling Ran was a little worried, because hemostasis was all about reducing bleeding, but for patients with severe bleeding, saving their lives still depended on blood transfusions. The blood supply was currently very difficult. There were two seriously injured patients with the same blood type. The Yunhua Hospital would not be able to provide enough blood products right now. Not long after, Director Huo came in with the case file. According to what we know now, the seriously injured are a policeman and three robbers. The dead are the robbers, and the three injured robbers have been transferred to the military general hospital. The one who was transferred to our hospital is a frontline anti-drug police officer who was injured. The higher-ups require us to do everything we can to save the injured police officer. Then Director Huo led Ling ran away. Not long after, the car stopped. The patient was pushed in by the medical staff. At this time, the patient had already received nearly 20 bags of blood, both whole blood and crystalline blood. The effect of pressure hemostasis was not great and the gurney was still dripping blood all the way. The blood kept flowing like this. How much blood had been lost in the end? At this moment, Director Huo shouted loudly. Ling ran. Hearing Director Huo's voice, Ling ran quickly ran after him. Then he climbed onto the gurney, removed the bandage on his arm, and cut the bandage around his abdomen. Then he pressed hard on the outside of the skin, pushed the patient into the emergency room. Director Huo decided to re-examine without hesitation. He was currently the overall person in charge of the emergency rescue, always paying attention to the specific emergency situation and always making quick arrangements. Have you done the arterial blood gas test? Are the results out yet? Control the blood pressure and heart rate. Where is the CT scan report? 
Let me know when the results are out. See if the blood salvage machine can be used. During the examination of the abdomen, Zhao Lei cleaned out a large amount of blood clots. Meanwhile, Dr. Zhou had gradually separated the ligaments of the spleen, exposing the pedicle of the spleen. He tied a double knot and then removed the spleen. After these things were done, the golden hour had long passed, but the hemostasis effect was not as expected. Director Huo asked Ling Ran to try manual hemostasis and manually check if the lungs were ruptured. Otherwise they would patch the lungs. Ling Ran checked very quickly, then checked again, and found that the lungs were not ruptured. Director Huo immediately ordered a chest tube to be placed. After the patient's lungs expanded, the diaphragm that had been compressed earlier was completely exposed. Exposed. Dr. Zhou went into action again and performed an interrupted suture on the patient. After Dr. Zhou and Director Huo had drained the chest cavity, they ordered the 9th and 10th ribs to be sutured back together. Closed drainage. Ling Ran, check it again. After Ling Ran checked it manually, he said that there was a 1 cm long wound. This time, it was Zhao Lei's turn to take the stage, and he sutured the inside of the patient. Director Huo turned his head and asked the anesthesiologist about the current bleeding situation. The anesthesiologist shook his head slightly as he monitored. Director Huo was calm on the surface, but he was furious inside. The bleeding had not stopped, which meant that there were other bleeding points. Director Huo asked Ling Ran to continue searching. Searching. Ling Ran put his hand into the abdomen again, and found a perforation in the lower right abdomen, but it didn't seem to be the bleeding point. The wound here was not the bleeding point either. Director Huo had the two wounds that had just been found sutured. Then he turned around and asked someone to invite the Department of Radiology to come and have a look. Find a possible location. Ling Ran did not know how to read CT scans, so he could only rely on manual hemostasis. Two hours passed, but the bleeding point was still not found. Even Ling Ran and Director Huo were sweating profusely. It was now a life or death situation, and it was time to use the red potion. So Ling Ran drank the small red potion that he had kept for a long time. Immediately after, the system panel sent a notification that all skills had increased by one level, lasting for two hours. Reattaching a severed finger, suturing the Achilles tendon, and manual hemostasis had all reached the legendary level. The perfect level of manual hemostasis technique could accurately find the bleeding point in countless cases. And how powerful could the legendary level of manual hemostasis technique be? At this moment, Ling Ran was full of anticipation, and immediately activated the legendary level of manual hemostasis technique. He checked the patient's bleeding situation. He put his hand into the patient's abdomen and began to check, and found a bleeding point with a very small wound. He immediately sutured it with a size 7 suture, but the anesthesiologist said that the amount of blood flowing out was still very large, and the parameters on the monitor did not change much. This time, Ling Ran had already thought that the exposed part had been checked, because the remaining bleeding points were not in these places. Then the other places should be considered, such as under the organs. Then Ling Ran said, let me check the liver. He ran along the liver and slipped straight in. But Zhao Lei did not agree with Ling Ran's way of thinking. He thought that the bleeding point might be hidden deep inside or covered by some structure. So it was right to check the corners carefully. At this time, Ling Ran checked the right side and found no problem. And he planned to continue checking the left side. When Ling Ran was about to touch the left side, Zhao Lei could not hold back any longer. Hey, Ling Ran, the place that was just sutured is on the left side. Don't touch it anymore. But Ling Ran had no intention of stopping. Zhao Lei hurriedly pulled Ling Ran's hand back and looked at Director Huo and said, Director, the left side was just sutured. Ling Ran, you. Huo Kongjun did not need Zhao Lei to remind him. He was standing beside him and saw it clearly. He said to Ling Ran, Ling Ran, be careful. This sentence was considered as tacit approval of Ling Ran's actions. Ling Ran immediately lifted the left side gently, and a stream of blood gushed out. The monitor also beeped loudly. Everyone woke up. At this time, the object pressing down had been removed, and the blood loss was even faster. This meant that the bleeding point had been found. Moreover, it was located just below the left liver. Ling Ran pressed the bleeding point with one hand, and asked for a suture needle with the other hand. Then he activated the perfect anastomosis technique, and easily sutured the wound. After Ling Ran finished suturing, the monitor also became silent. At this time, Director Huo finally breathed a sigh of relief. After suturing the left side of the liver, the patient's life was considered to be saved. Director Huo asked Ling Ran to check it again, clean the abdominal cavity. If there is no problem, then the abdomen can be closed. During the examination, Ling Ran's eyes suddenly lit up. The rectum was slightly larger than before. 
It was slightly larger than when Dr. Zhao had spoken to him. Ling Ran pointed to the abdomen just now, and asked, is the blood clot pressing on the rectum? Hearing Ling Ran's words, Director Huo reached towards the rectum. A stream of pale red blood flowed out, and Director Huo's heart skipped a beat. If this hidden danger was left untreated, the patient might not survive the night. He immediately asked Ling Ran to suture it. After Ling Ran sutured the rectum and checked it carefully again, this time, there was definitely no problem. Then Director Huo ordered the abdomen to be closed. Ling Ran took the instrument that the nurse handed over, and told Director Huo that the biggest problem had been solved, and the remaining 20 or so external wounds would be left to him. Ling Ran immediately activated the perfect simple suture technique and the perfect anastomosis technique, and finished the suturing in an instant. After that, Director Huo waved his hand, signaling them to send the patient to the intensive care unit. After a few hours of high-intensity surgery, all the medical staff were tired, and had to go back to the office to sleep for a while. But Ling Ran looked up at the system, and found that there were 28 minutes of medication left, which meant that there were 28 minutes left for the three legendary skills. He had just experienced the legendary level of manual hemostasis, and it felt great. He had reattached many severed fingers, so he did not need that, but it would be a pity to waste the legendary level of Achilles tendon suture. So he asked Lu Wenbin to find out if there were any patients with Achilles tendon rupture, and to enter the surgery in 10 minutes. Lu Wenbin did not disappoint everyone. He found a patient with an Achilles tendon rupture in the orthopedics department. In the operating room, a nurse was helping Ling Ran put on sterile clothes. The nurse asked Ling Ran curiously, Dr. Ling, did you really suture the Achilles tendon for Lu Weishan? Ling Ran nodded and then used the perfect level of MRI reading technique to read the film. Compared to the previous master level of film reading, this one had much more detail. Ling Ran could not help but smile. The patient lying on the operating table saw this and asked Ling Ran what he was laughing at. Is my Achilles tendon funnier than Lu Weishan's? Ling Ran replied that Lu Weishan's Achilles tendon was a bit longer, and it was twice the average length. Yours is only 23 the average length. What are you talking about, doctor? It's so embarrassing. Aren't you asking about my heel? I am, but it doesn't sound like it when you say it. Hearing this, Ling Ran said to Lu Wenbin, I think there's something wrong with his mind, so check it again later. Lu Wenbin said okay, and he immediately went to the patient and asked, Do you remember your name? Li Zhou, 29 years old. Do you remember how you ruptured your Achilles tendon? I was chased by gangsters and they cut my Achilles tendon. My girlfriend wanted a dowry of 300,000 yuan before she would marry me. I borrowed enough money for the dowry, but I didn't have enough for the wedding expenses, so I had to borrow more money. As a result, I couldn't repay the debt, and the gangsters came after me. I ran for my life and fell down the stairs, and my Achilles tendon snapped. Ling Ran listened and asked suspiciously, so your Achilles tendon was broken by the fall, not cut? The patient said in a daze that it was broken by the fall. Ling Ran felt that there was something wrong with this patient's mind. He asked the anesthesiologist if he could perform general anesthesia, because spinal anesthesia would give him false information, which could easily lead to incorrect surgery. After the anesthesiologist performed general anesthesia on the patient, Ling Ran began the surgery. With the help of the MRI reading technique and the legendary level of Achilles tendon suture technique, he completed the surgery in just 18 minutes. Tian Qi who had approached Ling Ran first by pretending to be a patient so that Ling Ran would treat her, later drove a carpool to take Ling Ran to work. Now she had spent a lot of money to buy a medical company. She had just gone to the nurse's station to scout out the situation. And as soon as Ling Ran was mentioned, the nurses all praised him for being handsome, extremely cool, and incomparable to ordinary stars. We all saw Ling Ran's surgery just now in our group. Hearing this, Tian Chi couldn't help but feel jealous. Your internal group is so awesome, a nurse hurriedly explained. It's not really an internal group. Many pharmaceutical representatives also join. Those pharmaceutical representatives often come to find Dr. Ling even when they don't have anything to do. Hearing this, Tian Chi felt like she had discovered a new horizon. Then she secretly ran to the side and called her assistant. Buy me a pharmaceutical representative company. That does business in Yunhua. That way, I won't have to pretend to be a patient or drive a carpool anymore. In the conference room of Yunyi Pharmaceutical Company the next day, the chairman was announcing an important decision. From today onwards, Yunyi Pharmaceutical will be led by the new chairman, Tian Chi. Please invite Chairman Tian to give a speech. Tian Chi walked in, but she did not make a speech. Instead, she asked who had been in charge of Yunhua's business before. Hearing this, 
a freckled girl stepped forward tremblingly. Her name was Mai Chun. She had indeed been in charge of Yunhua's business before, but she had not done a very good job. At this moment, she couldn't help but feel anxious. Is the new chairman going to fire her? But Tian Chi waved to Mai Chun and motioned for her to come closer. Then she whispered a top secret mission in her ear. Two days later, Mai Chun knocked on Tian Chi's office door and handed her a phone. Tian Chi took the phone and opened the chat group. Inside, there was only one group called the Ling Ran Feeding Group. Tian Chi looked at the messages inside, and her heart was filled with excitement. This way, she could keep up with the latest news about Ling Ran at any time. It really was a move that could determine life or death. Tian Chi waved her hand and told Mai Chun to go to the finance department to get the money, and then told her to get another 13,000 yuan to buy a good phone. Meanwhile, Ling Ran had controlled the number of daily surgeries to about two over the next two weeks, but there were still not enough hospital beds to use. The emergency department had to leave some mobile beds. Moreover, the number of patients was too large. The nurses could not take care of all of them. Ling Ran had no choice but to go to the emergency room to perform some simple surgeries. After Director Huo found out about this, he felt very self-reproachful. He felt that it was the director's fault that the facilities could not meet the needs of the doctor. But at this time, Huo Kongjun received a call from Zhu Dongyi. Their medical center was very grateful for Ling Ran's help last time, so they wanted to invite Ling Ran to be a guest at this international exchange conference. They called to reassure director Huo. Huo Kongjun thought that Ling Ran had no surgeries to perform in Yunhua anyway so he agreed to the vice president's request. Two days later, Ling Ran had performed many surgeries in the emergency room. He had received many primary treasure chests as a thank you from the patients. Ling Ran opened all the chests, and unexpectedly, he opened another perfect tracheotomy technique. A policewoman had been stabbed in the leg, but she had tried to save her dog first. The nurse told her not to move to avoid tearing the wound. But the policewoman, Chin Min, hugged her dog and sobbed. The dog, Badu, was only eight years old, and had saved three people. This time, it was attacked after discovering drugs. At this moment, Ling Ran happened to see that the system had also issued a new treatment mission. Saving Badu could earn him six primary treasure chests. Ling Ran stepped forward without hesitation. I'm here. Chen Min heard this, and finally fainted with peace of mind. The nurse reminded Ling Ran, she's just fainted, but the dog is about to suffocate. Ling Ran looked down at the dog. It was already gasping for breath, and a tracheotomy had to be performed immediately. So they took it to the operating room right away. But at this moment, the anesthesiologist encountered a difficulty. He had never anesthetized a dog before, and did not know what kind of anesthesia to use. At this moment, a doctor who kept dogs raised his head and said, there are many types of anesthesia for dogs. You guys check it out first, and I'll go get the medicine. Ling Ran picked up a stethoscope and listened to its heart first. Then he checked its pulse, then its lung function, and counted its breaths. Although it was a physical examination for a dog, the method was the same as for a human. Ling Ran did not know if there was a special way to examine a dog's physical condition. But as it was, it was breathing 14 times per minute. Ling Ran listened to its breathing, and asked in amazement, what is the normal breathing rate for a dog? A nurse checked Google and said it was between 10 and 30 times. Ling Ran was still puzzled. So what about 14 times? Dr. Joe at the door laughed when he heard this. Ling Ran, your question is like that of an intern. The medical staff around him all laughed when they heard this. The dog raising doctor ran back at this time and injected the dog's spine with a syringe. Then he told the nurse to shave all the hair on its neck. After shaving and anesthesia, Ling Ran picked up the scalpel and began to perform a tracheotomy on the dog. He ran along its cervical spine and made a vertical incision downwards. He separated the muscles by blunt dissection to expose the trachea. Then he slowly incised the dog's trachea. Dr. Joe also put on gloves and prepared to help at any time. But Ling Ran's surgery went very smoothly, and he didn't give him any chance to help. A moment later, Ling Ran had completed the surgery, and inserted an oxygen breathing tube. Finally, the dog's breathing returned to normal, and its life was saved. Next, the wound was sutured. After suturing the dog's trachea, Ling Ran sutured the wounds on its four legs. With the sound of the suture being cut, the dog's surgery was completely finished. A few days later, Director Huo called Ling Ran and Yu Yuan into his office and told Ling Ran to take Yu Yuan to Shanghai. Ling Ran was going to attend the International Exchange Conference, and Yu Yuan's task was to bring Ling Ran back safely. Before that, Director Huo had met with Yu Yuan and given her a task. She must not let anyone approach Ling Ran. If Ling Ran could not return, 
then she should not return either. The next day, Ling Ran and Yu Yuan took a plane to Shanghai. But unexpectedly, the first person they met in Shanghai was Ling Ran's old patient, Lu Weishan. After arriving at the hotel, Lu Weishan said that he had recovered very well recently and was starting to do rehabilitation exercises. But he wanted to know if he could participate in intense competition with his current Achilles tendon. Lu Weishan had asked Zhu Dong Yi, but he still wanted to hear Ling Ran's opinion more. However, Ling Ran had no research in sports medicine. If he gave advice, he could only rely on the MRI to make some judgments about the possibility of recovery. Fortunately, Lu Weishan had prepared in advance and had taken an MRI image with his mobile phone. Ling Ran looked carefully and found that his Achilles tendon had not fully healed, and there was still a possibility of it tearing again. Therefore, Ling Ran's advice was that Lu Weishan should focus on rehabilitation exercises. Instead of participating in these small-scale high-intensity matches, if the Achilles tendon ruptures again, the consequences of the secondary injury will be very serious. His career would basically be over early. After hearing this, Lu Weishan sighed deeply. Brother A thanked Ling Ran, then left his car and driver for him. After Lu Weishan left, Ling Ran saw that there was still time, so he asked Yu Yuan to take a walk around the sports center. As soon as he arrived, Ling Ran was called over by Ji Tinlu. At this time, he was performing a hip replacement surgery. In orthopedic trauma, this type of surgery is considered to be a highly difficult surgery. The open face is very large, the artificial joint is also large. The instruments are super complicated, and the technical requirements for the doctor are very high. Ling Ran rarely performed this surgery. To him, this was extremely fascinating. Ji Tinlu also saw this, so he asked Ling Ran if he wanted to be an assistant. Ling Ran nodded honestly in agreement. Then he asked what the first step should be. Ji Tinlu laughed out loud. He didn't look like the mighty Dr. Ling from 10 days ago at all. Then he began to teach Ling Ran. Seeing Ling Ran learning very attentively, Ji Tinlu couldn't help but sigh that he was truly a born doctor. That eager gaze for surgery was really too simple and pure. Because Ling Ran was assisting, this surgery was quickly completed. But Ling Ran was still not satisfied, and asked if there were any other cases. Ji Tinlu laughed and said, I invited you to the meeting. I don't dare to tire you out. Go and rest. Ling Ran had no choice but to go back first. When he was shopping in the supermarket, he met Hazelnut. Ling Ran was surprised. Why did the service dog come to Shanghai? He looked again and realized that Qin Min had also come to Shanghai. After some polite greetings, Ling Ran and Yu Yuan returned to the hotel. Just as the two of them were enjoying their delicious food, they suddenly heard the sound of high heels. Yu Yuan recalled the earnest instructions that director Huo had given her before leaving, and immediately stood up on guard. Unexpectedly, the person who pushed the door open was the beautifully dressed Tian Qi. Yu Yuan saw this and immediately stood up on guard in front of Ling Ran. Ling Ran asked Tian Qi why she was here. Tian Qi answered with a guilty conscience, I came to Shanghai to help my family investigate a food delivery company. Then she changed the subject and asked Ling Ran what his next plans were. Ling Ran raised his head and thought, probably just play games. What games do you play, Dr. Ling? Honor of Kings. Do you want to play together? Tian Qi thought that games were her weakness, and she absolutely could not use her weakness to bring disaster upon herself. She lied and said that she didn't play games and left. After leaving the room, Tian Qi thought that there must be something that would attract him more than games, so she called a certain doctor, and said that she wanted to consult him on some medical issues. The next day, Tian Qi gave Ling Ran something he liked. Tian Qi said as she opened the car door, This is a fund that my family is leading to support some universities in Shanghai. I've applied for a place for you, but you must carry out the procedure in facilities and equipment that comply with the regulations. Seeing Tian Qi being so mysterious, Ling Ran was a little confused. What did she want to say? At this moment, Tian Qi had opened the car door, and held out her hand for Ling Ran to see for himself. After the car door was fully opened, Ling Ran and Yu Yuan were wide-eyed with surprise. This was truly a silent teacher. Only medical students would understand how precious it was to be able to dissect a real cadaver. In front of them was the cadaver that Tian Qi had given them, and Ling Ran and Yu Yuan opened their eyes wide, seeing the expressions on their faces. Tian Qi knew that she had succeeded. Then she added, I've contacted the 
person in charge of the sports center to use the basement as a dissection room that they built themselves. You can use it with peace of mind. When the two heard this, their eyes lit up as they looked at the cadaver in the car. In any era, it was extremely rare to be able to use these silent teachers for dissection. Chinese clinical doctors. On average, only 1 in 10 will have a cadaver that can be used for dissection during their entire career. A cadaver is sometimes more useful than 100 surgeries. The two of them went to the dissection room in the basement, and took a deep breath in front of the cadaver. This was real dissection, this was the real taste, but what Ling Ran needed most now was the guidance of the cadaver. He was very lacking in knowledge of foot anatomy. If he had experience in foot dissection at that time, then the Achilles tendon repair surgery for the WISH program would have been performed better. As for his knowledge of general anatomy, it was even more lacking. Yu Yuan was very fond of colorectal surgeries, so she focused on the abdominal area. Just like that, Ling Ran and Yu Yuan stayed in the dissection room all night. But the next day was the opening day of the international sports training course. Zhu Tong Ji, who had just returned from the capital, discovered that Ling Ran was really not there. Dr. Ku scratched his head and said that Ling Ran had entered the dissection room last night, and hasn't come out yet. Zhu Tong Ji was shocked when he heard this. Did the kid bring the cadaver here himself? Is it legal? What do you mean by not coming out? Go and call him out. Then, Dr. Ku went to the dissection room in the basement to find Ling Ran. He smiled and told Ling Ran to stop practicing. The director and the patient are coming soon, so you should prepare for the surgery. After all, this was a surgery that would be recorded in its entirety. And it was also a showcase for the conference. Ling Ran said to wait a little longer. I'll be done studying soon. 30 minutes later, Ling Ran arrived at the operating room that had been prepared in advance. The patient was a 27-year-old fencer, who had been walking his dog when he was knocked over by his neighbor's husky, causing pain in his right Achilles tendon, limiting his movement. An MRI diagnosis confirmed that his right Achilles tendon was ruptured. First, Ling Ran asked the nurse to bring him some thinner Edison forceps. After confirming that the patient did not need to be resuscitated, he began the surgery. Edison forceps are used to hold small tissues and skin. The tips of the forceps come in different specifications, depending on the needs of each doctor. If not specified in advance, the nurse would only bring the common specifications. As the surgery progressed, everyone in the observation room could not help but praise Ling Ran's superb skills. Dr. Brandon, who liked to post videos, even took out his phone to record it. After all, it was rare for a Chinese doctor to perform this surgery. At this moment, Ling Ran's surgery was also completed. This speed stunned Ji Tinlu. No wonder we were kept waiting. This surgery took much less time than the previous one. At first, I thought that Dr. Ling only had amazing skills. But I didn't expect that his learning speed was the most terrifying thing. After Ling Ran finished the surgery, he washed up a bit and left the operating room. But he found that Dr. Brandon was secretly taking pictures of him. At this moment, a voice rang out. Photography is prohibited in this area. Ling Ran exclaimed in surprise. Officer Chin. Why are you here? Chin Min said that she had been promoted. And now she was in charge of the entire area. As for Brandon, he broke out in a cold sweat when he heard the name of the police officer. At this moment, Zhu Tong Ji led a group of foreigners over. He smiled and introduced Ling Ran to the best doctors from abroad. But at this moment, a female doctor rushed forward and took Ling Ran's hand. Hello, Dr. Ling. The female doctor took out her business card but did not give it to him. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. Cardira. You can come to our clinic anytime. At this moment, all the doctors present were stunned. He even received an invitation from Mayo? Is Mayo so easy to invite? That's the number one clinic in the world. Ling Ran took Cardira's business card and took a closer look. Cardira also smiled charmingly at Ling Ran. Chin Min saw this scene. Based on her years of experience as a police officer, she felt that this woman's purpose was not simple. She wanted to seduce Ling Ran. Then she signaled to the police dog Chestnut to draw Ling Ran's attention back. Chestnut barked in understanding, and then ran over to Ling Ran and acted coquettishly. Ling Ran's attention was also drawn to Chestnut, and Chin Min snorted twice in satisfaction at Cardira. At this moment, Brandon stepped forward and said, Dr. Ling, your surgery is very good. Will you perform another surgery next? Ling Ran said that he might film it. Brandon smiled and said, it would be a pity if Dr. Ling couldn't perform a live surgery. Hearing this, Zhu Tong Ji glanced at Brandon. He thought to himself that a surgery that was broadcast on the big screen in the conference hall usually meant that the expert was teaching. Brandon letting Ling Ran participate in the surgical guidance for a group of international experts was probably not a good thing. Thinking of this, 
Zhu Tongji waved at Brandon with dissatisfaction. He said that surgery was not for show, and then told everyone to go to the conference hall first. A moment later, Brandon rushed back. He ran and shouted, Dr. Ling, my teacher, Wallace, is very interested in the surgery you performed. He wants to ask you about the patient's condition before the surgery. Can you tell us? It would be best if you could contact the patient for an MRI. Then Ling Ran took out his phone and called He Tu Fen. He Tu Fen also said very readily that she would come over right away. The MRI results shocked Brandon. It couldn't be called good. But it was simply so amazing that even God would be amazed. Then he asked Ji Tinlu next to him. Did the patient just participate in a competition? Ji Tinlu proudly said that she not only participated in the competition, but was also the national track and field champion. But at this moment, Brandon had a skeptical attitude. He thought that Chinese doctors could not perform such a perfect surgery. Perhaps it was related to the patient's physique. Then he took out the x-rays of other athletes, who were all Ling Ran's previous patients. Brandon picked up the x-rays and looked at them, and he was immediately shocked. It was almost exactly the same as the x-ray just now, and the stable condition was recovering very well. Brandon let out a sigh of exclamation, and at that moment, Ling Ran's system reminded him that he had received praise from his colleagues. Task completed, treasure chest collected. Ling Ran did not think much of it, and he opened all the treasure chests that he had accumulated during this period. He also unlocked the advanced arthroscopic surgery technique and perfect meniscus reconstruction technique. At this moment, Brandon and Ji Tinlu walked over. Brandon saw Ling Ran in a daze and asked him what was wrong. Ling Ran said, I'm thinking about how to find an opportunity to perform arthroscopic surgery. Brandon smiled flatteringly when he heard this. I do a lot of arthroscopic surgeries. If you have the opportunity, you can find me to cooperate. We also do meniscus surgery. After he finished speaking, he extended his hand to Ling Ran. Ji Tinlu next to him felt uneasy when he saw this. The hard-working buffalo was finally borrowed by others. It seemed that he was about to be tricked. So he quickly took Ling Ran's hand and asked Ling Ran with a smile, do you want to do another arthroscopy? Nowadays, hip joint disease is very common. As long as you do it well, you will definitely have a bright future. Ling Ran said that it was too difficult and he couldn't learn it for the time being. Moreover, the conference is expected to last for another three days. There will probably be no surgeries to perform during these three days. Hearing Ling Ran's tone, Ji Tinlu panicked. He thought that Ling Ran was about to leave. No, absolutely not. Ji Tinlu said immediately. He can also find an opportunity to perform arthroscopic surgery. Brandon, who was standing by the side, was not willing to lose either, and patted his chest, saying, I can contact a patient with a ruptured Achilles tendon now. Ji Tinlu was a little annoyed when he heard Brandon say this. What's the matter? Do you want to send Ling Ran to your hospital for surgery now? Brandon smiled faintly when he heard this. If it's not convenient for Dr. Ling to go there, the patient can come here. My professor Wallace thinks very highly of Dr. Ling's Achilles tendon surgery technique. As long as we can ensure a high success rate, we can make arrangements for him. Ji Tinlu was shocked when he heard this. Damn, this is a powerful move. You guys used your ultimate move to win Ling Ran over, didn't you? We will definitely not give up. Thinking of this, Ji Tinlu quickly added, Ling Ran, don't worry. I will arrange two athletes with ruptured Achilles tendons for you right away. Seeing that Ji Tinlu had made the arrangements, Brandon, who liked to shoot short videos, wanted to live broadcast on the spot. This was a live broadcast of a surgery that was of great interest to the medical community. But the chief surgeon was a newly graduated intern. Brandon was good at shooting short videos, and had already prepared the live broadcast equipment. Then he pointed the camera at a piece of paper. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now starting a live broadcast of a surgery in Shanghai. China, with the consent of the hospital and the patient's family here. Then he introduced the patient and the chief surgeon to the audience. The patient is a Chinese weightlifter, and his Achilles tendon was severely torn. The doctor is a young doctor, Ling Ran, who has just graduated. At this moment, Ling Ran was holding a scalpel and making a long incision on the patient's calf. Brandon explained to the camera that, the patient hoped to have a healthy Achilles tendon, and did not care whether the scar on his calf was long or short. At this time, he received a message from Professor Wallace, telling him to point the camera at the surgical area. Brandon was shocked. It seemed that his teacher thought he was talking too much, so he hurriedly turned the camera to the surgical area so that he could have a better view of the team's vision. Not long after, Wallace sent another message. The distal end of the Achilles tendon is sutured to the lateral malleolus. Is there any basis for this, or is it a personal habit? Brandon relayed this question to Ling Ran, and Ling Ran simply said that he had tested it on rabbits. 
in the main hall at this time, a doctor walked up and opened the screen and connected it to his phone. He said that he would show everyone a live surgery of Achilles tendon repair as suggested by his brother, Dr. Wallace. When the video footage appeared, the conference hall started to buzz with excitement. The operation was very complicated, and the surgeon seemed to be performing some kind of difficult procedure. Suddenly, a doctor asked, is that Dr. Tong Yi performing the surgery? He's so good. Hardira, who happened to be sitting in the front, answered the question. This is a young and talented doctor from China named Ling Ran. Dr. Ling is performing the surgery. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. Who is Ling Ran? Which hospital does he work at? How come such a good doctor suddenly appeared? How can I contact him? I need detailed information about this Ling Ran. Right now, immediately. At this moment, on the big screen, Ling Ran had taken off his gloves. That meant that the surgery was over. Those who were interested in Ling Ran immediately stood up and went to the sports center together to find Ling Ran. After a while, they found Ling Ran and praised him for performing a wonderful surgery. At this time, a South African doctor, Morris Chen, came out of the crowd. He said that he had a patient who was an athlete and had also ruptured his Achilles tendon, but he had been worried about the surgery, and asked if Ling Ran would like to see his medical records. Ling Ran took the medical records and MRI scans from Morris and looked at them for a while. He said that he could use the elderly support method, and the recovery time would be about 34 months. The risk was greater than that of a conventional Achilles tendon repair surgery. Although Morris had also watched Ling Ran's live surgery, he still asked about the success rate of the surgery and the patient's recovery. After learning more about it, Morris wanted to give this patient to Ling Ran for surgery, and even said that he could have the patient come to China, but Ling Ran hesitated a little. As an intern, he was not sure if he could do it. At this time, Ji Tin Lu patted his shoulder and said, Dr. Ling, you can agree to do it at Yun Hua, or you can do it at our sports center. Ling Ran nodded and said to Morris, if the patient comes to China before the end of the conference, we will do it here. Otherwise, we will do it at Yun Hua. The South African patient had traveled all the way to Shanghai just to find an intern to perform Achilles tendon surgery. In less than a day, the patient, Diamond, had arrived in Shanghai from South Africa. The doctors at the sports center wanted to have a consultation first, but Ling Ran said that it was just a normal operation, and that there was nothing special about it. However, before the surgery began, Diamond burst into tears, which confused many of the medical staff. Ji Tin Lu stepped forward to comfort him, saying that it was just a simple surgery, and that they were the world's leading Achilles tendon surgery team. He didn't need to worry. Diamond's tears still flowed, and Ling Ran stepped forward and handed him a tissue and said, Your body is in good condition. I will suture your Achilles tendon. Although there are still risks, if there are any problems, I will use other methods to heal your Achilles tendon. Diamond took the tissue, wiped away his tears and snot, and said, Thank you. As long as you can heal my Achilles tendon, I don't care how you do it. As soon as Diamond finished speaking, a treasure chest appeared in front of Ling Ran. Ling Ran was surprised. The surgery hadn't even started yet. Why was there a sincere gratitude treasure chest? Ling Ran subconsciously opened the treasure chest, and inside were 100 leg surgery experience points. This was the easiest treasure chest that Ling Ran had ever received, and it could be used right away. Ling Ran then asked Diamond to lie down on his stomach so that the anesthesia could take effect. Diamond lay down on his stomach, and then said in a choked voice, When I recover, I will compete professionally to earn a lot of money. At this time, another treasure chest appeared in front of Ling Ran, and when he opened it, it was another 100 leg surgery experience points. With these 200 experience points, Ling Ran's mind suddenly opened up. He asked everyone to wait a moment, saying that he had a new idea and wanted to change the incision. Ji Tin Lu asked in surprise, Where do you want to change the incision? Ling Ran said, 35 centimeters to the right. Ji Tin Lu was puzzled. Like that, the Achilles tendon won't be visible. Ling Ran continued, just make the incision a little bigger and you'll be able to see it. Although Ling Ran seemed very confident, today's situation was not suitable for experimenting with surgery. So Ji Tin Lu asked again, why don't we change the incision next time? But Ling Ran was very confident in the 200 leg surgery experience points that the system had given him. According to Diamond's MRI scans, the position of his vascular network did indeed require a change in the incision. Seeing that Ling Ran was still insistent, Ji Tin Lu didn't say much more. At this time, 
Ling Ran had already taken the scalpel, and asked the assistant to prepare to dissect the skin, suction the fluid and gauze, continue to suction the fluid. This series of operations resulted in a blood loss of only 45 milliliters, which was lower than the previous blood loss. The medical experts in the main hall were also watching the progress of the surgery intently. When everyone saw this scene, they started to talk about it. Currently, the blood loss from the traditional incision method is about 150 to 200 milliliters, and now the blood loss from the limited incision is about 70 milliliters. Considering the traditional incision model alone, the blood loss in this surgery is very small up to this point. Is this the principle of plan A? Reduce blood loss and increase the strength of the Achilles tendon suture. At this time, Ling Ran had already started to suture the Achilles tendon. He asked the nurse to bring him the vascular forceps and PDS sutures and began to suture. Based on his 200 surgery experience points, Ling Ran cut fewer blood vessels, which reduced the surgery time, ensured the blood supply, and reduced the blood loss. Such skilled techniques could not be described with a single word like, good. Ji Tinlu broke out in a cold sweat. The vascular network was preserved to the maximum extent. This level of skill could only be achieved by a doctor with more than 50 years of experience. Just as everyone was exclaiming, Ling Ran had already completed the surgery. Everyone in the main hall burst into applause. A moment later, in Diamond's ward. At this time, the patient slowly opened his eyes, and Morris excitedly told him that the surgery had gone very well. Ling Ran also nodded in agreement. Diamond burst into tears of joy. That's great. I can play football again, can make money. As soon as he finished speaking, the system suddenly made a sound. Another treasure chest appeared in front of Ling Ran, and his eyes widened. Three treasure chests had appeared for one person, but he didn't open them in a hurry. Instead, he told Diamond to cooperate with the rehabilitation process. Then, another ding sounded, and another treasure chest appeared before him. Ling Ran was completely stunned at this point, wondering if it was too ridiculous. Back in his office, Ling Ran looked at the surgery records. He could already write a separate paper on it. At this moment, Yu Yuan walked in and said that another doctor had referred a patient to him. This time, it was a Chinese long jumper. Then, she gestured to her neck with her hand, saying that his legs were this long. He specifically asked to see him. Ling Ran put down the records after hearing this, and was about to go and prepare when Yu Yuan stared at him. She said with a nervous expression, Dr. Ling, I want to learn the Achilles tendon suture technique from you. I also want to become an expert surgeon. I know that my current surgical skills are not good enough, but I will try my best to learn. Ling Ran was taken aback, then smiled and nodded in agreement. Ling Ran had been training for two and a half years and was about to go for surgery. He was about to go for surgery elsewhere, and Morris was being interviewed by many media outlets. Many media reporters asked why he didn't mind traveling all the way to China for treatment. How did he rate the medical skills of Chinese doctors? However, both of them answered, you can always trust Dr. Ling. It turned out that Ling Ran was a top figure in Chinese medicine. This interview attracted a large number of enthusiastic fans. For example, this person, Dr. Ling, save me, or this person in a wheelchair. I want to find you to perform the surgery for me. These two people bought plane tickets to Shanghai directly. Oh, the hospital was packed with people, and everyone was shouting, Dr. Ling, which floor? This man did not need to queue because Chu Dong Yi had asked him to pass this file to Ling Ran. Soon after, he arrived at Dr. Ling's hotel, and a knock on the door sounded. Ling Ran opened the door. Huang Maoshi, why are you here? You could have gone to see Director Huo directly. Since you're in Shanghai, how can I help you? Huang Maoshi said, don't underestimate me. Dr. Ling, I'm here to give Chu Dong Yi's team an endoscopic tendon surgery machine. Ling Ran looked at him with a puzzled expression. Oh, oh. What? I'm not kidding. Look, Chu Dong Yi has something important for me to pass to you. Ling Ran looked at the stack of documents, and a look of disbelief appeared on his face. Chu Dong Yi had arranged for someone to write this document. Huang Maoshi tried to flatter Ling Ran. Let me tell you, Dr. Ling, if you use our company's endoscopic tendon surgery machine, the efficiency of your surgery will be. Before he could finish speaking, Ling Ran said, the plan was made by old Chu, and the rest is my improved version. The content is well organized and detailed. The most terrifying thing is that he wrote down the main points of the improved version without my help. Wang Maoshi's face twisted. Dr. Ling, listen to me. Its advantages are blah blah blah. Ling Ran grasped the key point. As expected, Academician Chu Dong Yi is a national treasure. Huang Maoshi finally realized that Ling Ran was not listening to him at all. Huang Maoshi regained his composure and continued speaking. Oh right, Dr. Ling, 
I just heard that the Department of Orthopedics is preparing to publish an article in the Chinese Journal of Orthopedics. You are the first co-author. Congratulations. Suddenly, a man walked into the room. Dr. Ling, I'm here to bring you some good news. Ling Ran asked directly, have you finished arranging the order of the patients? Ji Tinlu gestured to Huang Maoshi. Huang Maoshi looked displeased, and said, it's not convenient for me to listen, is it? Okay, okay, I'll go now. Huang Maoshi then left the room. Hello, Dr. Ling, hello, Director Ji. You two are busy, so I'll visit you again next time. Ji Tinlu continued, let's not talk about the patients for now. Look, this is a salary statement that the accounting department has prepared for you. This is your income for last month. Actually, there are a few more types of insurance. But they haven't been transferred here yet, so they can't be processed for the time being. Ling Ran replied, I can't transfer here. I'm still working at Yunhua Hospital. The Center for Sports and Joint Medicine is not suitable for me. Ji Tinlu immediately explained, let's not talk about this for now. You're still an intern. Ling Ran also had his own thoughts. The source of patience is too limited, and I don't like it. You're making a decision too quickly. There's no need to rush. Let's not talk about this for now. The number of patients has started to increase from today. And there's a group of patients who have some aesthetic requirements. For now, let's prioritize the surgical issues. Ling Ran asked in surprise. A group of patients? What do they do? Ji Tinlu replied, thanks to the successful surgeries you performed on Lu Weishan and Diamond. They are all athletes, so most of the patients who come here are also athletes. Ling Ran pondered. In that case, the key point is to minimize the impact of the surgery on the shape of the leg. Pay attention to the amount of blood loss, and minimize the impact on the muscle tissue. Specifically, we need to look at the MRI scans before we can come up with a plan. Ji Tinlu was scared. When it came to medical records, he would immediately start researching. And he immediately changed the subject from the dangerous topic just now and suddenly took this opportunity to slip away. In order to avoid Ling Ren suddenly remembering that topic again, I'll go back to the sports center first. And Dr. Ling, when you're ready, just check the time and come over. Ling Ran walked out a few steps. Lu Weishan's ID is really strange. Suddenly, a service dog ran up to him. Hazelnut, I'm sorry, Dr. Ling. I just let go of it, and it ran over. Chin Min looked at Ling Ran's phone, and thought to herself, Dai Kuaiki is not a familiar opponent. These people are constantly following me, so I have to act faster. Suddenly, her right foot tripped over her left foot, and Chin Min staggered forward. Hazelnut, don't delay Dr. Ling's work. She suddenly slipped. Ling Ran gasped. Man suddenly appeared in front of her and caught Chin Min. What the hell happened? All the fish are gone. Ling Ran exclaimed in embarrassment. The fierce looking man looked at Ling Ran. Ling Ran said, Director Huo, why are you here? Both of them were embarrassed on the spot. I came to a meeting and visited you by the way. Ling Ran thought to himself. A big shot like Director Huo would only use the excuse of a meeting to go out and perform surgery. He asked again, what meeting is it, Director? Director Huo flipped through his notebook. Oh, the annual conference on the challenges of pelvic and gynecological surgery. Ling Ran asked in a low voice, how long will this conference last? Director Huo also answered in a low voice, it depends on you. Chin Min stood there in a daze. Ling Ran smiled and said, I was planning to go back to Yun Hua these two days, but suddenly there were so many patients. Erm calculated that he could finish the work next week and return to Yun Hua. This kid Ling Ran, I knew he was reliable. Then Huo Kongjun laughed. That's perfect, that's perfect. My conference will also end next week. Then I'll go to the meeting first. Let's go back to Yun Hua together next week. Ling Ran replied, Yes, sir. Chin Min was still in a daze, her face flushed with embarrassment. Back in the hospital, Ling Ran said, These two patients have fibular fractures, and the injuries are quite severe. I won't do them. This case of arthritis is not suitable for knee arthroplasty. The rest are for me. Dr. G, there aren't enough flexor tendon cases. I plan to work a little longer today, and I hope there won't be any interruptions. G Tinlu was surprised. Okay, okay, I'll go find some flexor tendons for you. That's right, Ling Ran. I heard that Huo Kongjun is here. Ling Ran replied, yes, Director Huo rushed to a meeting. Before they could say a few more words, they unexpectedly missed the director. Is there anything else besides Director Huo attending the conference? Ling Ran looked at the x-ray and said, there's nothing else. He just made an appointment with us to go back to Yun Hua together next week. Sure enough, 
I knew this old man had no good intentions. Then he suddenly said to Ling Ran, You can't always listen to Director Huo. Think about the medical resources in Shanghai. Can Yun Hua compare? Ling Ran quickly replied, Well, Yun Hua Hospital, the Provincial General Hospital and the Military Hospital combined, are not as good as Shanghai's Jishuiten Hospital. Ling Ran, I've always said, it's best for you to stay in Shanghai, it won't take long. Just stay in Shanghai for 810 years and you can become the top in the country. How long will it take you to succeed if you stay in Yunhua? Ling Ran nodded in agreement. It will take as long as it takes. I'm not just thinking about myself. I'm also thinking about the development of the country's medical field. Ling Ran, you have to think clearly. Ling Ran said, I've already thought it through. And by next week, I can fill all the beds in the center. The timing is just right. The two of them were surprised by Ling Ran's words. Ji Tinlu thought, he wants to eat everything and then run away. No, there's a loophole in Ling Ran's words. He said to Ling Ran, if there are still beds available at the sports center, would you be willing to stay a little longer? Ling Ran calmly replied, if you can't find any patients, then it doesn't matter how many beds there are. Ji Tinlu shouted, of course not. There will be no shortage of patients. I've always felt that the beds in our hospital are very spacious. Ling Ran, if you can do it all, I will do my best to provide you with beds. Ling Ran blushed slightly. If there are beds, I can stay a little longer. Ji Tinlu was very happy. As long as you stay, I won't be short of beds for you. The next mission was announced, and the content was to use the hospital's resources to fill the beds. Intermediate treasure chest reward. Ling Ran thought that if it was an intermediate treasure chest, then this mission had to be completed. I understand. As long as there are beds, we'll continue to stay and perform surgeries. So severed fingers, flexor tendon ruptures, meniscus tears, and various other surgeries. Ling Ran worked continuously for a day and a night. A day and a night later, it had been a long time since Ling Ran had had such a comfortable surgery. He had breakfast and rested for a while. Suddenly, Director Huo called. Ling Ran, Director Huo, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be at a meeting today? Director Huo said while eating. The conference is still going on. I slipped away for a bit. Didn't you not have breakfast either? Let's go. Let's go have breakfast. The two of them went to the restaurant to have breakfast. Director Huo said, I'll show you something nice. The conference gave it to me, but I don't think I need it, so I'll give it to you. Ling Ran opened it and was stunned. This was a tracheotomy kit. The needles and disinfection packs were all German, which I like the most. Ha ha, in short, the instruments are very durable. Anyway, I rarely do tracheotomy surgeries, so I'll give this to you. Ling Ran asked. The annual conference on surgical and gynecological challenges will give away tracheotomy kits? Director Huo stood up and said, just take it. I'm going back to the meeting. Director, what about breakfast? Director Huo waved his hand and left. One could see the warmth and kindness of human nature. Ling Ran also understood Director Huo's intentions. Cut to Ling Ran performing surgery. Don't worry. I'll finish all the cases within a week, no matter how many there are. Ling Ran seemed to be saying these words to Director Huo. Ling Ran worked hard again without resting. What? You've already done 44 surgeries since yesterday? You didn't sleep? Ling Ran replied calmly. I've already rested, like right now. I'm actually resting right now. Ji Tinlu blushed. Go to work. Let's go to work. A group of doctors rushed in. The first person to push the door open said, Oh, Director Ji, Dr. Ling, you two got up early. Ling Ran said again, You came just in time. I just finished resting. Director Ji seemed helpless. Ling Ran performed surgery carefully and diligently under the surgical lights. The patient trusted him with the surgery. It was another busy and productive day. Ling Ran took a deep breath. That's it for today. 80 cases in two days. That's not bad. The colleagues beside him were embarrassed and didn't know what to say. A colleague said, Director Ji, Dr. Ling is too terrifying. 80 cases in two days. This kind of cell life warrior, someone who works extremely hard, is still just not bad to him. We're about to collapse. Director Ji thought to himself, I thought that more than 40 cases a day was Ling Ren's occasional burst of energy. I didn't expect him to be able to work continuously in the treatment area. In the past, this place only had double rooms. But in the past two days, the beds in the triple rooms have been constantly being pushed in and out. And they have even become quadruple rooms. And even six bedrooms. Director Ji went to the inpatient department apartment on the fifth floor. Looking at the hospital beds, he knew that with Ling Ran's speed of 80 cases in two days, they wouldn't be able to hold on for much longer. The nurse behind him said, 
Director G. We nurses have been working overtime for the past two days, so you have to calculate the overtime pay clearly. Otherwise, when the time comes to add more beds, no one will be willing to do the work. Director G turned around and said, don't worry about the overtime pay. As for the beds, tell me how many more can be added. Nurse replied, our department has a lot of space. If we do it like the other hospitals and occupy the entire corridor, it seems feasible to add 200 more beds. That means we can add 400 more beds? The doctors in this hospital usually only need 50 beds, so the remaining 350 beds are for Ling Ran. It's unbelievable. 400 beds is too many. 300 beds is probably not enough to use, but if it's installed carefully, it can be increased to 500 beds, which is enough for our center to be upgraded. Director G said happily, if that's the case, then that's great. Then let's make a decision quickly. If there's still space for beds, find someone to install them immediately. This is the best way to retain talent. Less than half an hour later, Director G. Hello, I'm the representative of Yunli Pharmaceuticals. My name is Machun. For this department expansion project, do you have any specific requirements? G. Tinlu stated his requirements. Quality is the most important, and the construction period should be as short as possible. Then he calculated carefully and talked about the price. If possible, can you consider reducing the price a little? Machun also confidently talked about the benefits. Rest assured, this super fast, high quality project will be undertaken by our Yunli. Three days later, Director G looked at the newly installed hospital beds and couldn't believe his eyes. The quality was too good, and the efficiency was amazing. No matter how you looked at it, it seemed like the construction company was losing money. The nurse also said, the waterproofing test and random inspection. The materials all exceed the standards. It feels like the price we gave them isn't even enough to buy the materials. Humph, that's their business. We only care about our own business. Director G seemed to be planning something. Now that it has increased to 500 beds, Ling Ran definitely can't leave. Ling Ran also praised Director G for being so capable and actually increasing the number of beds by so much when he saw so many hospital beds. I have to work even harder. Ling Ran continued to try his best to to perform surgeries with the doctors and nurses. Compared to before the renovation of the treatment area, it was even more difficult. At this moment, an elderly doctor almost fainted on the operating table. Let him rest first. The male doctor said, when something happened to the assistant, Dr. Ling didn't react at all. That's not true. He didn't notice it. Because in Dr. Ling's eyes, there was only the surgery. After six days of crazy surgery, there were still 15 surgeries left to be completed. Ling Ran confidently said, I have to finish it in one day. This was not only a task, but also related to the promise he made to Director Huo. This small bottle of medicine can relieve the body's fatigue. At 2247 on the last day, the task was finally completed. Ling Ran also heaved a sigh of relief. Hmm, we finally made it in time. The nurse beside him suddenly said, we're running out of hospital beds. To maintain the operation of 500 hospital beds 24 hours a day, we need at least 400 nurses. Otherwise, don't even mention first-class nursing. It'll be difficult to even change the IV bags for second-class nursing. Director G hurriedly said, Dr. Ling, can you reduce the number of patients or suspend the surgeries for two days? Ling Ran replied, what if the patients come to our doorstep? Director G could not answer. He said awkwardly, Dr. Ling, don't be angry. Surgeries can't be done endlessly. Or let's just slow down for two days and see how it goes. A nurse beside him was also dumbfounded. What are you talking about? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Someone was approaching. Before he could finish speaking, Ji Tinlu was patted on the shoulder by this person. What's there to be angry about? Huo Kangjun said. If the hospital comes to our doorstep, then just transfer them to Yunyi. Director Huo, Director Huo. Huo Kangjun laughed. Our department's emergency center is almost completed. It will definitely be enough for the little brat to use by then. Yes, Director Huo, why are you here? Tonight, I came to a banquet nearby with some people from the forum, and I came to visit you on the way. Ling Ran also replied, I just finished the surgery, so I won't miss the flight back to Yunhua tomorrow. That's good. We'll meet at the airport tomorrow. Yes. Ji Tinlu, who was beside him, was very helpless. What can be unlocked this time? The branch skill for reading X-ray films is a technical skill. This perfect skill has a wider range. Unlike the MRI which is only limited to the four limbs, it can be said that the ability has almost reached a comprehensive level. Ling Ran thought to himself, I wonder when I'll be able to unlock something more interesting. Before he could get to sleep, he heard a series of knocks on the door. Ling Ran opened the door. Oh, Director G, Dr. Yu, 
why are you two here? Aha, I asked Yuan Yuan to lead the way and visit Dr. Ling's living environment for a bit. If it's not comfortable, we can still rearrange it. But it doesn't seem to be uncomfortable, right? Ha ha ha. Ling Ran said, the hotel changed me to a higher classroom. Director Ji asked helplessly, so you're really leaving tomorrow? Ling Ran looked at him. Yes, I've already told Director Huo. Oh, so you're really leaving? We've just finished renovating the treatment area, and Teacher Zhu is also contacting patients everywhere. What are you talking about, Dr. Ji? I didn't say I wouldn't come back, huh? Ling Ran explained. Wait a little longer for the patients here to be discharged. When there are empty beds again, I'll come back so as not to waste the hospital beds. Director Ji could not believe it. Really? Of course. After that, Ling Ran returned to Yunhua. He got out of the car. He had arrived in Yunhua. He took a deep breath. The smell was so familiar. Director Huo, who was behind him, said, You've been doing high-intensity surgeries for a week. Go home and rest first, then come to work later. Ling Ran said confidently, I've rested enough on the plane. I don't need to rest now. Let's go to the hospital. Director Huo said awkwardly, there's no need to be in such a hurry. Besides, we don't have that many hospital beds right now. Yuan Yuan, who was beside him, was speechless. Ling Ran continued, a few beds will do. I can do finger replantation surgeries. Are you really not going home? You should at least tidy up a bit. You haven't visited your parents in a long time. Ling Ran replied, my parents are on a trip. There are people looking after the clinic. I don't have to worry about anything. Let's go, director. Huo Kongjun said happily, okay. I'll call Wang Haiyang to reserve a surgery spot for you. On the hospital side, the nurses were gossiping. Have you heard? Dr. Ling is back. I heard that he went straight to work as soon as he got home. Dr. Ling is truly a shining example of a dedicated and professional doctor. It's a pity that he went into the operating room as soon as he came back. He didn't even give us a chance to take a look at him. That's right. There are still so many things we want to ask him. He didn't give us any chance. Wang Jia sighed. It seemed that the relationship between the two was not ordinary. In the operating room, Ling Ran talked about the key issues. The third and fifth metacarpal bones on her right hand are fractured at the base. The fracture surface is also not straight. It's an oblique fracture. The key point is to fix it. Director Huo asked, did you learn any new techniques when you went to Shanghai? I learned endoscopic meniscus reconstruction surgery. Director Huo was very happy. Very good. He has done many finger replantation surgeries. Compared to the last time he did it in the hand surgery department, this kid has improved a lot. While Ling Ran was performing the surgery, Director Huo was making a phone call in the emergency department's office. Yes, Dr. Ling Ran has returned to work at Yunhua. What? You're coming from Kenya? Yes. Okay. You're coming the day after tomorrow, right? Okay, we'll make preparations in advance. If you want to find Ling Ran, just call this number in the future. Ring, ring, ring. Another phone call came in. Where are you guys coming from? How many of you are there? Seven people? No problem. Director Huo hung up the phone. He was indeed a great helper in Zhu Dongyi's sports center. Now, patients who came to find this kid for surgery were already lining up from all over the country and even internationally. Director Huo suddenly thought of something. In other words, before the emergency center is completed, we have to establish a Ling Ran special treatment group in order to cope with it. He immediately gave the order, from now on. Lu Wenbin, Yuan Yuan, you two are members of the Ling Ran special treatment group. Apart from Ling Ran's work, you don't need to do anything else. Ma Yi Lin was also considered a semi-member of the group before. I'll find old Wang this afternoon to discuss it in more detail. The three of them answered in unison. Yes, the other doctors were gossiping. Have you heard? They're going to set up a special treatment group. What do you guys think? What if we could join the group? It's impossible. A male doctor said, I'll persevere until I commit suicide. Have you seen Lu Wenbin? He has already bought a house and a car. The male doctor in the middle also said, but his hair is almost gone. Director Huo immediately said, of course, Ling Ran's special treatment group will be different. It will be different from other groups in all aspects, including the fact that there are no restrictions on treatment. I'll talk about the specific details later. There are still a few places left. Does anyone else want to join? Everyone quickly raised their hands. Me, me. Everyone was actively signing up. Director, choose me. Choose me. Lu Wenbin and Yuan Yuan sighed in annoyance. If that's the case, then you, you, you. He added another person. The four people who had escaped the eye of the storm were surprised. Only the poor guy next to them was left. There's no need to explain the specifics, right? The four people were very happy. 
Don't worry, director. Leave it to us. The next day, the patients from Kenya arrived at Yunwa Hospital. The blonde reporter said, remember to give me a call when the time comes. Director Huo said behind her, no problem. He thought to himself, this is a milestone that shows that Ling ran. No, our Yunwa emergency department has reached an international level. This epic making scene must be promoted. Ha ha, the patients have just arrived and they're already going into the operating room. Ling ran asked the assistant beside him, are the nurses and everyone else ready? Dr. Yu said, they're ready. Dr. Ling, you can start now. He didn't say much and immediately started the surgery. The blonde reporter next to him kept taking beautiful pictures. He's so handsome. Director Huo turned his head and said, yes, but it's not the most important thing yet. The assistant doctor beside him suddenly said, Dr. Ling likes to make large incisions. Dr. Yu replied, this is Dr. Ling's Achilles tendon repair surgery. Lu Wenbin continued, the surgical method with a large incision and preservation of blood supply. The doctor asked curiously again, the patient's Achilles tendon was a straight cut, and now there is a mechanism to suture the gap, so should the suture be reinforced? Then he asked the two of them again, Lu Wenbin, Ma Yi Lin, what do you guys think? Dr. Lu replied, just reinforce the suture, and turn the tension of the suture into a pulling force on the fibers. This can increase the tensile strength of the two ends of the Achilles tendon. Ling Ran finally spoke up. We're using regular sutures, and the less sutures there are, the less tissue reaction there will be. Dr. Lu and Dr. Ma suddenly came to their senses, so that's how it is. Director Huo immediately reminded them that this was the most important moment. Take pictures, take pictures, click, click. Each picture recorded the process of Ling Ran surgery. Finally, Ling Ran said, the surgery is complete. Director Huo walked out of the operating room, and the rest of the cases will be transferred to the orthopedics department. At this moment, Lu Wenbin hurriedly ran over. Director, the people from the orthopedics department said they refused to transfer the patients. And starting today, they will no longer perform Achilles tendon repair surgery. Ling Ran was a little suspicious. Director Huo thought carefully. Fortunately, the reporter has left, or we would have been laughed at. Could it be that the orthopedic textbook editorial board is not afraid of their people being compared to Ling Ran? Ling Ran looked over. Lu Wenbin was also stunned. Director Huo looked sinister. They won't do it? We'll do it ourselves. Aren't there still a few foreign patients? HMPH, we'll give him a big blow. After Ling Ran performed surgery on a few foreign patients, the medical community in the province was abuzz, and the TV station also reported it enthusiastically. He is truly worthy of being a Chinese doctor. Dr. Ling Ran of Yunhua City, Zishuan Province is amazing. Dean Zhou said seriously. Ling Ran had performed consecutive surgery surgeries on several foreign athletes. Now, not only Yunhua, but the medical community in Zishuan province had also paid attention to it. This was a good thing for all the doctors in Yunhua. Director Huo was proud at this moment. Let's promote a little democratic spirit. Say whatever you want. Oh, why didn't the orthopedic department come? Dean Zhou tilted his head and said, Director Huo, if someone respects you, you should forgive them. Director Huo said loudly, do you know what shame is? A few days ago, you refused to transfer the patients. I didn't expect that this day would come so quickly. What a foresight. Some people are really tisk tisk. Okay, listen to the dean. I won't say anything more. The others also laughed. Dean Joe, I have something to say. We are all starting to perform surgeries on foreigners now. Has the sign for the International Emergency Center been put up yet? Dean Joe said, the hospital really needs to pay attention to this matter. The Superior Health Department also strongly supports our internationalization of medical care. Director Huo, you're lucky to have Ling Ran. He hasn't signed a contract yet. You have to watch him carefully. Director Huo replied, next year, we'll let him apply for the exam, and we can get people on our side in a few months. Be careful, the night is long and full of dreams. Director Huo said with a smile, that's right. In Ling Ran's special treatment group, Ma Yi Lin is a specialist in hand surgery. I'm considering whether to transfer him here. The head of the hand surgery department immediately said, that's great, old man. Are you trying to steal my people? I haven't agreed to give Ma Yi Lin to you yet. Huo Kongjun said embarrassedly, I'm just suggesting it for Ma Yi Lin's own good. You old man. All right. Dean Zhou, we need another person. Ling Ran has the ability to build a team, and he has trained several doctors under him very well. If he can build a team, he won't be willing to leave, right? Dean Zhou said, now, everyone is complaining about the shortage of people. I'll think of a way for you to find someone, but I can't guarantee the quality. You can adjust it internally. Ling Ran, Ma Yi Lin can come and help you occasionally, but his main job is still in the hand surgery department. In the future, try to give him less work when you perform surgeries, or else that department will nag me again. Ling Ran replied, 
but Ma Yi Lin is considered a pillar doctor. Now if one pillar is gone, it will be a bit. Don't worry too much. I've already found you a new person. There was a knock at the door, and a doctor walked in. Hello, leaders. Please give me more guidance in the future. Zuo Sidian, 42 years old, is the new person that Director Huo has just found. From the town health center, Director Huo said. Ling ran. Although Zuo Sidian is from a township health center, he has the most experience in receiving emergencies. Dr. Zuo said confidently, I learn very quickly and I am very serious about my work. No matter what you ask me to do, I will do it well for you. In addition, I can work overtime. I just got divorced this year, and my children are with my wife. Ling Ran asked, can you work overtime? I can work the night shift so that my colleagues can have less work. Dr. Zuo really didn't notice the expressions of the two people behind him. Ling Ran said directly, get familiar with the environment first. Come to the surgery at 3 a.m. tomorrow. Dr. Zuo was still very confident. Yes, yes. Don't worry, superiors. Ling Ran said to Ma Yi Lin, you can start working normally from today. You can get off work at 7 or 8 o'clock, boss. The normal off work time is 6 o'clock. This is what Dr. Zuo thought. This guy seems a bit unreliable. Oh, then I'll get off work at 6 o'clock. Dr. Zuo continued to think. What kind of superior doesn't even know the off work time? Hee hee, it seems that he's just a paper tiger. The more unreliable, the better. I'll help you polish your resume, and you help me get promoted. We can share the benefits equally. Ha ha ha. Soon after, it was 2.40 a.m. It was still early when a car drove by. Dr. Zuo said, Rolls Royce. In the town, only the richest mine owner can afford this luxury car. The car door opened, and it was Ling Ran. Sure enough, it's another rich man. Tisk tisk tisk. Ling Ran said, You're right on time. Dr. Zuo echoed, just in time. The Su Mai has just been steamed. Dr. Ling, do you like meat or vegetables? Ling Ran replied, I've already eaten. You can eat it. When you're ready, go to the operating room. Don't be too late. Dr. Zuo sighed. It's true that people who drive Rolls Royces come here. How can they eat the breakfast of ordinary people? Zuo Sidian, you were careless. You can't make any more mistakes later. Go to the operating room. The new patient has arrived. Ling Ran ordered, Zuo Sidian, you pull the needle. Lu Wenbin, you pull the skin. Dr. Zuo was very confident in his heart. It's just pulling the needle. Time passed by little by little. It's still a bit tiring. After another hour had passed, it seemed that he didn't do much surgery before, so he was a bit numb. After another hour, a 40-year-old body can't compare to a young man. I can't stand it anymore. I can't underestimate these young people. But the young boss was so kind, so I had to learn from him. Zuo Sidian, when I was over 40 years old, in order to invite my superior to dinner, I waited in front of his house for hours, which caused me to have varicose veins. My wife divorced me because I had an affair with my superior. I swore that I would become a successful person in my life. Now is my last chance. Ling Ran said, Okay, it's almost done. Dr. Zuo sighed in relief. Finally, it's done. The remaining skin suture was left to Lu Wenbin. Okay, boss. Zuo Sidian said, you come with me. Dr. Zuo said, Dr. Ling, if you're tired, I can massage you. Don't think I don't know acupuncture. I'm from a health center. I studied privately with a traditional Chinese medicine doctor in the capital. No need. We don't have time. Dr. Zuo didn't understand after listening. Ling Ran explained, the previous surgery encountered a little problem, so it took two hours. It delayed the time of the next surgery. You should wash your hands quickly. We have to make up for the progress. There are a total of four surgeries this morning. Remember to allocate your energy reasonably. At this moment, Dr. Zuo was extremely shocked. So after performing three surgeries in the morning, Dr. Zuo looked at the surgical knife. By the time of the last surgery, his face suddenly darkened, and he fell backwards. What the hell is the last chance, Zuo Sidian? I can't keep up with four surgeries, and I missed another opportunity. Dr. Zhou asked, how is it? Is it interesting to perform surgery with Ling Ran? It's okay. Dr. Zhou asked again, you didn't follow the whole process, did you? How many surgeries did you follow? Dr. Zuo replied with his head lowered, there are four surgeries this morning. I followed three of them. Hmm, Ling Ran is very strong. He doesn't mind performing surgery for 20, 30 hours. Dr. Zuo asked, then what does he usually eat? Ling Ran usually orders takeout. There is no time to go out to eat. Oh, it's starting again. It seems that God has not given up on me. I couldn't perform well this morning. Now I have a chance to make up for it. Then Zuo Sidian hurriedly said, 
Dr. Lang, you calculated the time very well. It's time to go out. I just happened to bring you takeout. Eat, eat. Ling Ran replied, I'm sorry, I ordered takeout in advance. Then the cute delivery girl just happened to deliver it. Dr. Ling, your food has arrived. This takeout is very luxurious. Dr. Zua wondered, is this the takeout of a rich person? Wow, the world of the rich is really hard to understand. Another delivery girl came. This is the dessert for lunch. Dr. Ling. Ling Ran saw Tian Chi and said, Oh, it's you. Hello. I'm on a trial period for the group. In another corner, another delivery boy sneaked away. Ling Ran pulled out a chair. There's too much. I can't finish it all. Let's eat together. Zuo Sidian, you ordered quite a lot, didn't you? Come, come. The delivery girl smiled. Dr. Zuo was also surprised. Oh, oh. At this moment, two more doctors came out. Ling Ran said, Dr. Lu and Dr. Yu, it's just in time for dinner. Dr. Zuo also found this scene very approachable. Being able to eat with the delivery girl, relieved his embarrassment. Perhaps Dr. Ling and other rich people are different. Following such a superior might be his luck. After Dr. Zuo Sidian came to work at Yunhua Hospital, half a month later, a phone call came. Oh, our Ling Ran is very popular now. You guys only have one surgery. That's definitely not enough. No Ling Ran. You have to add four or five more surgeries. He can do it all in one trip. Okay, three surgeries are fine. But now Dr. Ling doesn't want to do the old Achilles tendon repair surgery. The main method is the Achilles tendon repair surgery. Dr. Ling, a new way to repair the Achilles tendon. Dr. Zuo overheard. Okay, the expert fee is easy to negotiate. Yeah, three surgeries is the minimum. Four surgeries is acceptable. Then let's finalize it. Okay, okay. Wang Hai Young hung up the phone. Now I know what it means to be afraid of fame. Pigs are afraid of being fat. I didn't expect that one day in our country, there would be so many people with Achilles tendon ruptures. Ling Ran walked in. Wang Hai Young said, Come here. Chuzhou City Hospital has three, four cases that want you to perform the surgery. How do you think we should arrange it? Ling Ran asked, When should I go? Director Huo smiled. Tomorrow. Ling Ran looked at Dr. Yu. I won't do any extra surgeries today. You should rest well tonight. You can come with me tomorrow. Dr. Yu said happily. Okay, I will. Dr. Zuo, who was standing next to him, also smiled and said to Dr. Ling, Can I go with you? I won't be an assistant. I'll just follow you to learn. At this moment, Wang Hai Young looked at Ling Ran and then turned to ask him, What do you think? Ling Ran said, I don't see any problem with that. You can follow me on my rounds today. Save some energy. You'll still need to suture tomorrow. Everything that was said before has come true. Dr. Zuo was very proud. Ling Ran went to the ward to make rounds. Dr. Ling is here. Thank you so much, Dr. Ling. It's all thanks to Dr. Ling. A patient next to him said happily. With Dr. Ling here, we can rest assured. Dr. Zuo also felt lucky. Following a superior like Dr. Ling, is really lucky. Then I have to think of a way to make Dr. Ling full of energy for work tomorrow. At 6.24 the next morning, Dr. Zuo brought a basket of steamed buns to the Sha K clinic. Is he going to give them away? Dr. Zuo knocked on the door. The beautiful Dao Ping came out and asked, Who are you? Dr. Zuo said hurriedly, I'm Dr. Ling's subordinate. I'm going on a business trip with him today. I came here to make breakfast for him. Ling Ran's mother thought to herself, Since when did my son have such a subordinate? But that's fine. It saves me the trouble. Let's see how good his skills are. Dr. Zuo steamed the buns and cooked the porridge. Ling Ran's mother stood by and smelled the fragrance, and was sure that his skills were not ordinary. At this moment, Ling Ran came out and asked, What are you doing, mom? Oh, Dr. Zuo, why are you here? Dr. Zuo said awkwardly, aren't we going on a business trip to Chuzhou City? I'm here to do some small things within my capabilities. Dao Ping echoed, he really is a kind-hearted person. Ling Ran was stunned. It smells so good. Dr. Zuo said with a smile, that's right. Ha ha ha, we can have breakfast now. Everyone, let's eat together. Ling Jia said, okay, so it's lamb buns. Dr. Zuo explained, Dr. Ling likes to eat fatty meat, so I made lamb buns. At home, I'm a master at making lamb buns. In the past, at the town health center, everyone liked to eat the buns I made in the morning. Ling Ran said, don't be so busy. Dr. Zuo, you should eat some too. It must have taken you more than half the night to prepare all these things. Will you still be awake when we get to Chuzhou City? Dr. Zuo said happily, it won't take that long. Dr. Ling, don't worry. I had breakfast before I went out, so now I'm very awake. Really? Then let's go to the airport to find Dr. Yu and Dr. Wang, so that Dr. Ling can be in a good mood when he goes out. Mission accomplished. Dr. Ling, over here. Yu Yuan called out to Ling Ran. Ling Ran waved back. While Dr. Zuo was still immersed in joy, Dr. Yu asked. Dr. Zuo, 
why are you so happy? Ling Ran said, he said he was very excited, and he could also help carry some more things. Oh, is that so? Then help me take Director Huo's tracheotomy kit to Dr. Ling. Oh, it's quite heavy. Give it to me. Dr. Zuo thought to himself, it's nothing. This is the real atmosphere that a team should have. Ling Ran led the group and prepared to go to Chuzhou City. Dr. Wang, you're here. Yu Feng Yu, the director of the orthopedics department of Chuzhou City Hospital, came out to greet them. Dr. Wang said, it doesn't matter if I come or not. The important thing is Dr. Ling. Right, right, right. Dr. Ling. Director Yu said happily. He thought to himself that this person who was 30 years younger than him must be a supernova. How should I socialize with him? Director Yu broke out in a sweat. Well, now Dr. Zuo could guess. The social skills that Director Yu used with others were completely ineffective with Dr. Ling. Now he couldn't even speak properly. Then Dr. Zuo hurriedly came to the rescue. Director Yu, aren't the patients waiting for Dr. Ling to perform surgery? Why don't we go directly to the operating room? Director Yu felt as if a heavy burden had been lifted. Okay, okay. The two of them finally let go. And Ling Ran also breathed a sigh of relief. Soon after, they arrived at the operating room. The doctor standing outside said, is the incision that big? The two of them said, the dissection is very good. And the suturing is like this. After completing three surgeries in five hours, seeing is believing. Dr. Ling's surgery is amazing. The standing doctors all praised him. Well, it's quite meticulous. Achilles tendon surgery can be done to this level. It's really impressive. Director Yu said to Ling Ran while holding a tablet. It's getting late. Let's go eat first. Ling Ran happened to see the image on the tablet. Then he asked Director Yu. You guys also do arthroscopic meniscus repair surgery? Director Yu replied. Yes, we just started. Ling Ran asked. Can I watch? Director Yu was stunned on the spot. And Dr. Zuo hurriedly said. Dr. Ling, this is not very appropriate. If you want to do it, you can go back to Yunhua Hospital and do it. Ling Ran said directly, Yunhua Hospital doesn't have any beds. Then it's not convenient for us to participate in someone else's surgery like this. Director Yu said directly, Dr. Ling just wants to watch the surgery. After dinner, we'll watch the surgery. After the meal, they prepared to do the surgery. An attending physician said, when it's almost done, you can start. Dr. Ling, please help me apply the tourniquet to the thigh. Ling Ran replied, okay. The doctor asked, Dr. Ling, what do you think of this drawing? It shows the patella with reduced cartilage, the gap between the lateral meniscus and the collateral ligament. Ling Ran said calmly, the anteromedial approach is also fine. The doctor said happily, well, the patient's main problem was with the lateral meniscus of the anterolateral leg. Ling Ran knew that no matter which direction the attending physician started from, he could always supplement and perfect the other person's plan. The surgery began. The two of them stared intently at the attending physician. Every step he took, Dr. Ling could predict and prepare to cooperate in advance. He was truly outstanding. The surgery was completed. With Dr. Ling as an assistant, the time was greatly reduced. Then they gave him praise. It turned out that Dr. Ling's arthroscopic surgery was also very good. If I had known that you had this skill earlier, we could have gathered five or six cases for you at once. Ling Ran said directly, it's not too late now. We can finish the remaining cases. Then we'll have to trouble Dr. Ling. Soon after, Ling Ran began to perform hemostasis and insufflation in the operating room. He checked the anterior cruciate ligament and posterior cruciate ligament. The two sides used a lateral incision, and there was also a puncture instrument. Ling Ran received the puncture instrument from the instrument assistant and used it earnestly. Observing the projection, the attending physician also mentioned the operation of the puncture instrument. Although the movement was small, it required a lot of practice and personal talent. The depth of penetration into the knee had to be controlled, and the force had to be sufficient. It was easy to cause poor healing. Dr. Ling's technique was even better than he had imagined. The concavity was not flat, and the abrasion was severe. Ling Ran immediately said, well, it is estimated that about 7 millimeters of meniscus can be preserved. 15 minutes later, the attending physician was still immersed in his own world, thinking about the surgical plan. This surgery is not easy to do. While Ling Ran said directly that the surgery was completed, he was very surprised. The three of them walked out of the operating room one after another. Director Yu said from behind, Dr. Ling is really fast. In the future, similar cases will be arranged together. And Dr. Ling will be contacted to do them at that time. That's right. I wonder how much his arthroscopic surgery expert fee is. An older doctor next to him couldn't believe it. And asked, will it affect the surgical effect? Although he was an expert, it would be strange if he worked for too long. Dr. Zuo thought that this question was really difficult to answer. Although Dr. Ling had so much money that he could spend it like water, he didn't care about the expert 
expert fee at all. But as a subordinate, how could he easily decide the price of his leader's surgery? But the price of a doctor's surgery was a symbol of their status. He couldn't answer. And it didn't make sense to quote a low price or a high price. If I ruin my superior's surgery and make him unable to earn money, what good can come of it? Dr. Zuo thought for a long time. Why not kick this ball back to him? Then he said, do you guys want to invite Dr. Ling to do arthroscopic surgery? Director Yu replied, is there a chance for cooperation? Then Dr. Zuo approached him and said, Ling Ran is free these days because Yun Hua Hospital doesn't have enough beds. My dear brother, let me tell you something. This time, he has to go to another place, Chuzhou City, because they have a surgery there. Dr. Ling is currently in the middle of practicing his technique. You know what I mean. Surgery is what he values most. Director Yu suddenly realized. Oh, I understand. Quantity is more important than price. In that case, I'll contact more patients and then talk to Dr. Ling about the price. Dr. Zuo thought that he had finally kicked this problem away. My dear old brother, don't make things difficult for us next time. However, according to Dr. Ling, he could earn surgery fees. And he could also receive warm hospitality and courtesies from the partner hospital. It was a complete transfer from side B to side A. Compared to his previous job at the town health center, the joy of being a doctor like this was not on the same level at all. It was really getting more and more interesting. Ling Ran finished a few surgeries. The group returned to Yun Hua. 2.30 p.m. It was not too late. Dr. Zuo went to the kitchen. Dr. Ling had to do surgery during the day. And he had to be on duty in the middle of the night. He was really dedicated. But he had been running around all day and must not have eaten anything. He must be very hungry at this time. I have to prepare a hearty breakfast for him. Suddenly, someone else arrived. Dr. Zuo came so early. I admire him more and more. Dr. Zuo smiled and said, Dr. Lu, you came to the vegetable market so early in the morning. You're a big customer, so you should have people deliver things to you. Why did you come here yourself? Lu Wenbin also smiled and said, I have to choose each pig's trotter myself. Dr. Lu took out the pig's trotter. If they were delivered, it would not be good. Those people in the market, you know, your skills are quite good. You look very professional. Don't dare, don't dare. Ling Ren also walked in. Dr. Lu said, the boss is here. But Dr. Zuo thought, the timing is just right. Dr. Zuo took the initiative. Dr. Ling, you haven't eaten breakfast yet, right? I've already prepared some scrambled eggs. You can try them. Ling Ran's eyes lit up. Um, let me try something new. Ling Ran ate it immediately. It's so fragrant. He said in a cute tone. It's delicious, but it's not enough. Two pieces were gone. Then I'll make more for you. It'll be done in no time. Dr. Lu also said, boss, you have to save some space. I still have a lot of pigs trotters here. Who can finish all of that? Ha 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 ha. A few days later, a doctor shouted loudly. That patient, wait a moment. Then he said to the patient, who allowed you to get out of bed? The patient replied, do I need to ask for permission for this? I didn't just get out of bed. I also went to the toilet and came back. The doctor asked, you just had arthroscopic knee surgery a few days ago. Didn't I say that it was just a meniscus reconstruction? It's been a few days, but it's not healed yet. The doctor continued to reply, okay, lie down first. I'll check it out. It doesn't seem to be a problem, but let's take an x-ray, a CT scan to be sure. The patient agreed. This guy is really nosy. Then the doctor hurriedly went to find Director Yu. Director Yu, come and have a look. Director Yu was a little confused. Was wondering why that patient didn't look like he had just had surgery. Director Yu took the x-ray. This is the meniscus that Dr. Ling treated. The angle is neat and the surface is also flat. Director Yu asked, where is the patient's previous x-ray? Here it is, director. He read the x-ray and said in surprise. It's like it has become a perfect meniscus. Director Yu asked. That's right. Dr. Ling has also treated other patients, right? Bring their medical records to me. Here you go, sir. They are all in here. Director Yu read the x-rays. This is truly the expert of experts. It's so beautiful. This is surgery as an art. At this moment, Director Yu was thinking. Wait a minute. If Dr. Ling has this skill, then the leader's meniscus can be saved, right? Director Yu walked to the edge of the pond and said. Director Wang. Last time you said not to let foreign doctors see you. I have been looking for excellent doctors in our country. Now I have found them. I'm here to let you know. Director Wang said, I just fell down. It's nothing serious. You guys are making a fuss. Director Wang's health is very important. His meniscus injury is very serious. It really can't be delayed any longer. I found a very good doctor, but he's quite young. I don't know if you'll accept him. Director Wang said directly, what's there to be afraid of? I was only 15 years old when I started working. Don't beat around the bush. Just tell me. Director Yu handed him a tablet. 
This is the doctor who operated on Liu Weishan not long ago. Take a look at these articles. These are all articles about foreign patients who came to him for treatment recently. Um, um, you can tell he's young and talented. Director Yu continued. But there's still a big problem. He's only 23 years old this year. He's just an intern at Yunhua Hospital. Director Wang didn't mind. So what if he's an intern? As long as he has real skills. When we were making revolution, we didn't have so many rules and regulations. But isn't he specialized in Achilles tendon repair and finger replantation? Director Yu replied, he also does arthroscopy, but he specializes in meniscus reconstruction surgery. Director Yu whispered, that's good enough. Let him come and see my knee. Director Yu said happily, yes, I'll arrange for him to come to Chuchang. No need for him to come. I'll go to Yunhua Hospital myself. Director Yu was surprised. Oh, you're going there yourself? The next day, an ambulance arrived at the gate. The doctors were all waiting at the gate. Director Huo thought. Emergency notice without any further explanation, and such a big scene. Which big leader is sick? A wheelchair was pushed down. In front of them was an old man, sitting in a wheelchair. President Chu greeted him. Director Wang, then turned around and called out. Old Huo. President Chu, do you want to do an emergency examination? Even the president is helpless, and immediately eased the atmosphere. Our emergency department director is a bit straightforward. This director Wang came to find Ling Ran to do meniscus reconstruction surgery. Director Wang said, I heard that Dr. Ling is very good at meniscus surgery, so I came here. Director Huo also reached out his hand. Oh, knee surgery? Ling Ran has done more than 100 cases recently, and the success rate is very high. The president said with a smile, shouldn't we do a preoperative examination? As far as I know, Ling Ran is very good at reading MRIs. Director Huo also echoed, that's right, that's right. He's like a natural talent at reading MRI scans. Director Wang said gently, that's good. Let's do a preoperative examination first. Director Huo put on his surgical gown, taking advantage of the opportunity when the leader went for the examination. He had to give Ling Ran a little advice. Ling Ran. Ling Ran responded. What is it, Director Huo? Ling Ran asked. There's a patient in the clinic who specifically requested you to perform their meniscus reconstruction surgery. Oh, yes. Director Huo continued. No, no, you don't understand what I mean. I mean, you have to show them some importance. Ling Ran asked. How important? Director Huo said with a serious face. For example, spend more time making the patient feel like they're being taken seriously by the doctor, right? You can't just meet them and say, let's do the surgery. You have to prolong this process. Understand? Everyone who heard this laughed. Ling Ran didn't understand. It was just a meniscus reconstruction and arthroscopic knee surgery. Usually only took 20 to 30 minutes. So why would he spend 30 minutes on the preoperative consultation? Director Huo sighed. It seemed that it was still too early for Ling Ran to understand the rules of the adult world. Director Huo left, feeling helpless. Okay, 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 do as you wish. It's almost done. Go to the special ward. Director Wang said, oh, Dr. Ling is very young. The doctors also came to the ward. Director Wang said with a smile, I can stand up and stand up, but my knee hurts as soon as I stand up, and it feels even worse than sitting on a plane. Well, I'll have to trouble you then. Ling Ran looked at Director Wang and said, I'll do a physical examination for you first. Director Wang continued, I suddenly remembered a story from my childhood. I used to love watching Ping Shu, and I often heard the character say, forgive me, general, but I still have my armor on, and cannot perform the ceremony properly. Only now do I understand the context of that line. Ling Ran used the physical examination skill. Director Wang's physical condition was displayed before his eyes. He said, the patient has hypertension. I want to see the patient's radiographs immediately. Someone brought the radiographs over. Ling Ran looked at the radiographs, and was still reading them 10 minutes later. He was obviously showing how important the patient was to him. Everyone wanted to say something but stopped themselves. Director Wang asked, Dr. Ling, why aren't you saying anything? Ling Ran said innocently, I'm showing how important he is to me. Ah, uh, oh my god. Director Huo was so angry that he was about to vomit blood. Director Huo said hurriedly, What do you mean, showing how important he is? You need to show your professionalism, you idiot. The president, who was standing next to him, glared at Director Huo as if he wanted to make him disappear in a puff of smoke. He helped Director Wang say, Ha ha ha. Dr. Ling, don't mind the others, just say what you think. 
Ling Ran didn't beat around the bush either. Age-related meniscus degeneration, with free fragments and fissures at the edge of the degeneration. There is a high probability that it is a tear. The degree of degeneration is quite high. If we use the reconstruction method, the treatment effect will be quite good. Director Wang thought for a moment, hmm, is that so? The doctors nodded at each other. Ling Ran continued, so, shall we do the surgery now? We've already wasted time showing how important he is. And that wasted time is actually enough to finish the surgery. Everyone was shocked. Director Wang said in surprise, do it now? Leader, didn't you come here for the surgery? Director Huo hurriedly tried to mediate. Director Wang, Dr. Ling used the LISHOM score to assess the patient before. The vast majority of the assessments were above 90 points. Only two cases were below 80 points. The results were still very good. Don't worry. Director Wang thought to himself, this kid is just like me when I was young, also very confident. Director Wang said with a smile, I came here for the surgery. At first, I thought I would have to be hospitalized for a few days and get an IV, but it seems like that's not necessary anymore. It's better to do it now than later. Let's do it now. The surgery will only take 15 minutes. Director Huo walked into the operating room. Ling Ran, how are you? Ling Ran said helplessly. I think the leaders are treating the patient very specially. Thought that maybe there would be some special risk of complications. But in fact, there is nothing. He is just an ordinary old man with a meniscus tear. Director Huo said, who said there was a special complication? You're not happy that there are no complications. You're really impossible. All right, let's not talk nonsense anymore. How was the surgery? Ling Ran said. The surgery went well. And he can start doing leg lifts tomorrow. You little brat. Director Huo patted Ling Ran on the back. Okay, go and report the surgical findings to him. The president said, Ling Ran. This is the patient's family member. Wang Wenkong hurriedly asked, Doctor, doctor, how was my father's surgery? Ling Ran said calmly, it went very smoothly. What's the specific procedure? Ling Ran continued, I retained the basic meniscus and performed a meniscus repair. The shape of the anterior horn, posterior horn, and body are all fine. The basic thickness is normal. The lateral side is also strong. Wang Wenkong said in a daze, what are you talking about? I don't understand, but I can't lose my momentum. Doctor, can you slow down a bit? The president also came to his aid. Family member, the patient's vital signs are all normal after the surgery. You don't need to worry too much. We'll wait until tomorrow to see the specific recovery situation before we talk about it. Okay, yes, tomorrow. The president said to Ling Ran, you don't need to worry about anything else for the next few days. Director Huo also reminded him, that's right, you just need to focus on Director Wang's recovery. I understand. The next day, Ling Ran came early. Ling Ran replied, yes, Director Wang, let's start the rehabilitation. Director Wang, be careful. Ling Ran held the board and said, just do 10 simple deep breathing and knee flexion exercises. The rehabilitation therapist helped Director Wang complete them. Knee flexion, done. Ling Ran instructed, okay, Director Wang, you should still rest more on the first day after surgery. Try to get out of bed less. As for your diet, avoid spicy food, stimulants, and greasy foods. Eat more calcium and protein. Wang Wenkong entered the ward. Dad, it's time to eat. Director Wang said, I've been eating a bland diet. Don't worry, Dr. Ling. A bowl of thin porridge is enough. On the fourth day after surgery, Ling Ran checked Director Wang's body. The recovery effect these days is very good, and all the indicators have reached the standard. Director Wang replied, well, I feel that I'm recovering very well. Director Wang, you can try to stand up with crutches, Dr. Ling. Did you say? Director Wang couldn't believe it. Ling Ran replied seriously, there's no problem. It's the fourth day after your surgery, so don't worry. Really, there won't be any problems. Although he felt okay, he wondered why it was so fast. Wang Wenkong also said, Dad, I've been asking around about the patients of Dr. Ling and other doctors. The recovery is completely different. Those doctors take several weeks, but Dr. Ling only takes a few days. It turned out that Wang Wenkong had personally asked the other patients. I was able to walk after three days. My case was more serious than hers, and I was able to walk after four days. Another old man praised Dr. Ling as the best in the country. He's the best arthroscopic knee surgeon, and he has a very good touch. Wang Wenkong quickly took the crutches and handed them to his father. Okay, rehabilitation therapist, let go and let me try. Director Wang took the crutches. Wang Wenkong was a little nervous, and so was the rehabilitation therapist. Only Ling Ran was calm. Director Wang put his feet on the ground. He was overjoyed. It didn't hurt. He took a few more steps. It really didn't hurt. Dr. Ling, I really have to thank you very much. Ling Ran also said happily, this is what I should do. 
At present, recovery of your knee joint is normal. If you're not at ease, you can also have an MRI. At this time, Wang Wenkong asked again, does an MRI have any side effects? And does it have radiation? Ling Ran also answered seriously, MRI does not have radiation. And the main side effect is that it's expensive. Wang Wenkong was very confident. Aha, we can afford this side effect. Dad, we should still follow the procedure and have an MRI to be at ease. Director Wang was also a little embarrassed. News of Ling Ran's rapid cure of Director Wang quickly spread throughout the leadership circles of the county-level cities in Zichuan province. At this time, Director Huo looked out the window. Beep, beep. A large convoy arrived outside the hospital. Director Huo said, Director, now people are coming here to look for Ling Ren everywhere. You see, I'm not lying. There's really a need now. Everyone looked at the director. The director turned his head and said, the emergency center really needs it, and I think it can be put on the agenda. Wait a minute. Dr. Hong spoke first. No. The fat doctor also objected. The director, although she didn't say anything, had already made her stance clear. The fat doctor explained, the funding is so tight now, and our department is still occupying the rehabilitation room. Director Huo immediately retorted. Director Jinx C, we don't want to occupy your rehabilitation room either. But look, Ling Ran is looking for surgeries to do every day. If you don't give him a rehabilitation room, he'll make a mess. Director Jinx C was also upset. Don't use Ling Ran as an excuse. It's not an excuse. Look, Ling Ran has been in the special ward recently. He hasn't performed surgeries. So is your rehabilitation room empty? Dr. Hong also said with displeasure. Don't use Director Wong as a shield anymore. It's just an arthroscopic knee surgery. If we search our department, who can't do the surgery? You're just lucky. Director Huo said immediately. Yes, we're lucky. People come here to look for Ling Ran everywhere. And the entire orthopedics department of yours can't find another Director Wong. He was so angry that he was about to explode. At this time, the director spoke. Okay, Director Huo, let's take this opportunity to improve the emergency center. Bring Ling Ran's resume here in two days. Director Huo was a little surprised. Does he have an establishment? The director said confidently. If he doesn't have an establishment, we have to create one for him. We also have to get his practicing license first. And we have to treat special talent specially. Even if we give him an establishment, it's not a comprehensive solution. In short, you have to take good care of your own people. Director Huo exclaimed, the director is wise. Then Director Huo went to a nearby room. As soon as he opened the door, he saw Director Wang. Ha ha ha. Director Wang laughed out loud. Unexpected, isn't it? I can already open the door and go out by myself. How amazing is that? It's amazing. My knee doesn't hurt anymore. Director Huo shouted, Ling Ran, come here. I have something to ask you. Ling Ran looked at Director Huo and took the opportunity to write his thesis. The director said, when our emergency center is built, what ideas do you have? Ling Ran said in surprise, huh? Is the emergency center built? Well, what I mean is, wait for it. Don't misunderstand. I'm asking you. Ling Ran asked. Then how many beds will there be? There will definitely be 200 beds. At most, there will be 220. 230. Ling Ran answered seriously. Yes, I will perform the surgery well. Director Huo said with embarrassment. I mean, if you really let you manage a medical team, what will you do? Ling Ran thought for a while. I will give everyone two bottles of hand sanitizer. One for regular use and one for backup. Try to maintain asepsis throughout the medical treatment. Director Huo said, isn't this an old idea? Ha ha, but it's a very good idea. Then let's decide on this. Upgrade continuously for a month. The patient area on the left will be in charge of Ling Ran's treatment team. The nurse said, LV Wen Bin, no, I just went out and didn't touch anything. Dr. Ling said that all doctors must wash their hands when they enter or leave. Even the director is no exception. LV Wen Bin looked at the hand sanitizer and then, I'll wash it. LV Wen Bin only sprayed a little bit when Wang Jia straightened his face. Apply it evenly, covering all your fingers and wrists. A few more doctors came in, and Wang Jia reminded them again. Dr. Ling said that anyone who enters the door must apply hand sanitizer. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone washed their hands seriously. The doctor asked, will my skin be damaged if I apply so much? Just apply it. How can Dr. Ling be wrong? The nurses on the side were so angry that they shouted. It's not too late to doubt Dr. Ling when you get hurt. Dr. Ling will never be wrong. Dr. Ling is so handsome. How can he be wrong? The three of them had no choice but to mumble. I know. I know. Haha. <laughs> the boss will never be wrong. We will apply it carefully. Don't worry. Don't worry. 
Another doctor came. Wait a minute. You have to wash your hands before entering. Director Hong asked, Don't you recognize me? Wang Jia replied, Of course. You are Director Hong from the respiratory department. Then why are you stopping me? Wang Jia didn't care. I recognize you, but the bacteria don't. Director Hong had to say, This girl is really interesting. That's right. Director Wang on the special service floor can walk again, right? I heard that he's recovering quite well. Yes. 92 points on the evaluation. He can walk back by himself. Director Hong continued to ask. I haven't seen Dr. Ling recently. Wang Jia also asked cautiously. What do you want Dr. Ling for? Director Hong said with a smile. I have an aunt. Whose knee is still not very good. She has also been to the hospital for examination. She is considering meniscus transplantation surgery. Wang Jia thought to herself. It's good that he didn't come to cause trouble. During the renovation. It is true that ordinary people can't find the doctor. Okay. I'll take you to see Dr. Ling. Wang Jia led Director Hong to find Ling Ran. When they arrived at the door of the room, Ling Ran was still in a meeting. The doctors went to the surgical area, and the first thing they had to do was change into slippers. After a while, the slippers were basically all dirty. I think we should change the slippers regularly. Dr. Zuo, um, um, Ling Ran asked. Director Hong, why are you here? Director Hong said with a smile. I want to introduce a patient to you for meniscus transplantation surgery, but I couldn't find you anywhere. Fortunately, I have Wang Jia, Ling Ran replied. During the renovation, the office was temporarily moved here, but it doesn't affect the surgery. When will the patient come? It's not urgent. As long as you can do it, it's okay to queue up slowly. Ling Ran said. There aren't many surgeries these days, so you can arrange it within these two days. Okay, Ling Ran. You guys are busy. So I'll take my leave first. Ling Ran looked at everyone. Let's continue to discuss the patient area system. Does anyone have any good ideas? Dr. Yu said first, our goal is to be completely sterile. So the medical equipment must be checked multiple times. Prevention is the most important thing. Yes, this is also a very important point. Dr. Zuo also said, there is another point, which is that we must go ahead of the infection control department. Ling Ran thought, that means we have to strengthen the clear system. Wait a minute, Dr. Zuo. Why do we have to go ahead of the infection control department? Dr. Zuo asked a riddle. Just wait until the infection control department comes, and you'll know. Okay, let's implement these things first and then see what happens. A few days after the sign was hung up, there was enough hand sanitizer and an area for hand disinfection. The doctor who received it from the infection control department said, The Ling treatment group has a pretty good ability to practice. Another doctor also praised, Well done. The two of them looked out the door. Oh, look. The nurse who entered the door used hand sanitizer. It was the turn of the patient's family. Oh my goodness. The patient's family also knew how to use it when they entered the door. Ling Ran said, everyone is very cooperative. Dr. Tien couldn't believe it. Cooperative? That's a rare word. The other two doctors were moved to tears. Cooperative? This word was really too rare for them to hear. Wang Jia said, Dr. Ling, good morning. I bought a kind of hand sanitizer with wolfberry scent. You can smell it. Ling Ran smelled it. Um, the wolfberry scent is also pleasant. Dr. Tien also exclaimed, Dr. Ling has very good social relationships. Dr. Yu laughed when he heard this. This is the first time I've heard someone else praise Dr. Ling's social relationships. Dr. Tien was very surprised. When did you come here? Dr. Yu pushed up his glasses. I've always been here. With your observation skills, it's no wonder that the hospital occasionally has infection incidents. The three of them were also dissatisfied. When did the hospital have an infection incident? In June? Dr. Yu said. In March, in the obstetrics department. Dr. Tien said in embarrassment. The hospital occasionally has infections. And it is basically impossible to completely prevent them. Airborne diseases are the most common. For example, the lung bacteria can be said to be a terminal illness. Even a tertiary hospital with a high level of expertise cannot completely prevent its spread. Then he said to Dr. Ling. Generally, a pulmonary infection rate of less than 10 is considered normal. As you know. Ling Ran replied, I know that. Dr. Ling, why don't we cooperate? Ling Ran asked, how can we cooperate? We can participate in the infection control of your treatment group. Ling Ran recalled Dr. Zuo's words. There is another point, which is that we must go ahead of the infection control department. So that's what it means. Dr. Tien continued. Moreover, Dr. Ling's standards are obviously higher than ordinary people. I think we can also help the emergency department improve its infection control level. As an experiment, everyone benefits. Of course, control standards are not the same. So the consumables used are also different. Ling Ran didn't answer right away. Someone was running over. Dr. Ling, wait a minute. Dr. Zuo said. The infection control department, right? You want to cooperate with the treatment group, right? Dr. Tian said. 
Yes, that's right. Dr. Zuo continued, if that's the case, everyone has to listen to Dr. Ling. Dr. Ling, our infection control is so good now. There's no need for the infection control department to take over. They can't take over either. The most suitable cooperation method is for the infection control department to listen to us. Dr. Tian immediately frowned. The infection control department is originally managed by the infection control department. How can the infection control department listen to the treatment group? Dr. Zuo refused to give in. Doesn't the infection control department always listen to the treatment group? The routine work that your infection control department does. The implementation of policies all depends on doctors and nurses. Don't bully our Dr. Ling because he's an intern. Don't understand these things. Dr. Tian asked, who are you? I am Zuo Dictionary, a member of Ling Ran's treatment group. The man behind patted Dr. Tian on the shoulder. Cooperation. Let's talk about cooperation. The three of them immediately said, listen to Dr. Ling. Listen to Dr. Ling and everything will be fine. Zuo Dictionary laughed and said, in that case, Dr. Ling, how do you feel now? My treatment group is short-staffed and cannot invest in infection control in the long term, let alone other things like closed-loop management of drugs, the problem of storage, the control of transportation links. If someone is willing and able to perform infection control upgrades, we would actually be grateful. Ling Ran finally said, let's decide on that. Zuo Dictionary said slyly, I think we should draw up a cooperation document. That kind of statement will make it more legitimate to work in the future. Dr. Tian cried and said, you were born to do infection control. Ling Ran was surprised by Zuo Dictionary's words. It must be said that sometimes I really can't do without Dr. Zuo. After some time, Ling Ran and the others carried out the infection control upgrade. The emergency center completed the upgrade. The crowd of doctors gathered around. Director Huo said, come on, everyone, line up properly. Previously, the emergency department had five treatment groups. After the upgrade to the emergency center, we have expanded to seven groups. Next, the seven of you in this row will follow me. The six of you in the sixth row will follow Director Du. Someone asked if they could change groups. I'm not in good health, I don't want to go to the most tiring group. Director Huo shouted, no changing groups. Regardless of whether the group is good or bad, after the grouping, you cannot change it at will. Unless the group leader doesn't want you anymore. Everyone was startled. Let's continue. The second row will follow Director Lee. The first row will follow Dr. Ling. Intern Guan Fei said, I'm assigned to Dr. Ling's group. The group leaders led the members of their groups to prepare for the unveiling ceremony. Yunhua Hospital Emergency Center was officially established today. Everyone congratulated each other. Congratulations, congratulations. This person said, old Huo, whether we in emergency medicine can make a good living in the future depends on you. This lady asked, is this Dr. Ling? Huo Kongjun introduced his prized student. Director Huo said to Ling Ran, it's tiring to stand here. Go and do your work. What are you guys laughing at, old Huo? You're defending your student like this, like a mother hen protecting her chicks. Next time we'll come back and let you see us perform. At this time, Ling Ran received a phone call. Hello, Dr. Ling. I'm Meng Shui. I'd like to make a massage appointment with you. Ling Ran said in embarrassment, which Meng Shui is this? I don't have a neck massage appointment. Meng Shui said, I flew for three hours to get here. Dr. Ling, I'm asking you to repeat what you just said. The two of them bumped into each other again. Ling Ran said, Shan Yu Zhe, shish. Keep your voice down. Meng Shui covered Ling Ran's mouth. Everyone whispered and buzzed. Hey, why does she look so familiar? Who does she look like? The model that Yin invited? It's okay for the emergency center to invite a model. Yeah, if it's director Huo, it's possible. Nurses were furious. Meng Shui quickly pulled Ling Ran away. It's not convenient here, it's easy to be recognized by others. Let's go quickly. The two arrived at a room. Meng Shui pushed Ling Ran in and locked the door. Ling Ran said in panic, what are you going to do? What can I do to you? Ling Ran said, what are you doing? Meng Shui blushed slightly. What do you think? Ling Ran stood up and said, I'm talking about massage. What else are you thinking about? Besides, I don't do massages at the hospital. Next time you can go to Shahia Clinic. Even if I'm not there, Dr. Shang can do the massage. Meng Shui immediately took off her coat and said, Those people are far worse than you. These past two days, when I was doing the show, I felt like my neck was about to break. Dr. Ling, you're a good person. Please save me. Hurry up. Ling Ran took a deep breath. His hand pressed down lightly. Crack. Meng Shui exclaimed in comfort. Ling Ran asked, do you feel better? As expected, it has to be Dr. Ling. Meng Shui directly imagined the scene of the prince saving the princess. You came to save me again. Suddenly, a nurse walked in. Ling Ran asked, Wang Jia, what's wrong? 
Wang Jia looked at Meng Shui. As expected, it's Shan Yu Zhe. Meng Shui hid behind Ling Ran. Wang Jia said in panic, Dr. Ling, someone just took a picture of Shan Yu Zhe. The crowd lost control and there was a stampede. Many people were injured. At this time, Director Huo also walked in. Xiao Wang, you're here to find Ling Ran? Don't worry, listen to me. Let's go in and take a look. Oh, Meng Shui, hello. I'm your fan too. It's an honor for our emergency center to have you here. Meng Shui didn't know what to say about this. My god, both of them called out in unison. Look, director. Director said with a serious face. Everything has two sides. Although it's not good to have an accident. But they're all minor injuries. The injuries are under control. Everyone, guess where this is. Ling Ran looked puzzled. Yes, this is the emergency center. Isn't this a place that specializes in handling accidents like this? Meng Shui exclaimed, my god. Turns out that both I and this sudden accident have become your best publicity tools. Nurse Wang Jia exclaimed, director, this is great. Ling Ran's face also lit up. Director Huo continued, Meng Shui, it seems to be fine over here. Ling Ran, quickly go and deal with the stampede. Director, rest assured and leave it to us. Ling Ran treated a group of patients. This also surprised the interns. Ling Ran said, all 70 plus people injured in the accident have been treated. Only intern Guan Fei said, it's not good, it's not good, it's extremely not good. Director Huo said with a smile, this is the look that an emergency center should have. The next day, Ling Ran led the team on a ward round. As soon as the door opened, the patients all said, Dr. Ling, you worked so hard yesterday. Thank you, Dr. Ling. Thank you, doctor. Ling Ran went to a secluded place to check. Unexpectedly, he had accumulated 129 treasure chests. System, open all the chests. Eight skill books, this surprised Ling Ran. 50 times lower limb anatomy experience. And 300 times foot anatomy experience. At present, this increase is very large for me. But unfortunately, I can't use it now. Ling Ran thought about yesterday's accident. The hospital beds were all full. And he couldn't perform surgery today. Dr. Zuo saw this and called out to him. Dr. Ling, do you still have Director Wang's phone number? Ling Ran replied, yes, his knee joint does not need surgery for the time being. I mean, you can call and ask Director Wang. Ask about the patient's condition, see what he says. Director Wang is so old. There must be many people around him who need knee surgery. If you can contact him, you can definitely attract a lot of patients. Those who can contact Director Wang and come to Yunhua Hospital, can't they even get a hospital bed? Ling Ran said, they're in the ICU. There are no beds here, but there are beds in the special ward. I'll contact him right away. Ling Ran continued, since we're doing follow-ups, let's do follow-ups for all patients with popliteal vein thrombosis. Let's do it properly this time. The door opened. Director Wang had arrived at the hospital. May I ask if Dr. Ling is here? The president said, old Huo, where's Ling Ran? Didn't he ask Director Wang to come for a re-examination? He didn't come to pick him up? Director Huo said, President, Ling Ran doesn't understand these things yet. Where is he now? Director Huo said with an awkward smile, I think he's in the office. The president also said sternly, call him and tell him to come here. Director Wang noticed this and said, there's no need to bother. I'll go find Dr. Ling myself. In the distance, a doctor shouted, Dr. Ling, Director Wang is here. Director Wang said with a smile, Dr. Ling, I'm here for a re-examination. You're really doing a ward round. Ling Ran replied, yes, this time it's also a research project. Ling Ran immediately performed a physical examination. After the examination, he said that the patient's meniscus had recovered very well, and there was no problem. Director Wang said with a smile, yes, that's right, this time, I brought a friend with me, and he also wants you to take a look at his knee. What's wrong, old Chen? Are you getting worse? Can't you even take the last two steps? What nonsense are you talking about? Please make way for me. Make way for me. Old Chen walked with the help of others, and he was panting after two steps. Director Wang said, I'm fine. I'll go first. Old Chen, you look like you've just returned from a battle. Take your time. Director Chen couldn't calm down for the time being. Ling Ran said, I can only perform meniscus reconstruction surgery. Director Chen also said, my meniscus is broken, and I've had it examined before. All right, Director Chen, you go and have an x-ray first. Director Chen said again, or maybe you can take a look at my previous x-ray, which was taken only three months ago, not long ago. Ling Ran said, if I'm going to perform meniscus reconstruction surgery, I can't make a decision based on an x-ray taken three months ago. Director Chen looked unhappy. I'll have it taken, but I have to have it taken before the surgery. After all, radiation is not good for the body. Hmm. At this time, Director Huo hurriedly said, Director Chen, 
don't worry. Dr. Ling is also concerned about your health. Director Chen closed his eyes and said, it takes too much time to take these pictures. I don't like doing it. Director Huo also said directly, okay, we'll give you a green light. After the x-ray, come back. Ling Ran read the film and said, synovitis of the knee joint. The indication is meniscus reconstruction surgery. Director Chen looked arrogant again. The x-ray is done. Old Wang's leg was done by you, so you can do mine too. Now go and help me with the hospitalization procedures for surgery. Ling Ran looked confused, and thought to himself, this person is really arrogant. Dr. Zuo said, it's okay. Dr. Ling, just leave it to me. Then he turned to Director Chen and said, let me take you to do the procedures. Don't worry. I'll try my best to arrange the best ward for you. At this time, Director Chen also emphasized, I am now a retired official at the departmental level, but I still enjoy the treatment of a county level official. Don't make any mistakes. Ling Ran found this patient interesting after hearing this, and hoped that the surgery could be just as interesting. Director Chen was arranged to the special ward, and suddenly he was heard shouting, Change people, change people. I can tell that you have no experience. The indwelling needle is not placed correctly, and it makes me very uncomfortable. Go and change to someone else for me. The injection must be done skillfully and the medicine must be changed quickly. He continued to point at the nurse and said, Also, the food in your cafeteria is not good. If a chef like this were in our unit, he would definitely be deducted from his salary. The nurse was very angry. Hmm, said the blonde nurse. Hey, why is our little Lou so hated? Another nurse also said, I'll just say one thing. Don't put on a face mask in front of the ward. It seems that there is something wrong with putting on a face mask. The head nurse ordered, this patient is a member of the standing committee. Give him the green light. You have to be careful. Xiao Lu also complained, he's really picky. Not to mention his expertise, but he also blames us for the bad food in the cafeteria. What can we do about it? The three of them were speechless. Xiao Lu said, wait a minute, I remember something. What else could be so bad? No, that patient asked to have surgery tomorrow. And he asked to be the first surgery. A nurse on the side was surprised and asked, he wants to be the first surgery performed by Ling Ran? The three of them laughed out loud, that's really interesting. 2 a.m. the next day, patient, wake up and prepare for surgery. Director Chen said, what time is it now? Isn't it just 2 o'clock? Why do I have to wake up and prepare now? Besides, I have a strange bed disease. I can't sleep here. I've only slept for a little over an hour. The nurse said, patient, did you make an appointment to be the first surgery performed by Dr. Ling? Yes, yes, that's right. The surgery is scheduled for 3.30. You have to wake up now and prepare in advance. Director Chen was surprised. But, what surgery at 3.30? The nurse asked, didn't anyone inform you yesterday? Recalling yesterday, Dr. Zuo said that Director Chen's hospitalization procedures were complete. He wanted to be the first case tomorrow. So I arranged it for you. At 3.30, it will definitely be the first case. He knew that it seemed to have been announced. Oh my. I didn't pay any attention to this at all. The nurse turned her head and said, if there are no other problems, go to the operating room to prepare first. And Director Chen was transferred to the operating room soon after. Dr. Zuo thought that Director Chen was arrogant. But when it came time for surgery, he couldn't be arrogant anymore. Ling Ran said, Director Chen, your request is for spinal anesthesia. It will be a little painful. Please bear with it. Director Chen was stunned for a moment. He thought to himself, the doctor's first surgery of the day is the best. The highest quality. It doesn't matter if I'm a little tired. It's worth it. Ling Ran directly inserted the instrument into the bone and performed the meniscus reconstruction surgery. Perfect technique, activated. 15 minutes later, the surgery was completed. Director Chen couldn't believe it. Is it over? The nurse said, of course. Do you know who performed the surgery for you? Ling Ran was not happy. I thought it would be an interesting surgery, but it turned out to be just the most ordinary meniscus reconstruction. Yesterday's anticipation was all in vain. Then, he turned to Dr. Zuo and said, hurry up, go to operating room number two. Zuo Sidian smiled and said, this is the easiest of the 10 surgeries today. I might relax a little, but Dr. Ling, rest assured, I will quickly adjust my state. Only Director Chen looked bewildered. This Dr. Ling is really skilled. When my leg is healed, I will also go around bragging about Dr. Ling's treatment of my leg, just like old Wang. Ha <laughs> ha. Ling Ran was busy until 10 p.m. Ling Ran said, today's task is completed. Old Huo said, old Zuo, you're quite relaxed. Dr. Zuo said one word, cool. Dr. Yu also said, Dr. Ling is really energetic. I didn't follow the whole surgery. If I had, I would have been exhausted. Ling Ran said, 
make an appointment for tomorrow's surgery. The more surgeries, the better. Especially mark the patients with private rooms. Dr. Zuo laughed and said, examining cadres is like digging a mouse hole. Once you pull one out, there will be more behind it. At this time, Dr. Yu thought to himself, this is not good. If this continues, we won't be able to last a few days. If that problem is not solved, Ling Ran will be exhausted. A few days later, the nurse said in a hurry, Dr. Ling, our hospital beds are not enough anymore. Ling Ran asked, didn't you arrange for more beds? The renovation of the emergency center is only half completed. Most of the patients are hospitalized regularly. The current hospital bed turnover rate really can't be increased. Dr. Yu sighed. Sure enough, it's just as I predicted. The three of them were helpless and had to temporarily rest and wait for a hospital bed. Ling Ran thought, no need to rest. The only thing that can be done now is to reduce the recovery time of the patients. Dr. Zuo was surprised. Not letting patients stay in the hospital regularly? That's against hospital policy. Dr. Ling, Dr. Ling. Ling Ran said seriously, the strategy of patients staying in the hospital regularly must be maintained, but the recovery time of patients must be reduced. It is entirely possible to consider this during surgery. Dr. Yu was also surprised, is it possible to do this during surgery? Ling Ran continued, let's do these three things first. Reduce blood loss, reduce surgery time, and perform simpler and more precise surgeries. If one patient can reduce the average length of stay by one day, then 100 patients will reduce a certain number of hospital beds, right? After Ling Ren finished speaking, the three of them were also surprised. All three of them were full of enthusiasm. Dr. Ling can always find his own way. Ling Ren said, okay, stop talking. Let's go visit the patients. Dr. Yu said, bed 42. Your surgery is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. The old man said, yesterday, the nurse said that I would have a blood test today, and the surgery would be today. Why did it change? Dr. Zuo smiled and said, you had your blood test near noon, and the report just came in not long ago. Of course, the surgery can only be scheduled for tomorrow. The old man shouted helplessly, I'm Dr. Ling's patient. Can the hospital use the green channel to arrange the surgery at any time? Can it be done whenever you want? I want to do it today. Ling Ran heard this sentence. What the hell is going on? Yu Yuan and Zuo Sidian spoke up at the same time. Don't talk nonsense. The old man immediately retorted. What nonsense? All the patients are saying that. I asked around. The old man in that building can get the first schedule if he wants to. Ling Ran was a little surprised. Why is it rumored like this? Dr. Zuo quickly explained. These people are making things up and talking nonsense. Dr. Ling, don't pay attention to them. Ling Ran also explained. Director Chen's surgery is scheduled normally. You can go and check. Every patient who comes to me is the same. No one is more special than anyone else. The old man appealed to Dr. Ling's feelings. It was very difficult for me to take a leave of absence. I really don't have time to delay. Besides, my knee is really painful now. I want to have surgery. Please help me. Ling Ran immediately softened. Is it really that painful? The old man pretended to be pitiful. Really, Dr. Ling? I'm already in my 70s, and I'm crying from the pain. Ling Ran couldn't bear it. Okay, then I'll reschedule it as soon as possible. Yu Yuan and Zuo Sidian were also helpless. Dr. Ling, it seems like you've been tricked. Ling Ran didn't bother with them. Call the laboratory and urge them. Get the results as soon as possible. Both of them replied, okay, then prepare for surgery. At this time, Dr. Zuo rushed to the operating room. Wait a minute, he said, Dr. Ling. The blood test results of patient Xu Yangshang show that he is HIV positive. Everyone was shocked. Only Ling Ren paused for a second. Then he asked Xu Yangshang. In the case of HIV, the risk of your surgery will also increase significantly. Do you understand this? I know. Ling Ran continued. Compared to ordinary patients, the recovery ability of HIV-positive patients is much weaker. After surgery, the recovery of nerve function can also become very slow, or even impossible to recover. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. The probability of sudden cardiovascular and cerebrovascular symptoms in you will be much higher than that of ordinary people. The heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, and other internal organs are all facing the possibility of exhaustion, and the possibility of cardiac arrest and respiratory arrest cannot be ruled out. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Finally, Ling Ran asked, do you still want to continue with the surgery? The old man replied, of course. Other hospitals and other doctors refused to perform the surgery when they knew about my condition. Dr. Ling, are you willing to perform the surgery for me? Ling Ran answered seriously. You have your difficulties, and I have my professional ethics. All of us will wear protective clothing for the surgery, and will also incur more medical expenses than ordinary people. Can you understand this? At this time, the old man was also moved to tears. Doctor next to him said, well, 
Don't do this kind of surgery anymore. Quan Fei also squatted down, looking confused. Ling Ran said to everyone, as long as you wear the protective clothing properly, the probability of infection is very low. Ling Ran then ordered Dr. Zuo, contact Huang Maoshi from the Ziyang Pharmaceutical Company immediately, and tell him to send the protective clothing here quickly. The protective clothing was delivered. Dr. Yu ordered Dr. Ling to go and exchange it, and he would come back later. A moment later, they returned to the operating room. Everyone practiced putting on the protective clothing. The interns didn't have to watch. Everyone could choose to participate in the surgery. Quan Fei went to get the protective clothing without washing her hands. She was really getting goosebumps. When suddenly another hand grabbed it. Dr. Yu said with a stern face, Stop. Quan Fei, put it down for me. Quan Fei looked at Yu Yuan, and threw the protective clothing down. Dr. Yu shouted, What kind of temper are you showing in the operating room? If you don't want to do it, then get out. If you have a problem, go find your boyfriend. Is this the place for you to act up? Quan Fei turned her head back, her face full of grievance. Wipe my tears away from me. Why are you crying? You dare to pollute the operating room environment. I'll send you back to school immediately. Today it's an AIDS patient. Tomorrow it might be bird flu. In the emergency room, there are countless patients who don't have time to do the four types of infectious disease tests. What are you going to do? Dr. Yu continued. Now at least there are enough protective clothing for you to choose from. Do you think these protective clothing were developed just like that? They are all the blood and tears of medical workers at home and abroad during the SARS period. What were you going to do then? Quan Fei was aggrieved. I know, I know. Then learn to wear the protective clothing properly. Ling Ran said, everyone, are you ready? Everyone replied, we're ready. Lu Wenbin will be my assistant. Yu Yuan will wait in the operating room. Zuo Sidian will go out to wait for logistical support. The surgery began. The old man said happily, Dr. Ling, thank you. Everyone calmly proceeded. Ling Ran said, you don't have to thank me. The old man recalled the process of going to other hospitals. Go away, we won't treat you here. Who told you to come here? You've come to the wrong place. Security, please ask this patient to leave. The old man was moved to tears. No, Dr. Ling, I really want to thank you. Ling Ran finally said, it's my responsibility. Based on your condition, I agree to use local anesthesia. Don't say anything now. Ling Ran ordered, check the pipeline of the thigh fixation frame, and avoid slipping. Dr. Zuo stood outside the operating room and said anxiously, when encountering this type of patient, I hope this kid Ling Ran can be a little more careful. At this time, Dr. Huo walked in. The surgery was still going on. He thought to himself, what the hell is careful? This kid is still as fast as usual. But at this time, he did not dare to speak up and remind him, in case he startled him and caused an accident. So annoying. Four or five minutes later, Dr. Huo, why are you here? Dr. Huo said with a stern face. This is the first time you guys have done this kind of exposure surgery. How could I not come and watch? Why don't you slow down a little? What's the hurry? Also, why don't you find an assistant? Ling Ran, where's assistant too? Lu Wenbin was a little flustered. Yu Yuan also raised his hand. Director, I'm here. All four of them looked at Dr. Huo. Dr. Huo also did not expect. It seems that you still have some skills. All right. Then he said to the intern manager. It's fine. Dr. Huo looked at Ling Ran who was continuing the surgery. Slow down a little. Be a little more stable. Ling Ran said without blinking. Director, I think it's better to use the usual rhythm. It's easier to do things that way and it's less likely to cause accidents. This is also an option. Hmm. Reduce the exposure time. The surgery continued. Quan Fei raised her hand and said, That's right, director. Do you need me to get you a set of protective clothing? The director didn't care. No need. I've been in this business for decades. There's no battle I haven't fought before. HIV is not Ebola. It's not to the point where I need to be completely isolated. On the contrary, you guys. You guys are very lucky that Dr. Ling is willing to give you a chance. But do you guys know what the most important thing is when observing in the operating room? Quan Fei said, walk softly and speak softly. Dr. Huo shouted, shut up and go. Dr. Ling allows you guys to observe. So seize the opportunity. Observe the surgery carefully. Opportunities are like gifts from heaven. Yet you're here playing tricks, daring to remind me to wear protective clothing. What qualifications do interns have to remind others? Ling Ran then said, Director, your voice is a little loud. The director was embarrassed. Oh, I'm sorry. That was rude of me. 
The surgery continued. Director Huo was amazed. This is a beautiful repair. Assistant Yu also said, Yes, Dr. Ling will refresh the torn lateral edges but not to the extent of damaging too much healthy tissue. Director Huo watched the green forceps surgery. Hemostatic forceps, pulling hooks, reverse cutting knives, machetes, all used very skillfully. Yu Yuan also looked on with admiration. Arthroscopy that was not flexible in the hands of others became flexible in Dr. Ling's hands. 25 minutes later, Ling Ran said, it's done. Lu Wenbin reached out to wipe his sweat. Yu Yuan hurriedly said, stop. You can't wipe your sweat now. All surgical staff. First recall the sequence of putting on and taking off protective clothing. Then take off surgical clothing and isolation clothing. Soak your hands in disinfectant solution. Then change into another pair of clean slippers. All three of them answered in unison. Ling Ran said. It took a little too long. You really didn't get the rhythm today. Actually, the speed could be increased a little more. Dr. Huo asked Ling Ran, You're done? How does it feel to do this kind of exposure surgery? Ling Ran looked helpless. Our operating room's efficiency is too low. Dr. Huo laughed and said, Don't even think about getting a new exposure operating room. But the kid quickly cheered up. Exposure surgery is really beyond my expectations. Yu Yuan, you did a great job too. I watched the video before the surgery. You did very well. The hospital has considered it. From tonight onwards, you will be a resident doctor. Dr. Yu was surprised and her eyes widened. Dr. Huo also patted Ling Ran on the shoulder. I see that you two have almost finished arranging the patient's room. It's almost done today. You two can go back early. The two of them happily said, yes. Dr. Huo continued, you don't need to perform surgery tomorrow morning either. Director, I can do it. Dr. Huo said with a serious face, after this major surgery, you should rest properly. The two of them were also very touched. Director, oh, director. Ling Ran arrived at the underground parking lot. Person hiding behind the wall suddenly appeared. Dr. Ling. Ling Ran was startled. The keys also fell out of his hand. He quickly turned around to take pictures. Ling Ran asked, why are you here? It turned out to be Huang Maoshi. Dr. Ling. I heard that you performed surgery on an AIDS patient. Ling Ran replied, we can't disclose the patient's condition. Huang Maoshi looked admiring. Not denying it means admitting it. He continued to talk about the treatment of AIDS patients. Dr. Ling, disinfectants are indispensable in the operating room. Our company is also an agent for many brands now. Huang Maoshi approached Ling Ran. As long as Dr. Ling and I have this friendship, this order will definitely be in the bag. Ling Ran said again, no need. The protective clothing you sent today was terrible. Huang Maoshi's dream was shattered. He recalled that at that time, he only thought about taking the opportunity to get rid of the inventory. Inventory is still inventory. It's also because their quality is not good. Huang Maoshi said nervously. I will feed back to the factory immediately and send you a new batch as soon as possible. Ling Ran got into into the car and said, no need to explain, I don't need you to change it, and I don't need your disinfectant either. Then he drove away. Huang Maoshi shouted from behind, don't, Dr. Ling, this and that. Disinfectants and protective clothing are two different systems. The next afternoon, Lu Wenbin said, it's rare to see the boss come so late. Ling Ran said, the director didn't let me come early. Lu Wenbin laughed and said, without the boss, the surgery always feels less efficient. With the boss supporting me, I feel like I can speed up a lot. Ling Ran thought that Lu Wenbin had also improved. In that case, the next patient, patient Ling Ran, thought of the HIV patient again. Lu Wenbin looked at Ling Ran. Even the boss has moments of being dazed during surgery? It's rare to see this happen. What's wrong with the boss? After the surgery was over, Ling Ran still thought about how modern medicine had advanced to the point where it could prolong the life of AIDS patients. But the immune deficiency caused by HIV is always a bomb. Surgeons have no way to deal with this bomb. Suddenly, the beautiful Dian Shishin arrived. Dr. Ling, did the surgery go well? Ling Ran replied, it's fine. I just came back from Yunhua. Are you hungry? Let's go eat with me. Ling Ran agreed. Dr. Ling, you don't seem like your usual self today. Then she took Ling Ran's hand and walked with him. I'll take you to eat something else. Dian Shishin said, I have food in my car. He threw the keys to the bodyguard. Dr. Ling's driver, get in the car. Ling Ran looked at this huge car. He exclaimed, it's so modern. Dian Shishin laughed and said, let's go. We'll eat and enjoy the scenery. The car also drove to the area where Dr. Ling lived. The scenery of Mount Wiling was really beautiful at this time. That's right. What do you want to eat? Ling Ran replied. Anything is fine. Okay. Dian Shishin opened the cabinet and immediately screamed. Ah I was in a hurry to meet Dr. Ling when I got off the plane. So I forgot to buy some high-end items. Then Dian Shishin thought to herself. Oh no, my love. There's nothing left. 
Ling Ran laughed and said, Let's eat this. Dian Shishin said with emotion, Dr. Ling, you're so kind. They took out the food and ate. Dian Shishin asked, Dr. Ling, why were you not so happy when you were in the hospital? Ling Ran said, I have always tried my best to heal the sick and save lives, but I recently discovered that there are some patients who cannot be cured. Dian Shishin immediately said, Don't think that way. Dr. Ling, let me tell you a story about my childhood. When I was young, I wanted to raise a deer. But my father said that deer were too dangerous, so he gave me a pony. Not long after, the pony had an accident. My father buried it in a ravine on the family's ranch. I was very sad and disappointed. Later, I went to the ravine in front of the pony's grave. I saw a little deer. And unexpectedly, it became my friend. Regardless of whether it was the reincarnation of the pony, at that moment, I really felt very relieved. Diane Shishin said seriously, even the best veterinarians and animal experts couldn't save the pony. Just like my father said, human power is limited. Ling Ran thought to himself, is human power limited? That's right. Human power is limited. As long as one has tried their best, and done well what they can do well, that's enough. Ling Ran patted Dian Shishin's head, and she couldn't believe that this could be considered a great victory for the day. Next day, Ling Ran said, Dr. Zhou, are you looking for me? Dr. Zhou said, today, a patient with appendicitis came. Didn't you always want to do it, to perform appendicitis surgery? Ling Ran heard that the advent of appendicitis surgery marked the birth of modern surgical science. In fact, appendectomy has almost become a symbol and belief of surgeons. Dr. Zhou said, the patients are a young couple, they both have appendicitis, and both need surgery. Then the man said, I love, you go first. The girl said, no, you go first. Then they chatted for a while. The man said again, I'm in pain. I'm in pain too. The doctor asked helplessly, what are they doing? The nurse said, they're discussing who will go first. Wang Jia said, we have two operating rooms. Ling Ran asked, like Dr. Zhou, whose condition is more serious? Probably the girl. She can tolerate the pain better, but her appendix needs to be removed. Theoretically, conservative treatment can be used for the boy. Ling Ran said, to be safe, we'll each take one case and do them at the same time. Dr. Zhou said helplessly, they asked for the same surgeon, and the same doctor to suture the wound so that they would have identical surgical scars. Ling Ran smiled and said, then I understand. I'll perform the surgery for you. I guarantee that the surgical scars of both of you will be exactly the same. Then the team went to the operating room. Ling Ran said, first, we'll perform a routine epidural anesthesia. The surgery on the female patient, Mai Zhao King, began. The scalpel was passed to Ling Ran, who directly cut the skin. Dr. Zhou wondered, this kid has always been known for his quick hands. Why is he so slow today? Ling Ran thought, abdominal surgery is not just a matter of making a single cut with a sharp scalpel. Now, the incision is made in layers, which will make it easier to suture later. But Dr. Zhou thought that Ling Ran's movements were very smooth. The rhythm was very good, but the speed was slow. Overall, such a surgery had no advantage. Now came the difficult part of appendectomy. Finding the appendix in the case of a small incision. If you're lucky, it's fine, but for inexperienced doctors, it's normal to spend half an hour searching. Many young doctors take two or three hours to find it the first time. Ling Ran said calmly, Gauze. Dr. Zhou was amazed. You found it in just a second, kid. Just now, he said that this kind of surgery had no advantage. It turned out that the greatest advantage was here. Ling Ran continued, retractor. Take out the appendix. I'll use Everdid sutures to suture the wound, and leave the rest to Dr. Joe. I'll go and do the other one. Dr. Joe reminded, remember the double surgical scar. Ling Ran made an okay gesture. After the surgery, the couple held up a mirror to look. The surgical scars looked exactly the same. I measured it. They're exactly the same. Then they asked the doctor, are the cuts in the appendix the same? Ling Ran said innocently, yes, don't worry. I guarantee they're exactly the same. The girl said, this is the proof of our love. The boy said, that's right. My love, you can believe in our love forever. I can't stand this cheesy couple. Dr. Joe was helpless. This surgery filled the ward with the sour smell of love. Ling Ran said, the surgical scar has been checked. The rest is up to you, Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe wondered, hey, where are you going? Ling Ran said, I'm going to the operating room to perform the transverse suture technique and arthroscopic joint repair. Of course I'm going to surgery. The nurse hurriedly called Director Huo. 
Dr. Ling is staying up all night again, and there's a serious shortage of beds. Director Huo. Huo Kongjun had already anticipated this, so he asked the decoration company to work overtime to complete it as soon as possible. The nurse said in surprise, a new ward, a new bed. This time it's fine. Ling Ran also said happily, the entire floor is our team's ward, so if the number of patients increases again, will the director give us another floor? At this moment, Zuo Sidian shouted, Dr. Ling, someone has brought a pennant. Today, Yang Shang is being discharged from the hospital, so he wants to thank you. The old man said happily, Dr. Ling, I'm really, really grateful to you. The pennant says, exquisite medical skills, noble medical ethics. The photographer kept taking pictures. Ling Ran's treatment of AIDS patients spread throughout the major hospitals in Western Chu. Then everyone said with admiration, Dr. Ling Ran can do things that others can't do. He's too good. We must learn from Dr. Ling. Therefore, these doctors came to the emergency department of Yunhua Hospital. It turned out to be done like this. I've learned it. I've learned it. Dr. Ling is indeed worthy of his reputation. Wu Wenbin hurriedly said, Shish, this is the operating room. Don't talk so loudly. Then Tian Ren also came. Lu Wenbin asked, What are you doing here? I want to talk to Dr. Ling about the management of infectious diseases. But it seems that he is never in his office. So I have to wait here. Lu Wenbin wondered, Didn't we discuss the management of infectious diseases before? Tian Ren said, Your team has just added some new wards. So I want to ask Dr. Ling if there is a need to make any changes. Lu Wenbin said, the boss hasn't said anything yet. Why do we need to change it? The fully automatic disinfection robot requested by Dr. Ling is not cheap. Adding so many wards. If we want to save money, we can't save much. Use sodium hypochlorite generator for disinfection and other disinfectants. Tian Ren sighed. Since the SARS epidemic, the word, saving, is no longer in the dictionary of the Department of Infectious Diseases Management. And the existence of the Department of Infectious Diseases Management is even more vulnerable than that of the Department of Nursing. Issues involving so much money like this, we absolutely dare not make any mistakes. Lu Wenbin said, just follow the previous standards. The boss attaches great importance to the management of infectious diseases. You just have to do a good job. Tian Ren replied, a doctor who carries two bottles of alcohol with him, I've only seen Dr. Ling do that, but I'll still wait for Dr. Ling to confirm it. There was a patient on the hospital bed. Tian Ren asked in surprise, a Caucasian? An American? Tian Ren asked incredulously. Americans have also come to our Yunhua hospital? Lu Wenbin said, if you want to find the boss to treat your illness, of course you can only come to our Yunhua hospital. In the operating room, Ling Ran said, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm going to operating room number two. After watching the surgery, everyone said. All the blood vessels were indeed avoided. Too good. Is this the Chu Clay method of tendon suture? Dr. Ling is about to change places. Let's go too. Tian Ren asked. Dr. Ling does surgery without stopping? Lu Wenbin said proudly. There are still many people waiting for the boss to perform surgery. How long do you plan to watch? Tian Ren also said in fear. Then let's wait until Dr. Ling is off work. Lu Wenbin said again. Wait until he is off work? It's only what time now? He won't be off work until midnight. Are you sure you want to wait? Oh, then I'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow, you'll be even less likely to see him. He was called by hospital number three to assist in a surgery there. Tian Ren looked into the operating room. Dr. Ling is the busiest doctor I've ever seen. The next morning, Director Huo said, Ling Ran, take this with you. Ling Ran looked at the name of the medicine, Lamivudine. Director, this is Lamivudine? A drug that can inhibit the activity of AIDS. Director Huo whispered, hospital number three is an infectious disease hospital after all. And besides, they didn't say whether the patient has AIDS this time. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you don't feel well, you must take the medicine. Don't be afraid of the side effects. Okay, everyone, come here and take a picture. Yunhua Emergency Center takes the lead in supporting Yunhua People's Hospital Number 3. We must create a strong momentum for our emergency center. Everyone, get in the car and go to Yunhua People's Hospital Number 3. Ling Ran got out of the car first. The old man said, Dr. Ling, you're here. That's great. We have so many patients who have been suffering from knee osteoarthritis for many years. Now, finally someone has come to save us. Ling Ran said directly, I can only perform meniscus reconstruction surgery. He continued, okay, it's unrealistic to ask you to solve everything. The scene in the hospital. The patient saw Ling Ran coming. An old woman approached everyone. Everyone was suspicious. She laughed. The old man said hurriedly, hurry up, protect Dr. Ling. Ling Ran remained calm. 
don't overreact, it's okay. The old woman also left quietly. The old man shouted, whose patient is that? What is she doing? Call the doctor in charge here. Ling Ran was also thinking that some infectious diseases could indeed cause mental problems. The old man said, excuse me, I didn't scare Dr. Ling, did I? I'm fine. So, should we see the patients first or the operating room first? Ling Ran said, I'll be responsible for seeing the patients, and the others will be responsible for checking out the operating room. Dr. Yu called out, Huang Maoshi, go and check out the operating room. Huang Maoshi raised his hand to indicate that he wanted to check the instruments and equipment, to see if the equipment was complete, whether it was in the right position or not had to rely on Sister Sha's discerning eyes. Dr. Yu, don't worry, just leave it to me. The old man saw that they had deliberately found someone from outside to check the hospital's equipment. Isn't that too much? The old man said. Dr. Ling, our hospital also performs general surgery, and we also have adequate protective measures for doctors. Let's not talk about anything else. Just the cross-infection between patients is enough to kill us. Ling Ran didn't know how to answer. The old man looked sinister. Can't answer, huh? Ha ha ha. Sha from the dictionary behind him thought, this old man is so rude. This is the first time Dr. Ling has led a team to go out. If his momentum is weak, it will be easy for others to lead him by the nose, and it will be easy for mistakes to occur. Then, he approached the two of them. You have your standards, and we have our standards. If hospital number three is so good at everything, why would you invite us here? The old man retorted, our standards in Yunhua are also very famous. Dr. Shaw retorted, really? Compare your hospital's flying knife surgery standards with Dr. Ling's. Don't see any basis for what you just said at all. Other hospitals invite Dr. Ling to perform surgeries, and each operation costs between 5,000 and 10,000 yuan, and it can't just be one case. Add in the round-trip airfare, and the income per day is at least 230,000 yuan. Dr. Ling had chosen to come to the infectious disease hospital to help. If he didn't even have the right to check the equipment before surgery, then there was really nothing left to say. Ling Ran asked, Dr. Shaw, what's the point of saying these things? Dr. Ling, there can be no work without rules. We must establish the rules before we do the work. The old man said in embarrassment, I understand. Dr. Ling is truly rare. Dr. Shaw said without hesitation, even Director Huo didn't want to come to this hospital for treatment, but only our Dr. Ling came. Ling Ran was not interested in the war of words at all so he prepared to go to the clinic. I want to have as many comprehensive images as possible. The old man said helplessly, yes, yes, yes. Dr. Ling, just arrange the specific work. Ling Ran and Sha from the dictionary read the film seriously. Ling Ran activated the master level magnetic resonance imaging technique, and then immediately said, these two, let them go for an MRI first. The symptoms of these three people are not suitable for arthroscopic meniscus reconstruction surgery. The old man looked over. Although there are many rules, an expert is an expert. The treatment plan was determined so quickly. Next surgery is highly anticipated. At the same time, at the Yun Hua Emergency Center, Director Huo said, a patient with a flexor tendon injury was sent over. Ling Ran is supporting hospital number three and can't come back, so he suggested that Lu Wenbin go and perform the surgery. Lu Wenbin was stunned. Director, are you kidding me? I'm going to do it alone? Ling Ran said, you've already observed 300 cases of flexor tendon repair surgery, so instead of suturing normally, you might as well do it. Lu Wenbin immediately became confident. Yes, I'll do it. In the other operating room, Dr. Shah's goal for the day was 30 minutes per case. He tried his best to clear out the old patients who had accumulated in hospital number three over the past two or three years. Dr. Shah from the dictionary thought, an average speed of 30 minutes per case. It's really challenging. But as Dr. Ling's first time leading a team to visit another hospital, even if there are many challenges, we must complete it. On this side, Lu Wenbin was very nervous. Without the boss here, can I do well? The doctor next to him said, Old Lu, the debridement is ready. Then, Lu Wenbin immediately regained his confidence. It's true that the boss is not here, so I have to do even better. On this side, Ling Ran said, the surgery begins. Lu Wenbin on the other side also began the surgery. Ling Ran performed the surgery seriously. Dr. Sha looked at Ling Ran. Dr. Ling is currently fighting with all his might. His state is excellent. The first case took less than 30 minutes. Ling Ran said, the surgery is complete. The next case continued, and then the next case. Dr. Yu felt that it was a bit difficult to cooperate with Dr. Ling today. Ling Ran thought that there were many patients in hospital number 3. The conservative estimate is that we need to do 11 cases per day these few days. The speed has to be a bit faster. Lu Wenbin said during the surgery, Pepti Hook, 
glasses, forceps. The assistant next to him thought that every instruction Liu Wenbin gave was like Dr. Ling. The two of them were really similar. The surgery continued. From the beginning, he could only hold the hook for the boss. To when the boss taught him, and then to when he became a pillar and backbone of Ling Ran's treatment team. Liu Wenbin recalled Ling Ran's words. The transverse suture method is also called the multiple tendon group suture method. Literally, it is usually three sets of nylon threads to suture the tendon. Suturing in this way, the strength is far beyond the Kessel method and the double suture method. Moreover, it will not destroy the blood circulation on the back of the tendon. The key points that the boss imparted. The latter suture method is both a suture method and a technique. It is a suture method that is only used for the flexor tendons of zone 2 of the hand. The scope of application is extremely narrow. It only affects 15% of the area of a person's hand, but the effect is extremely remarkable. Therefore, the difficulty is also very great. All of this was clear in Liu Wenbin's mind. Before holding the needle, all these thoughts came to Liu Wenbin's mind. Liu Wenbin continued. The boss always told him to avoid the blood vessels and the nerve sheath. Inastimos the blood vessels, pull, and finally it was completed. Wow, I didn't expect that I would actually complete the latter method by myself. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I can't make up for it without three or five trotters. The intern was snickering, and Ma Yanlin was also surprised. He didn't expect Lao Lu to be so powerful. Ma Yanlin, my development speed is not good enough. Suddenly, a new achievement board popped up. Ling Ran thought that Lu Wenbin had completed the ladder suture method smoothly. System. Open the treasure chest. Artificial respiration. This is the most important technique in modern emergency medicine. In the past, Patients who had respiratory arrest or cardiac arrest, if they were resuscitated by artificial respiration, they would be considered divine doctors. This is the real life-saving skill. Ling Ran wanted to return to the emergency center as soon as possible. Next was Ling Ran's surgery. The speed suddenly increased, and Dr. Shaw was also surprised, almost unable to keep up with Dr. Ling. Four days later, in the past few days, Dr. Ling had cured 45 patients, which meant that he had relieved the pain of 45 families. On behalf of the patients and their families, I would like to thank you. The old man said, emergency medicine is generally quite hard. Dr. Ling has refreshed my perception. Dr. Ling's arthroscopic surgery can now be considered a unique skill of our Yun Hua Hospital. Director Hong said, there were no problems in the 40 surgeries. If I didn't know that Dr. Ling was an emergency doctor at Yun Hua, I would have thought that he was a professional infectious disease doctor. The three of them laughed out loud. Then, Ling Ran got into the car and returned. The old man called out, Dr. Ling, wait a moment. We will collect some more cases. And when we have enough, we will invite you again. Suddenly, two family members ran over and asked where Dr. Ling was. The old man pointed to the distance. He just got into the car and left. That car over there. The man shouted at the other person. See, I told you to hurry up, but you wouldn't listen. Now it's too late. The gift can't be given anymore. No, no, no. Let's find a courier company to send it to Dr. Ling. The courier arrived. I'm here. Who needs to send something? The other person said, I called and said that there were a lot of things to send. Why did you only come by yourself? The courier said confidently, no matter how many things there are, I can carry them all. You can't carry them all. I told you that you can't carry them all. There's a whole pile of them. They're gifts from 45 patients in total. When I carried it, I estimated that it was about 2 tons. The courier was frightened. Oh my god, I'll call a car for you right now. A moment later, the courier van was full of luggage. An employee said, what kind of gift is 2 tons? 2 tons of gifts. The doctor only needs money. I must have met a ghost. Ling Ran sneezed on the other side. Director Huo, please look after the courier for me. This kid, he gave it to you to show off. But isn't it too much to come back like this? Lu Wenbin said, the boss is the boss. He's famous wherever he goes. Wang Jia asked, is Dr. Ling the same in Shanghai? Director Huo looked at Ling Ran. He was very impressed with him now. He could no longer be an intern. Ling Ran, go and take the doctor's qualification exam. There are fewer surgeries recently. Take this opportunity to read some books for me. Understand? Ling Ran is also taking the doctor's qualification exam today. It would be interesting if he failed the exam. He came here early in the morning and has been performing surgeries all the time. His mind is tired, and he has to take the exam again. He, it's easy to fail. 
Did he give up? The car is about to leave, but he still hasn't arrived. Another doctor said, that's funny. Ling Ran still has to wait for you guys to worry about him? This sentence stunned the two of them. He continued, Ling Ran has already performed four elective surgeries. And director Huo was worried that he wouldn't make it in time, so he sent a private car to pick him up. Look over there. He has a private car to pick him up. What kind of special treatment is this? If you guys are as capable as he is, you can also be treated like this. Ling Ran arrived at the provincial hospital. Number 46. The nurse called out. Number 46, where are you? Ling Ran raised his number 46 and said, I'm number 46. Your examination room is over here. We're here. It's here. Go in. Ling Ran arrived at the examination room. Director Kong recognized this name as Dr. Ling, the scalpel surgeon. What is he doing here? Are you kidding me? Ling Ran said, Hello, Director Kong. Let's start. Dr. Ling likes to play games with exams, so let's play with him, he said. Dr. Ling, our practical examination consists of three parts. One is case history collection. The second is technical operation, and the third is multimedia, which is actually reading films. Only the collection of medical history is a written exam. You fill it in, or I can fill it in for you. The other two examiners were also stunned. Ling Ran said, Director Kong, exams should still be taken as exams. Just follow the normal procedure. Director Kong said, do you really want to play for real? All right. Um, the medical history collection is like this. A 54-year-old female. Severe recurrence of pain in the right knee. Having worked for three years, Ling Ran wrote down the answer without any hesitation. He finished writing, and the three of them looked at the answer Ling Ran had written. Perfect, no problem. Director Kong continued. The next is the second item. Technical operation. How do we choose the tracheotomy technique? All right, Ling Ran will do it directly. This speed makes people feel like they are watching a science fiction movie. He finished it in no time. Director Kong was very impressed. Even if he came to play, there was nothing to complain about. The last item is reading films. Ling Ran read the films while the three of them listened and took notes. The examiner said awkwardly, he reads so well that it's a waste to take notes. Excuse me, excuse me, said Director Kong. All right, the practical examination is over. Dr. Ling, take it easy. I'll visit you in two days after I'm done with the examination. The female examiner said, Old Kong, he's an expert. Why did he come here to take this test? Director Kong said helplessly, You guys are asking me. How would I know? There was nothing to argue about. Ling Ran passed the exam smoothly. Surprise, a mountain of pig feet. Everyone came to congratulate him. Congratulations, Dr. Ling, for passing the medical qualification exam, said Director Huo. I'll give you a gift that you like. This is a list of patients who need arthroscopic surgery in the districts and counties of our city. I've transferred them all to our emergency center. Ling Ran looked at the list with delight. Director, you understand me best. Ha ha ha. Dr. Ling is here, and there's a long line of patients waiting behind. Nurse said, Dr. Ling's appointment system is great. Yes, everyone is also crowding at the door. Don't crowd. Brother, Dr. Ling, this is my medical record. Dr. Ling, I came first. There was still a group of people asking the nurse, nurse, where is Dr. Ling's office? The nurse said in fear, go up the stairs on the other side and turn left after the patients leave. A nurse said, fortunately, there are no such situations. We have saved a lot of work. She said, Dr. Ling must be interested in me, so he chose the appointment method. Wang Jia was embarrassed for her. Are you starting to daydream again? Hi hi. Who knows? If it's true, why don't you feel ashamed? Oh my, oh my. This is the surgery department, this is the operating room. Ling Ran would perform 23 surgeries and then return to his office to check on the patients who had made appointments. Therefore, the work was relatively heavy for them. That's how everyone could grow. Time passed quickly. Tian Chi thought that she had not seen Dr. Ling for a long time. Today, I have made a strategy, and I will definitely achieve twice the target. Um, um, first I will play this, then I will eat that. Crack. The door of the room was opened, and Ling Ran said, Tian Chi, you are here again. Tian Chi looked at him infatuatedly, and said, I'm not sick today. I'm not delivering food or driving. I just came to wait for you to get off work. This is the most popular restaurant nearby. Dr. Ling, look, there is a sudden cry inside. Dr. Ling Ran looked over. The patient lying on the hospital bed was breathing too fast. Tian Chi continued, do you know what's the best dish in this restaurant? Ling Ran didn't hear her at all. He thought of the patient's weak limbs and lack of strength, which was quite serious. He had to go and have a look. Tian Chi was stunned. 
Is Dr. Ling leaving again? It's so hard to fall in love. Ling Ran asked anxiously, what's wrong with the patient? The nurse said, the patient said he had abdominal pain and discomfort. After lunch, he had a continuous dull pain, and vomited once, bringing up gastric juice. He has a history of chronic gastritis. Ling Ran asked again, when was the last time you had a stomach ache? Ling Ran put the stethoscope on the patient's chest. The old woman answered uncomfortably, I haven't taken any stomach medicine for several years. It seems like a disease. Ling Ran said anxiously, do an ECG immediately. Call the cardiology department for a consultation, and then apply ECG electrodes, and put on a blood pressure cuff. The nurse beside him said in a panic, the patient is in atrial fibrillation shock. Dr. Ling, what should we do? Ling Ran said solemnly, asynchronous, defibrillate at 150 J. Then he applied conductive gel. Choose asynchronous electric shock. Charging is complete. Everyone get out of the way. He ordered, chest compressions, intubation. Intubate. Connect to the ventilator. This is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Chest compressions are to keep the heart pumping blood. Artificial respiration is to keep the oxygen supply going. In theory, cardiopulmonary resuscitation can provide 30% of normal supply. But 30% is the lowest level. Below this level, the rescue is likely to be dangerous. High quality cardiopulmonary pulmonary resuscitation must be maintained. Ling Ran said again, it's not good. The patient still has no response. We have to prepare for ultra-long cardiopulmonary resuscitation before defibrillation. Shock, perfect emergency cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Start. Tian Chi looked at Ling Ran. A Dr. Ling who was focused and concentrated, so calm and composed. Although I was a little upset that he left me alone just now. But it's worth it to see a Dr. Ling like this today. Ling Ran's ultra-long cardiopulmonary resuscitation was still going on. The nurse said, so much time has passed again. A doctor next to him said, it could be acute myocardial infarction. No, no. It's probably acute posterior myocardial infarction. The patient's family member said, doctor, don't scare me. Tian Chi also became nervous. It seems that the situation is not very optimistic. Ling Ran said, in that case, we should consider transferring the patient for interventional treatment. Dr. Ling, let's transfer the patient. Ling Ran still didn't give up. Give me a little more time. He continued to perform external cardiac compressions. It was also to give the patient a little more time. Tian Chi was very nervous beside him. Another doctor beside him also said, does such persistence really work? Suddenly, the electrocardiogram moved. The nurse shouted excitedly, there's a heartbeat. The doctor couldn't believe it. There's really breathing. The cardiologist was also surprised. It's unbelievable. Tian Chi ran over and said, Dr. Ling, you're amazing. Ling Ran looked like he couldn't stand up. Tian Chi also asked, Dr. Ling, why are you sitting on the ground? Ling Ran was out of breath. I'm exhausted, but the feeling of saving a life can overcome all the fatigue. In the middle of the night in the duty room, Ling Ran was lying on the bed. Oh, why am I here? The doctor said, Dr. Ling, after you finished the ultra-long cardiopulmonary resuscitation, you fell asleep after talking to Tian Chi. I carried you here. Nurse Tian Chi also watched you for a long time, and just left. This is the supper she left for you. She told you to eat it when you wake up. Ling Ran recalled, I didn't expect ultra-long cardiopulmonary resuscitation to be so tiring. It could be because of the time pressure and the great mental stress. Perfect cardiopulmonary resuscitation in the early stage is not a problem. But in the later stage, is it possible that I missed something because of my physical strength? To be on the safe side, if there is an emergency next time, it's best to take the energy medicine earlier. Suddenly, the loudspeaker broadcast, all on call staff. All on call staff, please pay attention. Please proceed to the emergency room lobby immediately. All on call staff, please pay attention. Dr. Joe came over and said, a building just collapsed. More than 50 people were involved in the construction. Ling ran, hurry up, go to the emergency room. Ling ran ran straight to the emergency room. The supper was left aside. Dr. Joe continued to emphasize. In the end, it is not clear how many people there are. According to rumors, the collapsed building has spread to the ground, so the total number of people may change greatly. In the first batch, 12 people were injured, four of whom were slightly injured, eight were seriously injured. Everyone, put on surgical gowns now, put on gloves, and wear protective clothing. If we get exhausted, there will be no time to wait. Ling Ran asked, 
when will the director be here? Dr. Zhou said, don't expect others at this time. Now we can only rely on ourselves. Ling Ran replied, I understand. This is the largest emergency that the emergency center has encountered since its establishment. In order to avoid the situation like in the daytime, the recently accumulated treasure chest system should be opened. Various skills were unlocked. A professional book? It's been a long time since I've opened such a low-level book. But generally speaking, all five skills are okay, so it's enough. The nurse said in a hurry, a brick hit his head. The patient is still conscious. Emergency room. You receive him. Another one is coming. Fell from a crane. Multiple traumas and shock. Ling Ran thought, the injured outside are all like this. I'm afraid the injured inside will be more serious. The nurse continued, broken arm. Crushed finger. Multiple traumas. Treatment room. Dr. Ling. Ling Ran pulled the stretcher and ran straight to the treatment room. Ling Ran looked at the patient. It turned out that the injury was not very serious. Monitor the patient's condition closely, and if there is nothing unusual, transfer him to the wrist plaster room. Outside the treatment room, Dr. Joe said, Is anyone free? Patient with ruptured spleen. Ling Ran said, Dr. Joe, let me do it. Dr. Joe smiled and said, Okay, that's fine. You can stop the bleeding manually for the patient first, and I'll arrange for someone to perform the splenectomy. Ling Ran said seriously, I can perform the splenectomy. Dr. Zhou was also surprised and said, This kid knows how to do this already? Then the patient was sent to the emergency room. Ling Ran looked at the patient, and had to seize every second and minute, as the wound was still bleeding. Dr. Zhou suddenly shouted, Slow down. Ling Ran said, Dr. Zhou, today's situation is different from usual, Ling Ran, you can stop the bleeding manually first, if you want to perform the surgery later, go to the operating room as an assistant, yes, Ling Ran didn't say much, and immediately stopped the bleeding manually, he put his hand into the wound, the bleeding stopped immediately, Dr. Zhou watched Ling Ran's operation, this kid's move is always effective no matter how many times he uses it, go to the operating room and prepare first, I'll be there soon. Ling Ran asked, Dr. Zhou, will you be the chief surgeon for this surgery? Dr. Zhou said, there's really no one else, I'm not good at it either. After all, I've only done dozens of cases. Grade 3 injury can only be removed. He continued to look at the wound. Ling Ran said, the wound has been partially severed. The splenic blood vessels are no longer usable. Ling Ran finished changing his clothes. Dr. Zhou replied, your anatomy is quite good. No wonder you're so good at manual hemostasis. No more nonsense. Let's start. Ling Ran thought seriously. Even as an assistant, I must do my best. Activate the total splenectomy technique. Dr. Zhou looked at Ling Ran and said, Said. Dissection operation. The assistant's job is to fully expose the tissues. Ligature the blood vessels. Dr. Zhou said. Ling Ran had to dissect the blood vessels before ligating them. Dissecting the blood vessels, Dr. Zhou also doubted. Why is my technique so smooth today? It's not the accumulation of years, but the explosion under the pressure of today's major incident. Ling Ran asked. Dr. Zhou, what's wrong? It's nothing. It's just that I think we can do it a little faster. Ling Ran looked at Dr. Zhou. Although he had only performed dozens of such surgeries, the level that Dr. Zhou showed was at least at the expert level. Dr. Zhou seemed to be superficial, but he was actually very talented. If that was the case, then it would be perfect for me. 30 minutes later, the surgery was over. Ling Ran also breathed a sigh of relief. Dr. Zhou checked and said, no problem. I'll go to the emergency room first. Ling Ran, you should come over sooner after you finish your work. Ling Ran finished the last procedure. The drainage was finished. Nurse, take the patient to the recovery room. I'll continue to see patients. In front of the clinic, the emergency room was getting more and more crowded. The injuries were becoming more and more complicated. Ambulances kept arriving. The nurse said, the patient has a ruptured intestine. Which doctor is in charge? Dr. Yu ran over. Guan Fei, assist me. Guan Fei, do you remember the anatomical positions of the small intestine, colon, and rectum? Guan Fei said, I know a little. Dr. Yu continued, the first thing to do when entering the operating room is to remove all the feces from the patient's abdomen. Guan Fei was stunned. Dr. Yu explained, do you know why general surgery is called janitorial work? Let's take the patient to the contaminated operating room first. Yes, yes, I understand. The old man cried out in pain. Doctor, doctor, I'm not feeling well. I'm dying. It's so uncomfortable. My chest is tight. 
It's hard to breathe. Lu Wenbin asked. How does your chest feel? Your heart rate is stable. It's fine. I'll take you for an electrocardiogram first. Ling Ran looked in that direction. Lu Wenbin, that's bad. The nurse said anxiously. Cardiac arrest for five minutes, cyanosis of the whole body, dilated pupils, no pulsation of the aorta, no spontaneous breathing. Ling Ran turned to look at the patient. Cardiac arrest for five minutes, cyanosis of the whole body, which indicates that the whole body is in a state of hypoxia. Dilated pupils, if another light reflex disappears, it is one of the signs of brain death. This patient is currently in a very critical condition. Ling Ran also thought of the key issue, electric shock. The nurse rushed to bring the defibrillator, put on the finger connections and charge the battery. Ling Ran pressed 150J directly. Get out of the way. Shock. The nurse said, no response. Ling Ran also said seriously, the defibrillator is not a panacea. Then he climbed straight onto the bed. Perfect cardiopulmonary resuscitation, activate. At the same time, he also said, inject one milligram of adrenaline intravenously. The nurse injected it directly, but the old man did not move at all. Ling Ran looked at the patient who still did not respond. Using adrenaline alone was not enough. He continued, one milligram of atropine. 50 milligrams of lidocaine, open the airway. Dr. Joe also came over. Let me open the airway. He directly took action and cut open the trachea. Such a tracheotomy would make the recovery period more difficult and the recovery time longer. But the premise was that the patient had to live until then. The key factor for resuscitation was high-quality cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Do it again. One, two, three. My old man, my old man. The nurse reminded her, you're disturbing the doctor like this, and it's not good for the treatment. Continue. One, two, three. Ling Ren completely ignored the outside world. Inject adrenaline, atropine, and lidocaine every five minutes. The patient still did not respond. Continue. One, two, three. The nurse said, Dr. Ling, do you want to change? You've been doing it for 25 minutes. Ling Ran thought, the perfect emergency cardiopulmonary resuscitation is the best support for the patient at present. Changing doctors to take turns would require at least three doctors to be equally effective. But now everywhere is busy. There are no free doctors at all. Ling Ran took off his goggles and sighed. I know there is another way. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation for more than 20 minutes can actually determine whether to give up or not. If it was 10 years ago, most hospitals in countries and regions would consider cardiopulmonary resuscitation for more than 20 minutes unnecessary. In fact, even now, Americans rarely perform prolonged cardiopulmonary resuscitation. But prolonged cardiopulmonary resuscitation is the only way to pull a patient back from the brink of death, although the success rate is usually only 1%. At present, the patient's only hope is me. Never give up. Do it again. 1, 2, 3. Director Huo also came to Ling Ran. I heard that you have been performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation for nearly an hour. Ling Ran said, the patient is only 32 years old and has no medical history. I think that continuing cardiopulmonary resuscitation may bring the greatest benefit to the patient. Director Huo said, okay, then you can decide for yourself. Yes. Lu Wenbin looked at Ling Ran. His expression was the same as before he fainted last time. At this moment, Ling Ran was also sweating. Lu Wenbin said, Boss, let me help you. Ling Ran tried to say, Lu Wenbin, prepare 200J. Prepare to shock. Boom. Defibrillation. Ling Ran continued to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. One, two, three. Beep. The electrocardiogram responded. The family members cried and said, This, this is a beep. Beep. The electrocardiogram continued to respond. The nurse said in surprise, spontaneous heartbeat. Director Huo looked at the electrocardiogram. It's QRS, a little wide. Ling Ran was exhausted at this moment. He said, find the aorta. Ling Ran's hands were shaking. The nurse said, it's very weak. Ling Ran continued, inject lidocaine and adrenaline again. Add 15 milligrams of dexamethasone. After the injection, the nurse said in a hurry, heart rate 130, spontaneous heartbeat, blood pressure 120 74. At this time, Ling Ran had let go. Director Huo asked nervously, Ling Ran, what's the situation now? Ling Ran gasped, the heartbeat is clear. The family members were overjoyed. Did the doctor save him? Ling Ran said, it's not certain yet. We have to continue the blood transfusion. Apply ice packs and sodium bicarbonate. Ling Ran was exhausted. The nurse quickly found blood plasma, ice packs, sodium bicarbonate. Director Huo said, 
there is a slight light reflex. Get glucose for Ling Ran. Nurse Wang handed the glucose bottle to Dr. Ling. Ling Ran remembered that he had forgotten to take the energy potion earlier. It's not too late to use it now. Extreme recovery, he was well in no time. The nurse looked at Ling Ran. Oh, Dr. Ling, you recover so quickly after drinking glucose. Then she was stunned and said, Does glucose water have a special effect on Dr. Ling? Director Huo said, Ling Ran, you go and have a rest. The patient was sent to the intensive care unit, and the neurology department was asked to come for a consultation. Director Huo was also surprised. The critical notice had been issued, and this kid Ling Ran had created another miracle. 3 a.m., Ling Ran had been busy for half a night, and the family members were also tired. Ling Ran said, I feel much better after a rest. Dr. Zhou Ying, go and have a rest. I'll take care of it here. The phone rang again. The nurse shouted, three more ambulances. Four injured people, seriously injured. One in shock. The two of them said in a hurry, we each take two cases. Director Huo said, send the patient here. Each person is responsible for one case. Ling Ran, you have been performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation for so long. You don't need surgery now. Ling Ran said again, our team can be responsible for one person together. Director Huo said sternly, everyone in your team should rest obediently. In the lounge, Lu Wenbin sighed, complaining that he couldn't sleep. Dr. Yu also said, normally, our team is the busiest, but today, we are not used to being taken care of. Ling Ran said, if that's the case, then let's practice cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Lu Wenbin spat out all the water. He said, boss, CPR is tiring. Ling Ran continued, we work together as a team, not alone. Lu Wenbin was shocked again. When did you get this model? How do you guys do chest compressions? Show me. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation can be done by one person, but it is better if two people do it. To improve the patient's survival rate, a well-trained and highly skilled team is indispensable. Ling Ran held the model and Lu Wenbin tried it first. Old Dai, look at this. One, two, three. Old Ta, we are all members of Ling Ran's team. Don't stand there. Ta Sidian said, don't worry, I'll run as fast as I can. The three of them practiced together. One, two, three. Again and again. Half an hour passed. Lu Wenbin asked, boss, how did the three of us practice? Ling Ran considered, the depth of the press should be maintained, and the time for changing people should be as short as possible. Dr. Ta asked, Dr. Ling, if there is another patient who needs cardiopulmonary resuscitation, should we take over? Ling Ran replied, director has no such order, but you guys should be ready for this task. I think the director will not object. Dr. Yu also did not sit still. Yun Hua Hospital currently has a rescue team, but no specialized cardiopulmonary resuscitation team. I think we can take on this aspect. In the International Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation Guidelines, it also supports the establishment of a specialized cardiopulmonary resuscitation team to shorten the resuscitation time as much as possible. Dr. Ling said seriously, a small cardiopulmonary resuscitation team is much more complicated than a large team. We can take advantage of the time to practice. Hmm, use free time then a team of four is enough, Dr. Ta said. But for the time being, let's not mention the cardiopulmonary resuscitation team to the outside world. Once the reputation of the resuscitation team spreads out, not to mention other things, the low-quality consumables, the corresponding pharmaceuticals from the drug distributor will become chaotic. Ling Ran replied, well, although we can't say anything for now, the CPR team must have strict requirements. The three of them said in unison, that goes without saying. Ding, a new task has arrived. Ling Ran thought, hmm, a liver resection surgery? Dr. Ta said, Dr. Ling has only taught us for so long, and now his addiction to surgery has relapsed again. Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan looked at each other with sinister smiles. Don't worry, boss, we'll take care of it right away. The three of them chuckled and found an excuse to slip out of the lounge. I really need to pee. I'm going out to take a leak. I still can't sleep. It must be because I'm hungry. Ling Ran watched them go with a blank expression. Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan asked the doctor if there were any patients with liver damage. Dr. Ta asked the nurse if there were any patients with liver damage. The nurse replied, there is one with right upper quadrant abdominal pain, intra-abdominal bleeding. I don't know if it's liver damage. Dr. Ta pleaded, can you arrange for this patient to be assigned to our team? The nurse was a little embarrassed. Director Huo has already said, all emergency cases can only be assigned to associate chief physicians and above. A level 1 critically ill patient is very dangerous. Then how can we add Dr. Ling to the list? Dr. Ling is eager to perform this surgery. The nurse said that the grouping should be decided by the director of the department. But when the patient arrives, I can notify Dr. Ling. That's fine. Dr. Ling can enter the operating room then. 
with his skills, there is no reason why he can't get an assistant position. Dr. Ta thought so. An ambulance drove up. Ling Ran received the nurse's notification and rushed over. Director Huo said to Ling Ran, you came just in time. Introduce the patient's condition to Ling Ran. The doctor introduced, the patient was dug out from under the ground. Prolonged hypoxia. Acute hemorrhage with multiple fractures and contusions. Ling Ran asked, what about the head? Director Huo said, we will deal with the shock first. Then the crush injury and fractures. Ling Ran, you do it with me. The abdominal cavity has been checked and the bleeding has been stopped first. Director Huo said, which part do you think is bleeding? The doctor on the right said, the spleen is ruptured. The doctor on the left thought it was the liver. Ling Ran, what do you think? Ling Ran said, the liver. Director Huo laughed, ha ha, very good. Ling Ran is right. Now let's see if the spleen bleeds. The patient is unlikely to survive until now. Now let's check the abdominal cavity to see the specific situation. The doctor on the right answered correctly and was discontent. I answered the liver first, director. Why am I not worthy of my name? We continue to use the surgical method for liver trauma. Ling Ran. Ling Ran replied seriously. The surgical method for liver trauma includes the treatment and hemostasis of liver trauma. Usually an incision is made through the rectus abdominis muscle on the upper right side, or a midline incision. Director Huo said, you should learn from Dr. Ling. Not only is he proficient in surgical skills, but his theoretical knowledge is also good. The doctor who was not convinced just now said, why didn't you ask us? It's not like we don't know. All right, I'll ask you a question. Assuming it's really a liver injury, where do you predict the location of the injury on the liver? How long is the laceration, and how deep is it? This doctor was also embarrassed. Why don't you just ask how much the patient's liver weighs? Director Huo also said sternly, speak. I predict it could be in the middle. Nonsense. What can you judge with such little information? Oh my god, I don't have time to talk to you now. Wait until after the laparotomy. Director Huo opened the abdomen and blood gushed out. Suction. Another assistant said, President, it's a liver injury. The laceration is irregular and the inferior vena cava is also lacerated. Director Huo was also merciless. What did you say just now? A laceration in the middle? The patient is losing blood very quickly. A closer look shows that the duodenum is also ruptured. And the gallbladder is also ruptured and needs to be removed. The right lobe is very severely injured. What do you think should be done? Clamp the hepatic hilum and use a clamp to separate the liver. Tie the garrot and cut the blood vessels and bile ducts. Then the blood vessels and bile ducts. Then cut off the debridement on the right. Director Huo asked, your method is a regular liver resection? What about Ling Ran? Ling Ran said that debridement T resection is more appropriate. The other doctor said unhappily, are you blind? The director has already specifically named my plan. You don't understand the director's intentions at all. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Director Huo looked at the other person. Tell me the advantages and disadvantages of regular liver resection and debridement T liver resection. See, Ling Ran, I won. Then let's talk about regular liver resection. The overall resection area is large. If the patient cannot tolerate it, it is easy to develop complications after surgery, even death. Debridement T resection requires continuous ligation of blood vessels and ducts during surgery. And further study on the degree of involvement of different functional areas of the liver. Director Huo pointed out. Another point point is that your plan requires high quality equipment. Each one is not good, it is easy to make mistakes. We need to seize the time, so we will choose debridement T resection. Ling Ran, you will be my assistant. This doctor was also suspicious. I won, but it's like I didn't win. The director said, pay attention to the acid level. Pay attention to the sodium bicarbonate supplement emergency liver resection. We are racing against time for surgery. Now I have to cut off the avascular liver tissue. Ling Ran, do you know what to do? Ling Ran replied, ligate the blood vessels and the severed hepatic ligament. Director reminded, emergency liver resection. The most important thing is to be fast. Ling Ran immediately sped up. The director looked at Ling Ran performing the surgery. This kid is really fast. I have to go all out too. It's only been a while. Ling Ran said. The resection and suture were completed. The director asked, have you ligated all the small blood vessels? Yes, to prevent recurrence. The director did not expect that this liver wound washout would be successful. Then I'll leave the rest to you. Ling Ran said, yes. Then, he pointed to the doctor just now, you. Take Ling Ran's previous position. The director continued, good. The surgery continues. Receiving the order. Ling Ran began to operate on his own. He quickly sutured the last hepatic portal vein. 
Director Huo nodded in satisfaction. At this moment, the sound of a phone ringing rang out in the operating room. Director Huo was in surgical attire, so he could only ask Su Mengshui to answer the phone. The other end of the phone was the old man. His patient had a ruptured liver, and had already lost 10,000 milliliters of blood. Ling Ran's eyes lit up when he heard this. The old man said that their hospital was responsible for coordinating with the blood bank. After hearing this, Director Huo also decided to accept the patient, and asked them to send him over quickly. He turned around and said to Ling Ran seriously, go with him to pick up the patient later. It will be done in 30 minutes, but the patient's condition is urgent, so the sooner the better. In fact, for Ling Ran, 30 minutes was still too slow. Director Huo was surprised when he heard this. He stammered, well done. Director Huo immediately pushed the bespectacled doctor aside. Let me cooperate with him. Ling Ran felt like he had obtained the same level of power as Director Huo. The surgery immediately switched from difficult mode to normal mode. 20 minutes later, Ling Ran put the instruments on the tray, and the surgery was completed. With Ling Ran's suturing technique, the patient's liver was considered saved. After saying that, he immediately called Ling Ran to go and pick up the patient who was being sent over by the other side. Shortly after, the patient was sent to the emergency room. Director Huo confirmed the patient's blood loss with the nurse. He did not dare to be negligent and quickly let Ling Ran take the patient into the operating room first, while he stayed behind to wait for the patient's family to sign. On the way to the operating room, Ling Ran took out his phone and called all the members of Ling Ran's support team to come and help. Yu Yuan quickly summoned Zuo Sidian and Lu Wenbin. After receiving the call, everyone was present. Ling Ren not only did not prepare for surgery immediately, but also continued to wash his hands. Lu Wenbin did not understand what to do now. The patient was critically ill. Zuo Sidian suddenly spoke up. Dr. Lu didn't know what to do, so he stood in the position of the chief surgeon. As long as the patient's family had not signed, they would not be able to do anything. But they had to prepare for surgery. First was the cardiopulmonary resuscitation unit. Then the defibrillator and ventilator. The tracheotomy kit. Ling Ran walked over with a serious expression, and asked about the patient's condition. The patient was in critical condition, but the bleeding in the abdomen was still continuing. He asked again if the patient's family had signed, but no one answered. Zuo Sidian said he would call to confirm. After the call, Zuo Sidian said to Ling Ran, the patient's family had agreed to sign. Upon hearing this, Ling Ran decisively ordered an open abdomen. When the abdomen was cut open, the blood in the abdomen immediately gushed out. Lu Wenbin had never seen such a serious condition. There was too much blood. Yu Yuan did not know whether to suck the blood next. Ling Ran decisively ordered Yu Yuan, telling her to get gauze first, and then blood. As soon as Ling Ran took the gauze, Lu Wenbin was shocked once again. The patient's abdomen was full of blood, and the patient's liver was ruptured. No matter how much gauze was stuffed in, it would be useless. Ling Ran ordered Lu Wenbin to increase the pressure and temperature of the drainage machine. At this critical moment, the blood bags were delivered in time. Seeing the neatly arranged blood bags, Ling Ran's worries were also relieved. He immediately put his hand into the abdomen, and began to find the bleeding point. While Ling Ran was stopping the bleeding, the door of the operating room was opened wide again. As soon as Director Huo entered, he began to ask about the surgical situation. The patient no longer had time for a regular right hepatectomy. Perhaps he could not even wait 15 minutes. Director Huo decided to first see if the hepatic vein was damaged. Before Director Huo could finish speaking, Ling Ran said exactly what Director Huo was going to say, and added more. Director Huo put on his surgical gown, and talked about the next plan. Ling Ran still did not wait for him to finish speaking, and said what Director Huo was going to say. Huo Kongjun had not had time to say anything, but how did this kid know? Just as he was surprised, Ling Ran spoke again. The patient's necrotic liver tissue should be removed immediately. Ling Ran knew the correct surgical steps. Had the university already taught so deeply? When Director Huo came to the patient's side, he realized that the technical difficulty of this liver resection was at the level of an associate director. Ling Ran gave the order again. Number 4, Double Ligation. Lu Wenbin, who was transfusing blood, was completely stunned. Is the liver resection finished like this? Yu Yuan and Zuo Sidian looked at Ling Ran together. The surgery was completed in less than five minutes. Ling Ran called Yu Yuan to his side to assist in suturing the wound. The next step was to suture the bleeding. Ling Ran told Yu Yuan that all the places were exposed, enough to see the internal structure, and all had to be ligated. Director Huo, who was standing beside him, 
could not help but ask Ling Ran if he could help now. Ling Ran told him to prepare to stuff in hemostatic gauze. Director Huo immediately smiled and nodded in agreement. Lu Wenbin had some doubts in his heart. Why did the director look so wrong? With everyone's combined efforts, remaining work on the patient was quickly completed. Lu Wenbin was in charge of observing the patient's condition. At this time, he also said, the patient's condition had stabilized. Ling Ran assigned the task of suturing the wound to Zuo Sidian. Although the patient's wound was large, they had already controlled the bleeding as much as possible. Director Huo was confident that the patient would definitely survive. He picked up the clamp and said he would suture the wound. At least that was what he could do. Lu Wenbin leaned close to Ling Ran's ear and said softly. Director had been acting strange since earlier. Just as the two of them were whispering, Director Huo had finished suturing the patient's wound. Then he called Ling Ran to go with him to explain the surgical situation to the patient's family. Amidst the anticipation of the patient's family, the operating room door finally slowly opened. When the patient's family saw the door open, they could no longer hold back their tears and they flowed freely. The uncle staggered towards Ling Ran and Director Huo. Director Huo quickly supported the patient's family, and glanced at Ling Ran to let him continue the presentation. In the next two or three days, if there are no unexpected events, the patient is very likely to survive. Before Ling Ran could finish speaking, the emotions of the patient's family collapsed once again, could not help but cry bitterly. He calmed down and felt a little embarrassed. I was too emotional just now. Doctor, what else did you want to say? If the patient recovers smoothly, in three, four days, they will remove the gauze from the patient's body. As soon as Ling Ran finished speaking, the patient's family knelt down in front of him. Fortunately, Ling Ran reacted quickly and used his hand to support him. The liver resection surgery was considered completely concluded at this point. The system was also very generous and opened an intermediate treasure chest. Ling Ran did not wait and chose to open the chest immediately. A flash of light appeared, and a skill book slowly appeared before Ling Ran's eyes. The system also listed all the basic skills that Ling Ran had mastered. All of them were displayed. The suturing technique could already ensure that he could use knots to stop bleeding. Ling Ran chose to stop hot bleeding. Immediately after Ling Ran had finished dealing with the system's reward, Director Huo patted him on the shoulder. At this time, Jin had just discovered that the patient's father had left. His hand was still suspended in the air. Ling Ran took off his surgical cap. Because this surgery was over, he immediately smiled and said to Director Huo, Then can our team continue with the emergency surgery? Director Huo was furious when he heard this. It's almost dawn. Do you want to die? Go and rest. At this moment, a sweet voice came from afar. Dr. Ling, are you busy now? Director Huo turned on the gossip mode. Whether he is busy or not now depends on Nurse Tian. Tian Chi said that Dr. Ling was so tired from the cardiopulmonary surgery in the afternoon that she thought he could finally have a good rest, but she did not expect such an accident to happen. I know you've been busy all night, so I specially came here to give you some food and drinks. Hearing Tian Chi's caring words, Director Huo suddenly felt a little jealous. Director Huo thought that he should not be here, but suddenly he heard Tian Chi also inviting him, and his face flushed red. Director Huo could not believe it and pointed at himself. Is there a portion for me too? As he arrived at the food area, Director Huo immediately smiled broadly. There were so many types of drinks, and the luxurious dishes were neatly arranged in a row. What was even more awesome was that there were two private chefs standing by. Tian Chi thought that it was definitely not just Dr. Ling, so she had prepared a little extra. Director Huo looked at Ling Ran's figure, and could not help but praise him in his heart. He immediately waved his hand and signaled, to call anyone who was free to come and replenish their energy. The three people from Ling Ran's support team ate very happily. Following the boss really had its perks. The rest of the people ate the delicious food, and thanked Ling Ran in unison. Ling Ran looked at Tian Chi and smiled without saying anything, and said, why are you thanking me? You should thank her. As everyone was replenishing their energy, in a ward in the provincial hospital, a doctor was performing CPR with all his might. He was Wei Jiahao, the most famous young doctor in Shanghai in the field of cardiothoracic surgery. The medical staff next to him looked up and asked, Dr. Wei, it's been 35 minutes of CPR. Dr. Wei did not dare to answer, but instead glanced at the old man standing beside him. His name was Di Maotai, and he was Dr. Wei Jiahao's mentor and also a cardiac surgery expert in China. He had just been elected as an academician last year. Seeing that Di Maotai did not say anything, 
Dr. Wei continued to instruct his assistant to prepare for tracheotomy. The assistant asked if a ventilator was needed. Dr. Wei nodded solemnly. Just as he was performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation again, he simultaneously ordered the tracheotomy surgery. But in the end, the patient still went into cardiac arrest. By this time, Dr. Wei was covered in sweat, and sadly pronounced the patient dead. Di Maotai was not surprised. He consoled, it's okay. The success rate of prolonged cardiopulmonary resuscitation is not high. The country's attention to cardiopulmonary resuscitation has just begun. After you rest this afternoon, go to Yunhua Hospital, and try again. At Yunhua Hospital, Liu Wenbin was so full that he burped. The rest of the people were also so full that they did not want to eat anymore. Director Huo walked over with a big smile. When we are almost done eating, I will tell you another good news. As soon as they heard the news, Tian Qi and Ling Ran turned their heads to look. Genlu Town will not send any more patients, and all the patients from Yunhua are out of danger. Hearing this news, the people who had been tense finally relaxed completely. However, everyone was told not to be careless. The famous cardiac surgeon in the country, Di Maotai, and his student, Wei Jiahao, are expected to come to our hospital this afternoon. Their so-called grand parade is actually just a show of force under the guise of reinforcements for the Zhenlu town accident. The colleagues who are working must be careful, and do not let others catch you and use it as negative publicity. Di Maotai became famous later than Zhu Tongji. Not only is he good at diagnosis, treatment, and surgery, but he can also hold positions in various committees. He is a more formidable figure than Zhu Tongji. Director Huo was most afraid that the other party did not come with good intentions, but instead came to see how things were going. Half a day later, Di Maotai and his student, Wei Jiahao, arrived on time. They were received by the director of Yunhua Hospital and director Huo. As soon as he arrived, Di Maotai showed his authority. The Yunhua Cardiac Surgery Department does not seem to have been built yet. Director Huo was shocked and sat up straight, and said slowly, We have now been upgraded to an emergency center. Di Maotai asked director Huo to talk about the present first. Then he asked him to find some cardiovascular patients for his students to refer to. Director Huo could only grit his teeth and agree to Di Maotai's request. The director of the hospital had no choice but to embarrassingly ask academician Di to wait for a while, and the patients and medical records would be delivered as soon as they were ready. Wei Jiahao flipped through the medical records, and said that he did not expect there to be no records of aortic dissection. The provincial hospital and Yunhua really did not have a single case of aortic dissection. Were the ambulances properly dispatched? Director Huo could not help but retort when he heard this, such a disease. The patients do not want it, and our hospital does not have it either. D. Maotai appeared indifferent. Perhaps the patient has already died in the county hospital. You just don't know about it. Director Huo's heart was about to explode. Did the old man mean that they had misdiagnosed? Just when the atmosphere was about to reach its peak. Director Huo's phone rang. Wei Jiahao had finished looking through all the medical records, and said shamelessly that there was basically nothing of value in these medical records. Director Huo repeated loudly on the phone, suspected myocardial infarction, the patient has chest pain and sweats a lot, and has uncontrolled urination. Wei Jiahao stood up excitedly when he heard this, and demanded that they get this patient, tell them to send him here quickly. Immediately after Director Huo hung up the phone, the 120 emergency center sent the patient to Yunhua Emergency Center. Wei Jiahao told the family, the patient needs surgery. The family members should go and pay the hospital fees, and then sign the consent form for the surgery. The person accompanying the patient was only a relative, and the signature had to wait until the patient's son arrived. Wei Jiahao said, the current diagnosis is acute myocardial infarction, and the patient must be sent to the operating room first. The hospital arranged for Director Huo to go with the family to sign the papers. While they went to the cardiac emergency room, the patient's heart stopped beating as soon as he was sent to the operating table. Wei Jiahao was shocked and did not dare to be distracted anymore. He hurriedly told the nurse that he needed a defibrillator. However, the patient had arrived too urgently, and the defibrillator was being charged. Wei Jiahao saw this and tore off the patient's shirt, and began to perform CPR. Yu Yuan saw this and suggested that he could also replace Wei Jiahao. Although he was so tired that his head was covered in sweat, he still refused. In this strange hospital, he did not trust anyone except his teacher. Then he turned back and continued to perform CPR. The nurse hurriedly brought the charged defibrillator. 
Wei Jiahao took the defibrillator and used it on the patient. After the defibrillation, Wei Jiahao once again performed CPR. Suddenly, a beeping sound was heard, and the heart rate recovered. Wei Jiahao breathed a sigh of relief, and Di Maotai, who was standing beside him, also showed his approval. However, before the two of them could be happy for too long, the electrocardiogram machine transmitted the sound of a heart attack again, and Di Maotai saw Wei Jiahao in a daze and shouted, continue CPR quickly. Wei Jiahao quickly gave the patient another round of CPR. After finishing one round, he defibrillated the patient once. Wei Jiahao did three rounds like this. The electrocardiogram machine did not respond, and seeing that the patient's condition was still not improving, he immediately decided to use epinephrine to perform advanced airway management. Advanced airway management is also known as endotracheal intubation. From now on, CPR would no longer be a blitzkrieg, but a protracted war. D. Mautai's face showed a look of joy. This was the prolonged cardiopulmonary resuscitation that they wanted. Wei Jiahao defibrillated once more, and the 15 minutes of continuous CPR and defibrillation had exhausted him. Finally, he was unable to continue and Yu Yuan said that she would take over. She put on gloves and began to perform CPR. Prolonged CPR required a lot of strength, and Yu Yuan quickly became overwhelmed. Wei Jiahao hurriedly took over again. 40 minutes passed, and Wei Jiahao was about to announce the time of death when a voice interrupted him. He can continue CPR. There is still a chance. The patient's instability is due to the multiple external cardiac compressions causing a lot of interference. The patient is only in his 50s, and he can still be saved. And there is still hope for the future. Wei Jiahao was not convinced. If you want to come and show off, I'll give you a chance. He asked everyone to step aside and extended his hand to invite Lang Ran. Lang Ran ignored Wei Jiahao, and perfect CPR was activated. This guy didn't even check the patient's condition first. But in response, all he got was Lang Ran performing CPR over and over again. It didn't seem to be much different from what Wei Jiahao had done. Lang Ran looked up and told the nurse to add some epinephrine, atropine, and lidocaine. Hearing Lang Ran's instructions, Wei Jiahao became even more contemptuous. Is epinephrine so magical that it can be used so often? LV Wen Bin hurriedly stepped forward and asked Lang Ran if he needed help. Lang Ran told him to look at the ECG first, and that if this ECG had been taken 20 years ago, the patient would have been dead. LV Wen Bin knew that he had to calm down now. The boss had not given up yet, so there must still be a chance. The three of them could still perform CPR in groups, and the frequency of epinephrine administration had to be increased. Lang Ran told the nurse that from now on, they should inject one dose of epinephrine every minute. After receiving the order, the nurse continuously injected epinephrine. When the total CPR time had exceeded one hour, Lang Ran also prepared to change the support team. Lang Ran replied firmly, Okay. According to Wei Jiahao, this approach was meaningless. Just as he turned to leave, a large hand grabbed his sleeve and pulled him back. Di Maotai said, what's the hurry? Group CPR, aggressive medication, this is the only viable option. Stay and wait a little longer. There might be a miracle. Wei Jiahao was very helpless in the face of the miracle that his teacher spoke of. In fact, it doesn't matter whether there is a miracle or not. The important thing is to make your team believe that you have the ability to create a miracle. Dr. Lang has experience in performing prolonged CPR. Hey, Dr. Hu, prolonged CPR has a very good recovery rate. The patient's family members outside the operating room couldn't help but worry. Earlier, when the 120 arrived, the patient was already unstable. And now that he was in the emergency room, he was still enduring such a long time. The patient's wife cried even more painfully when she heard her son say this. At this time, the patient's son's tears also flowed. And finally he could no longer hold on and knelt down on the ground. Lang Ran continued to arrange defibrillation and epinephrine injection. Wait, the electrodes in the middle need to be reattached. After the defibrillation, a melodious sound rang out in the room. The three people in the team all smiled with excitement. The nurse also read the ECG data, its sinus rhythm. Lang Ran finally breathed a sigh of relief. Di Maotai and Wei Jiahao were both in disbelief. They couldn't believe that a miracle had actually happened. The next step is to continuously monitor the carbon dioxide content. Brain protection at low temperature must be done well in practice. And the next step is the critical moment. Waiting for the patient to wake up is not a matter of using strong medicine to solve the problem. 
but of using cautious medication for a long time. And the most important thing is luck. The operating room door slowly opened, and when the patient's son saw this, he immediately asked anxiously about his father's condition. Next, the patient's wife and other relatives also rushed over. LV Wen Bin hurriedly stopped them. Just touching the patient now could kill him. Zuo C. Dian Dian said that he would handle it, and that if anyone touched even one of the patient's fingers, he would die immediately. The family still wanted to see what was wrong with the patient. The patient had a myocardial infarction, and his spontaneous heart rhythm has just been restored. You can't see him. The patient's son still didn't quite understand, so Zuo C. Dian Dian explained again. The patient still needs surgery to ensure that his blood vessels are clear. We will wait for the patient to wake up and then proceed with the rehabilitation treatment. Hearing this, the patient's son became even more worried. What if he doesn't wake up? It was very difficult for them to save his father's life. As for whether the patient would have any sequelae, there were currently no signs. The patient's wife and other relatives were about to say something more when a voice came from the operating room. Definitely, no more endoscopy is needed. In general, everything is going in a good direction, and the family members must cooperate. It was very lucky for your father to be able to be resuscitated after an hour of CPR. At this moment, the patient's son finally understood, and he kept thanking Lang Ran and the others. D. Tai patted Lang Ran on the shoulder and said, Every generation has its own talents. Early the next morning, Di Maotai took Wei Jiahao to check on the patient who had undergone prolonged CPR yesterday. The patient was now breathing very steadily, and the urine in the bag was also very clear. It seemed that the patient had come back to life. After the examination, he asked where Lang Ran was. Dr. Lang has already checked the room, and he should have finished the surgery and returned to his office by now. Isn't it just the beginning of the working day now? The nurse was a little uncertain when he asked what time he came, saying that it was around 4, 5 o'clock or something. He asked if Lang Ran had said anything, but the nurse said no. Then what did he ask the nursing department to do? The nurse shook her head again. Their intensive care unit had no problems with the nursing level. They did whatever Dr. Lang asked them to do. He hasn't finished speaking yet. D. Tai's eyes changed. Wait until he becomes the director of the department to continue talking about these things. After saying this, he turned around and went back to his office. The male doctor from earlier immediately knew that he was finished. Academicians like D. Tai often evaluated their colleagues. When Wei Jiahao returned to his office, he had an idea. His teacher had to attend a remote meeting for the time being, and he decided to first look at Yunhua's internal journal. As soon as he opened his computer, he saw Lang Ran's thesis. As a university graduate, he had far exceeded the expected level. As he thought about the image of holding his hand to stop the bleeding, he waved his hand accordingly. While he was thinking, Wei Jiahao suddenly felt something was wrong. During the CPR before, according to the nurse yesterday, Lang Ran had experience in performing prolonged CPR. The patient was in the intensive care unit and was recovering very well. Thinking of this, Wei Jiahao understood. Lang Ran would definitely write a thesis. If it was a thesis on prolonged CPR, it would be difficult to handle if he took it first. Wei Jiahao decided that he had to publish his thesis first. After making up his mind, he went to the emergency room to find Lang Ran's patient. Wei Jiahao hurriedly asked the nurse to send him the patient's entire medical record. She hesitated for a moment and then sent it to him. Wei Jiahao stared at Old Hu's bed number 7. When he got to the bedside and saw that Old Hu's vital signs were basically stable, he asked the patient in a low voice, what is 7 times 8? Old Hu looked at the doctor and said, do you want to test if my calculations are correct or if my brain is normal? You can understand it however you want. Do you have an answer yet? Old Hu said that he didn't like to do calculations, and he didn't want to do complicated math problems. The nurse behind Wei Jiahao reminded Old Hu not to talk to the doctor like that. Wei Jiahao said that he didn't care what they talked about. As long as the patient could talk, it was a success. Then Wei Jiahao went to visit yesterday's patient again. After examining him for a while, he found that the patient's pupils had constricted and the electrocardiogram was also considered normal. Then he asked the nurse about the type of medication the patient was taking. The nurse didn't think anything of it and told him everything. As soon as the nurse finished speaking, a voice rang out. Little Green, the person who came was Yu Yuan. She told Little Green to go and see the patient next door quickly. And Little Green quickly agreed. When Yu Yuan saw Wei Jiahao, she asked if Dr. Wei was still seeing their patient. Wei Jiahao said calmly, I also participated in the rescue of this patient yesterday, so I am very concerned about his recovery. Since you have come to follow up, 
I will go back first. If there is anything, please let me know. Yu Yuan snorted disdainfully. After Wei Jiahao left, Yu Yuan reminded Little Green again. She said that in the future, any situation with the patient must be reported to her immediately. When they were not present, they were not to discuss the details of the patient's medication with Dr. Wei again. After dealing with this matter, Yu Yuan hurriedly went to Lang Ran's office. As soon as she entered, she said that Wei Jiahao might be writing a thesis on prolonged CPR. And she also suspected that he might be referencing their case. Lang Ran was very calm. Currently, there are not many cases of prolonged CPR, so it is possible that he wants to reference our case. Dr. Lang, how can you be so calm? Can you accept this? Lang Ran said that Yu Yuan should go to the administrative department and tell them to lock Wei Jiahao's account on the hospital's intranet and not allow him to enter the intensive care unit in the future. In fact, Lang Ran's thesis was almost finished. Hearing that his thesis was almost finished, Yu Yuan was immediately happy. She had thought that Lang Ran was writing a thesis on arthroscopic surgery this time, but now it seemed that writing this was more timely. Lang Ran had actually already written a thesis on prolonged airway CPR, but this thesis needed to be revised and published first. The thesis was full of content, but the writing style was a bit rough, without any embellishment. After listening to Yu Yuan's analysis, Lang Ran said that he would add more references. Yu Yuan happily said, I'll help you check it. Defeat the thesis with the thesis. And let's break Dr. Wei's plan together. In order to perfect the thesis, Yu Yuan and Lang Ran stayed up all night, and finally completed the originally messy artificial respiration thesis and returned to the office. Wei Jiahu was preparing to log into Yunhua's intranet to verify something when he found that his login account had an account error notification, and he could not log in. Even though he re-entered the information, the account still displayed an error, and he could not log in. This action made him very angry. Immediately afterwards, he pointed the finger at Lang Ran. A moment later, he came to Lang Ran and asked if he had locked his account and password. Lang Ran had no intention of evading, and he admitted it frankly. Wei Jiahu continued to say, You see, I'm going to write a thesis about your CPR. I was going to wait until I finished writing the thesis before I told you. The content of the writing is only beneficial to you, not harmful. I'm just announcing your results to everyone. After speaking, he handed the draft of the thesis to Lang Ran. Lang Ran received the draft, and after reading it, he found that the parts related to him seemed to be full of praise, but he still did not change his mind. Lang Ran did not agree, but Wei Jiahao thought that this was an opportunity for Lang Ran to become famous. It was indeed a good opportunity, but Lang Ran was not interested in these things, seeing that he was not interested at all. If that was the case, then he would take back the draft of the thesis. Even if Wei Jiahao wrote a thesis, it would not be affected. I believe that my thesis can also provide some new perspectives. Someone behind him spoke up. No need. Wei Jiahao. When he heard that voice, he had to calm himself down. It's just that he had to convince one more person. But Yu Yuan didn't seem to want to talk. Wei Jiahao continued to speak shamelessly. We have to look at things from different perspectives. Yu Yuan retorted bluntly. Without his perspective, Lang Ran has also completed the thesis. Yu Yuan told him that they had finished the thesis last night. Before leaving, Wei Jiahao still said unwillingly, You can read my thesis and then decide. After Wei Jiahao left, Yu Yuan took the thesis and read it. Is this that guy's thesis? Lang Ran nodded. Yu Yuan asked curiously if he wrote well. Lang Ran answered very decisively. It's quite well written. Yu Yuan was still a little uncertain after hearing this, and began to read it carefully. After reading it, Yu Yuan also gave an objective evaluation. It's not bad. The data Wei Jiahao pointed out is quite good, but his thesis is slower than the surgery. Let's go to the operating room first. On the way, Yu Yuan reminded Lang Ran, Dr. Lang, you should publish the points you have written as soon as possible. Lang Ran looked at Yu Yuan and said worriedly, if we upload our thesis now, Wei Jiahao will find out immediately. Suddenly, the cry of a child was heard, and Lang Ran hurried over to ask about the situation. The three-year-old child was playing when he accidentally scratched the skin on his leg. Lang Ran saw that the child's blood was flowing down to his feet, but such a small wound could not have bled so much. Lang Ran pulled off the child's shoe and asked the father how long the child had been cut. He also said anxiously, it's been two or three hours. Lang Ran felt that something was wrong, and immediately began to apply alcohol to disinfect it. First, he checked the child's physical condition, but when he was examining him, the child cried even louder. 
The child's father saw this and reminded the doctor to be gentle, as he was crying too much. The child may have intussusception, which is simply a telescoping of the intestine. Lang Ran asked Yu Yuan to inform the pediatrics department, and asked them to prepare the air enema machine. The doctor bandaging the child hesitated a little, and Lang Ran turned around and told him to hurry up and arrange it. No need for an ultrasound. The doctor wearing glasses thought that Lang Ran was talking nonsense. Modern medicine is not metaphysics. The nurse came with the ultrasound film, and she said with disgust, Dr. Lang, who has the time to talk nonsense with you? The ultrasound film showed that there was indeed intussusception. After seeing the ultrasound film, the doctor wearing glasses immediately felt embarrassed. Lang Ran took the ultrasound image and looked at it carefully. The severity was not too serious. Then he asked Yu Yuan to do the enema. After the enema, Yu Yuan told the child's father that the child should not eat anything for eight hours. The doctor next door had heard that enemas were very troublesome, but he didn't expect that witnessing it in person would be even more shocking. After the child was treated, the father kept praising and thanking Lang Ran. Lang Ran said that it was good that the child was okay. There is a patient here who has suffered liver damage in a traffic accident. Dr. Lang, do you want to come and have a look? Lang Ran's eyes lit up when he heard this. He was just about to perform liver resection surgery. The assistant helped Lang Ran put on his surgical gown, and informed Lang Ran of the patient's information. Dr. Zhou asked Lang Ran to be the chief surgeon. It was a case of liver rupture. Lang Ran immediately began to examine the patient's physical condition. He told Dr. Su to stop the bleeding temporarily. Dr. Su opened the vein, and then heat the blood. Dr. Su nodded. The patient has lost too much blood. The top priority now is to stop the bleeding for the patient. After that, Lang Ran turned to Dr. Su and asked if he could transfuse his own blood. Dr. Su said it was no problem. Lang Ran immediately decided to use the hand-free blood transfusion method. After making the decision, he took the scalpel and quickly cut into the patient's wound. The water that had accumulated in the skin immediately sprayed out. Lang Ran continued to order tie the tourniquet first. Dr. Joe next to him was very worried. Water and fluid that had accumulated in the abdominal cavity could not be sucked out. Wouldn't that make it impossible to see during surgery? But Lang Ran said it was okay, and tied the tourniquet without any vision. While Lang Ran was performing the surgery, Professor Huang came to watch outside. Professor Huang was from Yunhua University of Medicine. The patient undergoing surgery was an acquaintance of his. After Di Maotai and Professor Huang greeted each other, they all silently looked at the operating room where Lang Ran was performing. Professor Huang couldn't believe his eyes when he saw Lang Ran's operation. He saw Lang Ran separate the liver with his hands and cut it off directly. Professor Huang looked at him in amazement. He directly resected 13 livers. Even liver resection has a very high mortality rate. Why is this doctor so reckless? Professor Huang hurriedly asked Di Maotai if he could change the chief surgeon. Di Maotai explained that Dr. Lang's operations were very famous. Now in Yunhua, no one is better at liver resection than him. Hearing this, Professor Huang was not convenient to say anything more. He could only say that he would just watch. Lang Ran found that the patient's liver was a little fragile, and it was not easy to suture. Dr. Zhou said yes, this is a large fatty liver version. Lang Ran said that the suture was finished, meaning that the basic surgery was completed, and all that's left is to suture it up. Lang Ran nodded very decisively. Di Maotai didn't believe it at all. How could it be so fast? Professor Huang was even more surprised. How is that possible? Liver damage and multiple abdominal wounds. You just touched it in the accumulated fluid and it's done? Lang Ran continued. The liver has been resected. And the patient's abdominal wounds have been stopped. Now the liver suture is also done. All that's left is rehabilitation. This time, Dr. Joe didn't know what words to use to describe the shock in his heart. Then just leave the rehabilitation to him. Professor Huang thought that if he remembered correctly, that was Dr. Joe from the emergency department. If he had checked it, then it proved that there was really no problem. Then he had to get to know this Dr. Lang. After Lang Ran finished everything in the operating room, he went out. As soon as he went out the door, he was called back by Professor Huang. Professor Huang handed Lang Ran his business card and introduced himself. He wanted Lang Ran to show him a few services surgeries. It wouldn't affect anything? Lang Ran took the business card and said that it was no problem. The important thing was to see if this complied with the hospital regulations. Professor Huang said it was no problem. 
He, Dr. Zhou, and Director Huo were all acquaintances. If any procedures were needed, he would go and do them right away. Professor Huang quickly took the completed procedures to find Lang Ran. Lang Ran reminded him that there would be many different surgeries next. Professor Huang wanted to follow which one. Only children get to choose. Adults have to take everything. Lang Ran didn't say anything more, and took him straight to the appendectomy operating room. When he arrived at the operating room, Lang Ran quickly gave instructions. Lang Ran activated perfect hemostasis and perfect appendectomy at the same time. The laparoscopic surgery was performed so quickly. Professor Huang's students who wrote reports too quickly would be scolded. Not only that, Lang Ran had reached the realm of bloodlessness. Dr. Lang's technique was really impeccable. After observing a few more surgeries, Professor Huang decided to try some new collaborations with Yunhua. A few days later, in the operating room, Professor Huang asked the nurse when Lang Ran would arrive. This was a patient with intrahepatic bile duct stones who had been transferred from their university-affiliated hospital. The situation was stable and surgery could be performed. Su Mengxue told him, Lang Ran would arrive as soon as he finished the surgery on the other side. As soon as the words were finished, Lang Ran appeared in the operating room. Professor Huang was relieved to see Lang Ran arrive. He could leave it to him next. Lang Ran took the prepared MRI results. After observing for a while, the patient was a typical case of biliary stricture. The left and right leaves were also degenerated. They adopted the plan to resect the left lobe externally. Professor Huang said regretfully. After the patient discovered the problem, he used traditional Chinese medicine intermittently. Later, when he went to work, he only took painkillers. After listening, Lang Ran decided to let Professor Huang make the first incision, thoroughly. Next, Professor Huang took the scalpel, and made an incision in the patient's skin. Pay attention to the drainage. Looking from under the mirror, a lot of accumulated fluid flowed out of the abdominal cavity. Dr. Lang still couldn't do bloodless surgery, but his speed was definitely not a problem. But at this moment, Lang Ran suddenly slowed down. Professor Huang was a little puzzled by this situation and asked, Lang Ran, we haven't finished talking yet. Lang Ran interrupted him directly. The resection of the left external lobe was very successful. Now it's time to remove the lesion and try to remove all the stones. Professor Huang felt that this was not his area of expertise, so it was best to slow down. What they needed was stability, but then, Professor Huang was shocked. Just now, Lang Ran said he was removing the lesion. If all the stones could be removed, the infection and recurrence could be significantly reduced. It also meant reducing the recovery time, increasing the efficiency of wound healing. But could it really be removed cleanly? Lang Ran explained that he would check in a moment. If there were still stones, he would see if he could remove them. In Lang Ran's view, this cholangioscopy was not among the skills he had mastered, but its principles and operating methods were not much different from those of ordinary arthroscopy. Lang Ran was still confident. Next, he increased the speed of his hands. At this time, Professor Huang felt a little suspicious. How could the speed have increased to the realm of his expertise after just a few moves? Lang Ran had also adapted to the process of removing a few stones. Although he had not reached the level of a master, he could be considered an expert for the time being. But Professor Huang didn't think so. Dr. Lang here was already ranked among the most talented. Lang Ran had already finished the rest of the surgery while Professor Huang was in a daze. Professor Huang exclaimed in amazement. Choosing to cooperate with Lang Ran was really the right decision. Recalling the doctors he had worked with before, Lang Ran was like a dazzling star. In the future, for liver surgery, Dr. Lang must always be the first choice for cooperation. Just as Lang Ran was about to leave, Professor Huang chased after him and asked if he was free tonight. They could have dinner together. The last time Lang Ran performed surgery on his friend, he should have thanked him then. But it was so chaotic at the time that he was not in the mood. Lang Ran asked instinctively, Is it a banquet? Professor Huang nodded repeatedly to indicate. Lang Ran sighed when he heard this, and said reluctantly, I don't like this kind of banquet. Professor Huang was a little panicked, and waved his hands repeatedly to indicate that this was not a banquet. Otherwise, Dr. Lang should invite two more doctors he likes. What do you think? Lang Ran suggested directly to the professor, if you really want to hold a banquet, I actually prefer that you help me organize a consultation. Professor Huang was a little stunned when he heard this. What is a consultation? Su Mengxue explained beside him. Dr. Lang's consultation means that there is no need for a banquet, just a consultation. After listening to the explanation, Professor Huang suddenly realized, so that's what it is. 
Then he will arrange a difficult case. Just as he was about to go home, Lang Ran suddenly heard the phone ring. His parents said excitedly, they had met a very interesting girl on their way home. Seeing that his mother had hung up the phone, Lang Ran felt quite uncomfortable. Had they met some kind of religious organization? Thinking of this, he immediately decided to go home and see what was going on. As soon as he arrived at the clinic, he heard Lang Jia chatting happily with someone. Lang Ran didn't stop. He pushed the door open and walked straight in, seeing Lang Ran enter. Dao Ping smiled and stepped forward. It had been a long time since she had seen her son. Dao Ping couldn't help but say a few words of love. Lang Ran felt helpless about this. Next, Dao Ping talked about how she had met a girl on the plane. She wanted her parents to be the ones to experience their flight. Hearing his mother's story, Lang Ran guessed that it was not a missionary. Just then, Tian Chi sent a message. Seeing the message, Lang Ran finally understood. It turned out that it was really her. Lang Ran told Tian Chi about his mother. Tian Chi was afraid that Lang Ran would misunderstand, and hurriedly explained, because your mother is a very meticulous person, I wanted her to be the one to experience the flight. Lang Ran also knew that his mother was indeed a very meticulous woman. Thinking of this, Lang Ran replied to Tian Chi and encouraged her as well. Tian Chi was afraid that Lang Ran would misunderstand. When she saw the message Lang Ran sent, her face flushed involuntarily. Tian Chi happily held the phone, and muttered to herself, he admitted it. Then a scene of Lang Ran proposing to her appeared in her mind. She hurriedly shook her head to keep herself awake. The revolution has not yet succeeded. Comrades still need to work hard. As soon as Lang Ran came out of the operating room, Professor Huang called him back. He had received a medical record, and wanted Lang Ran to do it. Lang Ran thought it was like before. Professor Huang said that this time the patient was much more special, and he had to be very careful. Lang Ran became a little impatient, but Professor Huang didn't explain much and just told Lang Ran to follow him. The patient's family told the two of them not to take pictures in the room, and the patient was waiting for them in the room. This time, the patient was the former leader of their province. His liver disease has always been treated with medication, but this time the gallstones were really bad, so surgery was considered. Was this the consultation that Professor Huang had promised before? For? He thought that a consultation was when several famous doctors with high levels of expertise discussed it together. After all, I am one of the top diagnostic experts in the country. At this time, the guard leading the way reminded them that they had arrived at the patient's room. As soon as Lang Ran entered the ward, he observed the patient. It seemed that he had to be prepared to open his abdomen. At this time, Mr. Mai's daughter said, Lang Ran should treat her father as a patient, and examine him as he would anyone else. But Mr. Mai's son interrupted her. I have never met Dr. Lang before. The first time I met him, I had to tell him three conditions. Lang Ran didn't pay much attention, and nodded in agreement. The first request was to keep it a secret. The second request was to report everything. He had to be informed in advance about any medication that was to be used, and no private tests were allowed. The third request was to be straightforward about any requests, and also not to take advantage of the Mai family. After he finished speaking, Mr. Mai also glanced at Lang Ran. Lang Ran agreed immediately that he could do these things. As long as he could cure Mr. Mai's illness, he could have whatever he wanted. Lang Ran immediately suggested that he needed all of the patient's medical records. This answer made Mr. Mai's son find him very interesting, and immediately told the guard to go and get his father's medical records. After receiving the medical records, Lang Ran activated three skills at the same time. Mr. Mai's most serious condition at the moment was gallstones in the liver. Mr. Mai's son was not surprised to hear the results. Of course, what he was most concerned about was whether Lang Ran could cure it. Lang Ran replied decisively that he could cure it, and also gave the solution that he thought was the best at the moment. After hearing Lang Ran's answer, Mr. Mai's son turned his head to look at his father. Mr. Mai said without hesitation, once it's decided, let's do it. His son turned to Professor Huang next to him to confirm again. Professor Huang said that Dr. Lang's liver resection was the best liver resection he had ever seen. The worries in his heart immediately disappeared. He once again assured Lang Ran that as long as he cured his father's illness, he could have whatever he wanted. Since it had come to this, Lang Ran immediately said that he needed a special ICU room, or if that was not possible, 100 cadavers would do. The four people present were stunned when they heard Lang Ran's request. How could anyone think of giving cadavers to someone else? After a while, Lang Ran said slowly, add a few more beds to the Yunhua Emergency Center. Professor Huang hurriedly explained after hearing this, 
To add more beds, you need to increase the number of staff, and the number of staff cannot be increased just because you want to. Mr. Mai's daughter told Lang Ran that he could make some personal requests. Lang Ran said that the things he had just mentioned were all personal requests. She was also speechless and didn't know what to say. It was truly an extraordinary event. In the future, we will have to rely on Dr. Lang. However, Mr. Mai hoped that his surgery could be performed at the number one people's hospital of Wuxin City. He was quite familiar with the situation there. And if anything happened, it would be easier for Lang Ran and them to discuss it. Lang Ran had no requirements for the location of the surgery. However, before the surgery, he had to go and see the operating room and equipment of the other hospital first. Mr. Mai immediately decided to let Professor Huang take Lang Ran to do a survey first. The hospital director asked Lang Ran if there was anything that needed to be added or changed, as this was their hospital's newest and most complete operating room. Lang Ran said that there was no problem with the operating room, then paused for a moment. The hospital director said frankly, is there anything wrong? Please tell me directly, Dr. Lang. Mr. Mai's condition is quite complicated, and the equipment here is a bit lacking at the moment. Just tell us what you need, and we'll buy it right away. Lang Ran denied the hospital director's words. If you buy new equipment, the parameters and other aspects will not be fully optimized, and it will take some time to calibrate. The hospital director also understood that new equipment would not be at its best until after a year or two of use. Mr. Mai's condition could not be delayed for another year or two. My family had only given them one to two weeks. Lang Ran immediately said that he could use the same equipment as Yunhua. Professor Huang next to him advised the hospital director not to worry too much, as this was because of Mr. Mai's illness. At this time, the hospital director could only go and buy the same equipment as Yunhua. Lang Ran immediately made another request. He wanted to use the people from Yunhua, because after all, a familiar support team would have a higher success rate. Then it would be better to go directly to Yunhua for the surgery. Professor Huang next to him shouted, Mr. Mai's physical strength is not enough to travel 400 kilometers to Yunhua. The hospital director had no choice but to bow his head and compromise. However, he hoped that when Dr. Lang led the team over, Thank you he could perform a few more surgeries at his hospital. Hearing that he could perform a few more surgeries, Lang Ran immediately agreed. Lang Ran said to Professor Huang, Mr. Mai was too fat. In order for the surgery to go more smoothly, he hoped that he could lose some weight. Professor Huang was very helpless. If an old man like that could lose weight, he would have lost weight long ago. Otherwise, the mortality rate for obese patients was high, and the prognosis was poor. Of course, he would also make this clear before the surgery. Professor Huang also said that he would go back and seriously advise Mr. Mai to lose weight. After that, at the hospital, the members of the support team continuously calibrated and reported on the liver. Finally, a week later, nurse could no longer ignore it. She hurriedly ran into the office to tell the hospital director that there were no more beds. Fortunately, the hospital director had already said that Dr. Lang would not be performing any more surgeries. The equipment had also been calibrated, and Mr. Mai's surgery could be performed the next day. Early the next morning, Dr. Lang stared at Mr. Mai. You haven't conveyed my message to Mr. Mai about losing weight, have you? Professor Huang said that he had already lost weight. Lang Ran still didn't see any difference. Mr. Mai said happily that he had lost 2 kilograms. Lang Ran said to Mr. Mai and his family, The surgery will be at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The next morning, Lang Ran and the others put on their clothes and went to the operating room. Just after they left, a figure flashed by. The last in line, Zuo Sidian, suddenly turned his head to look, and asked, Who is that? Lang Ran in front nodded to Lu Wenbin and then turned and walked towards where the figure had disappeared. When they reached the corner, they found that the person hiding behind the door was Mr. Mai. At this time, Lang Ran also walked over and told Mr. Mai that he could not eat before the surgery. Mr. Mai said embarrassingly that he was very hungry because he was losing weight, and had only eaten a little bit of cookies. Lang Ran sighed helplessly, and the surgery could only be postponed for another two hours. Two hours later, the surgery officially began. Professor Huang in the observation room told Lang Ran that the surgery would be fully monitored, and that there would be multiple copies of both audio and video. After Lang Ran held the scalpel and cut into the abdomen, everyone present was shocked. The internal structure was all fat, to the point where it was difficult to operate. Lang Ran also noticed everyone's surprise and reminded them that now was not the time to be amazed. Lu Wenbin reminded him that there was already blood seeping out, and asked if he needed to use an electric knife to burn it. Lang Ran said no, 
and that he just needed to give him gauze. Lang Ran received the gauze, and activated the hemostasis technique. Mr. Mai's son also knew that the recovery after the surgery would be more difficult. His daughter looked at her father and cried incessantly. The son advised her to trust Dr. Lang. Dr. Jin, Mr. Mai's previous attending physician, also said that although opening the abdomen was risky, there seemed to be no problem at the moment. Mr. Mai's daughter confirmed with Dr. Jin whether their father's surgery was going smoothly. Dr. Jin replied that it was going very smoothly at the moment. Next, the abdominal cavity was opened, trying to expose as much of the surgical field as possible. Lang Ran asked the assistant to adjust the position of the light. Now it was the four hepatic veins. Dr. Jin predicted that the abdominal cavity had been opened, and the next step was to block the blood flow. Mr. Mai's daughter was very surprised when she heard what Dr. Jin said. Lang Ran performed the surgery very smoothly. At the moment when the blood was blocked, Lang Ran ordered the timer to start. After checking several times, he determined that the stones in Mr. Mai's body had definitely been removed. This surgery completely shocked the doctors observing in the observation room. All the stones were removed in just a few minutes? Mr. Mai's children thought that something had gone wrong. If strength were to be compared to Lang Ran, then it would be as if the game had already been won. After completing the stone removal surgery, Lang Ran asked the assistant to stop the bleeding. Zuo Sidian, pay attention to holding the hook firmly. Just by looking at Zuo Sidian's face, one could tell how difficult it was to pull the hook this time. Lang Ran knew that the most difficult part of this surgery was pulling the hook. After a series of operations, Dr. Jin saw that this surgery had basically been a success. Mr. Mai's children were suddenly stunned. So it was a success? Dr. Jin once again gave a definite answer. The two of them found it a little hard to believe. But at least in Dr. Jin's opinion, there was nothing wrong with this. Lang Ran had completed the surgery. And he asked Lu Wenbin to handle the pre-suturing. Professor Huang heard Lang Ran's arrangement and thought that he was going to let Lu Wenbin handle the suturing, and immediately shouted into the loudspeaker in the operating room. Dr. Lang, you have to do the suturing yourself. Lang Ran listened to Professor Huang's words, and wondered if he had misunderstood something. Recalling the events before the surgery, Professor Huang had specifically reminded him to be very careful. The final suture had to be done beautifully. Lang Ran naturally knew how difficult the final suture was, and the assistant was not good at it, so of course he had to do it himself. Lang Ran put his hand into Mr. Mai's abdomen, and the sticky feeling immediately hit him. Lang Ran saw that his gloves were covered in fat again, and immediately called Professor Huang again to tell him that Mr. Mai would have to continue losing weight in the future. With such dense sutures, the severely liquefied fat would overflow everywhere, and once an abscess is formed, it will become infected. Lang Ran immediately activated his master level interrupted suture skill. After the sutures were completed, his face naturally turned red. He did not expect that suturing the abdomen of a fat person could be so enjoyable. After Lang Ran finished the surgery, he took off his gloves and went to wash his hands. Mr. Mai's daughter happily told her family that the surgery was over. After thinking carefully, Mr. Mai's son ran to find Dr. Lang. Lang Ran directly told him that the surgery had been successful. Could it be that there were no problems during the surgery? The patient's main problems were his advanced age, obesity, and poor liver function. But all of these had been successfully overcome. He recalled what he had said. And so he asked Lang Ran what would happen next. Lang Ran told him that as long as there were no new problems, the patient would soon be discharged from the hospital. He wondered what Dr. Lang meant. Lang Ran did not answer but said that if he did not perform surgery in the future, he would return to Yunhua. As their family, what else could they do for Dr. Lang? But Lang Ran did not look back and walked straight ahead, leaving the son standing there. Professor Huang and Dr. Jin had not met such a pure doctor in a long time. The nurse hurriedly told Lang Ran that there were no more surgeries, and that all the wards in the hospital were full. When Lang Ran heard that there were no more surgeries, he decided to prepare to return to Yunhua. The nurse advised him to stay for a few more days, as the hospital had some patients who were opening guest houses, and he could add their WeChat to make a reservation. Lang Ran had no interest in hospitals and cities that did not have wards and operating rooms. Professor Huang hurriedly ran in front of Lang Ran, and wondered if he should tell him something. Lang Ran, who was full of doubts, was pulled aside by Professor Huang. The news of Mr. Mai's successful surgery spread far and wide. Some of his friends also wanted to find him to treat their illnesses. Lang Ran directly issued a task in his mind. Lang Ran hurriedly asked 
asked Professor Huang what kind of patients they were. The people in this circle of friends were very similar to Mr. Mai, and some of them even had lower positions than Mr. Mai. Lang Ran was helpless. He just wanted to ask about their medical conditions. Most of them had gallstones in the liver. And the patients with mild conditions would not have much room for improvement, while those with more severe conditions would be easier to treat. After some consideration, Lang Ran agreed. However, the hospital beds were all full. Professor Huang said that in that case, they could go to the number two hospital. The patient may have thin venous walls, so attention should be paid to the amount of bleeding. During the surgery, care should be taken not to stretch it too much. When retracting the knee, additional attention should be paid, and the level of meticulousness should be higher than in previous surgeries in order to achieve a super high level. In performing surgery, it is inevitable that blood vessels will rupture. The key is how to deal with the ruptured blood vessels. The first step is for Lu Wenbin to determine if the ruptured blood vessel is small, and if so, he should first use his fingertips to press on it to stop the bleeding and notify the chief surgeon. Next is the residual yuan. What is the treatment plan? First, suck out the spilled blood, and then suture it. If the blood vessel near the second hepatic portal is ruptured, suture it directly to avoid further rupture. If the damage is large, a Satinsky clamp can be used to fix the tear. As expected of the king of theory, he immediately came up with three backup plans. Lang Ran nodded repeatedly. Their goal was not to make the 67-year-old patient recover to 37 years old, but to minimize the damage to the patient's body. The goal was for the patient to be like other healthy 67-year-olds. Lang Ran felt that this surgery must have been completed at a super high level. As soon as he finished speaking, the system sent a notification. The task progress has been completed by one step. This result was as Lang Ran had predicted. He met Professor Huang and said that his friends should schedule appointments as soon as possible, and that the more, the better, so that their team could get it done. The number of seriously ill friends in Wuxin was not as large as Dr. Lang had imagined. In the following period, Professor Huang contacted another 24 seriously ill patients. With the tacit cooperation of the support team, they quickly completed all of them. From the beginning until now, they had completed 25 major surgeries, but the system still had not completed the task. 17 of them had not reached the super high level. What was the problem? After some thought, Lang Ran decided to go to the ward to check first, collect feedback from the patients, and then analyze it. Lang Ran recorded the patient's postoperative conditions seriously. Yu Yuan was also very concerned about the patient's wound conditions. Next, Yu Yuan went to the bedside of another patient. This patient did not feel pain, but itching. Lang Ran took the materials collected in the ward during the day, and compared and studied them all night. After going to the number 2 hospital, the conditions of these 24 patients were different, but their prognoses could be divided into two types. The first type was patients with stable conditions. The second type had a better prognosis. Patients of the first type would soon be discharged from the intensive care unit. The results of the surgery could be considered master level liver resection, close to the ideal state. The second type needed to be observed for a few more days, and could be observed for a few more days. Perhaps the master level liver resection surgery had reached a stable level. If he guessed correctly, he could use the medicine to upgrade the skill level, and raise the liver resection technique to the perfect level. After discovering this problem, Lang Ran was about to call Lu Wenbin to go to the ward to check, but when he looked up, he found that he was not in the office, so he immediately asked Dr. Ta to go to the ward to check. Dr. Ta did not dare to disturb Lang Ran when he saw that he was thinking. He wanted to ask for a leave of absence. Lang Ran was a little suspicious. Why did he want to ask for a leave of absence now? Dr. Ta said that his ex-wife had come to Yunhua, and that he had to go back. Lang Ran told him that if it was a matter of money, he should go to Professor Huang to get the surgical fee before going back. Dr. Ta was in a good mood when he saw that Lang Ran agreed so quickly. Outside Professor Huang's temporary office, a black figure stood outside the door and knocked. Professor Huang saw that it was Dr. Ta who had come, and thought that Lang Ran had something new to say. Dr. Ta said embarrassedly that it was his own business. Ta Sidian wanted to receive the surgical fee. The surgical fee should have been paid long ago. He would calculate it a bit and then transfer the money to his card later. Dr. Ta shook his head hurriedly when he heard this, and asked if he could give him the money in cash, but how many major and minor surgeries he had performed. Professor Huang could not remember clearly. Professor Huang agreed to Ta Sidian's request, and told him that if he really brought back so much cash, he would have to ask someone to escort him. Dr. Ta's ex-wife was Shang Ping, and she was very anxious right now. Someone called out to her from behind, Shang Ping, Shang Ping. 
Shang Ping seemed a little surprised when she saw Dr. Ta. Dr. Ta ordered the guard next to him not to follow him. After he finished speaking, he took the suitcase of money and put it on the ground. His son was studying in the town, and Ta Sidian would give all the money he had brought back to his ex-wife. He would arrange for his son to study at the Yunhua Experimental Primary School. Dr. Ta said as he took the money, Shang Ping wanted to say something after receiving the money but she did not know what to say. Shang Ping had an affair, and they divorced. Now, apart from the matter of their son, let's not talk about anything else. Is this still the Ta Sidian that she used to know? A man who only knew how to bow his head and flatter his superiors. Had she made the wrong choice again? For several more days, the operating room of Wuxin Hospital never stopped. Yu Yuan reminded everyone to pay attention, and she wanted to remove the obstruction. Lu Wenbin was always observing the changes in the wound. There was no bleeding. He checked it again, and the stitches were very firm. Lang Ran also reported to everyone. The blood vessels were good and there were no other problems. They were ready to suture it back up. After a few days of analysis, Lang Ran discovered that the super high level was actually related to the difficulty of the system, and he was rewarded with an intermediate treasure chest. Lang Ran did not wait any longer and opened it. This was a set of lymph node scanning techniques. If the liver had cancer, then after the liver surgery, a thorough scan of the lymph nodes could reduce the possibility of recurrence and metastasis. Now that he had these two skills, it meant that he had the basic requirements for liver cancer surgery. Lang Ran said goodbye to Professor Huang. The patients here were all done, so they should go back to Yunhua to continue the surgery. Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan also felt that it was time to go back. After all, the ICU level of Wuxin City No. 2 Hospital was not very good. After returning to Yunhua Hospital, Director Huo asked Lang Ran if he had come back early. Lang Ran said that the patients there were all done, and then he excitedly asked Director Huo if they could perform liver cancer surgery. The emergency center would occasionally encounter patients with ruptured liver cancer, but after they were treated, they were all transferred to the hepatobiliary department. Lang Ran was upset. Director Huo suggested that he could go to the hepatobiliary department to learn. Lang Ran was surprised and could not believe it, but Director Huo told him to let him arrange it. After making a phone call, he would let him know later. The director of the hepatobiliary department, Sha Yenjung, saw that Director Huo had come to visit their hepatobiliary department and immediately turned on the flattery mode. Director Huo waved his hand, indicating that this was not a visit. There was a patient who needed to use some of their equipment and instruments, so they might also need to use the operating room and ward of the hepatobiliary department. Sha Yenjung hurriedly said that it was no problem. Director Huo turned back and said happily, if that was the case, he would call Lang Ran over. Sha Yenjung replied, okay, okay, but after reacting, Dr. Sha was a little suspicious. What was Dr. Lang doing here? Director Huo happily picked up the phone and notified Lang Ran to come over. Lang Ran sat in a wheelchair and was pushed over to the hepatobiliary department by Lu Wenbin. Director Huo's eyes widened when he saw Lang Ran like this. What happened to Lang Ran? He said that he had accidentally fallen, but that he had already taken care of it and it would not affect the surgery. Director Huo crossed his arms and said that minor injuries should not keep him from the front lines, and praised him. Then he raised his hand to look at his watch, and said that the patient should be arriving soon. Lang Ran instructed Lu Wenbin to push him over to take a look, and Director Huo also followed behind. Sha Yenjung felt like he had come to the emergency center behind him, and he was really a weak outpatient. On the hospital bed was the patient Yao Xueni, who had been referred by Mr. Mai. Director Huo pointed at Lang Ran and introduced him to him. Dr. Lang is here. Yao Xuanyi's wife turned her head to look. Is this Dr. Lang who performed the surgery on Mr. Mai? What's wrong with him? Lang Ran immediately said that it would not affect the surgery. And he asked her if Yao Xuanyi knew about his condition. She said that her husband knew, but his mood was quite good, and he was also confident in himself. Lang Ran thought about it with a serious expression, although it was said to be early stage cancer. He also had perfect lymph node scanning techniques and master level liver resection techniques, but cancer had never been a simple matter in surgery. At most, it could only help the patient live for a few more years. Yao Xuanyi saw Lang Ran's serious expression, and decided to test him a little. Then he asked Lang Ran if he was afraid of performing surgery on him and that was why he had gone to get a broken leg. Lang Ran said that it was just an accident, that the splint and bandage were either to help him heal faster, or to come and see Yao Xuanyi's condition. The patient's wife felt moved when she heard this, and thought that he was indeed a doctor recognized by Mr. Mai. Lang Ran asked him to give him all the MRI films, and that it didn't matter if there were many, but he had to give him all of them. Yao Xuanyi's wife was a little shocked when she heard this, as there were more than 
1,000 documents. Did Dr. Lang have to read them all? Lang Ran said that he would take them back to his office to read them. After returning to the office, Liu Wenbin asked Lang Ran what percentage of the surgery he could be sure of. Lang Ran calmly said that it was hard to say how much he could be sure of. Even if it was completely removed, it could still recur. So they had to do their best to reduce the possibility of recurrence. Director Huo also agreed with Lang Ran. This was his first liver cancer surgery, and he had to find a reporter to record the level of their emergency center's doctors. On the day of the surgery, the reporter that Director Huo had arranged for arrived on time. Director Huo hurriedly led the reporter to watch Lang Ran's surgery. When they arrived, there were already many doctors gathered in the observation room. Lang Ran was in the operating room, directing the surgery in an orderly manner. The nominal chief surgeon could not help but sigh in his heart. Dr. Lang was really skilled at liver resection. Director Huo stared at the reporter next to him and found that he was watching intently. Director Huo immediately became angry. Don't just watch. Hurry up and take pictures. That young doctor is called Lang Ran. And he is very good at both liver surgery and orthopedics. The reporter took a picture of Lang Ran's injured leg. Did Dr. Lang perform liver surgery and orthopedic surgery at the same time? Was the orthopedic surgery an experiment on his own body? Director Huo felt that it was really meaningless. Dr. Lang was only injured in the leg. Lang Ran reached into the patient's abdominal cavity and squeezed the liver with his own hands. The patient's liver cirrhosis was quite severe in this part. Now let's separate it. Director Huo was excited and pointed at Lang Ran telling the reporter to take pictures quickly. This is what is called professional. The reporter started to frantically take pictures of the people who were performing the surgery. Lang Ran carefully placed the resected part of the liver on the tray that the nurse handed over. Sha Yenjung felt that although Lang Ran's resection technique was skilled, his control over the amount of resection was still a little clumsy. The forceps should be smaller, but looking at director Huo's expression, it seemed that it would not be good for him to make the opposite suggestion. Sha Yenjung tactfully reminded Lang Ran of this problem. He asked Lang Ran if he wanted to cut a little more. Lang Ran said that with the current amount of resection, the liver would already have difficulty recovering. A part of the resected liver could regenerate itself. But if too much is removed, it will be very slow to regenerate. It is possible that the patient will not adapt to the ICU, which will lead to death. But Sha Yenjung reminded Lang Ran to look at the root, and he currently felt that it was necessary to clean up the cancer cells, so he needed to cut a little more. However, this was only his personal habit. Liu Wenbin was quite shocked when he stood up next to him. Director Sha suddenly seemed to have become a different person. The reporter saw that there seemed to be some internal strife, and perhaps there was going to be big news soon. Then the reporter picked up the camera, and continuously took pictures of the people in the operating room. Director Sha criticized Lang Ran, saying that he was the chief surgeon but was completely unqualified. Lang Ran angrily told Director Huo that his experience was too outdated, and could not keep up with the new era anymore. The two of them refused to give in to each other. The female nurse hurriedly stepped forward to stop them, saying that the surgery could not be delayed. Oh. Director Sha and Lang Ran both turned away. The surgery cannot continue now. Performing surgery recklessly is just murder and robbery. Time passed by in this stalemate. Suddenly, the female nurse cried and shouted. The patient showed no signs of life. The patient's son shouted excitedly. Quack! Give my father back his life. Director Huo looked at the reporter and asked what was there to take pictures of. The reporter smiled. Director Huo, don't blame me for playing dirty. This news about the fall of a genius doctor will be explosive. Director Sha once again reminded Lang Ran. If he did not cut a little more, it would be difficult to guarantee the effect. Lang Ran explained. If he cut a little more, the patient could be in danger. But a short-term recurrence would make life worse than death. This was his greatest conclusion after a long period of liver cancer surgery. The reporter was excited and felt that it was indeed the script that he had thought of. These live materials cannot miss a single shot. Director Huo quickly ran into the operating room. He had to stop this conflict immediately. Lang Ran thought carefully again. And what Director Shaw said was actually not wrong. If the patient recovered and then felt pain again, the patient's chance of survival would decrease. Lang Ran immediately decided to cut a little more. And the reporter outside was a little shocked when he heard this. The script had changed. Lang Ran was no longer acting recklessly. He began to separate the liver. Director Sha was a little stunned, and Lang Ran suddenly accepted his suggestion. Director Huo had just rushed in, and when he saw that the operating room was very peaceful, he swallowed back the scolding words that he was about to say. Director Sha was a little suspicious. Director Huo, why did you come to the operating room? 
Director Huo had no choice but to say that he had come to tell Lang Ran to be more meticulous in his operation. Although Director Huo was very strict, he really could not be faulted in this aspect. Director Sha knew in his heart that he had come to tell Lang Ran to listen to his advice. Although Director Huo was very strict, he really could not be faulted in this aspect. Dr. Lang's meticulousness was on a completely different level from the other doctors. This was almost the highest level of meticulousness in surgery. At least in this surgery, he was far superior to Director Sha. This was the real power of Dr. Lang. Lang Ran told him to get two more bags of blood. Director Sha asked him if that would be enough. Lang Ran said that when the liver was ruptured to the extreme, it was difficult to control the amount of blood that flowed out, and it would be too late to get more if it was not enough. And after Lang Ran finished removing the liver, he prepared to change his gloves and proceed to the next step. Lu Wenbin handed the electric knife in his hand to Lang Ran. Lang Ran took the electric knife and began to sweep the lymph nodes. The feeling of sweeping the lymph nodes was like that of an experienced farmer tending to his fields. Lang Ran's expression was very serious. The reporter looked at the situation inside the operating room and thought again. Looking at Dr. Lang's expression, was the surgery not going well? Director Huo said as he walked out of the operating room, quite the opposite, it's going very well. The reporter wondered, then why is Dr. Lang not happy? Young people think too much. Director Huo also did not know. Could it be that Lang Ran was thinking about something other than the surgery? Today's surgery went very smoothly, and Lang Ran believed that the next surgeries would be no less successful than the previous ones. In a moment, the surgery would be a success once the abdomen was sutured. But what about the patient? The liver had been removed to the limit, and there was still no guarantee that the patient would not relapse. Lang Ran's face was serious, and he prepared for the final task. He swept away the lymph nodes. He prepared to suture the abdomen. Director Huo looked at the reporter and said, never doubt a doctor. Take a quick picture. The reporter nodded repeatedly. Director Huo reminded him, if you want to know what Lang Ran is thinking, go and interview him yourself. The reporter smiled with interest. Is that okay? The reporter looked at Lang Ran, who had just finished the surgery, and immediately ran over to introduce himself. Lang Ran did not look back, and he said that he would not accept any interviews today. The reporter followed him and asked relentlessly. He was invited by director Huo. Lang Ran refused again, and he really did not want to be interviewed. The reporter took the opportunity to interview him. Why is Dr. Lang in such a bad mood? Did the surgery not go well? Lang Ran said with a serious face. The surgery went well but the recurrence rate of liver cancer surgery is very high. Surgeons can't solve this problem either. The reporter hurriedly took notes. So Dr. Lang is worried about the patient. Dr. Lang lowered his head and pondered. Surgical resection is not the solution to liver cancer. What does Dr. Lang think the solution is? Lang Ran did not know either. The reporter still held his notebook and asked, What is Dr. Lang going to do next? I'm going to relax for a bit. The reporter asked curiously, What does Dr. Lang do to relax? Lang Ran turned and left, and said, Another surgery. The reporter was speechless. Director Huo asked him how the interview went. He said that Dr. Lang is very individualistic, and that doctors like that are very interesting. Director Huo asked again, so what are you going to do next? He excitedly said that he would continue to watch Dr. Lang's surgery. Director Huo said that watching surgery was also very tiring. He shyly replied that he would only watch one more time. Director Huo burst out laughing. You can watch as much as you want. The reporter sat down on the chair tiredly, and he did not expect that watching surgery would be so tiring. But fortunately, the interview had a direction. And he just needed to post a simple article on Weibo. When he opened his phone, he saw a big melon. The reporter zoomed in on the photo on his phone. This person looks familiar. Upon closer inspection, he realized that it was Dr. Lang. He stood up abruptly and exclaimed. And his colleagues in the hospital quickly discovered the news. Wei Jiahao was furious when he heard Lang Ran's name. Dr. Zhou held the newspaper and showed it to everyone. Look at this Weibo quickly. The nurse reminded the doctor not to make a fuss. A female patient also ran over and told him not to talk nonsense. In Shanghai, Meng Shui's team was filming. Meng Shui's assistant from the company saw the news and questioned her about it. Meng Shui ignored him and continued to look at her phone. He was angry and asked Meng Shui again. She said that he was her personal doctor. Meng Shui asked him back, how do you answer these questions? Isn't it your job to explain? He seemed flustered. 
If Meng Shui could authorize him, he would. Meng Shui interrupted him directly. Even her assistant could not know. He said that he should at least say who it was. Meng Shui looked down at the message that Lang Ran had sent her and then said, That's Dr. Lang from Yunhua Hospital. Lang Ran's approach made her heart flutter a little. Dr. Lang was not only skilled in medicine, but his way of doing things was also very special. The entrance of Yunhua Hospital was packed with people. The man standing at the main entrance shouted, I want to see Dr. Lang. Dr. Zhou looked down at the crowd below. There are so many people. Take a picture and post it on Weibo. The doctor next to him teased him, saying that Lang Ran was on night duty yesterday, and there was no way these people could stop him. The two were discussing where Dr. Lang would be now. As they were whispering, a voice behind them interrupted. Do you know Lang Ran? Meng Shui's fans quickly surrounded the two people. Quickly tell us where Dr. Lang is. Dr. Zhou would never sell out Lang Ran. Dr. Zhou immediately put on a poker face, completely unafraid. Which Lang Ran? Meng Shui's fans closed in. Are you sure you don't know who we're asking about? Then they pointed at Dr. Zhou and shouted. If we can't find Lang Ran, we're not leaving. Dr. Zhou muttered, if you don't leave, then don't. She was about to say something when someone in the group interrupted her. Team 5 has found Lang Ran, and it seems like he's in the operating room. Meng Shui's fans shouted, let's go to the operating room and get Lang Ran. Dr. Zhou smiled wryly, and let out a strange laugh. The fans wondered, what are you laughing at? Dr. Zhou said, you can't even enter the operating room, so how are you going to get him? The crowd was stunned. They can't enter the operating room, so what if they can't? They can't let Sean Yuga be slandered. They waited for the fans outside the operating room, shouting as they walked. They would wait until he couldn't take it anymore and came out, to see who was more persistent. Dr. Joe was speechless. At this moment, in the hepatobiliary surgery operating room, Lang Ran was breathing. The doctor wondered, what is Dr. Lang doing here? The department didn't schedule any surgeries for you today. Lang Ran looked at the display screen. You're doing a cholecystectomy, right? The other doctor was a little worried. Dr. Lang didn't come here to criticize him, did he? Lang Ran put on a surgical gown and asked. You just started, right? The doctor smiled awkwardly. Yes, we just started. Lang Ran nodded. The chief surgeon couldn't help but wonder what Dr. Lang wanted to do. Lang Ran suddenly approached him and said, Why don't I hold the retractor for you? The male doctor looked as if he had been frightened out of his wits. Dr. Lang, who is admired by everyone in the hospital, is holding the retractor for me, how could he? Lang Ran stared at the chief surgeon. He obediently took the initiative to step aside. I see, I understand. Lang Ran smiled and said, All right, I'll do it. The doctor broke out in a cold sweat. If Dr. Lang insists on performing the surgery, then go ahead. Although Lang Ran had advanced laparoscopic skills, this was a surgery that he had never performed before. Why don't you be the chief surgeon? The doctor reluctantly agreed. He stared at the screen and introduced the patient's condition to Lang Ran. Lang Ran observed the doctor's operation and realized that this was how a cholecystectomy was performed. It seemed that Meng Shui's incident was a blessing in disguise. Dr. Lang watched intently as Dr. Zhang performed the surgery. Seeing that he was nervous, he reminded him to take his time. Dr. Zhang couldn't help but mutter to himself, Dr. Lang says that he has never done it before, yet he lets me be the chief surgeon. But at the critical moment, he reminds me to take my time. It seems that Dr. Lang really came to inspect me. I can't do it too quickly. Slow down. In the awkward cooperation between the two, the surgery was finally completed successfully. Dr. Lang remained calm, while Dr. Liu was sweating with fear. As long as you have a clear surgical process in your mind, then a cholecystectomy is not really that difficult. Dr. Lang, why aren't you leaving yet? Hasn't the emergency center over there scheduled any surgeries for you recently? I'm not going to the emergency center over there today. I heard that there are a lot of fans blocking me outside. I'm going to hide here for the next few days, and I don't plan on going out. I'll be here for the next few days. So where will you sleep, Dr. Lang? I may not sleep. I don't think anyone can sleep after performing surgeries all night. Sometimes I sleep in the on-call room or the anesthesiologist's duty room. So you've been like this recently, just watching us perform surgeries like this? Sometimes I can also help you guys out. And I can also perform surgeries directly if you guys allow me to. I told you, Dr. Lang. He definitely knows how to perform a cholecystectomy. Luckily, I didn't brag in front of him. The doctor had just opened the door to the operating room. And as soon as he came out, he was stopped by a girl. Please wait a moment. After getting a clear look at the other person's face, she muttered, so it's not Dr. Lang. This scene was really embarrassing. She hurriedly apologized, no, I recognized the wrong person. Although she apologized verbally, she was very angry in her heart. If you're not Dr. Lang, 
then why are you wearing a surgical cap? Watching her run and talk, Dr. Liu said, she's too young. Does she think the hospital is a place to play? Locking the boss in the operating room is like locking a mouse in a granary. How can this comparison be so funny? Locking him in the operating room is really like locking a mouse in a granary. Dr. Liu was still laughing out loud, completely unaware that Director Huo had arrived behind him. Yu Yuan hurriedly reminded Dr. Liu to stop laughing. Turn around and see who's here. After seeing who it was, Liu Wenbin stopped laughing immediately. With a look of guilt, he greeted Director Huo. At this moment, Director Huo was furious, and his face was stern as he criticized him. Dr. Lang hid in the operating room, and now you're joking around like this. Do you think this is appropriate? Director, I admit that I was wrong. I will reflect on my actions and correct them. When we should reward, we reward. And when we should punish, we punish. You will be responsible for your own meals during the two days that we are on emergency duty. Do you have any problems with that? No problem. Director Huo, this is my forte. Don't worry, Director. Just leave it to me. I guarantee that I will complete the task. Of course, the most important thing is Lang Ran. We have to make sure that he eats and drinks well. If he loses weight these two days, I will settle the score with you. Yes, Director. I'll go see the boss right now. And I will definitely not let him starve or thirst. No sooner said than done. As soon as Lu Wenbin swiped his card, the door to the operating room opened. Dr. Lu said, Boss, we're here to visit you. We also brought some food and drinks and left them in the duty room. He said this out loud, but he had to mutter to himself. Dr. Lang really is treated better than the director. This is a joke. I'm not hungry. Leave the food there for now. Since you guys are here, don't leave in a hurry. And watch this surgery. Dr. Zhang asked them with a puzzled expression. Why do you still need to watch the surgery? If I perform a cholecystectomy in the future, I will need the doctors in your team to assist me. Then consider it as a way for them to familiarize themselves with the technique in advance. As soon as they heard that they could learn a new technique, Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan's eyes lit up. Only Dr. Zhang was protesting in his heart. What is Dr. Lang doing? I'm just a primary school student doing my homework at home. And the result is that not only did the head teacher come to watch me do my homework, but he also called a bunch of classmates to watch with him. The surgery has just begun. More than 3 liters of carbon dioxide have been pumped in. Next, cut the gallbladder duct, the gallbladder artery, and then take out the gallbladder. In the future, when we perform a cholecystectomy, we can consider using laparoscopy. I have found that laparoscopy has advantages over the old lang in terms of blood loss and incision. The operating room and the patient are all counting on you. You guys in the emergency department can do whatever you want, but please don't use our hepatobiliary department as a guinea pig. After a few days of continuous practice, Dr. Lang has become a mentor. The other doctors became the main surgeons in the operation. The adhesion has been resolved. Now will you sew it up or still use the suture to fix it? I think six sutures is appropriate. Dr. Lang, who was giving instructions, also heard what he said and said. Exactly six sutures, Dr. Lang. Dr. Lang, don't always try to find fault. After all, you learned this surgery from me. That's not true. Doctor, lift the dissector up a little higher than before. Damn, it's really wrong. If you weren't here making me nervous, how could I have made a mistake? But why can't you be here? Oh, forget it. So, what should I say to make Dr. Lang not be here? He suddenly had a bad idea and said to Lang Ran, I've noticed that the number of fans outside has decreased a lot these past two days. Why don't you change your clothes? Maybe you can blend in and get out. Who is Dr. Lang? Don't you understand what this sentence means? But Lang Ran replied, I don't want to blend in and get out. I am Dr. Lang. A real man acts uprightly. There is no need to sneak out. Just go out in a dignified way. I mean, sneak out and then sneak back in. It's too much trouble and unnecessary. You still don't understand our boss. His headquarters is the operating room. If he goes out, what can he do? If Lang Ran goes out, he can perform his own surgery. If he doesn't leave the operating room, he can't go on rounds or consult. So it's not appropriate for him to handle patients by himself. It just so happens that our team doesn't have enough beds. The nurses are also very tired. They can take a break for a few days. Everyone else is quite happy. You guys are all happy, but I'm not happy, because I'm the unlucky one. Now it's good like this. The patients of which department will be taken care of by the doctors of that department. We don't even need to provide beds. It's up to you. It's up to you. Wait a little longer. When the news cools down, the fans will all leave. We'll see what you have to say then. After waiting day and night, the fans are still holding on, still waiting for Dr. Lang. The crowd discussed excitedly, and finally concluded that he had died in the operating room. Everyone couldn't bear it anymore and dispersed. One fan said, 
if Lang Ren really ascends to heaven, we will be even happier for Meng Shui. At this moment, Dr. Wang suddenly shouted, those fans have retreated, they have all gone home. The operating room is empty, you can come and go freely. In the future, Dr. Lang will be much more relaxed, and he won't have to lock himself in the operating room anymore. This time, you have no more excuses to stay here. I will no longer feel like I am doing my homework under the watchful eyes of my homeroom teacher. What time will you come to see the patient tomorrow morning? As soon as he heard this, Dr. Zhang was immediately alarmed, and stammered to ask what Dr. Lang wanted to do. I just want to learn how to examine patients. Every day, I only stay in the operating room to perform surgery, and I have no contact with patient examinations or consultations. Dr. Lang, are you planning to start performing cholecystectomies on your own? At the speed at which he performs surgery, he might not be able to keep up with his own surgeries. It's not as exaggerated as you say. My technique and speed still need to be practiced. In order to keep my job, Dr. Zhang said bluntly that he and Dr. Lang were not in the same department, and that he could not let him go on rounds with him. Dr. Lang said that we could exchange knowledge. In the future, when you perform a cholecystectomy, take me with you. And when I perform a hepatectomy, I'll take you with me. A hepatectomy hepatectomy is a major surgery, but you let me come and learn. Are you that kind? The hepatectomy is performed by me. Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan have only studied the dictionary, but Dr. Zhang has been performing hepatobiliary surgery for 10 years, and he can be your assistant when performing major surgeries. Dr. Wang said happily, and let's decide on that. Dr. Lang, let me introduce myself. My name is Zhang Andin. I hope you can help me more in the future. Our team is about to have a hepatectomy to remove gallstones from the bile duct. Would you like to come and observe? Dr. Zhang agreed immediately. I must participate. Dr. Lang asked him if he could read CT and MRI scans. Dr. Zhang said with embarrassment that he knew a little. Then you should review CT and MRI a little. And then tell Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan. By the way, find the patient's family to learn about the patient's condition. Carefully check again all the drugs used during the surgery. In 45 minutes, the surgery will begin. But Dr. Lang, the tasks you mentioned can't be completed in 45 minutes. So how long do you think it will take to do these tasks? While watching the CT scan, find the patient's family, and check the medication again. It will take at least four hours. Four hours is enough to perform three surgeries. Dr. Zhang, you have to speed up in the future. Four hours to perform three surgeries, I'll have to divide my brain into eight parts. This is impossible. The elevator door has been open for a while now, and Dr. Zhang is still muttering to himself. If Dr. Lang hadn't stopped him, he would have forgotten to get in the elevator. Dr. Zhang thought that if he could learn hepatectomy, he could become even more famous. In order to really complete the tasks that Lang Ran assigned within 45 minutes, Dr. Zhang was exhausted and out of breath. Lang Ran let him rest for a while and then continue the surgery. But at this moment, Dr. Zhang was very excited, and didn't want to stop at all. He insisted to Dr. Lang that he could do it. The surgery had just begun, and Dr. Zhang told himself that he had to seriously learn Dr. Lang's surgical techniques. Lang Ran finished dealing with the blood in the kidney. He raised his hand to the assistant, asking for a scalpel and a pair of forceps. The assistant could not help but sigh that being Dr. Lang's assistant was truly a blessing from several lifetimes. It was both simple and easy. The surgery was completed in less than 45 minutes. Dr. Lang told everyone to check the abdomen again, and left the final suturing to Dr. Zhang. At this time, Dr. Lu did not forget to remind Dr. Zhang to suture the abdomen quickly and then go to operating room number 3. If he went early, he could get an assistant position. Dr. Zhang looked helpless, and now he was like a mute who had swallowed a jujube. Unable to express his bitter feelings, but still had to explain that he did not want to take the assistant position. I don't mean that you're snatching. The assistants in Dr. Lang's team all rotate. If you want to be an assistant, the others won't mind. Before, we could take turns because you guys performed a lot of surgeries. Now I alone perform half as many as you guys. When that time comes and it's not your turn, don't come looking for me. Dr. Ta said anxiously. How much longer will it take? I'm a little sleepy and I want to go home and sleep. Dr. Zhang knew as soon as he heard this that he was complaining that he was suturing the abdomen too slowly. So he explained to himself that he wanted to experience it one more time. He conveniently pulled the surgical light, calmed down and took a closer look, only to be stunned. The patient's stones were completely gone. Dr. Zhang asked the nurse to give him the cholangioscope. Because in medicine, even if the bile duct in the liver is removed, 
there will still be some stones left. But Dr. Zhang looked through the Kalangioscope and really didn't see any stones left. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Is there really a doctor in this world who can remove all the stones in such a short time? A stone clearance rate of 2 is already an expert level. Now it seems that it's basically not worth mentioning anymore. Dr. Lang must have chosen a good location to be able to remove the stones so cleanly. And the incision was just right for conveniently removing the stones. After suturing the abdomen, Dr. Zhang happily ran all the way to operating room number 3. As soon as he met them, everyone complained to him. Dr. Zhang, why are you so slow? The surgery is about to start. The position of assistant 1 is reserved for you. I don't know why, but now as soon as he hears assistant 1, Dr. Zhang feels like crying but has no tears. Dr. Lang didn't care about what others said, and immediately asked Dr. Zhang to prepare to do a cholangioscopy. Finally, he didn't have to be an assistant anymore. He asked Dr. Lang again, I'm doing a cholecoscopy. Really, this sentence left Dr. Lang speechless. You seem to like to ask questions again, which will affect the efficiency of the work. I'm very grateful, but if I were to do a cholangioscopy, the residual rate might be very high. I feel that my level may not even reach 17. Who told you that the clearance rate is determined by the doctor who performs the cholangioscopy? There are many factors that determine the clearance rate, and the cholangioscope is not the main factor. For example, as it seems now, Manual manipulation can also affect the clearance rate. This series of operations frightened Dr. Zhang. Can a hepatectomy with such a high difficulty coefficient really be so simple and crude? Don't be so surprised. Our boss has a very flexible method of removing stones. There are also many cases of manual manipulation in the thesis. You can read more books when you have time. Dr. Zhang didn't say anything but he kept praising Dr. Lang for being outstanding in his heart. He didn't know how many new techniques he could learn by following him. Dr. Lang, Zhang Andong, and Liu Wenbin finished the surgery in only 20 minutes. Dr. Lang's surgical efficiency is really fast. You call this fast? If he didn't have to teach and demonstrate to you, the boss could have cut the time by half. So, at Dr. Lang's speed, how many surgeries does he do a day? After finishing the emergency surgeries, he goes to do a few more elective surgeries. His energy seems endless. I can't even count how many exactly. Then Dr. Liu must be very tired. How about this, for the next surgery? I'll do the surgery and you can rest for a while. Dr. Liu suddenly opened his eyes wide. Joking with Dr. Zhang, you just said that you didn't want a fight to be an assistant. Zhang Andong smiled wryly, Dr. Liu. You know, following Dr. Lang to do surgery, my daily salary can at least increase several times. Of course, I still need Dr. Liu's approval. My request is not too much. I'll take over when you guys are tired. Dr. Liu glanced at him and said, We're all friends, we can take turns. I'll do one surgery and you do one. We're really close brothers. If there's anything good, I won't forget you. There will always be patients in the outpatient clinic. Zhang Andong has done nearly a hundred surgeries following Lang Ran these few days. Although Zhang Andong was physically tired, he was happy in his heart. The bonuses these few days are enough for a month's salary. But things are not that simple. Dr. Zhang suddenly stopped. Why do I suddenly feel a chill down my spine? He turned his head to look, and Dr. Lang Ran was indeed standing behind him. His eyes filled with resentment. Dr. Zhang nervously said, Dr. Lang, if you have anything to say, just say it directly. Why are you staring at me like that? I'm a little scared. Dr. Lang Ran suddenly smiled. Dr. Zhang, I originally intended for us to learn from each other. I'll take you to do a hepatectomy. Then you should take me to do a cholecystectomy. This way, it's mutually beneficial, and it's a long-term cooperation. At this moment, Dr. Zhang Andong breathed a sigh of relief. So that's how it is. It's all because I was not thoughtful enough. Dr. Lang, wait for me for a moment. I'll check if the department has arranged any surgeries. If there's a suitable one, we'll do it together. It's true that in this world, it's better to be late than to arrive at the right time. It just so happens that there's a cholecystectomy coming up. Dr. Lang, you'll be the primary surgeon this time. Lang Ran suddenly declined. I'm not qualified to be the primary surgeon yet. I'll learn from Dr. Zhang for a few more surgeries first. Dr. Zhang Andong muttered to himself. It seems that Dr. Lang only wants to do cholecystectomies today. And in a few days, he'll be able to be the primary surgeon. Lang Ran still didn't understand. It's so hard to learn a skill by myself, and the system only gives me a primary treasure chest. Could it be that the system is afraid that I will improve my skills too quickly, and it will no longer have a sense of existence in the future? Seeing that Dr. Lang Ran was standing aside without any movement, Dr. Zhang thought he was unhappy, and hurriedly stepped forward to please Dr. Lang Ran. Dr. Lang Ran, don't worry. You can do whatever you want to do in today's surgery. Leave the arrangements to me. Lang Ran finally came back to his senses. Dr. Zhang, you don't need to be so polite. Let's go and take a look first. 
The nurse quickly helped Lang Ran disinfect and put on his surgical gown. Dr. Zhang asked him if he wanted to be the primary surgeon. Lang Ran hurriedly declined, saying that he would let Dr. Zhang be the primary surgeon, and he would just observe and assist. But Dr. Zhang Andong didn't think so. He even thought of the ancient emperor abdicating. At this moment, it was not good to move forward, nor was it good to not move forward. Lang Ran was already standing in the assistant surgeon's position, and Dr. Zhang Andong was still thinking in his heart, did I anger Dr. Lang? Lang Ran seemed to see his anxiety, and hurriedly gave him a sedative and told him not to think too much, and just start. Dr. Zhang finally came to his senses. The scalpel steadily made an incision on the patient's abdomen. Then he began to pump carbon dioxide gas to create a pneumoperitoneum. He carefully observed the situation inside the abdomen, but found that the incision and the gallbladder were slightly misaligned. Zhang Andong told the doctor next to him, the incision is slightly misaligned. This situation is not suitable for surgery, and the ideal position must be changed. He immediately reselected the position, and decisively made another incision. Accuracy had to be fought for every second and every minute. Lang Ran's eyes lit up beside him, watching Dr. Zhang's operation and finding that the position was much better this time. Dr. Zhang was now in the state of a primary surgeon. He told Dr. Lang Ran to check the condition of the gallbladder first and then decide on the next step. Lang Ran studied hard by his side, remembering every step Dr. Zhang took and adjusting the lens to the appropriate position. The condition of the gallbladder could be seen clearly. Dr. Zhang used a clamp to clamp the bile duct and blood vessels. Seven clamps like this are needed. Now do six and leave one for safety. Dr. Zhang suddenly stopped his movements. Dr. Lang Ran's eyes seemed to be speaking clearly showing his eagerness to take action. Dr. Zhang was also a smart person, and knew that this was the best time to leave the stage, and that Lang Ran could take over next. A smile appeared on Dr. Zhang Andong's face, and he politely asked Dr. Lang, 583, otherwise, you can do the rest of this. Lang Ran was overjoyed in his heart. Dr. Zhang is so polite, and I'll just do as I should and give it a try. In a flash, the two had changed positions. Dr. Lang Ran faced the challenge with a face full of joy. This cholecystectomy seemed no different from the laparoscopic surgery that Lang Ran was proficient in. Dr. Zhang Andong was very surprised. Dr. Lang's skillful technique did not look like it was his first time at all. The surgery ended quickly, but Dr. Lang Ran was still not satisfied. He turned to ask Dr. Zhang, is there another cholecystectomy next? Dr. Zhang Andong laughed heartily and said, there are two more next, and I'll leave them all to you. Lang Ran's eyes lit up. Two surgeries were just enough for him to learn and master them. Dr. Zhang Andong even asked for his opinion. The two cholecystectomies later, Dr. Lang, do you want to be the primary surgeon? Dr. Lang Ran tried to suppress his desire and said, I'll still focus on learning, and I'll review a little tonight and be the primary surgeon tomorrow. You're really a good boy. Today is not over yet, and tomorrow's tasks have been fully arranged. Lang Ran was still busy with the cholecystectomy. The hospital was in a difficult situation. The patient's family was worried about his father's condition, so they took the initiative to contact the flying knife doctor. But according to the hospital's regulations, this situation is usually not allowed. Because the flying knife doctor is contacted by the patient without the hospital's review, the doctor's qualifications cannot be guaranteed. The assistant next to him whispered, I think the patient invited Professor Feng Ji Jiang, and I heard that he might come here today. He is also the one who compiled many books on surgery. Professor Feng is known as a national expert in surgery and is on his way here. If Yunhua Hospital refuses at this time, it will not give Professor Feng face. But they are still a little worried. After all, he is already 70 years old, and it is very difficult to stand at the operating table for four, five hours. The patient's family was also panic-stricken. At that time, the other party agreed very quickly, so he didn't ask much. Perhaps Professor Fung had made arrangements in advance and would bring an assistant with him. In short, it is a good thing that he is coming. Lang Ran will definitely be able to learn a lot from him, so the two doctors discussed. Since the patient's family had made the request, they couldn't not respect it. At that time, they would see how Professor Fung arranged it. But the next words of the patient's family gave the two a headache. He said that Professor Fung was expected to arrive at the airport at 3 p.m. and leave at 8.40 p.m. In that case, the maximum time he would have for surgery was 5 hours and 40 minutes. Subtracting the 3 hours of surgery, the estimated time is only 2 hours and 40 minutes. The estimated time is too short, which will definitely affect the surgical operation. If something happens, it will have a very bad effect. If the estimated time is so short and he is still confident that the surgery will be successful, 
then he is indeed worthy of being a national expert in surgery. Things have come to this point, so we can only do this. If the surgery time is not enough, let him change his flight. Prepare to transfer the patient to the hepatobiliary department. Note that the patient's serum total bilirubin is quite low, and he also has combined liver cirrhosis and high blood pressure. Our hospital must also save time. Give him a blood-stopping drug first, so that when Professor Fung arrives, he can perform the surgery directly. At this moment, on an airplane, Professor Feng's student is also looking at the medical records and discussing the treatment plan with his teacher. Professor Fung takes the opportunity to instruct his student. He predicts that the patient's pain will be very severe, must be prepared before surgery. Guo Mingcheng's expression is also quite serious. The patient's condition needs to be very careful. Otherwise, we may face massive bleeding. But Professor Fung said proudly that it is precisely because the patient's condition is complicated that we were invited to be flying knives. After the surgery, it will be handled handed over to local doctors. While talking, the plane slowly landed at the airport. Professor Fung went straight to Yunhua Hospital. Several doctors were already waiting at the door. Professor Fung was not polite either. Let's have the surgery first, and we'll talk later. Feng Zhijiang is preparing for the surgery and instructing his students to check the equipment carefully. Guo Mingcheng did not hesitate either. Everything is according to their habits. Even the lights have to be adjusted. He only left a nurse and told her to participate in the surgery as well, responsible for handing him the instruments. Professor Feng finished preparing and let his student be the primary surgeon this time, and at the same time told Director Shaw next to him to find two doctors who had performed liver resection as assistants. Director Shaw knew that it was urgent so he quickly found two young doctors. They were both experienced young doctors, and everything was ready very quickly. Dr. Guo took the scalpel and ordered the surgery to begin. Seeing that his student's speed was very fast, Professor Fung hurriedly reminded him to pay more attention to the bleeding of the lateral blood vessels. Put safety first. Dr. Guo listened to his teacher's words, and only then did he realize that he was a little too hasty, so he immediately slowed down. But even though he was doubly careful, the surgery still had an accident. Just as Guo Mingcheng turned the knife, there was a sudden deviation in the cut, and fresh blood gushed out immediately. The patient suddenly fell into critical condition. Dr. Guo broke out in a cold sweat, and shouted at the nurse to quickly use gauze to stop the bleeding. At the critical moment, Lang ran who was performing a cholecystectomy, suddenly received a system task. The content is to stop the bleeding and complete the liver resection. The reward is an intermediate treasure chest. Dr. Lang Ran was suddenly stunned, realizing that there was a problem in the operating room, and the system was sending him to save the day. It doesn't cost anything to receive the reward, so why not? Dr. Lang Ran immediately said to Dr. Zhang, you can continue with this surgery. I have something else to do and have to go somewhere else. Dr. Lang Ran immediately found Dr. Yu and asked him which operating room had an accident. Dr. Yu said he didn't know, so Lang Ran asked again. Are there any difficult surgeries today? A voice suddenly came from the side. I know that there is a flying knife today, and the difficulty is very high. Why do you ask, Dr. Lang? Lang Ran asked anxiously, which operating room is that flying knife in? Ta Sidian said it was in the hepatobiliary department, which is the operating room that Director Shaw usually uses. Dr. Lang Ran immediately ran away, leaving Dr. Ta wondering why he was in such a hurry. The operating room was in chaos like a battlefield, and the blood bags that needed to be transfused were still nowhere to be seen. The patient would soon become anemic. Lang Ran went to the operating room to ask about the cause of the accident. He learned that the liver and veins were bleeding profusely, and he continued to ask how much blood the patient had lost so far, and if there were any other symptoms. The doctor replied that the patient had lost 2,000 to 3,000 units of blood so far, but the blood bags had not yet arrived, and the patient could not withstand such a delay. Lang Ran did not panic. Such blood loss was still manageable. As long as the operation was performed correctly, there was still hope of saving the patient. Lang Ran whispered that the chief surgeon had not done anything special, but had simply improved the method of liver resection. Professor Fung was thinking about countermeasures, and when he heard Dr. Lang Ran whispering, he turned to ask him if he had any ideas. Lang Ran said without hesitation, I can stop the bleeding in this situation. If you don't mind, let me help. Director Shaw quickly warned, Dr. Lang, this is someone else's flying knife. You have to take responsibility if you go up to the operating table. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran said calmly, if I can't save him, I'll take responsibility, but I'm sure I can save him. Director Shaw said, that's impossible. Even with my level of experience, I wouldn't dare to guarantee it. You're so young. How can you be so sure? Professor Fung put out his hand to stop his student. If someone wants to help, they must have confidence that they can do it. If he can resolve this critical situation, 
then I won't lose face. If Dr. Lang fails the surgery, then he will take responsibility for himself. But Lang Ran's expression remained calm. He only felt around a few times before he guessed that the patient had used a hemostatic drug. Dr. Guo also answered truthfully. Yes, we used a hemostatic drug. And we also used the drug before the surgery. Lang Ran shouted silently, activating the bare-handed hemostasis skill. Next, he performed a series of miraculous operations. At this time, Director Huo rushed over in a hurry, loudly warning Lang Ren not to act recklessly if he was not sure, and that he would not be responsible for the consequences. Lang Ren only turned his head slightly and replied in a firm tone, Director, I can do it. Director Huo said nothing more when he saw this, because he believed that Lang Ran had never fought a battle he was not sure of winning. Lang Ran suggested to Dr. Guo, let me stop the bleeding with my hands first, and you guys take this opportunity to aspirate the blood that has accumulated in the abdomen. Professor Feng showed his agreement, and added that the suction power needed to be increased. He then asked, Dr. Lang, when will you start the manual hemostasis? Unexpectedly, Lang Ran told him that he had already started the hemostasis for two minutes, but could not completely stop the bleeding. Now, with the help of suction, the blood accumulated in the abdomen decreased rapidly. Dr. Guo, who was standing next to him, also realized that this young doctor had superb skills. Relying only on his sense of touch, he had stopped the bleeding point of the hepatic vein in just a few seconds. But when it came to this section of blood vessels, it could no longer be stopped because the tear was too large. Dr. Guo was in a dilemma at this moment. It would take him at least 1 minute and 30 seconds to suture it. Any carelessness could cause massive bleeding. So how could he dare to do it quickly? Lang Ran suddenly called out to the nurse. Give me the clamp and suture. I'm sure I can suture it quickly. The needle and thread in Dr. Lang Ran's hands quickly intertwined. His hands like an illusion, and within 27 seconds the suture was completed. And the most amazing thing was that Lang Ran sutured with only one hand, while his other hand was still blocking the blood vessels. Professor Fung was completely convinced. This young man in front of him seemed to be a person with great talent but who did not reveal it. About a minute later, the suture was completed, and Lang Lang Ran also let go of his right hand and told Dr. Guo to continue aspirating. Fortunately, after he removed his hand, there was no more massive bleeding. Dr. Guo also breathed a sigh of relief. Lang Ran directly removed the remaining part of the liver. Initially, he was only supposed to assist, but now he had directly become the main surgeon. Dr. Guo silently became the assistant. Director Feng was a little embarrassed, but he secretly made excuses for himself. Although he had taken away the position of the main surgeon, as long as the patient was safe and sound, it was fine. Now he still could not believe that this young doctor could actually stop the bleeding with his bare hands, and even pull the patient back from the brink of death. Just now, even if he had personally taken action, he could not have guaranteed that he would be able to save the patient in such a critical situation. Director Feng was very interested in this young doctor. He asked Director Huo softly, what's his name? Which school did he graduate from? He is Lang Ran, a graduate of the School of Medicine of Yunhua University. Did Dr. Lang Ran graduate with a doctorate? Director Huo said calmly. He graduated from the regular program. This time, it was Director Feng's turn to be surprised. And he asked again, when did he enter the hospital? Director Huo calmly told him again, this year. After hearing this, Director Feng's eyes widened. This is an outstanding talent, a gift from heaven. After a while of treatment, Dr. Lang said to everyone, if we want to complete the surgery according to the original plan, time is a little tight. Although the patient's condition is currently stable, the surgery is only halfway through, and changing the plan now may backfire. A series of operations by Dr. Lang Ran had completely convinced Director Feng not to say anything else, and just mentioned the name of the ultrasonic knife operation, which not many doctors could compare to. Lao Huo, you called me for an emergency just now. What happened? The patient just had a hemorrhage, and the bleeding was severe. But fortunately, the bleeding has finally been stopped now. The director asked if the patient could be saved. After hearing this, Director Huo said proudly, Lang Ran is the main surgeon now, and if there are no unexpected situations, he will definitely be saved. Lang Ran quickly operated with the ultrasonic knife, was about to start separating the liver. Dr. Guo directly handed over the position to him, and he himself hid to one side. I'll now handle the cross-section. Help me prepare some saline. Hearing that the surgery had reached this stage, Director Feng understood that this surgery was basically complete. Dr. Lang Ran checked the patient's wound himself, and there was no bile leakage. 
He then confidently told everyone that the surgery was basically a success. All that remains is to observe the recovery. After watching this surgery, Director Fung could not help but exclaim. Dr. Lang Ran is truly a formidable young talent. Dr. Guo also hurriedly expressed his gratitude. Thank you, Dr. Lang Ran. Dr. Guo, there's no need to thank me. The patient himself had a poor vascular tumor location, and his blood clotting function was also poor, so the surgical risk was quite high. While everyone was chatting, Dr. Lang Ren quickly completed the final recovery suture. Master, the plane ticket is about to expire. Let's quickly change the ticket. Today's surgery almost failed, but fortunately Dr. Lang stepped in to save the day. I must stay and toast Dr. Lang. Lang Ran is someone who really doesn't like to socialize. We have to think of a way to help him refuse the drink. At this time, Director Huo came to Dr. Lang Ran's side, and asked him what he thought of Director Feng's proposal. Unexpectedly, he said, after this surgery, the emergency center should establish its own ICU, so that it will be easier to deal with patients like this in the future. After hearing Dr. Lang Ran's answer, Dr. Zhang could only smile wryly. Who asked you this? But Director Feng said, Dr. Lang has a very good idea. Establishing an ICU in the emergency department will indeed be beneficial for improving the survival rate of patients. Dr. Liu also said, that's right, the survival rate of patients can be increased, and the bed turnover rate will also increase. Unexpectedly, Dr. Lang Ran asked further, how much can the conversion rate increase? Dr. Liu looked embarrassed because he didn't know much about it either, and only said in a low voice, it's estimated to be only a few percent. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran's face was not happy at all. It's a waste of money to build an ICU that can only increase the rate by a little bit. At this time, Director Feng quietly went to Lang Ran and said, Building our own ICU can not only increase the survival rate and turnover rate, but more importantly, it is more convenient. Dr. Zhang couldn't help but think to himself after hearing Director Feng's words. Could it be that Director Feng has other intentions? If we talk about the professionalism of the surgical equipment, a unified ICU can provide better guarantees. And building another one would be too costly. Let's move on to another topic. For example, the general surgery department of our hospital has more than 20 voluntary ICU beds, which is still very beneficial to patients. Dr. Zhang was very angry when he heard this. I take back what I just said. It's not that it seems that way, but it's definitely that way. I have to interrupt Director Fung. Otherwise, I don't know what else he will say. Speaking of hospital beds, our bed turnover rate has also increased very quickly. But Director Fung didn't want to respond at all. He turned around and asked Lang Ran again. I heard that you graduated from a regular course. Would you like to follow me for a master's and doctorate degree? Unexpectedly, Lang Ran rejected Professor Fung and said that he did not plan to pursue a master's degree. Professor Professor Fung felt very sorry. You should think it over again. Not many of my doctoral students can perform surgeries as well as Dr. Lang Ran. The door of the operating room was suddenly pushed open. The patient's family members saw the doctor coming out and hurriedly asked how the surgery went. Dr. Guo said that the surgery was very successful, but there were some problems during the surgery. After hearing that there were problems, the family members thought that the doctor wanted a red envelope, so they pulled the doctor aside and stuffed a red envelope into his hand, and pretended to ask what the problem was. The doctor was so scared that he broke out in a cold sweat, and hurriedly pushed the patient's family members away. What are you doing? This is not allowed. Your father had a lot of bleeding during the surgery. Dr. Guo and Professor Feng had no way to stop the bleeding. In the end, it was Dr. Lang who showed up and stopped the bleeding. Do you mean that his skills are even better than the expert that I spent money to invite from the capital? If it weren't for Professor Feng's treatment, would we have been able to get back the money we spent on inviting the expert? The man looked disgusted. Now is not the time to talk about this. Family members of the patient, please go to the ward and wait for the patient. No noise is allowed outside the operating room. Dr. Lang, all the beds in the ICU are full, and there are no more beds in the emergency department. You can go home and rest for the next two days. When Lang Ran arrived at the door of his house, he saw that the lights were on, and he wondered why his house was so lively today. Lang Jichu was very happy to see his son back, and told his son to go upstairs and have some tea. A girl's gentle voice rang out. Lang Ran, you came back just in time. My uncle just taught me how to make tea. Quickly try it and see if it tastes good. Lang Ran asked while tasting. Why did you come to my house? At this time, Lang Ran's mother spoke up and said. We're discussing about renovating the clinic. Why do we need to renovate it? Dao Ping said that our clinic is quite famous now so we want to rebuild it into a professional operating room. Tian Chi said gently, don't worry, just choose Pulin for the decoration company. They are very reputable. Mother, 
You are talking about the top decoration company in Yunhua, right? Mother, mother, are you planning to burn all your money on it? What do you mean burn all your money, Lang Ran? Don't worry, Pulin is a subsidiary of my company. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Lang Ran's mother was overjoyed, and she almost called Tian Chi her daughter-in-law. After the decoration was finished, Lang Jichu suddenly called Lang Ran out for something. Tian Chi thoughtfully said, Uncle is looking for you. You go ahead. I'll talk to my aunt for a while longer. Lang Ran's father said to his son with a proud face. Dr. Miao is looking for you. Xiao Ran, it's like this. Our clinic is about to be renovated. While we're still free. Lang Ran's father saw that Dr. Miao seemed to be a little embarrassed. So he urged him to get to the point. Xiao Ran, you taught me the skin suitoring technique before. I think I've practiced it well. So I'd like you to take a look at it and see if I need to improve anything. Son. How long will it take you to teach Dr. Miao? I'm not sure how long it will take. It depends on how well Dr. Miao learns. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So, after you finish teaching, Lao Miao, if you follow my son to learn, then you are his student, right? Lang Ran was shocked by this sentence. And he thought to himself, how could I have such an old student? After two days of rest, Lang Ran returned to the hospital to work. As soon as he arrived, he asked the emergency center. Has the emergency center transferred the case here? Zuo Sidian said in embarrassment, liver resection is a major surgery after all. It can't be done so quickly. If that's the case, then let's go find Zhang Andan now. Dr. Lang's sudden visit made Zhang Andan nervous. He said, you came without even giving me a call. Lang Ran said immediately, I came here to do a few cholecystectomies. These days, everyone is accepting cholecystectomy patients. And I have already gotten about four or five people. I will arrange the surgery for you right away. Unexpectedly, Dr. Lang said, I want to practice a little more. You just be the chief surgeon. Zhang Andan was stunned on the spot. Unexpectedly, he didn't come to fight for the position of chief surgeon. This is not Dr. Lang's style at all. Just like that, Lang Ran quickly followed Zhang Andan and performed four cholecystectomies. From the familiar incision to the unfamiliar suture, he had almost mastered it all. Then he asked Zhang Andan to arrange a case for him, so that he could be the chief surgeon. Zhang Andan realized that this was the real Dr. Lang when he heard this. He didn't say much and immediately made the arrangements. Dr. Lang calmly began the surgery. Zhang Andan was very puzzled. Was Dr. Lang pretending to be a newbie today? It felt very strange. More than an hour passed, and the surgery was still not finished. The speed was a bit slow, but it should be able to exceed the standard of a beginner. On the other side, Director Huo received a phone call, and heard that there was another emergency. He answered with a serious face. I understand. No problem. Don't worry. After hanging up the phone, Director Huo immediately ordered the general surgery department to be notified as soon as possible, and the neurology, thoracic surgery, and hepatobiliary departments to come for a consultation. Call Dr. Lang too. The dean's nephew was in a car accident, and this is an internal emergency event for our Yunhua hospital. Dr. Lang rushed over after receiving the notice for the consultation. The dean's office was already crowded with people from various departments. The dean still had hope in Dr. Lang, and he told him in a low voice to come in quickly. Quickly. Director Huo, I will leave the command work at the hospital gate to you. Three ambulances, with patients and medical staff, a total of five people. The first car, patient Jin Zuchan, 27 years old, the patient has an open wound in the abdomen, lost a lot of blood, still conscious, blood pressure 110, heart rate 111. The second car, the patient is Jin Zuchan's girlfriend, with a full body fracture, lost a lot of blood, in a coma. Everyone needs to follow the principle of saving lives first, treating the illness later, and controlling the amount of blood loss first, then treating the internal and bone injuries. Among them, the tasks of the hand surgery department and the orthopedic surgery department are relatively heavy, and it is necessary to assign people reasonably. If liver resection surgery is needed, then Dr. Lang will be responsible. The ambulance is about to arrive at the hospital. Everyone quickly changed into surgical gowns, put on medical gloves, and went to the reception area to wait for the ambulance. The first patient to be pushed in on a stretcher was Jin Zuchan. The doctor accompanying the car hurriedly explained the situation. Director Huo examined the patient's pupillary response with a flashlight, and it seemed that the situation was not good. He ordered the patient to be sent to the emergency room immediately. After the emergency surgeon performed a preliminary examination, it was found that the patient's liver and spleen were ruptured. The bladder was ruptured, and the pelvis was fractured. Director Huo looked at the examination sheet with a worried expression. This trauma was much more complicated than previously expected. Then he said to Lang Ran, You go and deal with the liver rupture. 
Langrand calmly pulled on his gloves tightly and replied, Yes, I will use the bare-handed hemostasis technique. Director Huo was secretly worried about Lang Ran. This was the dean's nephew, and if he couldn't stop the bleeding, it would leave a bad impression on him. Moreover, bare-handed hemostasis was only suitable for situations with relatively narrow wounds, and it was uncertain whether it could be used now. Director Huo asked Lang Ran cautiously, What's the situation now? Lang Ran said it was under control, but liver resection and splenectomy were still needed. You guys pay attention to controlling the amount of blood loss, I'll go out and talk to the family. The dean's wife was so scared that her tears were streaming down her face. How is the examination? My younger brother only has one son. The dean introduced his wife. This is Lao Huo. You know him. The best doctors in the hospital have been arranged to treat him. Don't be afraid. First, go and ask about the situation now, and then call his parents. Lao Huo, you don't need to bother. You with the glasses in the back, go in and have a look, and then come out and tell me. The doctor went in for a round and then came out and said to the dean, the bleeding has stopped, and the spleen has been removed. The dean's wife was surprised. If the spleen is removed, will the probability of heart disease increase? The dean explained that the spleen was badly damaged, and if it was not removed, the bleeding could not be controlled. She didn't understand, so she asked again, is it okay to remove it? The doctor said, it's Dr. Lang who is doing the surgery, and he is very fast. In a flash, the surgery was completed. The dean was a little shocked when he heard this, and hurriedly asked Director Huo, as I recall, he's not the fastest liver resection surgeon, is he? Can he be so fast in removing the spleen? Hearing the dean's question, his wife couldn't help but want to go into the operating room herself to see. As soon as she entered the room, she heard Dr. Lang say that the liver resection was complete. She was stunned. Dr. Lang's speed was amazing. In just a moment, the liver had been resected. The doctor explained, Madam, look, Dr. Lang not only controlled the bleeding, but also completed the resection. Before she could recover, Dr. Lang had already finished suturing the liver. Next was the bone repair, which would be handled by the orthopedic surgeon. Seeing Lang ran coming out of the operating room, the dean's wife hurriedly asked, Dr. Lang, why are you coming out? The major bleeding has been basically controlled. Now the orthopedic surgeon will handle the bone fracture. In other words, the patient's condition has basically stabilized, and the danger has passed. The next surgical steps will be performed by the orthopedic surgeon and the urologist. Seeing that the dean's wife was still worried, the director of the urology department immediately reassured her. As long as the ureter is not ruptured, I guarantee that it will be as good as new. The dean also comforted his wife, the remaining surgical steps are relatively simple, and using imported materials will make the connection faster. As soon as he finished speaking, he heard a doctor shout, Oh no, something's wrong. The patient is bleeding again. Lang Ran quickly asked, How much blood loss is there? And what are the current blood pressure and heart rate? Overall, there is no problem. And the blood loss from the liver is not very large. It's okay. I can stop the bleeding with my bare hands. This is not a big problem. It can be covered with a bandage. The dean's wife asked, why is there bleeding again? It was caused by the tension during the surgery. By the orthopedic and urology departments. It's not a big problem. Knowing that everything was fine, the dean's wife breathed a sigh of relief. However, the directors of the orthopedic and urology departments were not as relaxed. At first, the dean and his wife were just observing the surgery. But now they were even more nervous. Dr. Leng, Please stay for a while. Wait until they finish this surgery before you leave. I'm afraid something bad will happen again. The dean's wife had spoken. How could Dr. Lang refuse? He could only obediently stay. Let's continue the surgery. But I have to say, the dean's nephew's bladder is really beautiful. Nurse, help me adjust the light a little closer. Guys, take a look. Isn't this bladder beautiful? Well, it's really special, but I don't know how it will be after it comes out. I know that director Guo wanted to ease the tense atmosphere, but it seemed that no one was amused by this joke. Lang Ran took a look and said that the color was not very good. Director Guo said, it's precisely because the color is not good that it's beautiful. The dean's wife felt that something was wrong when she heard this, and she hurriedly asked Lang Ran to check again to see what the problem was. The color of the bladder is due to anemia. There are also other problems, such as tissue tears. After the director of urology studied the bladder for a while, he finally discovered that there was a problem with the blood vessels. Then he said that he could handle it. A moment later, he had finished, and there was no need to remove such a beautiful bladder. But the dean's wife seemed not to hear anything, and she still praised Dr. Lang for being good. The director of urology told the director of orthopedics to reassure each other. Let's check again, to make sure that there is no problem with the surgery. As soon as the surgery was over, Jin Zuchan's father rushed to the door of the operating room. 
Before he could say anything, the door of the operating room opened. General Manager Jin hurriedly asked, Sister, how was the surgery? The surgery went very smoothly. For more details and precautions, you should ask the chief surgeon. The patient's condition is stable, and he is likely to be out of danger, and I can rest assured. I must thank everyone very much. The medical staff who participated in today's emergency, please come to the Shengyuan restaurant after work. My younger brother will invite everyone to a meal. Everyone was delighted and agreed in unison. Dr. Lang, Try a glass of this unmixed champagne. Director Huo also came to join in the fun. Lang Ran, you've been tired all day today. Eat more delicious food. The director of orthopedics was not to be outdone. Lang Ran, if you have time, come to our orthopedics department to play. You can also help us with the surgery. Before he could finish speaking, his phone rang at an inopportune time. A patient has an infection. The orthopedics department has an infection? This time, everyone had something to do. Before they could laugh at the orthopedics department, the other directors also received phone calls. Their departments all have infections. Dr. Lang, you're here. I've been looking for you for a long time. I have something to ask you. I don't know if it's convenient to say. Can you help take special care of Jin Zuchan these days? I'll check on the ward for any surgeries I've performed. You don't have to come and find me specially. As they were talking, Lang Ran heard many directors mentioning infections. He realized that something seemed wrong. It is normal for one or two patients to get infected from time to time. But if all the departments in the hospital are affected, there must be a problem. Two people have been identified so far, and the specific cause of one person has not yet been determined. Has the specific cause been investigated yet? The director said that it has not been fully investigated yet. The dean ordered everyone to quickly call and ask if their departments had similar situations. Finish eating and go back to the meeting quickly. Did your department report to the dean? Two cases in a week. I heard that two people died in the neurosurgery department and no one reported it. The dean asked, what do you think about the timing of this infection? Have you found the cause? The director of the infectious diseases department said, based on the analysis of recent infection cases, it could be MRSA. Everyone was shocked when they heard this. It's possible that in recent times, MRSA, the in-hospital mortality rate is up to 30%. Why didn't you take any measures? Why could it have caused such consequences? Now that the hospital has an outbreak of infection, we in the infectious diseases department do have a responsibility. But the responsibility cannot be entirely ours. According to the original regulations, departments with infections should summarize them once a week. This time, we did not receive any reports of infections, so we were not able to come up with any effective measures. The dean heard that this was an evasion of responsibility and quickly interrupted him, asking him to introduce the current situation first. The current situation is as follows. In the past week, a total of 14 cases have been reported in the whole hospital. After hearing the report, the dean turned to Director Huo of the emergency department and asked why he had not reported the infection. If there is no confirmed infection, there is no need to report it. The director of the neighboring department began to insinuate and mock Lao Huo. It's meaningless to evade responsibility at this time. The emergency department is most likely to have accidents. It's a lie to say that the emergency department doesn't have any. We don't have any. The dean asked again, are there any cases? Director Huo insisted that there were none. The dean was also very suspicious and wondered what was going on. The emergency center has the largest number of people coming and going but there is not a single case? Could it be that the emergency center has implemented the disinfection standards so strictly that not a single case has occurred? Director Huo, how exactly does the emergency department prevent infections? We follow the standards of the infection control department every day. You can ask Dr. Lang for more details. Every day, our entire treatment process is sterile. When we come into contact with patients, we first wash our hands with alcohol. Clean our hands, one patient, one disinfectant. The instruments are washed many times, and the air conditioning is cleaned regularly. The stethoscope and thermometer are placed in a specimen container. The head of the bed and the guardrail of the hospital bed are disinfected. The bedside cabinet is also disinfected regularly every day. Aren't these all part of the regulations of the infection control department? But how many doctors actually do these washing and wiping tasks? It seems that Dr. Lang is very careful in his work. This is the work ethic of our emergency department. Dr. Lang's methods are very effective. From now on, we will implement the regulations of the infection control department throughout the hospital and learn from Dr. Lang. Don't be lazy, give everyone protective gear, especially the ventilator, 
Items that need to come into contact with the breath must be disinfected multiple times. We are now the model unit of the hospital. From now on, we must absolutely not have a single case of MRSA infection in our department. Everyone, please observe carefully with Dr. Lang, study hard, and remember everything that Dr. Lang does. The disinfection work has been going on for a few days. CEO Jin appeared at the hospital again. Dr. Lang, you're finally not busy today. You can go and see Jin Zuchan. You go over there, and I'll tell your brother-in-law to give you a few days off. Dr. Lang didn't even think about it and refused directly. I've already told you very clearly that you don't need to pay any more attention to it in the later stages. At this time, Dr. Lang received a phone call. Boss, there's a child with four severed fingers. Who is being sent to the emergency center? CEO Jin, I have to go to the emergency department for surgery. Jin Zuchan's condition is very stable. You don't need to come and find me anymore. Dr. Lang, this child was playing with homemade fireworks, and the fireworks exploded, blowing off four of his fingers. The emergency staff said that there was damage to the skin and arteries. The child's blood vessels are too small. It won't be easy to do the surgery. Contact the director of hand surgery, Wang Hai Yang, and ask him to come to the emergency department for a consultation. Dr. Shaw, you go and contact Director Wang first. I'll wait for the ambulance here, boss. You go to the operating room and prepare in advance. In a while, when we receive the ambulance, we will send it directly to the operating room. Not long after, the ambulance carrying the boy appeared at the door of the emergency department. The boy's mother was still asking the doctor. Their family was poor, could the medical expenses be reduced? The doctor told the parents that in this situation, saving the child's life was more important. Dr. Liu took the child's severed fingers, and quickly took them to the operating room. The instruments in the operating room were ready, and the surgical lamp was on. Suddenly, the door of the operating room was pushed open, and in came Huang Maoshi, a surgical instrument salesman. Dr. Lang, I'm here to bring you some instruments. See if there's anything you need. I'm going to do a severed finger reattachment surgery now. And this surgery requires very few instruments. Dr. Lang, you can take a look. I also have suture needles and imported titanium sutures. There are many different types and models. You can try them out. Mr. Huang, Dr. Lang said he doesn't need them so don't introduce them anymore. Hurry up and go out, we're about to start the surgery. Mr. Huang was embarrassed and backed out, but he couldn't stop muttering for Dr. Lang to think about it a little more. Even through the door, his voice could still be heard. These titanium alloy things are all free. They've been included in the hospital's free list. Dr. Liu recalled what the child's mother had said about their family's poor financial situation, though it would be fine to use them since they were free. After saying this, he didn't forget to confirm it again. Are you guys really giving them to me for free? Free? That's right, Dr. Lang, we have a promotional offer from the manufacturer, and I'm the first one to come and ask. In that case, please ask someone to come and disinfect them, so that we can use them when we need them later. Mr. Huang, please go to the disinfection room and get disinfected first. As soon as he finished speaking, the patient was pushed into the operating room. After a preliminary examination, Dr. Lang found that the most severely burned area was the index finger. The index finger bone was shattered, and there was also extensive muscle tissue burns. Lang Ran didn't quite believe his initial diagnosis, so he took the X-ray film and checked it again. After looking at the film, he couldn't help but feel sorry. The patient may have to have his index finger amputated. Dr. Lang asked if Dr. Wang had arrived yet, and asked for him to be invited again, and at the same time, called for the interns in the department to come. Then, Director Wang's voice was heard. Lang Ran, I'm a little late. Director Wang, take a look at this x-ray film. Can this child's index finger be saved? It doesn't look good, the fireworks were too powerful, and they almost exploded in his hand, so the bones, muscles and blood vessels were extremely severely damaged. But there is another way, we can try it. We can do it, but it will be difficult to meet the standards. Even if we do it, it will only be a formality. It won't have any effect. Director Wang looked at the x-ray film for a long time, and suddenly thought of a problem. Lang Ran, I think we can try a temporary transplant. Because the boy's wound meets the criteria for a temporary transplant. Temporary transplantation means that the finger is first transplanted to another part of the body. And then, after the wound on the finger has healed, it is transplanted back to the hand. If we perform a temporary transplant, the surgery will become two transplants, and the effect may not be as good as a single transplant. However, for fingers that are not eligible for a single transplant, a temporary transplant gives the finger a second chance to be replanted, and is a pretty good option. Overall, this temporary transplant option is feasible, but I don't know how to do a temporary transplant. Dr. Lang, 
you don't know how to do a temporary transplant, Lang Ran said in a small voice, startled. When I was in school, I didn't learn about temporary transplantation. Director Wang said after listening to this, it turns out that there is a surgery that Lang Ran doesn't know how to do. Then I have to personally guide you today. The second transplant will be performed in a few weeks. Lang Ran agreed, and thought to himself, this time I'll learn how to do a temporary finger transplant. Next time I'll learn how to do a temporary arm transplant. Director Wang asked Dr. Yu to go and inform the patient's family and ask for their opinion, and to also make sure to explain the issue of costs, because the cost of a temporary transplant is very high. Dr. Yu knew that the patient's family was not well off, so he didn't know how to start the conversation with the family. Dr. Yu, you must explain the patient's current situation to the family. If we don't do a temporary transplant, then the only option is amputation. And of course the cost is very high. Maybe we can ask Director Huo to see if he can reduce it a little. Dr. Yu, you go and talk to the patient's family. As for finding Director Huo to reduce the cost, I'll ask him. Since the index finger plan has been decided, let's do the surgery to reconnect the other fingers first. I'm really lucky to be able to participate in the reattachment of a severed limb and a temporary transplant surgery with Dr. Lang. I'm sure you're the best intern this year. Dr. Yu, follow me. We'll do the middle finger amputation together. The rest of you, three people in a group, amputate the ring finger and the little finger. Be absolutely careful when you do it. Warm up the saline solution. Yes, yes, the saline solution and the scalpel are ready. Oh my god, this pharmaceutical representative is really desperate. But it's worth mentioning that he's not much slower than us interns. Feeling the surprised eyes of the interns, Huang Maoshi couldn't help but feel proud. It's a small matter, but Dr. Lang's group has already finished cleaning the wound. Dr. Zuo, you do it. We'll do the reattachment of the severed finger first. After an hour of good cooperation between the two, the surgery to reattach the thumb and the ring finger was successful. Director Wang couldn't help but sigh when he saw that Lang Ran had finished the surgery. Lang Ran, we've just finished one middle finger, and you've already finished two fingers. Okay, kid. Then Lang Ran said to Director Wang, I'll leave the temporary transplant to you. Okay, no problem. We'll choose the instep of the foot as the temporary transplant site. If we choose other places, if the child is not stable, it's easy to rub against something, causing a finger to grow out of the instep of the foot. Just thinking about it makes me shudder. Let's determine the location first, and then make the skin and transplant it directly. Is it really as simple as Director Wang said? Then we can do it too? What I mean is, even if you learn it, you have to practice for five, six years, as an intern for seven, eight years is also normal. Lang Ran. Do you know what the most important issue in temporary transplantation is? Is it the choice of transplant site that you just mentioned? You're right. For finger transplantation, the site must be chosen so that the wound surface and the basic finger are similar. And for this surgery, we chose the instep of the foot. This little girl listens attentively, just like Lang Ran. It seems that she is a good seedling among the interns. You. Go and disinfect the patient's feet. Everyone must remember the three elements of temporary transplantation. They are to restore the blood circulation of the severed finger, to repair and restore the defective part, and to restore its function later. In general, if you master these three elements, the surgery will basically be successful. Lang Ran silently remembered these things in his heart. Director Wang asked Lang Ran, You have no problem making the skin, do you? Director Wang, you mean to do a free skin flap? I can do it. If you let me choose, which position would you like to choose? The dorsalis pedis artery can be connected together. Very good. The first stage of the surgery is basically like this. Next, the surgery will begin. The part of the blood vessel and finger transplantation. Director Wang's choice is a little more appropriate. He also considered the thickness and color of the skin flap. But Director Wang didn't think much about the donor area. Lang Ran has learned a lot recently. After more than three hours of everyone's efforts, the first stage of the temporary transplant surgery was successfully completed. Director Wang exclaimed, it's been a long time since I've had such a comfortable surgery. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave. Temporary transplantation is a rare surgery, and there are not many complications. There are few patients, and there are few opportunities to practice. In the future, we should still focus on gallbladder surgery. As soon as he came out of the operating room, he heard General Manager Kim's voice. Dr. Lang, I finally waited for you. General Manager Kim, I just had surgery for several hours. You've been waiting for a long time. You have to be sincere when you wait for Dr. Lang. 
Don't you know that we are the most persistent in doing projects? Sometimes we can wait a whole week to collect debts. That's right. You must be hungry after the surgery. I brought some lamb with me. Would you like to try some? Dr. Lang, how is that child? It can be said that the child is the life of the whole family. If it can be cured, it can be considered as saving the whole family. General Manager Kim seemed to be hinting at himself. How is your son now? Dr. Lang, you are so straightforward. My son is fine at the moment. I also know that the doctor on the other side must be very dedicated, but I still trust your skills more. Can I ask you to go and see him again? I understand what you mean. I'll go and see him after I finish eating. But if you want me to take care of the whole thing, I don't think it's necessary. I'll go and see him twice a day. After finishing the meal, Dr. Lang went to the ICU ward to fulfill his promise. He checked and saw that there was no problem, and then left. Next, he went to another ward. The old man said that it is very comfortable to be hospitalized in Yunhua. Dr. Lang was a little surprised. He just said that it is comfortable to be hospitalized. In the past, Yunhua Hospital did not have enough beds, and family members could only sleep outside. Now the number of empty beds has increased a lot, and the hospitalization environment has also been improved. It seems that in the case of a successful surgery, proper care and medical upgrading are still very important. At this moment, Lu Wenbin's voice suddenly sounded in the old man's ear. So you are here, Lang Ran. Everyone understood what he meant with just a glance. Okay, I know that you are telling me to shut up. Let me guess, do you feel that the hospital beds are a bit empty? Don't worry, old man. When this wave of MRSA passes, we will immediately work overtime for surgery. Oh no, it seems that Dr. Lu's flattery is not in the right place. Dr. Ta hurriedly explained that Dr. Lu had not taken his medicine today. Dr. Lang had no intention of working overtime for surgery. Lang Ran said with certainty that he really didn't mean that. Old man, if there's nothing else today, then I'll go back to work first, Dr. Lang said. Of course you can. Yesterday, Dr. Lang said that the blood situation has stabilized, and you can be transferred to a general ward in a few days. But don't be subjective. Dr. Lang must come and have a look. General Manager Kim didn't pay attention and bumped into someone. Boss Kim, my name is Huang Maoshi, from Shangxi Pharmaceutical Company. We met at Yunhua Hospital. General Manager Kim asked Huang Maoshi why he was here at this time. He said that he came to give Dr. Lang breakfast. Boss Kim, are you also here to see Dr. Lang? Did you bring wontons? I heard that Dr. Lang's father likes to eat them. Since you're here, let's go in together. Boss Kim, don't knock on the door in a hurry. Let me do this. Lang Jichu said bluntly when he saw the scene in front of him. I've already said that you don't need to bring anything here. And you don't need to bring breakfast either. Huang Maoshi still spoke first. We just came to visit on the way. It doesn't take much time. But the clinic is being renovated. There are people who come to make breakfast recently. You don't have to go there. Hearing about the project, General Manager Kim hurriedly handed over his business card. I am the one who did the project. I will take care of the renovation of the clinic. You don't have to bother. We have already found a renovation company. Company. Look, they and the cook are behind. Good morning, Mr. Lang. We are here to work according to the order. Excuse me, please make way. We have to go to Dr. Lang's house. What is the status of Dr. Lang's family? People from Pulin come to serve at home on such a large scale. In Yunhua Hospital, we have never lost to anyone. But the Lang family makes me feel like I've been defeated before I even get on the field. At this moment, Lang Ran's phone suddenly received a text message. Old man, our department has admitted a patient with a giant benign liver tumor. You come to the operating room quickly. Zhang Andin stood at the door in embarrassment, and hurriedly greeted Lang Ran when he saw him passing by. Lang Ran was also very curious. What are you doing here? Why don't you hurry to the operating room? Dr. Ta was startled beside him, and he could guess right away by looking at Zhang Andin's hesitant figure. He hurriedly stepped forward to ask Zhang Andin. The two whispered for a while, and the incident was exactly as Ta Sidian guessed. Dr. Ta hurriedly explained to Lang Ran that Dr. Zhang had always followed him recently, so he was left out of the hepatobiliary department. The surgery for this giant tumor was decided by the director. Zhang Andin was just running errands to inform them. Lang Ran didn't care about their infighting. He only cares how big this liver tumor is, and how difficult it will be to operate. Zhang Andin answered honestly. Director Shaw has already had a CT scan, and I heard that the diameter is 16 centimeters. Lang Ran was immediately excited when he heard this. A giant tumor with a diameter of 16 centimeters. He had never heard of it or seen it before. Dr. Ta looked at Lang Ran's excited figure running away and thought to himself. Sure enough, he didn't understand what I said at all. Dr. Lang really doesn't care about the human feelings. He had to pull Lang Ran back. Dr. Lang, 
wait a minute, according to the unspoken rules of the departments, we can't directly contact the patients. If we want to take over the surgery, we have to fight for it ourselves. I'll go and ask Director Shaw if he agrees. Dr. Ta quickly came back with a smile on his face. It seems that he brought good news. The truth is as they thought. Dr. Ta said proudly. I had a very happy discussion with Director Shaw. In principle, he agreed to let Lang Ran's support team be in charge of the surgery. Lang Ran agreed easily, but Zhang Andin raised a question. What do you mean by agreeing in principle? Dr. Ta explained to him that. Director Shaw meant that the patient still belonged to the hepatobiliary department because he also wanted to participate in the surgery. Lang Ran stood up confidently. It's no problem for Director Shaw to participate. You can tell him to be an assistant. Dr. Ta said, that's a good idea. Director Shaw also wants to be an assistant, so if there's no problem, let's go to the hepatobiliary department for a consultation. Lang Ran followed Dr. Ta, and suddenly turned around and called Zhang Andin to tell him to ask the anesthesiologist to come to him later. It's a pity that Zhang Andin could only answer yes. The position of assistant was taken by Director Shaw, and I was completely left out. In the hepatobiliary department's consultation room, Director Shaw's face was not very happy. He had never thought that there would come a day when the hepatobiliary department would need to send a consultation request to the emergency emergency department. After all, such a giant tumor is very rare. A top hepatobiliary doctor like him now has to give way to others. Just as they were discussing, Lang Ran pushed the door and entered. The consultation room suddenly fell silent. Director Shaw exchanged a few words and invited Lang Ran to sit down and study the solution first. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran not only didn't sit down, but also went straight to the MRI film. He studied and thought carefully for more than 10 minutes, and then his eyes suddenly lit up. If there is no problem, I will briefly explain the surgical procedure. Dr. Ta immediately broke out in a sweat. Dr. Lang really doesn't show any respect, and he wants to instruct a senior doctor of another department as soon as he arrives. The hepatobiliary department must think that the emergency department is here to instruct them on surgery. It's more or less a matter of saving face. Lang Ran didn't know that he was thinking so much. And after he finished explaining, he asked everyone if they had any comments. The hepatobiliary department was shocked. This Lang Ran is really a monster. They had been studying in the hepatobiliary department for a long time, but they were not as good as him looking at it a few times. Director Shaw was also impressed. Dr. Lang is really amazing. Just looking at the MRI film, he can smoothly explain the surgical steps. Dr. Ta was moved to tears when he saw this. It seems that I was worrying for nothing. Lang Ran once again used his strength to crush the rules of the workplace. Director Shaw said that since everything had been arranged, everyone should act now and prepare for the surgery. Everyone immediately left the consultation room. Suddenly, someone called Lang Ran, and he turned around and asked what was the matter. The group of other doctors replied shyly. We also also want to participate in this surgery. Can you take us with you? Lang Ran was full and didn't know hunger, and asked them casually, are you guys volunteering for this surgery? The three interns' eyes lit up, and they shouted in unison, of course we do. Director Shaw was also tired, but he had to give in because Lang Ran was the attending doctor, and all the decisions were up to him. Lang Ran naturally agreed, since the young people wanted to broaden their horizons. Let them start from this rare surgical case. The tumor attracted a lot of medical staff, and the inside and outside of the operating room were crowded, and even attracted the Department of Internal Medicine. It seemed that the hospital leaders also attached great importance to this surgery, but Director Shaw felt uncomfortable. He was a director, but he didn't expect to be an assistant to others. Everyone could see that Lang Ran had entered the state of analyzing the patient's condition and said, the patient is prone to massive bleeding. Attention all surgical staff. Without further ado, Lang Ran took out a scalpel. The surgery officially began. The first step was to cut open the abdomen. The giant tumor occupied the position of the liver, and even invaded the diaphragm and even the pelvis. To remove the tumor, the surrounding structures must be cleaned up first. The scalpel danced in Lang Ran's hand like a fairy dancing. Lang Ran carefully separated the parts. Director Shaw was amazed. Fortunately, I am only an assistant. He can't do such a high-level surgery. Initially, everything went smoothly, but Lang Ran suddenly stopped. He found that the patient had granulomatous hyperplasia, 
so he hurriedly ordered the two interns to tell them to lift the tumor, and he would carefully cut it off. The two interns broke out in a cold sweat. The tumor wall was so thin that it was almost transparent, and the blood flow could be seen. If the blood vessel wall was accidentally shaken, the amount of blood loss could be fatal in a few minutes. The two of them didn't cooperate very well, and the tumor was already very heavy. The blood made it even more slippery, and they had to hold it steady. The two of them had to use equal force, otherwise the tumor would slip out of their hands. Director Shaw also saw the problem, and he shouted sternly, You two, hold it tight for me. Once there is a mistake, the patient will definitely die. At this moment, Guan Fei's forehead was covered in sweat. Her daughter was weaker, and she couldn't hold on for long. Lang Ran glanced and saw that something was wrong, so he quickly called Shang Shui Ming to replace Guan Fei. Guan Fei still wanted to hold on, but Lang Ran said it was okay. Now is not the time to be stubborn. The safety of the patient must be put first. Lang Ran saw that the tumor had been successfully removed, so he gave the next order. He prepared to cut off the left hepatic portal, and then cut off the middle hepatic vein. The surgery went smoothly without any accidents. The patient's condition is still very stable. It seems that this case has hope of success. Lang Ran said to Director Shaw, prepare to pull the liver down. Make some space for me to deal with the secondary hepatic portal vein. After Director Shaw finished pulling, Lang Ran gave the surgical steps. He immediately began to separate the superior and inferior vena cava. Director Shaw also warned that the area near the hepatic portal was very complicated to deal with, and if he was not careful, it would cause massive bleeding. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran suddenly uttered a sentence. The superior and inferior vena cava have been separated. Director Shaw immediately opened his eyes wide in surprise. Wondering why Lang Ran was so fast. Is this something that a human can do? Lang Ran didn't have it easy either. Although he was confident in his speed, he was still sweating. The nurse hurriedly wiped him preventing sweat from dripping down and causing infection. After wiping, the surgery continued. Lang Ran activated the master-level liver resection surgery, and his hand movements were as standard and proficient as if he had done it hundreds of times. With the cooperation of Director Shaw, the surgery also went very smoothly. Of course, the two interns also contributed a lot. Lang Ran said softly, the tumor has been separated, and everything is finally done. The giant tumor was removed without any damage. They weighed it and found that it weighed more than 11 kilogram. Everyone couldn't help but talk about it. This must be the largest liver tumor ever removed in the history of the hospital. This time, Lang Ran did not relax. Although the tumor had been removed, the surgery was not over yet. The cleaning work could not be taken lightly. The two people who were discussing heard this and put the tumor aside, and quickly joined in the cleaning work. Time passed by little by little. In the blink of an eye, five hours had passed. The surgery was finally completed. In fact, with the size of the patient's tumor, if it hadn't been for Lang Ran's speed, it would have taken a few more hours to complete. During the entire surgery, the patient only lost 350 milliliters of blood, and did not even need a blood transfusion. The doctors congratulated each other, but deep down, they all exclaimed that this surgery was truly amazing. Shang Shui Ming looked at Lang Ran's back, and secretly exclaimed that Dr. Lang was really amazing. I'm also a university student, so I have to work twice as hard. Only by staying at Yun Hua will I have the opportunity to learn from Dr. Lang. So he went to find Director Mao of the Health Bureau to recommend himself. But the truth disappointed Shang Shui Ming because Yun Hua had already met its quota this year, and even if he went to him, it would be useless. Moreover, he was only a university student, and the hospital only accepted graduate students in principle. To be able to stay in the hospital as an exception, one must have strong abilities. But he was just an intern, and unlike Lang Ran who had a system to help him, how could he prove his abilities? In order to stay at Yun Hua, Shang Shui Ming retreated and advanced, and began to contact the training units of Yun Hua Hospital. But reality was always cruel, and the tertiary hospitals all refused to accept him, because Shang Shui Ming's education was too low. In the end, only the Bachi Branch Hospital accepted him. After all, it was a branch hospital, and it was not much different from a hospital in a big city. An old doctor came out to greet Shang Shui Ming. After all, it was a happy event for someone new to come to this place. Shang Shui Ming politely greeted greeted and introduced himself to the doctor. The resident doctor said that including him, there were now three doctors. Dr. Lao Wang had just returned to the city to deal with his divorce. Now there were only the two of them. Of course, although this place is remote, 
the equipment is not lacking in anything, and it completely meets the standards of a first-class hospital. As long as you want to stay, there will be so many surgeries that you won't be able to finish them all. In the following days, Shang Shui Ming also felt the feeling of being a doctor. He couldn't count the number of minor surgeries he had performed. The villagers were also very grateful, and he received gifts such as country eggs, old hens, and all sorts of other things. Shang Shui Ming was overjoyed when everyone called him doctor. But he also had something to worry about. An old man asked him if he could perform major surgeries so that the people of Bachi wouldn't have to go to the city anymore. Shang Shui Ming suddenly had an idea. He couldn't perform major surgeries, but Dr. Lang could. All he had to do was invite him before the surgery. Thinking of this, Shang Shui Ming couldn't sit still anymore, and went straight to Lang Ran's house to discuss this with him. But when he met Lang Ran, Shang Shui Ming was still a little timid. After all, the equipment in his house was even better than the equipment in his Bachi hospital, so why would he need to go there? Lang Ran asked Shang Shui Ming what he had come to see him for while suturing a patient. Shang Shui Ming didn't beat around the bush, he came to Dr. Lang to ask for help, and I hope you can come and help me perform surgery. Lang Ran suddenly became interested. Where do you want to perform the surgery? To be more specific, I'm currently assigned to the Bachi Branch Hospital. There's a shortage of doctors there. Can you send two people to our branch hospital on a regular basis to help us with surgeries? Lang Ran asked cautiously. How is your equipment? How many beds do you have? How is the operating room and the nurses? Shang Shui Ming replied, there are 20 beds, 5 nurses. The equipment is enough for abdominal surgery, and the surgical supplies can be obtained by contacting the pharmaceutical representatives. Lang Ran suddenly became interested. 20 beds was not a small number. If it is fully utilized, it can also meet the needs of two attending physicians. Shang Shui Ming thought about Lang Ran's surgical efficiency. 20 beds were not enough. He had to save some, so he quickly corrected himself. Now 10 beds can be used. Lang Ran naturally did not refuse. And now he just wanted to perform more surgeries. 10 beds could barely be arranged for a full day. And it would be a waste not to use them. So who did he want to perform the other ordinary surgeries? Shang Shui Ming gritted his teeth and said, It would be best if we could invite Dr. Zhang Andan. As long as Dr. Lang agrees, I will go and negotiate with Dr. Zhang, and I will beg him to come even if I have to. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran said, It's okay, I'll call him. It's no problem. Lang Ran quickly ended the call. Zhang Andan had already agreed, and he could find him to discuss it at any time. Shang Shui Ming was surprised and opened his mouth wide. The emergency department arranged for hepatobiliary surgery, and Dr. Lang only needed to say a word. It was so simple that it was indescribable. Dr. Lang, you can continue working. I'll go ahead. I brought some local specialties and left them at the front desk. You can take them home after work. Looking at the old hen that was still alive and kicking, Lang Ran froze on the spot. Fortunately, the phone rang at this moment. It was time to go to the hospital. System, help me calculate my current ranking for cholecystectomy. The system replied, your ranking in Yun Hua is 2380th. Performing 3 to 10 surgeries can move you up one rank. There are more than 20 tertiary hospitals in Yun Hua, which means that there are 100 people who are better than you at cholecystectomy, and who are better than you. It seems that I have to continue working hard. The system is becoming more and more advanced, and now it can not only scan rankings, but also open treasure chests. After speaking, Lang Ran went to Zhang Andan's office. Dr. Lang, why are you looking for me? Are you going to Bachi now? Not this. I came here to tell you about the future. Arrange some more cholecystectomies for me. There aren't many surgeries to arrange for you. I'm sorry, Dr. Zhang. I forgot that you are now a marginal figure, and it's not easy to arrange a surgery. Dr. Lang, you are so heartless. I haven't been ostracized to that extent yet. Tomorrow, the hepatectomy will begin, and I will arrange a cholecystectomy for you now. So that night, Lang Ran happily performed three cholecystectomies. Lu Wenbin, today is the hepatectomy and the Achilles tendon repair surgery. Let's try to do it quickly. Boss, when you say that, does it mean that there are other arrangements? Dr. Lang didn't even have time to reply when he heard Dr. Zhang calling him from behind. Dr. Zhang, what's the matter? Didn't we schedule our surgery as the third one today? So that's how it is. I told you. The boss is in a hurry to go to the hepatobiliary department for surgery. Dr. Lang, I'm here to introduce you to this person. This is Dr. Chu from the gastroenterology department, who was my teacher before. Dr. Lang, I've watched a few of your surgeries, and I have something to ask you for help with this time. The liver of my patient has started to bleed profusely, and even gauze can't stop the bleeding. 
Dr. Lang, we really have no other choice. Can you spare three, four minutes to take a look? Can you guys confirm 100% that it is liver bleeding and not gastrointestinal bleeding? Dr. Lang, I can assure you that it is liver bleeding. I have observed the gastrointestinal tract carefully, and there is no bleeding problem. The patient's blood clotting function is also not good. Compared to when we performed the surgery, the difference is too great. Gastric varices are mostly caused by portal hypertension. At this time, Dr. Chu from the gastroenterology department also said that it was portal hypertension. This further proves Dr. Lang's thinking. In this situation, the patient is in great danger. Dr. Lang, we really have no other choice. Even our director doesn't know what to do. So he asked Dr. Zhang to find you. Such a major surgery is really difficult for an attending physician to perform. Even the director's level couldn't save him, but he let Dr. Lang go to clean up the mess. It's clear that Director Liu has failed the surgery and wants Dr. Chu to take the blame. Liu Wenbin reacted quickly and signaled Lang Ren not to go. But it was obvious that Dr. Lang had already agreed. He had already opened his phone and sent a notification to postpone the surgery. Liu Wenbin, don't stand here anymore. Go find Yu Yuan quickly. But Lang Ran didn't notice Dr. Liu's warning. Take me to see it. So Dr. Lang postponed his own surgery. Follow me to the gastroenterology department. On the way, Dr. Lang asked Dr. Chu to call the operating room there first to ask about the situation now. The phone connected immediately. Dr. Lang is next to me now. I'll turn on the speakerphone. How is the patient now? He has already lost 2,000 milliliters of blood. We have filled a glass jar. When we arrived at the door of the operating room, Dr. Chu quickly told everyone, Dr. Lang has also arrived at the operating room. Lang Ran directly put his hand into the patient's abdomen, which shocked everyone. They murmured in their hearts, isn't this the Lang Ran from the legend? He said something and then directly took action. It seems too reckless no matter how you look at it. Dr. Chu asked in a low voice, Dr. Lang. How is it? Do you need me to help? Lang Ran said calmly, no need. I've already found the bleeding point. The patient is in critical condition now. Especially now that it is still a timed surgery in the abdomen. Time cannot be delayed even for a second. The condition must be diagnosed immediately. Dr. Lang closed his eyes and started the system. Found the bottle of potassium permanganate skills. The medicine has appeared. All skills have increased by one. Lasting 10 seconds. Before, there was only normal 10 second medicine which was really not used much. Now it is just right to use it. The problem has been found immediately. Dr. Lang said that the left liver should be removed. Everyone doubted that Dr. Lang had only touched it for one second. How could he have diagnosed a complete removal? Although these doctors are high level, they have never experienced liver surgery. Now the patient's life is the most important thing. There is no need to explain to them. In order to find the bleeding point, they had already cut open the abdomen, and the liver blood vessels had already been blocked. Now only the liver can be removed. Why didn't Dr. Lang explain anything before removing the patient's liver? What kind of operation is this? No one would believe this speed if they hadn't seen it with their own eyes. After a series of very smooth operations, the patient's left liver has been successfully removed. The speed was so fast that even Director Liu was shocked. He thought he was knowledgeable, but he had never seen anyone remove a liver in 10 seconds. Dr. Lang really felt the patient's condition with his hands, and completed the operation in 10 seconds. It's ridiculous. My job is done. The next job of using gauze to stop the bleeding will be handed over to you. Director Liu thought to himself, fortunately, the patient did not die on the operating table. Dr. Chu, after you send the patient to the intensive care unit, give me a call. Yes, thank you today, Dr. Lang. Lang Ran said frankly, no need to see me off. I'll go back quickly to finish the surgery for the patient. When you go out, tell Dr. Zhang to call the hospital to ask about the surgery there. In the past 10 seconds, I could have saved a life. I'm sure I can do even better in the future. Dr. Zhang, what are you doing? I haven't you called Yu Yuan yet. Dr. Lang, the incident just now happened suddenly. I didn't ask for permission before I recorded a video of your surgery. Dr. Lang, can I show this video to others, so that everyone can learn from it together? This surgery was so fast. It was so fast that it was beyond my comprehension. It's just an emergency liver resection. It's not impossible to let others know. You can show it to others. After that, this matter spread throughout the hospital, and everyone was amazed. As far as I know, whether at home or abroad, the legendary doctor who performed the fastest liver resection took at least three minutes. I didn't expect that our Yunhua hospital would actually have a genius doctor who could remove a liver in 10 seconds. Now, all the doctors and interns in the department want to follow Dr. Lang to perform surgery. If this continues, won't they all become his people? It's time to take action. Call a few people here. 
I'm sure you know what I want to talk about. Our hepatobiliary department is now the underdog. Don't you care about taking care of more? Now, our surgeries are all starting to be divided by Dr. Lang. This kid is only 20 years old, and he fights to perform gallbladder removal surgery every day. If Director Huo retires, won't the emergency department fall into his hands? That's right. This Lang Ran also wants to set up his own ICU. The way he said it, wouldn't we be merged with the emergency department at that time? It's better not to provoke him. At that time, we will speak nicely. Tell us that the operating room in our department is quite stressful. When it comes to this, he can't target us anymore. A few days later, there were many patients in the hospital corridor, and everyone seemed to be looking for Dr. Lang. These patients or their families may have come to find Dr. Lang. That day we had a meeting to talk about it. Did you tell him? Director, I presented his original words. But Dr. Lang still wants to stay in our department. The director's words stimulated him even more. In the hepatobiliary department, I performed cholecystectomy for a month. Boss, I feel that after this month of training, my surgical speed is much faster than before. Lu Wenbin, were you distracted just now? Quickly focus on the surgery. Ta Zidian hurriedly shouted, Dr. Lang, there is an emergency in the emergency department. Then I heard Director Huo give the order. The ambulance will arrive at the emergency gate in 10 minutes. Everyone prepare to receive the car. This is a major car accident. In other words, we now have only 10 minutes to complete this cholecystectomy. Boss, do we need to call Zhang Andan to perform the cholecystectomy? There's no one in the emergency department. How are we going to get through this? We'll finish the cholecystectomy first. Zhang Andan won't be here in half an hour. According to the timer, the surgery is about to start. Dr. Lang concentrated and handed me the titanium clip. Five minutes later, Dr. Lang had removed the clip, and the basic surgery was complete. Although I had witnessed Dr. Lang's speed before, this speed was even faster than I felt. Dr. Ta, my job is done. The rest is up to you. I'll go to the emergency center first. If there's anything, contact the hepatobiliary department. As soon as I walked out of the operating room, I heard Yu Yuan say, total of four patients, one critically ill, one seriously injured, and the other two are not much better. Dr. Lang asked, what's the condition of the injured now? The critically ill patient has an open abdominal injury. The seriously injured patient has bleeding in many places, and the other two patients have multiple fractures throughout their bodies. At this time, Lang Ran reminded, everyone wear double layers of gloves. Due to the emergency, the patient did not have time for blood tests. Absolutely no occupational exposure is allowed. The condition of these patients is very critical. Quickly contact the orthopedics department and the neurosurgery department to come for consultation. Yu Yuan received the order. Immediately said yes, I'll contact them right away. A nurse ran over and told Dr. Lang that there were three more patients, and they would arrive at the emergency department in 30 seconds. At this time, Dr. Lang activated his physical examination skills, and immediately saw that the patient's spleen was ruptured, and his liver was also ruptured. Boss, should the patient be transferred to the general surgery department or the hepatobiliary department? Lang Ran said directly, no need, I'll do this surgery. Next, the emergency department sent the second patient, who also had a ruptured spleen. Testicular rupture, call the urology department for consultation. The last patient was also brought in. After Lang Ran's physical examination, it was found that this was the least injured person. Just send him to the treatment room for treatment. I'll do the two splenectomy surgeries first. Lang Ran's night training skills officially began. The patient had lost too much blood, and went into shock several times during the surgery. Lang Ran said to himself, the surgery must be done a little faster. At this moment, Dr. Ta suddenly ran over. Dr. Lang, I'm here to help you. Dr. Ta, you came at the right time. If you hear, my surgery can be done faster. The surgical time had passed 10 minutes, and the liver had been almost resected. And Dr. Lang handed over the finishing work to Dr. Ta. A hepatectomy is a major surgery after all. Dr. Lang could actually complete it in 10 minutes. It's like a fighter jet. At this moment, someone shouted loudly at the door of the operating room. The general surgery department, quickly go to the next operating room. Hearing this, Lang Ran hurriedly asked, what's the situation in the operating room next door now? At this time, the resident Dr. Jung Pei replied, the blood loss has reached 1,500 milliliters. This was the first time that Dr. Jung Pei had performed the surgery himself, and he was so nervous that he was sweating profusely. Dr. Lang comforted him gently to relax him. After careful observation, Lang Ran found the bleeding point, and he immediately activated his manual hemostasis skill and asked Dr. Jung Pei to pull the incision on the patient's abdomen open. These words surprised Dr. Jung. Dr. Lang explained that the situation was very critical, so we should save as much 
much time as possible to help the patient keep his testicles. Dr. Lang, if you hadn't told me, I would have forgotten about this. It seems that I still have a lot to learn in terms of handling emergency patients alone. After Dr. Lang quickly treated the spleen, the next step should be to treat the testicles. At this moment, Lang Ran's phone rang. It was inconvenient to answer the phone, so he had to ask someone else to answer it for him. Boss, the emergency department said that there was another car accident. There are a total of three people, two seriously injured and one slightly injured, and they will be sent to the emergency center in a few minutes. It seems that I don't have time to treat this patient's testicles. Jung Pei, call the urology department to come and treat them. The general surgery department dropped their work and prepared to go with me to receive the car. Doctor, save me, save me, come and see me quickly. Don't worry, aunt. Doctors are all here, and they will treat each of the injured. After Dr. Lang's physical examination, it was found that the injured person's blood pressure was stable. The amount of blood loss was not much. The orthopedics department can be contacted for consultation. Suddenly, Dr. Lang saw an aunt. He quickly called her back and told her to lie down so that he could check her. Auntie, tears, trembling all over. Just now, the emergency personnel said that I didn't have any external injuries, and that there was nothing to worry about, so I don't need to bother the doctor. You should go and help others. Although there are no serious external injuries, it must not be as simple as a scratch. Doctor, what do you mean by that? Don't joke with me. Doctor, please check me quickly. Dr. Lang activated his physical examination skill, and found that her abdomen was indeed bleeding internally. Doctor, what is internal bleeding? I've never heard of it. Internal bleeding means that the blood in your abdomen is flowing out. So just lie here and don't move around. It must be because the liver was affected when the car collided. I'll do whatever the doctor says. Please save me. Don't worry, auntie. Don't say anything from now on, and start conserving your strength. We'll prepare for surgery in a while. I don't know when it was, but a night had already passed. The next morning, when Director Huo came to work, he met two directors from other departments. This young man, Lang Ran, has arranged the car accident cases very well. His ability to control the situation is at least at the level of an associate director. If that's the case, then we can sleep better in the next few nights. Old Huo, I'm not joking with you. Just think about it. If this emergency situation can be arranged so well every time, then how much more relaxed can we be? I don't have time to chat with you. If there's nothing important, then I'll go first. Director Huo came to the door of the doctor's office and said, Dr. Joe, come over here for a moment. Director Huo, if you have anything to tell me, just say it. Last night, Lang Ran arranged the work in the emergency room very well. We should reward him a little. So, you go and find a few pharmaceutical companies, and arrange for Lang Ran to attend a medical conference. Dr. Joe still didn't quite understand, and continued to ask Director Huo which medical conference he was referring to. The director smiled. Of course it's the kind that can make him famous. That kid takes shifts for you guys every day, and he doesn't know how to advertise himself. I'm more anxious for him than he is. Dr. Joe suddenly felt shocked. The director was determined to promote Lang Ran. Lang Ran will definitely become famous in the future. At this moment, the representative of the pharmaceutical company also arrived. He followed Dr. Joe's instructions, and brought a series of activities sponsored by the company. After all, they had to rely on the hospital to make a living. As long as the doctor had a request, they not only had to do it, but they also had to do it quickly and well. Gao Meng immediately introduced them to Dr. Zhou. The most recent event was the cardiology conference next month. There was also the abdominal exhibition, the laparoscopic endoscopy conference, but neither of these were suitable for Lang Ran. Lang Ran is best at liver resection. Is there a conference like this? Gao Meng replied with a bitter expression. If it were another surgery, I would try my best to find one for you, but liver resection is really not easy to find. Dr. Zhou also knew that liver resection was difficult to find. The main reason is that the surgical consumables are not very expensive. So pharmaceutical companies don't make much profit and naturally won't organize it. But this was a task assigned by Director Huo. So even if the pharmaceutical company didn't want to organize it, this time they had to force them to find a way. Dr. Joe sneered and said, let's go back and discuss it further. I can see your company's capabilities, and I trust you by choosing you. Gao Meng broke out in a cold sweat. This professional conference would cost at least hundreds of thousands. If it wasn't in the company's plan, then the future would not be bright. But he didn't dare to refuse. So he could only discuss with Dr. Zhou that he would go back and do some more research. Gao Meng stood up and left, and even his back looked more listless. As soon as Dr. Zhou opened his mouth, he knew it was a losing business. That afternoon, 
Gao Meng received a call from a sales representative saying that Yunhua had just notified them that they would temporarily stop accepting his company's hormones. Director Gao was immediately nervous, and quickly questioned loudly. Why? Who gave the order? The person on the other end of the line answered with a trembling voice. Vice President Chu of Yunhua said it himself, and the specific reason is still unknown. Gao Meng suddenly came to his senses, and thought of what Dr. Zhou had said. He wanted to specifically ask them to prepare for a liver resection conference, and it must have something to do with this. Vice President just talked to me about ordering the discontinuation of the drug. And is this the intention of the higher-ups of the city hospital? Gao Meng was very worried at this time. Once the drug was discontinued, the company would definitely go bankrupt. If the company goes bankrupt, how will he support his family? He can only swallow his pride. As long as he still uses our medicine, he has to make the conference really grand. Lang Ran received a notice to go to the CT room to find Dr. Zhou. Dr. Zhou told him that a beautiful girl had come to find him. She was from the organizing committee of the Asian Hepatobiliary Research Conference, and she had come specifically to invite Lang Ran to participate in the conference to demonstrate liver resection surgery. Lang Ran was also surprised. The conference sounded very grand. Why did they suddenly invite me to do a demonstration surgery? Who recommended it? The vice president and director Huo of your hospital strongly recommended you, and our organizing committee unanimously agreed. Everyone thought that it was most appropriate to let Dr. Lang do it. Lang Ran is talented and courageous. Of course he wouldn't be polite. When young people have the opportunity to advance, who would step back? The conference quickly arrived. The attendees were a little doubtful. This time, the scale seems to be very large. Are there any foreign experts participating? Gao Meng nervously commanded his subordinates, not only urging everyone to check the equipment urgently, but also instructing them to have enough water on the chairs. Dr. Zhou was also present. Someone asked if Lang Ran was ready. Dr. Zhou said, you have to ask Dr. Shaw. Shaw Zidian said, Dr. Lang is ready in the operating room. As soon as the time is determined, the surgery will begin immediately. At this time, the nurse reminded Dr. Lang to prepare to wear headphones. When Lang Ran heard that the anesthesia was done, he immediately ordered the start of the intrahepatic bile duct stone resection surgery. The details of the surgery were projected on the big screen. The attendees could see at a glance that the chief surgeon was very fast, but they were shocked. Such a hard liver cirrhosis was directly separated. This surgery is a bit too much. Almost everyone was very surprised. The chief surgeon's technique seems to be very proficient. They even wanted to watch a few more cases, and they would definitely learn a lot. At this time, Gao Meng suggested that there would be a meeting after this surgery for everyone to exchange more information. Seeing that the audience's reaction was very good, Gao Meng was very happy in his heart. The restoration of the drug supply was about to succeed. Lang Ran's surgery was quickly completed. The audience spoke up one after another. Some asked questions and some praised. In short, Everyone praised Lang Ran endlessly. Some even took out their phones to record videos as teaching materials for the doctors in their own places to learn from. There were also some who directly invited Lang Ran to their provincial hospitals to perform surgeries. Some also wanted to arrange for patients to come to Yunhua Hospital. After all, Provincial hospitals don't do many liver resections, and many hospitals are just starting to do them. Lang Ran didn't refuse. It was fine to be a flying knife, and it was fine to send patients over, as long as they made arrangements in advance. One sentence triggered a new mission. 10,000 more recognitions will be rewarded with an intermediate treasure chest, but 10,000 people is really a bit too much. The system is a bit too much. The hepatobiliary research conference ended well, and many provinces continued to send patients over for liver resection surgery. Seeing Lang Ran standing at the door in deep thought, Dr. Liu couldn't help but ask if there were too many out-of-town patients. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran said something very surprising. Actually, there are too few patients, but the emergency center is almost full. There are still too few, and it's not just our hospital doing the surgeries, but also the number two affiliated hospital. Also reserved the hepatobiliary department for you to be a flying knife. Lang Ran changed the way he spoke. Instead of saying that there were few, he said that it was slow. This progress was far behind the mission. Liu Wenbin was completely confused. No matter how the boss spoke, he couldn't understand. The mission progress is slow again. Lang Ran suddenly asked, Do you know any way to get others to recognize you quickly? Liu Wenbin said that this was too simple. The boss just needed to do a few demonstration surgeries for the entire Xixiang province. Lang Ran didn't think so. He had also performed an Achilles tendon surgery demonstration before, and there were even quite a few foreign patients, but it was still far from being known by everyone. Liu Wenbin suddenly called Wang Jia, Come here quickly. 
I have a task for you. Think about how to help the boss get recognized by others quickly. Wang Jia said, this is too simple. Just go on TV. I've seen many famous doctors participate in TV shows, and then they suddenly became famous. Moreover, Dr. Lang is handsome, and if he puts on a white coat and shows off his superb skills, he will definitely be more attractive than a star. Lang Ran couldn't help but mutter in his heart. Going on TV is not credible. Remember those doctors who sell medicine on the street. I don't know why they can be recognized by others. Lu Wenbin said, said, boss, you don't need to go on TV either. Think about the patients you cured when you went to the emergency room. Who wouldn't recognize you? Lang Ran felt a sense of enlightenment when he heard this. Lu Wenbin was right. Instead of pursuing difficult surgeries, it was better to do more common treatments. Curing minor injuries such as broken hands and scratches would also make the patients very happy. Isn't that the recognition that I want? It seems that I was too stubborn. The system didn't ask me to be recognized by doctors. Then I'll go to the emergency room more often. And I'll be recognized by the patients. Lu Wenbin was shocked when he heard this. Boss, if you go to the emergency room, what will happen to the liver resection surgeries? You can't stay in the emergency room for too long. Lang Ran had already made a decision. I must go to the emergency room. If there are too many surgeries, then I'll just schedule them for the evening. The two of them still didn't understand after hearing this. Dr. Lang is really hard to understand. But on second thought, it's true. If we could understand him, would he still be called the boss? Lang Ran quickly went to the emergency room lobby and asked the nurse on duty what kind of patients there were at the moment. The nurse answered honestly. They were all common patients, with head injuries, sprains, or scratches on their legs. Lang Ran was not picky, so he just picked a patient. He was going to stitch up the wound of a child. The first patient was a little girl, hiding in her mother's arms and crying incessantly. Lang Ran chatted with the little girl, and quickly stitched up the wound. The little girl gradually quieted down. A moment after the stitches were finished, the mother kept praising how beautiful the stitches were, and that it was obvious that there would be no scar. Lang Ran looked for the next patient, and unexpectedly, it was a beautiful girl, who seemed to be live streaming. The girl blushed when she saw Lang Ran's handsome face, and the comment section immediately exploded. How come there's such a handsome doctor? Which hospital is this? I want to go see him. At this moment, Lang Ran was completely unaware, and was still examining the patient's wound. She had only sprained her ankle, and it was wasn't serious. He told the girl not to worry, prescribed some topical medication for her, and said that she would be able to walk in a few days. As a result, the girl didn't care about the wound on her leg, and instead asked if she could take a video with Lang Ran. Lang Ran was startled. The mission progress had suddenly increased by 100. Perhaps it was because she was filming the video. So he turned to the girl and said, it's okay to film, but be careful not to hurt your leg. Then he continued to stitch up the wound of the next patient. Unexpectedly, before he could finish stitching, the mission Mission progress increased by a few dozen more, and it seemed that it was all thanks to the short video. A nurse rushed over and shouted, Dr. Lang, what's wrong? Is something wrong? There are a few new people over there. Their conditions are simple, nosebleeds and fishbone stuck in the throat, and swelling. Next, Lang Ran didn't complain at all, and he appeared before the patients, and treated many patients with minor illnesses, but Lang Ran still didn't know that the girl behind him had filmed these scenes. Oh my god, no matter how you look at it, he's so handsome, and he looks handsome no matter what he does. The comments from his fans on his phone are so beautiful, I'm blind now, oh my god, he's so handsome. Oh my god, no. I have to share such a handsome guy with everyone. But when Lang Ran turned around, he saw that the girl was still filming. Why haven't you left yet? I'm about to get off work. It seems like you're sicker than them. Doctor, don't worry. Can I come and film you again in the future? Lang Ran refused. No. It's against the rules to come to the emergency room to film all the time. She hurriedly explained. I don't film often. But it's not like today. Just occasionally like this. Can you share with us some common sense knowledge that we should pay attention to in our daily lives? It doesn't affect your work. And it can also help the patients. So it's good. Lang Ran happily agreed. Hello everyone. See you next time. You will see this handsome guy often. Remember to pay attention to it. The power of short videos is really amazing. The 10,000 person mission was quickly completed. Now that the mission is complete, it's time to open the intermediate treasure chest. After opening the treasure chest, the reward surprised Lang Ran greatly. What is this new concept of a virtual person? Is it AR technology? I might as well try it out and see if it works. Lang Ran actually let it become a dictionary. Then he ordered the old man to show me your arm. Oh. 
but the more I look at it, the more embarrassed I get. The old man is not wearing any clothes, and it looks a bit disgusting. Lang Ran couldn't bear to look anymore, or he would have to restore it to its original state, looking at the remaining time that the system reminded him of. So I can turn the virtual person into anyone I want to turn it into for up to 3 hours and 59 minutes. If the virtual person and the situation encountered during the surgery are exactly the same, then it will save you a little bit with your speed. 4 hours can simulate 8 surgeries, maybe even more. Lang Ran praised the system. This reward is pretty good. But soon after, the system gave another mission. Lang Ran complained, I really shouldn't have praised it. Missions just keep coming. The system is different from before. It seems that I don't need to get off work today. He went back to the counter and instructed the nurse. Just let me take care of the simple patients. I'm on duty here tonight. Yes. Dr. Lang is very abrupt, but he is still very much like Dr. Lang. Next, Lang Ran was also very busy. A few hours later, he thought he had seen about 20 or 25 patients, but the system showed that he had only seen three. Why is the mission progress so slow? He was looking forward to the intermediate treasure chest. Could it be that it extended the time of the virtual person? If so, that would be great. Dr. Ta walked in and found that Lang Ran was still there. Dr. Lang, why are you still in the treatment room? But Lang Ran noticed a wound on Lao Ta's hand. He rushed over with his surgical forceps. Dr. Ta, your hand is injured. Let me treat it for you. Dr. Ta couldn't understand Lang Ran's actions. After treating Lao Ta's wound, the system showed that four rounds had been completed. So that's what it meant. Treating patients literally. It had to be completely painless to count as completing the mission. It seemed that this mission would take a lot of time. And he couldn't rush it. Lang Ran looked at Lao Ta again. And their eyes met. He recalled this familiar scene. Lang Ran wanted to dig a hole and bury himself in it. Lao Ta didn't understand what was wrong with Dr. Lang today. Fortunately, Lang Ran's phone rang and saved him from this embarrassing situation. Hang Shui Ming sent a message to Lang Ran, asking Dr. Lang to help the wife of the director of the Water Conservancy Bureau. At this time, a car was speeding on the highway. Dr. Hang, what should we do now? The bleeding is still too much. Trust me, the doctor at Yunhua can handle it easily. The wife of the director of the Water Conservancy Bureau said that the anesthetic injection would affect her intelligence, and that she would never take an anesthetic injection. The director was also in a dilemma. Trust me, the doctor at Yunhua can definitely cure it. As soon as Dr. Hang arrived at the hospital, he found that Dr. Ta was already waiting there. Dr. Ta, the patient only has mild hypertension, no history of allergies, had appendicitis surgery. Don't worry, the operating room is ready for you. Go straight in, Dr. Lang is waiting for you. There is also a patient who requests not to be anesthetized. How can it be possible not to be anesthetized? It's just a finger cut anyway. Oh, Dr. Lang is here. Dr. Hang, go in. Lang Ran and Dr. Hang greeted each other. I'm embarrassed to be called that. Oh, right. How is the patient? The finger was reattached with sutures, and the severed finger was treated with great ease. If you're not afraid of pain, you don't need an anesthetic. After surgery, the patient will be able to recover function and may be able to recover as before. It really has to be left to Dr. Lang. After the surgery was completed, how is the situation at Bachi? It's pretty good. Thanks to Dr. Lang's arrangement for Zhang Andan to come to the surgery, many problems have been solved, but our place is quite far away. Patients with appendicitis and cholecystitis all have to be kept. What about laparoscopic surgery? According to Dr. Zhang, he has done dozens of cases, and I have learned quite a lot. Actually, it's like this, Dr. Lang. This time I came here on purpose to say that our hospital has a charity clinic in remote areas every year. I would like to ask if you could help us get a place for Bachi. What do you mean? Send a few people to Bachi town to see a doctor for two weeks. Send the complicated tests back. Prescribe the medicines that can be prescribed. Those who need to be hospitalized will be hospitalized. One or two weeks will be enough to help the people get rid of many diseases. Don't worry, we will do it. That's great. Just wait for my news. I will ask Director Huo to help gather the team. Lang Ran took the initiative to ask to go to the charity clinic, and then felt that this was a good thing. Very encouraging. Besides, we can also participate together. Director Shaw, won't the Department of Hepatobiliary Surgery go with us? Lao Ha probably wants to take advantage of Lang Ran's absence to do more liver resection surgeries. The whole group laughed, but Lao Ha remained silent, only caring about smoking. You guys can't say that. We're not snatching Lao Ha's patients. Now the patients who come to Lang Ran are all referred by local hospitals. As soon as he finished speaking, 
Director Shaw looked at him with contempt. Let's not talk about this for now. Lang Ran is young and has no experience in seeing patients. You old men in the departments, send someone to help him. Let's continue to discuss the administrative and logistical work of the charity clinic. In the following week, Director Huo was busy organizing the transportation of equipment, calibrating and repairing equipment, and had to calculate the consumables to be prepared. Lang Ran saw that everyone had arrived. Let's go. Two cars drove on the road to Bachi Town. Dr. Shang, we're on our way. Great, Dr. Lang. I'll pick you up at the entrance of the village. Shang Shui Ming had just arrived at the entrance of the village when he saw Dr. Lang and the others arriving. He shouted excitedly, Dr. Lang. But the cars just drove past. Oh my, Dr. Lang, you're a bit too much. Looking at the neatly arranged instruments, it seems that the entire Yunhua Emergency Center has been brought here. Shang Shui Ming, where did you run off to? I just went to pick up everyone, but I didn't see you anywhere. Don't tell me you called people over and then ran off to play. No way. I really waited at the entrance of the village to pick everyone up. You weren't at the entrance of the village. Shang Shui Ming blushed. Then Dr. Lang, where is he? He's not not coming, is he? Are you kidding me? He came and went straight to the operating room. Oh, then I'll go find Dr. Lang first. As soon as Shang Shui Ming opened his mouth, Lang Ran said, don't worry, I brought everything I could bring. This charity clinic will be no problem. He was so moved that he was about to cry. Dr. Lang, you care about me so much. The equipment has almost been calibrated. Let's go to the clinic. Dr. Lang, are you also in charge of seeing patients? Of course, every doctor in the charity clinic is assigned to see patients. At this time, there were many people crowded in the clinic. Look, there's a handsome doctor. Let's go to him to see a doctor. You fool, you have to find an older doctor. The older the doctor, the more skilled he is. A young doctor is definitely a cover, probably useless. Soon after, the old chief doctor was immediately surrounded. An elderly person couldn't squeeze in. And seeing that no one was paying attention to Lang Ran, he thought that the work in the field was still waiting to be done. So he might as well see a doctor where there was no one. Doctor, please examine me. I sometimes have a stomachache after eating, but I don't know why. I can't see it, so I have to have a physical examination first. If it hurts, you must say so. How can it hurt? I haven't eaten yet, so it can't hurt. Any tingling sensation must be mentioned. If you feel any pain, don't try to endure it. Lang Ran put his hand on the patient's stomach. You have pain two hours after eating, right? That's right. No, can you guess this? That's pretty good. You have a gastric ulcer. I'll give you two test orders to confirm it again. Although it's not serious, you should take technical intervention measures. How could this be possible? I work in the fields every day. My body is very healthy. How could I have such a serious illness? Stress, fatigue, irregular eating, changes in weather, or smoking and drinking can all cause and aggravate gastric ulcers. You must pay more attention. If gastric ulcers are not treated properly, once they bleed or perforate, the stomach may have to be removed. There is also a risk of it turning into a malignant tumor. Gastric ulcers have a risk of becoming cancerous, but the probability is relatively low. In general, it is less than 3. I suggest you go to the gastroenterology department. The gastroenterology department is over there. Go and confirm it. The doctor has confirmed it. It's early stage gastric ulcer now. It's not serious. If you treat it now, you won't get cancer. You're amazing. You can tell by just rubbing it twice, as if you were using a measuring device. What should I call you? This is Dr. Lang, who is in charge of this charity clinic. Oh, no wonder. Everyone, come here quickly. Dr. Lang is in charge. He's very accurate in his diagnosis. Oh, look. Just now you were saying to find a doctor to see a doctor. Hurry up, there's no one there yet. Hurry up. In a moment, Dr. Lang's side was surrounded by people. As the day went by, Lang Ran's name spread throughout Bachi Town. In the hospital lounge, we, the people of Bachi Town, are really blessed. It's hard for Dr. Lang to come to Bachi Town to see a doctor. Don't be so polite. Speak up. What's the matter? Oh, Dr. Lang has guessed it. Ha ha, Dr. Lang. I heard that you know Academician Zhu from the Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Department, right? Yes, that's right. What's the matter? It's about that. Can you introduce me? What kind of introduction is this? The wife of the county magistrate has synovitis, and has gone to the best medical center for treatment, but in a foreign land. Although she used her connections to make an appointment with a specialist, after some consideration, it would be better if Academician Zhu could take a look at it if possible. Director Zhu hasn't seen a patient for a long time. I know all this. If Dr. Lang could invite Academician Zhu to take a look at the situation, the county magistrate and the others would be more at ease. Actually, the county magistrate doesn't necessarily have to look for him. It's just 
just synovitis of the knee joint. Anyone can do it. That's true. But when you're sick, you're in a hurry. It's mainly because you're carrying a pig's head but can't make an offering. If we calculate it according to the surgery price, it's quite expensive to ask him to do it. Academician Jew's surgery price is not cheap. It is estimated that the friendly price is between 70,000 and 80,000. 70,000 to 80,000 is not a problem. Okay, I'll text him and ask for you. That's great. Thank you. I'll bring you some of the local specialty fish tonight. It's delicious. A few hours later in Shanghai, she is the wife of the county magistrate, the synovitis patient, Dao Lu. This is the famous academician Zhu. Let's see if she can get up. Dao Lu had to be helped up by her son. You've had an MRI and a CT scan, and you've always been treated conservatively, right? Yes, at the moment it's mainly too painful. I'm about to be unable to take care of myself. I've tried both Chinese and Western medicine, but neither walking nor taking medicine has any effect now. If I increase the dosage, the side effects will be greater. I want to have surgery to restore myself to the way I was when I was young. That's not possible, but you can still walk and take care of yourself daily. Academician Zhu, if you think I should have surgery, I'll do it. Synovitis surgery is very simple. Just do the joint. The wound is small, and the recovery is fast. But I have a question. Since it was introduced by Lang Ran, why not ask him to do it? His technique is much better than mine. As soon as he finished speaking, the lady was shocked and couldn't keep calm. She exclaimed, what? You're not kidding. Lu Weishan was my patient before. After the surgical plan was determined, he was transferred to Lang Ran for the main surgery. Oh my god, I traveled thousands of miles to Shanghai to find a good doctor. Why don't you two find out more? If you still want me to do it, I will. If you have any other ideas, we can talk about it later. Academician Zhu, you've worked hard. I hope you don't take it to heart. My mother is a patient, so I hope you can understand. Oh, it's okay. I understand. Soon after, the two quickly ran away. Son, let's go back quickly. Let's go back to Bachi Town and find a better doctor. A few days later, Shang Shui Ming said, the County magistrate is here to inspect. Everyone, go out quickly. Shang Shui Ming greeted him warmly. County magistrate, welcome, welcome. County magistrate, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to visit our Dr. Lang. On behalf of the people and the government of the town, I would like to thank you. You don't have to thank me. Providing free medical care is something our hospital does every year. Dr. Lang has a very high level of consciousness. I heard that Dr. Lang is very good at sports medicine, and has even performed surgery on Lu Weishan. In theory, he has performed surgery on Lu Wei Chen, and I also heard that you performed liver resection surgery on Lao Mai. After listening to this, Lang Ran just smiled slightly and said nothing. The county magistrate understood immediately, Dr. Lang, I'm sure we'll have to trouble you again in the future. You're welcome. The leaders can just send the patient's diagnosis records in advance. The county magistrate's car drove away. I heard that the county magistrate's wife's synovitis is very serious, and may require immobilization of the knee joint. Is Dr. Lang sure about this? No matter how big or small the official is, the requirements are very high. You can't be subjective. These three skills are used to perform a synovitis of the knee joint. It's like a tank fighting a primitive man. There can be no mistakes. Let's not talk about this anymore. Let me see the progress of the task first. The task is half completed. It's really faster to come to the free clinic than to be in the treatment room. Let's continue to see patients. Dr. Lang is here. Please help me see a doctor. I came first. I've been in line for a long time. Doctor, save me. Help me. The shouting attracted everyone's attention. Dr. Lang. Miracle doctor, save me. My arm was cut. The artery is not cut. Save him quickly. He's dying. He's dying. Don't panic like that. The patient is still stable. Check again for any other injuries. Yu Yuan. Find a few calm people to ask about the patient's medical history. And the other family members should wait outside. Dr. Lang was seen cutting open the patient's shirt. And the bloody wound was exposed. Damn it. You have to hold on. No matter how big a deal it is in the future, I will never make trouble for you again. You must survive. It's just a skin wound. You won't die. Prepare to clean the wound and suture it. Is it okay to suture it like this? His hand won't be useless. The wound is not necrotic. It has been treated. Don't worry, it will definitely be fine. Your husband just needs a bandage. I'll go with you to do the paperwork. This is not my husband. I'm not going to do the paperwork. I'll wait until he wakes up and talk about it later. Damn it, you have to hold on. No matter how big a deal it is in the future, I will never make trouble for you again. What the hell is this? What is this information? It's such a headache. Do you see, everyone? A man is dying, but Dr. Lang saved him with just a few moves. Miracle doctor, this is a miracle doctor. You you on, go and deal with the rest, and you, stop gossiping. Come and see the patient with me. Another day of relief work has passed. Just as Lang Ran was about to sit down and rest, 
someone suddenly fainted. Sister, sister, doctor, come here quickly. What's wrong? What's going on? He said seriously. His heart has stopped beating. Get the defibrillator quickly. Today is a bit strange. It's all sudden incidents. Get out of the way quickly. Get out of the way quickly. Defibrillator. Defibrillator. Yu Yuan. Perform CPR. Everyone around. Please make some space. Yu Yuan immediately entered state 1. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Come on. Come on. Quick. 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 Insert the endotracheal tube. Even a miracle doctor is a human being. He definitely cannot go against the will of heaven. Life and death are determined by fate. Good people will be rewarded. You must hold on. Yu Yuan. Switch places with me. It's not good to have only one person performing CPR. Nurse, come here quickly. Inject two doses of adrenaline. Boss, do we need to defibrillate? Defibrillate at 200J. It's impossible. It worked. In Lang Ran's hands, she went around the underworld, and was finally pulled back here. I'm going crazy. She's been dead for almost 20 minutes and she's still alive. Dr. Lang is really amazing. He can bring people back from the dead. He can be compared to a miracle doctor. This is a living immortal. The villagers suddenly knelt down. Calling Lang ran a living immortal. Living immortal. Everyone stared at this scene. Isn't it too much? Don't be so stunned. Why don't you hurry up and help the villagers up? Don't be like this, villagers. Get up quickly. Get up quickly. This is just modern medicine. Dr. Lang asked everyone to get up. Just like that, the reputation of Dr. Lang, the miracle doctor, spread throughout the town overnight. Twenty hard beds have been set up, and now no more can be set up. It's the limit of the limit. This year's charity clinic is over here. We should go back to Yunhua Hospital. When Shang Shui Ming heard that Lang Ran was about to leave, he immediately bowed. Dr. Lang, on behalf of the hospital and the people of Ba Jai Town, I thank you. Everyone will not forget you. Oh, Dr. Shang, what are you doing? We will still come next year. The charity clinic ended perfectly. The Yunhua hospital car drove on the beautiful sunset road. Lang Ran, you guys are back. Come and take a picture. Why are you standing so far away? Lang Ran, come here. It's beautiful here. That's right. Everyone look here. Smile. Let's take a souvenir photo. This charity clinic in Ba Jai Town was a great success. As soon as Lang Ran returned to the hospital, a man walked straight up to him. Dr. Lang, you're finally back. Lang Ran didn't know who the other person was. It's my mother who has synovitis. I'm from Ba Jai. We didn't want to cut in line with the others. Anyway, my father is oh raw. My father is the county magistrate, Dr. Lang. You just came back. Could you please take a look and see if my mother can have surgery? Sure. Your mother will be the first case tomorrow. Before the chickens crow? So early. Is it really surgery at 3 a.m.? It's good to be able to have surgery. The family can rest assured. At this time, the doctor is in the best condition. Besides, it's Dr. Lang who is in charge anyway. Although I've heard a lot of legends about Dr. Lang, but I've never met anyone who likes to perform surgery in the middle of the night. Is Dr. Lang trying to use this time to find an excuse for his mistake? Oh, oh, I think I'm in danger. Son, what are you doing? Why are you out here? What's going on? Dr. Lang said it was a minor surgery. Local anesthesia could solve it. And now it's done. Besides, I feel pretty good. Oh, mom, it's only been a little while. It's still a minor surgery. When Dr. Lang went on his rounds in the morning, Dr. Lang, did something happen? It's only been a few minutes. How could it be done? Choosing Dr. Lang was the right choice. Look, even the national football team is waiting for Dr. Lang to perform surgery. I heard that Dr. Lang is the best in the country at Achilles tendon repair surgery. Ranked third in the world. Even a major surgery like Lu Wei Shen's didn't take much time. Lang Ran looked at the system panel. If it's Achilles tendon repair surgery, you're ranked fifth in the world, not third. What are you talking about? What does it matter if he performs surgery a little faster? What nonsense are you two talking about? Go apologize to Dr. Lang right now. The father and son realized they were wrong and bowed their heads to apologize to Lang Ran. Dr. Lang, I'm sorry. What's going on? Two days later, at a press conference, a national football team player said, his surgery only took one hour and 15 minutes. It only took one day to recover, and all my numbers are normal. Thank you to Lu Wei Shen for introducing me to Dr. Lang Ran from Yunhua Hospital for my treatment. He's very professional and excellent. Ranked third in the world. Not third, but fifth. The doctor ranked fifth in the world. Performed such a successful surgery on me. For details on the follow-up treatment, Please invite Dr. Lang to explain to everyone. But the reporters below have been waiting for a long time. Dr. Lang is still nowhere to be seen. Why can't we find Dr. Lang? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Dr. Lang said he wouldn't attend the press conference. On the other side, Lang Ran was leisurely organizing his documents. The great king has sent me to patrol the mountains. Lang Ran, 
hurry up and watch TV. That national football team player is thanking you. Now the chef has taught me how to make delicious braised pork. I'll bring it to you as a reward. How can braised pork be delicious? Secret. You'll know in five minutes. A helicopter flew over the hospital. Miss Tien, it's you. Miss Tien. Hello. You don't have to receive me. You guys keep working. Lang Ran. Come over here quickly. Open it up and take a look. Lang Ran walked towards Tian Chi. Well, it looks okay. Just in terms of color, it seems a bit interesting. Did you personally cook it? The chef did a small part of it. He told me to turn up the heat. I brought it over here as soon as it was done. The temperature is just right. Try it quickly. It's so fragrant. The smell is really irresistible. The smell of the mustard is also quite nice. It's really interesting. It's delicious. Finish it all. I'll eat it. But the phone rang at the wrong time. Dr. Lang, I have something I need your help with. My brother's daughter has postpartum hemorrhage. The local hospital couldn't stop the bleeding. You can stop postpartum hemorrhage. Shouldn't you find an obstetrician? But I trust you more when it comes to stopping bleeding. You're a doctor who heals the wounded. Dr. Lang, consider it bringing a dead horse back to life. Go ahead. Saving lives is important. The bleeding expert is here. It's the director of the obstetrics and gynecology department, Fang Ping Zhu. The ambulance will arrive in two, three minutes. Please wait a little longer. Expert, should we send the patient here or directly to the operating room? The patient is pregnant. No matter which surgery is performed, it's necessary to protect not only the mother, but also the unborn child. If there's an empty room in the obstetrics department, send her to the obstetrics department. Prepare a little more blood, and I'll examine the patient right away. Director Fang, you must inform the family that the patient's condition is very critical. The uterus may have to be removed. If the uterus has to be removed, please have Director Fang take the patient inside quickly. How much blood has the patient lost? 400 milliliters of blood has been lost through the vagina. Lang Ran said solemnly. Abdominal examination. Fang Ping Zhu nodded in agreement. Her hand pressed hard on her abdomen with difficulty. Then suddenly, a hand holding a scalpel appeared on her abdomen and slid down. Oh my god. The doctors and nurses in the obstetrics department were stunned. I can't understand this method. Dr. Fang was thinking about the possibility of a medical dispute occurring. Because the obstetrics department usually performs surgery, the patient would definitely not agree to such a long incision. Dr. Lang's long incision would be carefully blocked in the complaint office. If the patient can block it in the complaint office, then the incision is worth it. Are you director who owes student? Saving lives first, curing diseases later. But the environment now is not the same as director who owes environment before. But Lang Ran was not interested in answering her. He just helped the nurse draw blood faster, then put his hand into her abdomen to check carefully. Could this be the legendary handheld hemostasis? But soon after, Lang Ran suddenly stopped. As expected of an expert, he found it so quickly. He replied simply, there is no bleeding point. What kind of expert is this? The patient is bleeding heavily, but he says there is no bleeding point. Are you here to fool around? The handheld hemostasis technique is perfect, but if you can't feel the bleeding point, it means it's not intra-abdominal bleeding. How will Lang Ran respond? After the examination, the external organs were not bleeding either. Director Fang looked at Lang Ran and asked, What are you going to do now? Due to the patient's condition, I think this is a case of disseminated intravascular coagulation leading to uterine bleeding. So, it's not necessary to remove the uterus. Give me absorbable suture. As soon as he finished speaking, Director Fang was very surprised. What do you want to do with suture in the abdomen when there is so much dirty blood? The B. Lynch suture technique is one of the 10 specialized suture techniques for the uterus. It can effectively stop bleeding and preserve the uterus's reproductive capacity. Although Lang Ran had never practiced it before, it was not difficult to handle with his master suturing skills. Someone who can name this technique can definitely suture it. There is no doubt about it. Just as Lang Ran was about to suture, a hand suddenly pressed down hard. Dr. Lang, are you sure you can suture now? The patient already has a child. If you suspect uterine hemorrhage, the safest thing to do now is to remove the uterus. B. Lynch suture and hysterectomy are the same, but suturing has a better prognosis. Moreover, hysterectomy will cause women to suddenly go through menopause. Aren't you guys in the emergency department supposed to save lives before treating diseases? You're not sure about the extent of the internal bleeding. But if it's beyond the scope of suturing, the effect of B. Lynch suture is quite good. It can also save lives lives, although the probability is very low. The amount of blood loss is already very high. If the B. Lynch suture doesn't stop the bleeding, 
I think if another 200 milliliters of blood is lost, it won't make any difference, that's right. As a woman, you can understand, let alone 100 or 200 milliliters, even if it's 1000 milliliters, I'm willing to try to keep the uterus. In the obstetrics department for so many years, no one has ever turned one surgery into two surgeries. No one has ever thought of letting the patient try. Dr. Lang seems to be like me when I first entered the hospital, with the purest heart, but you can't let your emotions get in the way. Now is a matter of life and death. Dr. Lang still can't determine whether it is uterine hemorrhage. If so, it is possible to cause amniotic fluid embolism. So B. Lynch suture is at risk of misdiagnosis. Director Fang, Dr. Lang, another 300 milliliters of blood is lost. Aspirate it quickly. Kino was exposed to the two people arguing constantly. The nurse didn't know who to listen to. But Director Fang stepped back. Seeing Director Fang step back meant that she was giving up her authority and also her responsibility. She understood that the chief surgeon of this surgery was Lang Ran, who was suturing faster. And the nurse also cooperated well on the side. Intra-abdominal bleeding 1,800 milliliters. Pay attention to fluid replacement. Appropriate fluid replacement. Intravenous infusion of 1,000 milliliters of colloid volume, 2,000 milliliters of crystalloid solution, and 400 milliliters of plasma. Carprost tometanol can be injected before labor, which is beneficial for postpartum hemorrhage. Director Fang reminded this very well. Next is a series of operations that are coming to an end. After the suture was completed, Lang Ran spoke. The two men looked at the woman on the bed nervously, but the bleeding had stopped. It seems that there is still bleeding. Lang Ran said to observe it for a while. He thought to himself that the amount of bleeding was very small. And if there was a lot of bleeding, a hysterectomy would control the bleeding. This is a good thing. And then wait for the amniotic fluid embolism test results. The phone in the clinic suddenly rang. Everyone was very nervous. Director Fang, the results are out. No evidence of amniotic fluid embolism was found. Very good. Now we just need to see how the bleeding is controlled. Everyone stood quietly by the bed and waited. The nurse exclaimed, the bleeding has stopped. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Confirm no bleeding. Insert a drainage tube into the pelvis. Close it. Next, Lang Ran performed another series of operations. A perfect suture is done. I'll go back to the emergency room first. Call me if there is any change in the patient's condition. Help the director take care of the patient. I'll leave the medication to you. Okay, I'll take care of it. As soon as I walked out of the clinic, the system reminded that Lang Ran's task had been completed. Lang Ran received a primary treasure chest. Director Hong asked Dr. Lang when he saw him coming out. Dr. Lang, how was the surgery? The surgery went very well. The recovery is being observed. The blood loss during the surgery was quite high, which may affect future fertility. So that means my niece has been saved, right? Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Dr. Lang. Two days later, thank you, Director Hong, for solving the urgent problem of our emergency department. We have wanted to buy this SV80 ventilator for a long time but it has not been approved by the equipment department. You guys can use the ventilator as you like. And if you have any problems, you can contact the manufacturer. That's right. Dr. Huo, where is Dr. Lang? Oh, he's visiting a patient. Okay, I won't bother you guys with your work. The respiratory department was really extravagant before. Director Hong really knows how to do things. Doesn't the head of the respiratory department have the most ventilators? There are only two machines. What's the matter, Director? Xiao Zhou, you're asking for too much. Dr. Lang, I have done everything you told me to do. How is my recovery? Today is the fifth day after the surgery. The situation is very stable. You will continue to recover without any problems. Ma Yi Lin is here to guide you in your recovery during this time. If there are any abnormalities in your vital signs, let me know immediately. So Dr. Lang, can you come here every day? I will come as long as I have time. But if I am too busy, then yes. I understand, I understand. As soon as Dr. Lang got on the elevator, someone passed by the other elevator. The doctor in charge of the visit is really careless. My son, Tian Huang, is a national athlete. The one who said this was Li Tianwang's mother. This is Zhang, mom, mom, don't say that. Dr. Lang said it was fine. Why is it okay? Just now, my son said that his right big toe was a little sore. So I went to find Dr. Meng and asked Dr. Meng. Look, Tian Huang's right big toe is a little sore. If it's just a little sore, it's not a problem. It could be caused by a slightly long nerve or other causes. Why don't you let the doctor from Yunhua Hospital take a look? Don't you know that Yunhua is very arrogant? Mom, don't say anymore. Just take a look. Is it just a little bit of post-operative recovery? You still want to play football in the future? Ma Yi Lin couldn't help it when he saw this. He said that our post-operative rehabilitation process also has a standard process. 
Li Tianwang as a national player. Using the standard process of Yunhua Hospital may not be appropriate. Oh no, I've been tricked. I didn't mean that. Our post-operative rehabilitation process is also in line with the needs of the patients. Do you guys use early or late-stage auxiliary weight-bearing activities? Is Dr. Meng in the Eastern Department, Meng Sam? Do you know me? Yes, Dr. Meng. I've read your thesis before. Yunhua Hospital uses early-stage auxiliary weight-bearing activities, and will make a choice based on Li Tianwang's occupation. Maybe you all follow the standard process. Haha, ha, interesting. The standard process is interesting. Our standard process is the best optimized design for athletes. The two are not the same concept at all. The auxiliary weight-bearing process is not related to any hospital or center. It is only based on the length of the Achilles tendon. And there are references. The document you mentioned, others may not be able to tell the difference. But I can tell the difference. There is a clear difference between a 4 cm tear and a 6 cm tear. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who are you? I understand. I am Ma Yi Lin, a member of the first level treatment team of the Department of Diagnosis of Yunhua Hospital. As for the scope of the tear, it is more related to the surgery itself, and it does not have a major impact on the postoperative process. Tisk, I thought he was the director of the Department of Orthopedics, but it turned out to be a member of the treatment team. Mrs. Zhang, it is best to go to our hospital for Li Tianwang's rehabilitation. If you need anything, just find me anytime. If you can't talk back, you use your status to suppress people. I won the match against Meng Sam just now. I defeated Meng Sam enough for a small doctor like me to brag for many years. Maybe I can brag for the rest of my life. Wait a minute. Everything I know now, if it wasn't for studying with Dr. Lang, how could I have done it? I have to follow Dr. Lang. Lao Ta, don't go. Tell me, if I don't return to the Department of Orthopedics and always follow Dr. Lang's team, is there any way? You can't say that. If you do, the Department of Orthopedics will definitely not let you go. This is obviously a loss of talent. How can the director lose face? And following Dr. Lang, how much can you learn in a year? You can even defeat Meng Sam. It seems that you can still follow him for as long as possible. Dr. Lang, today there are two patients with Achilles tendon repair surgery. I want to try it out, but I have a lot of surgeries today. I may not have time to go there. Can you trust me? Of course you can. Ask Zuo Sidian to be your assistant. This time, the surgery is undergoing minimally invasive surgery. For ordinary patients, the Achilles tendon repair surgery is not necessary. It is enough to use minimally invasive methods to suture the Achilles tendon. Now it is determined that the Achilles tendon is severed. The next step is to insert the paraponeurosis into the near heel balance. Tissue clamp. Dr. Zuo, you use gauze to clean the periphery. Dr. Lang, why are you here? Aren't there many other surgeries to do? It's okay. Continue your work. Ma Yi Lin took a deep breath and relaxed his mood. Absolutely no mistakes are allowed. Adjust the position of the guide wire correctly. Suture. Ma Yi Lin, who was nervous, finally finished the suture. That's right, Ma Yi Lin. Just now, another patient who needed Achilles tendon repair surgery was sent in. You accept it. Today, there is another one. No, two. Four Achilles tendon repair surgeries in one day. Like the new year. They all came from Guangdong for treatment. If you have any problems, find me. Guangdong. Guangdong is the department of traditional Chinese medicine. Maybe it's just a coincidence. No more nonsense. Let's go see the patient first. Are you Dr. Lang? We want to get Achilles tendon repair surgery. Range it now. Ma Yi Lin said as soon as he entered the door. Not Dr. Lang. You guys are not professional athletes. You don't need Dr. Lang's Achilles tendon surgery. What can other doctors say? Why did Dr. Lang come here? We only do Dr. Lang's Achilles tendon surgery. If you don't know, call the director here. Never argue with patients. At this time, Ma Yi Lin frowned and went to find Dr. Lang. The patients with Achilles tendon rupture who were sent later all asked for Dr. Lang's Achilles tendon surgery. Both of them athletes? The problem here is that they are not only not athletes, but also a 50-year-old old man. If they are not athletes, it is not necessary to have open Achilles tendon surgery. One patient is 48 years old, and the other is 52 years old. As soon as the words were finished, Lang Ran also sprayed out all the water. Well, what is the reason for open Achilles tendon surgery? They insisted on doing it, and said that they would not do minimally invasive surgery. One patient said that he knew a reporter, and if he didn't do it, he would expose it. Expose what? To say that we do not respect the wishes of the patients is to expose. But both of them were introduced by the Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Maybe someone taught them to say that. Actually, they are not wrong. I don't understand what Dr. Lang said. Anyway, Okay whether there is anyone else involved behind the scenes. The doctor's respect for the wishes of the patients should indeed be given priority. Lao Ta next to him spoke up, but Dr. Lang, what if there really is a conspiracy? What are you afraid of? 
My surgery will not fail. Go and confirm it again. If they really want to do it, I'll do it for them right away. The surgery began, and everything went smoothly. Lang Ran's face was a little serious. The condition of the Achilles tendon in ordinary people is slightly different from that of athletes, but the surgery is more comfortable. At this time, a doctor walked into the operating room looking for Lang Ran. Lang Ran looked up and asked him what was wrong when he heard the sound. The doctor said, Two more patients with hepatitis B have come to see a doctor. Lang Ran continued to ask without stopping his movements. How many people? The man's tone was not very happy. Two more people. Lang Ran didn't react too much, and told him to accept them as usual. If you can't handle it, find Lu Wenbin and Yu Yuan. This has been going on for many days, and Yu Yuan was exhausted. She looked at Lang Ran with a look of wanting to eat him alive. It can't be that every time a patient comes, we just do surgery like this. I'm sick of doing Achilles tendon repair surgery. Lang Ran smiled when he heard this, and told her to go home and rest for a night. Zuo Sidian ran over. The Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine sent another patient, this time a 73-year-old patient with liver cancer, hypertension, diabetes, and alcoholic fatty liver. Yu Yuan was angry. The Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine is too much. Lang Ran's expression did not change, and he walked straight to the ward, and Yu Yuan followed him into the ward. There were many people in the room surrounding a patient on the bed. Zuo Sidian whispered in Lang Ran's ear. The patient's name is Shi Yuquan, who is both rich and powerful. Dr. Lang, whatever you say, you must be careful. Shi Yuquan couldn't help but show a look of doubt when he saw that Lang Ran looked so young. Dr. Lang looked so young. I heard that he is the best doctor in the liver department here. How many liver cancer surgeries have you performed? Zuo Sidian immediately smiled and introduced him. Dr. Lang has performed more than 500 cases, and he is the best doctor in Yunhua Hospital. Shi Yuquan felt relieved and lay down. I have more money than ordinary people, but my illness cannot be cured with money, so please be more dedicated. Zuo Sidian snorted coldly. A private hospital is pushing its creditors towards it. It can only be a blatant fraud. Thinking of this, he pulled Lang Ran back. You didn't like to do cancer before, did you? And this person is old and has many underlying diseases. Why don't you just not accept it? I'll explain it to you. Lang Ran smiled. That's exactly why I want to do this surgery. The survival rate of liver cancer surgery in recent years is quite low and the recurrence rate is also high, but the condition of this patient may have an ideal outcome, so I will accept this patient. Back in the office, he had the system simulate Shi Yuquan's body. A virtual body quickly appeared in front of him. Every time he saw this, he felt very special. Then, a virtual scalpel appeared in his hand. Lang Ran observed the morphology of the tumor. The diameter is less than 5 centimeters. In terms of morphology, this is a small liver cancer with a fairly good condition. However, the patient has early stage portal vein invasion cancer. If it invades the surrounding liver tissue and if the lesions are all within the high infection rate, he is the most unlucky patient. In addition to his age and underlying diseases, not to mention anything else, it is very difficult to cut out the invaded liver tissue and get off the operating table. Lang Ran looked up at the countdown clock and was surprised. It took five minutes to cut only the outer part of the cancer. Lang Ran closed his eyes, and had the system close the virtual human. He picked up the patient's medical records and looked at them. The private hospital did a very comprehensive job. The patient's condition was indeed very complicated. This made Lang Ran wonder if the Department of Traditional Chinese Medicine really wanted to use this patient to plot something. Not to brag about himself, it was really hard to find a doctor who was more suitable than him. And what the patient needed most at this time was to cut out as much of the tissue invaded by cancer cells as possible and to cut out less tissue. Without a virtual human, Lang Ran could only guarantee that he would be excellent in these two points. But with a virtual human, he could reach the peak. Lang Ran had the system simulate Shi Yuquan again. A surgery was performed in an orderly manner. He was immersed in the surgery and said a word. Suction. The system really cooperated with him to suction. Lang Ran was very surprised by this. He was asking the system if it had a pathological examination device like a microscope. Next, a virtual microscope actually appeared in front of him. Lang Ran held the microscope and was very satisfied. He put the pathological section on the slide. Now he had to find the boundary between the cancer cells and other tissues. If the boundary was clear under the microscope, it meant that the cancerous tissue had been completely removed. The patient's liver cancer was at a 
moderate level, but his health was at a terminal level. Therefore, it was not easy to come up with a surgical plan. However, with the virtual human, he could cut at will to determine the boundary of the cancerous tissue. This made it much more accurate. Suddenly, his face changed. The tumor boundary had been found. This meant that the patient could be operated on. Lang Ran turned around and called Zuo Sidian, and have him prepare for Shi Yuquan's surgery in advance. Zuo Sidian was surprised. He really wanted to operate on him? Lang Ran seemed very sure. He had Zuo Sidian explain the most beneficial surgical plan to the patient and his family. Zuo Sidian could only nod, indicating that he understood. The news that Lang Ran had decided to perform the surgery was immediately passed on to Meng Shan. Meng Shan had also anticipated this long ago. After all, he was just a kid, and he couldn't stand a little bit of excitement. The secretary reached out and pushed up his glasses. After all, the Yunhua Hospital Emergency Center and the Hepatobiliary Department were organizing the surgery demonstration together, and they had also invited some hepatobiliary experts from Shishi Province. Meng Shan snorted coldly, not paying much attention. The hepatobiliary department of Shishi province was not very strong. At present, Lang Ran's rise to fame had used up all the resources of their province. He asked the secretary whether to watch it live or online. The secretary said that the qualified medical institutions could connect to the signal. We can watch the news. Meng Shan told the secretary to arrange a time. He wanted to watch it. He was sure that no one could remove Shi Yuquan's liver cancer. Meng Shan had studied it three times, and had also invited experts for consultation. The conclusion was that the surgery could not be performed so he had lured Shi Yuquan to Yunhua Hospital. Thinking of this, Meng Shan showed a sinister expression. Lang Ran, let's see how you're going to win this bet. The next day, the preparations went smoothly. Sha Yenzheng felt like he was sitting on a bed of nails. If this continued, his position as the director of the Department of Hepatobiliary Surgery would become the director of the Department of Cholecystitis. Director Huo saw this and asked him what he was thinking about. Sha Yenzheng hurriedly found an excuse to refute it. Aren't you worried about performing surgery? surgery on such a patient? Director Huo turned around and looked at him. If I wasn't worried, I wouldn't have come here. But since I have to do it, I should be open-minded. At this time, Lang Ran arrived. He looked at everyone and said, let's start the surgery. The scalpel quickly cut into Shi Yuquan's skin. Before entering the operating room, Lang Ran had used the virtual human to determine the latest extent of the patient's cancer cell invasion. Time could not be delayed. He was now in a race against the rapid spread of cancer cells. He told the assistant to widen the incision a little. First, perform liver dissection. Yu Yuan immediately pulled it out a little. Every order was given clearly. The doctors outside watched intently. The surgery was approaching a critical moment. Lang Ran let everyone rest for 15 seconds. Then he concentrated on dealing with the left vein. Everyone was more excited when they heard this. This was the first time that the boss had let them rest during surgery. This surgery was a tough battle. The left hepatic vein and the inferior vena cava were very close to each other. And any carelessness would cause problems. Lang Ran said, continue the surgery. Today, the method of lip-shaped liver incision was used. Lang Ran's hands were as steady as a precision machine. Finally, it was time to close the incision. Director Hong was still glued to the glass, stretching his neck to watch. Seeing Lang Ran cut it so short, everyone started to discuss. One person said that it could only be cut like this. If it was cut any further, the patient would not be able to withstand it. Another person said that if the patient could not withstand it, then don't do it. In the end, a recurrence would be life-threatening. Their discussion did not affect the surgical team at all. Lang Ran asked the assistant to send the specimen to the pathology department to determine the boundary of the cancer cells. The surgery was temporarily completed. The observing doctors raised their question. Is that all you're going to cut? Lang Ran said that the smaller the cut, the better. It was good for recovery. The man continued to ask, but if you cut it like that, it won't be clean. Lang Ran became serious again and said, wait for the test results and then we'll see. Another doctor asked him, what if the test results show that it's not clean? Lang Ran replied, then we'll cut a little more. What if it's still not clean? Lang Ran said, if that's the case, then we'll cut a little more and finish the surgery. The doctor still thought it was impossible. This surgery did not have that much time. Wait for the test results. Director Huo agreed with his thinking. The liver was ischemic, and it had to be controlled within an hour to be considered normal. But the three test reports took an hour. At the same time, Meng Shan was also watching the surgery. Lang Ran wanted to cut as little tissue and organs as possible. And he wanted to cut as clean cleanly as possible, because the patient could not tolerate chemotherapy. Dr. Lang is really daring. 
people can't always get what they want, and it's even more so if you want to be a doctor. A patient like this, even the best doctors wouldn't dare to perform this surgery. At this moment, a voice came from the video. The test results are out. The boundary is not clear. Meng Shan laughed when he got the answer he wanted. Lang Ran didn't show much expression when he heard this. It seemed that everything was under his control. Then it would be fine to cut a little more. At this time, the doctors outside began to advise him to be more cautious. You should cut a little more, and don't do a second test. Just now, Lang Ran wanted to cut close to the edge, but he subconsciously stopped. He would do it after he had successfully used the virtual human. Lang Ran had cut out a piece of tissue and asked his assistant to take it for further testing. The doctors outside still advised him to cut a little more. Lang Ran ignored them, and only told his assistant to hurry up. Meng Shan mocked him. He's still too young. He pushed his glasses. If it were me, I would have cut another two centimeters by now. Then sutured it up to avoid losing my license. The test results were sent for a second time, and the boundary was clear. Even if Lang Ran was lucky, if it was not clear, he would definitely have to do it a third time. But Shi Yuquan could not wait for the results, and could only suture it up and wait for the news. He smiled sinisterly. Wasn't he just asking for trouble? Shi Yuquan's children and his family's lawyers were not easy to deal with. Soon, a voice came from the operating room. Bang Shan walked up to the screen, his face full of anticipation. The second act of this good show was about to begin. Wang Jia finished his phone call. It's good news. The boundary is clear. Meng Shan was surprised. What's going on? He's so lucky. The doctors outside the operating room were all amazed. So lucky? Is it really luck? To cut it so short, it must be from the pathological point of view. Director Huo finally breathed a sigh of relief. Surgery was a success. Sha Yenjung saw this and was sweating profusely. I'm going to be the director of the gallbladder department soon. At the same time, Academician Feng Zhijiang in the capital was also watching the surgery. Although the surgery was a success, it was still somewhat risky. He himself had tried to test during surgery before, but it was completely impossible. But Lang Ran was not someone who liked to take risks. It seemed that he had already figured out a method. He called Xiao Guo and told him to invite Lang Ran to give a presentation on the recent surgery. At this time, the surgery was sutured in the operating room. Yu Yuan hurriedly asked Lang Ran to wait. She asked her question. Did you cut so thinly just now because you had already judged the degree of invasion of the cancer cells? How did you judge that? Lang Ran turned his head to look at Yu Yuan. If I told her that I used a virtual human to simulate the surgery, she probably wouldn't believe it. Lang Ran laughed and said that he just felt that it was fine to cut like that, and that his hand felt very good. Yu Yuan was stunned by this sentence. This was the first time she had heard Lang Ran speak like this. Lang Ran looked at her expression. He added the word approximately. It's like an estimate. Yu Yuan was upset. In other words, today's surgery could not be repeated. Lang Ran scratched his chin. It was really difficult to repeat it. After all, this patient was also a special case. And now there was not much time left to use the virtual human. Yu Yuan sighed in disappointment. It seemed that she would not be able to write her thesis. Lang Ran smiled and patted her on the shoulder. But the patient has been saved. His quality of life will also be guaranteed for the next few years. We can't cure cancer. But if we can perform surgery on elderly patients and reduce the recurrence rate, then it's a cure for them. Yu Yuan understood and looked at Lang Ran. She nodded and smiled. The patient's family members outside saw Ta Sidian coming out and immediately asked about the situation. Ta Sidian smiled and told him the good news that the surgery was a success. But he needed to be monitored in the ICU for three days. And if he could get through it, there would be no major problems. The man didn't want to hear these polite words. He just asked if his condition was getting better or worse. Ta Sidian was not angry when he heard this, and patiently explained that the current treatment plan was mainly preventive, and that he would be checked every three months after leaving the ICU. If there were no problems, he could live a normal life. After saying that, Ta Sidian left to go to the ICU on the other side. After Dr. Ta left, the man couldn't help but call a doctor from the capital. He was surprised to hear that the chief surgeon was Lang Ran. He immediately said that he would wait until he flew to Yunhua to see. This doctor from the capital was one of the most famous members of the hepatobiliary department in the capital, and often appeared in magazines. He was currently waiting for a plane to Yunhua. Guo Mingcheng, who was sitting next to him, also happened to be on his way to find Lang Ran. After the two of them got off the plane, 
they immediately took a taxi to Yunhua Hospital and arrived at the hospital at the same time. They also found it quite a coincidence, but didn't think much of it. When the two of them appeared in the same elevator, they were both shocked. Dr. Z came back to his senses. This person must also be here to find Dr. Lang. Guo Mingcheng also looked at him unhappily. They were both from the capital and were both looking for Dr. Lang. Were they bandits coming to steal customers? The two of them ignored each other. They went straight into the elevator. Lang Ran had just come out of the room and saw both of them standing in front of his door. The two of them smiled and greeted Lang Ran when they saw him come out. Lang Ran was completely bewildered by this enthusiasm. Guo Mingcheng glanced at the man next to him like a robber. I can't embarrass my teacher. I'll let this country bumpkin speak first. Dr. Z pushed Guo Mingcheng away without hesitation and began to introduce himself. Hello, Dr. Lang. I'm Zi Wen from the number 6 hospital in the capital. Lang Ran greeted him politely. Zi Wen expressed his purpose for coming here directly. He wanted to learn liver resection from Lang Ran. Lang Ran said that he didn't have time now. Guo Mingcheng was secretly surprised when he saw this. This country bumpkin was so straightforward. And Dr. Lang didn't show him any respect at all. Zi Wen was still trying to say that he didn't need a position at Yunhua Hospital. He just wanted to learn. Lang Ran still refused. He turned to look at the two of them. Excuse me. I'm very busy today. I'll go first. Guo Mingcheng looked at Zi Wen with a smug expression on his face. It was the first time they had met, and he wanted to learn the other person's unique skills. How ridiculous. Lang Ran didn't rest either. He went to the ICU to visit the patients first. Then he continued to perform another surgery, and finally helped his three assistants summarize the surgery. The day passed by quickly, and Lang Ran finally had a moment to spare, so he returned to his office. He found out that Zi Wen was still waiting. Zi Wen didn't beat around the bush and asked Lang Ran directly what he wanted him to do in order to agree to let him study with him. Lang Ran asked him if he wanted to learn Shi Yuquan surgery. Zi Wen nodded immediately. He said that he was really surprised that Lang Ran told him directly that he would not be able to learn it. Zi Wen said with embarrassment that he learned everything very quickly. Lang Ran was helpless. He couldn't tell Zi Wen that it was because he didn't have a virtual human. Zi Wen saw that this path was impassable and quickly changed his strategy. So when do you plan to discharge Shi Yuquan from the hospital? Lang Ran patiently answered his question. He can be transferred to a regular ward tomorrow. And if all goes well, he can be discharged from the hospital in a week. Zi Wen said that he would talk to him again when the time came. A week later, Shi Yuquan was discharged from the hospital. And Zi Wen came again. He thought to himself that even if Dr. Lang didn't want to teach him, he would have to use money to change his mind. When he arrived at the door of Lang Ran's office, he found that Guo Mingcheng was also there. His expression was not very good. Why is this guy still here? Lang Ran saw the two of them as soon as he came out, and he had to ask them both what was wrong. Zi Wen immediately used the plan to pave the way with money. Dr. Lang, can you come to the number 6 hospital in the capital to perform a few surgeries? Just to learn. Guo Mingcheng was angry. This country bumpkin really wants to fly a knife. If Dr. Lang agrees, won't it delay your teacher's work? He made a decision in his heart. He couldn't care about his pride anymore. Guo Mingcheng immediately pushed Zi Wen aside. Dr. Lang, if you want to come to the capital, our department is preparing to perform a liver transplant recently. You can join the team to try it out. Lang Ran and the other two were speechless for a moment. He was a little surprised at this moment. It seemed that the system had changed. The system reminded him that the the task was completed by curing 300 patients. The reward was an intermediate treasure chest. He opened the treasure chest, and it was full of branch skills. Perfect bone connection means resetting the Coles fracture. In the emergency hospital, patients with Coles fractures can be seen almost every day. In the past, they were not specialized, so they usually transferred them to the orthopedics department. Now they can accept it. They have to find a nurse to arrange it. Thinking of this, Lang Ran was about to leave when he suddenly realized that the two people beside him were still waiting. He told them to go to Zuo Zidian. These things were arranged by him. As soon as the two of them arrived at Zuo Zidian's place, they saw that the room was already packed with people. The two of them were surprised. Is there another group of robbers here? Zi Wen quickly stepped forward and pushed everyone away. Don't shout anymore. This is a hospital, not a vegetable market. First come, first serve. I, 
I've been here for a week. He stepped forward and put his arm around Zuo Zidian's shoulder. We have the same purpose, so let's arrange a time. Our number six hospital in the capital will be the first. Three surgeries, at least 10,000 yuan each. Guo Mingcheng was secretly surprised. This country bumpkin was really good at doing things, even though he was really rustic. The others started to talk about it. Who is this person? He's already offering a price as soon as he arrives. Some people also began to calculate the cost. Another man spoke up. I, 9,000 yuan for me. I'm second. Everyone quickly arranged themselves in order. Zuo Zidian thought that Dr. Lang had been very busy recently, and there were not enough operating beds soon. It would be good to arrange for some non-scalpel surgeries. He looked up at everyone. If there are no other comments, let's arrange it like this. You guys can give me the form. Z Wen immediately volunteered to tell the information and hand over the form to Dr. Zuo. In front of the hospital, someone was dancing the lion dance at the entrance of the Keidong Hospital in Yu Dong. The content of the lion dance banner surprised surprised everyone. It only said that the Keidong hospital in Guangdong killed people. Doctor without conscience, pay me back for my life. Passers-by who were watching the excitement immediately started to discuss it. At this moment, someone was holding a loudspeaker and shouting at everyone not to come to this hospital for medical treatment. I will tell everyone clearly that they are all liars who cheat people. Bang San in the office was really helpless when he heard the noise outside. Now the medical troublemakers have even hired a lion dance team to make a scene. He looked at the news search on his phone and his face darkened. This is another rumor on the internet, plus a lion dance team blocking the door. It seems that they don't want the small amount of 8,000 to 10,000 yuan. Meng San called his assistant to ask if he had found out who did it. The assistant said that he was still looking for her. He sighed and picked up the phone. It seems that he still has to find the dean. The dean also knew about the current situation, and asked him what was going on. Meng San said that it was a small matter. A child was suspected of having a cold. The doctor who received him did a basic examination and x-ray, but the parents thought it was expensive and did not do it all. After that, he was given intravenous fluids for two days, and the disease became serious due to viral myocarditis. He was not flustered and tugged at his tie. He continued to say, the treatment plan has been adjusted, and now he has recovered. The dean was angry and told him to get to the point. A total of 820,000 yuan was spent. The person on the other end of the line was very dissatisfied. The dean asked if it was Meng San who was being targeted. He quickly said that it was not Meng San who was suspected. It's not about harassing the doctor on duty. Could it be that they want to make things difficult for me? The dean was furious. The lion dance team was invited by the business association under Shi Yuquan. Can't you find out? Meng San was terrified when he heard this. At that time, he had given them a piece of advice. And besides, hadn't Shi Yuquan already recovered? The dean didn't want to hear him talk nonsense anymore. You go and solve this matter yourself. Meng San thought that it was over. Perhaps only Lang Ran could help him out. I heard that Lang Ran had gone to the capital. Meng San immediately decided to go there. As for the doctors in the capital, they were now completely convinced by Lang Ran's superb skills. For today's surgery, Lang Ran had also spent 25 minutes and 17 seconds in the virtual human. After using the virtual human a few times, he became more and more proficient. Each time he used it, the time could be reduced by half compared to the previous time. But no matter how much he saved, the total time was still decreasing, and there would come a time when it would run out. At this time, the system gave him a task. Treating 100 patients could get 2 hours of virtual human. 300 people was an intermediate treasure chest. Only one of the two tasks could be chosen. Lang Ran looked at both of them. In the long run, task 2 had more potential. But Lang Ran didn't like to be passive. The probability had to be 10% sure. So he chose task 1 without hesitation. As soon as Lang Ran walked out of the operating room, a group of doctors surrounded him, praising him endlessly. Dr. Lang's surgery is so good. Lang Ran thanked him modestly. The dean stepped forward and shook his hand. At that time, Xiao Zi wanted to invite you to come. I was still a little worried. Looking back now, I was really worrying for nothing. How long has Dr. Lang been involved in this project? Lang Ran smiled and said, it's just the beginning. The dean immediately said, our capital number six hospital can help you promote this project. Lang Ran thought seriously about it. If he wanted to make the surgery available to everyone, he really needed to promote it. But capital number six hospital was not ranked high at all. 
The probability of creating a nationwide impact was basically zero. In terms of area and population, Dr. Lang's influence might be a little stronger. The most important thing was that the time of the virtual human was limited. The surgery could not be performed continuously. Lang Ran smiled and declined, saying that he had just started, and it was not yet time for promotion. The dean still said actively, and you can also do a thesis first. Capital number no. 6 hospital will be in charge of the patients. You can either transfer a few people here or bring your own team. Lang Ran said that he would take a two-day break, as he wanted to do some other things first. The dean asked Lang Lang ran what he wanted to do. Emergency or massage treatment for acute Cole's fractures. The dean didn't understand very well. What kind of request is this? It's all trivial things that couldn't be more trivial. Lang ran thought happily that it was a cure anyway. It was the same wherever he treated 100 people. Z Wen thought that he wanted to go out for a few days, so he just needed to tell him to say hello to the head of the emergency department. Lang ran promised that he would not make things difficult for their emergency department. He just needed three days. The dean finally agreed and let Z Wen make the arrangements. Lang ran now had another idea to verify. He had to complete the task quickly in order to get more virtual human in time. On the other side, Meng San thought about it all night but couldn't think of a way to convince Lang Ran to help him. He raised his hand to hail a taxi. Not knowing how to convince Lang Ran to help him, the worst thing he could do was give him a car. After all, it would be enough to satisfy him if he drove a jeep. Meng San reached out to fasten his seatbelt and then looked at his phone. After Lang Ran turned on his phone, he immediately saw the news that Lang Ran had stopped after performing a flying knife surgery at Capital No. 6 Hospital. He laughed scornfully. Something had gone wrong, hadn't it? That would make it easier. The excuse for persuasion would be much better. And it might even save him the money to buy a car. Meng San didn't laugh out loud. To be sure, he should still find a way to see how the patient was doing. At the same time, Capital No. 6 Hospital was packed with people. The doctors were rushing to fill out forms. And the nurses were reminding everyone to keep order. Lang Ran's surgical patients were not limited to visitors. Meng San was surprised. There had been a medical accident, but they were still organizing people to visit? He wanted to see clearly. It turned out that they wanted to watch Dr. Lang's surgery video. Meng San was about to vomit blood in anger. It was obvious that he had created another great success. So why did he stop the surgery mysteriously? The doctors were still exclaiming that liver cancer surgery had reached this level. And there was really nothing to criticize about the technique. Another doctor agreed with him. A series of excision treatments in this Lang surgery were very meticulous. And it was worth promoting. Meng San was shocked. The method already had a name? He was really bold. Furthermore, there was still a strange smell here. Do you guys need to flatter him so much? Suddenly he realized something. His eyes widened. Meng San secretly cried out in his heart that it was not good. Now that so many people were flattering him, when the water rises, the boat rises, the cost of asking him for help will also be higher. He took out his phone. Meng San didn't believe it. Lang Ran's surgery must have a flaw that others didn't find. He would film it and study it carefully. At this moment, a nurse came to post a notice. The time for Dr. Lang's next surgery had been determined. At 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, Meng San decided to go and watch it in person. It would be even better if he could catch him in the act. The next morning before the surgery, Lang Ran planned to simulate it again. Not long after, an assistant came to remind Dr. Lang that it was 6 o'clock. Lang Ran put away the virtual human. On the operating table, he and the others worked together to perform liver resection which amazed the doctors who watched. Seeing it with their own eyes was even more amazing. Meng San cursed silently. There really was no flaw. Not long after, the surgery was a success. Zi Wen praised him, saying that it was not only smooth, but the speed was even faster than the previous one. At this time, the dean also came, saying that there would be a seminar for Lang Ran next, and asked him what time would be reasonable. Zi Wen heard this and wanted to give Lang Ran some time to rest. Lang Ran waved his hand and said that it was fine to start right away. The dean heard this and immediately asked the nurse to inform the external doctors to come to the conference room. The doctors quickly entered the room one after another. After Lang Ran arrived at the conference room, he didn't beat around the bush and talk directly about the recent surgery. Everyone felt enlightened when they heard this. Meng San in the corner of the room was even more angry. The number of people flattering Lang Ran had increased again. 
The lecture was over. The sound of applause for Lang Ran's superb technique resounded like thunder. Meng San knew that he could not wait any longer. Otherwise Lang Ran would continue to be praised. He held the 200,000 yuan card tightly in his hand. At this moment, Tian Chi came in and invited everyone to have dinner at the restaurant next door. Meng San looked carefully at the person who came, and quietly put the bank card back. He asked him if he was a sales representative of Yunli. Tian Chi smiled and said no. She was just doing some work for Dr. Lang. Meng San sat in the restaurant and looked at the exquisite food on the plate. Wasn't this the seven-year-old Siberian sturgeon caviar, 11,800 grams of the top grade? The caviar alone was more expensive than his card not to mention the other things here. At this moment, Tian Chi appeared again, and reminded Meng San not to be in a daze, and to eat and drink to his heart's content. Meng San was sweating profusely at this moment. He was just helping with some simple things, so why was he being so serious? Walking on the street in the evening, Meng San was a little upset. He shouldn't have been so timid. What was there to be ashamed of in giving a gift? No matter what, he had to give the card to Lang Ran tomorrow. But after a few days, he still hadn't been able to give the card. Meng San was about to die of anger. In the past few days, let alone apologizing and giving gifts, he didn't even have the chance to approach Lang Ran. There was always a group of people around him, and when he wasn't preparing for surgery, he was performing surgery. Did this guy not sleep? Meng San was completely confused. He lay tiredly on the bed, but he wanted to sleep. Meng San felt exhausted, and really wanted to give up. But when he thought of the Xi family, he immediately got up. I can't give up. I can only persevere. Early the next morning, Meng San went to the hospital. No matter what, he had to hand over the card today. At this moment, he glanced at a person who seemed familiar. Suddenly remembering something, Meng San was surprised. This was Zhu Tongji from the Department of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. He saw him getting off the elevator on the same floor as him. He had a bold guess. Was Zhu also here to find Lang Ran? As soon as Zhu Tongji arrived, he greeted him. President Wang, long time no see. Our Dr. Lang has been taken good care of by you. I happened to be coming here for a meeting, so I stopped by to take a look. President Wang also smiled modestly. Academician Zhu is too kind. It's Lang Ran who takes care of us. Meng San was surprised. As expected, he had come to find Lang Ran. But what did he mean when he said, our Dr. Lang? Could it be that Lang Ran's value had increased again? Zhu Tongji patted Lang Ran on the shoulder and asked him if he was still performing liver cancer surgery. Lang Ran said that he had already done two cases today. Zhu Tongji looked at him with admiration and stated his purpose for coming. He wanted to invite a few friends to watch the surgery together in the afternoon. Director Wang immediately agreed. Lang Ran didn't know that Zhu Tongji was planning to invite some experts to watch him, so it was better to arrange it in advance. Zhu said that it was academician do from the Geological Institute, who had been diagnosed with primary liver cancer during a physical examination, but he didn't want to have surgery. Lang Ran was a little hesitant. Was it appropriate to let the patient watch the surgery directly? Zhu Tongji just smiled when he heard this, and said that he would know when he met him in the afternoon. In the blink of an eye, it was afternoon. A man asked who Lang Ran was. Hearing someone calling him, Lang Ran also spoke up and said that it was him. Zhu Tongji smiled and introduced him as academician Du. He didn't say much, and asked Lang Ran directly, if you were to perform surgery on my liver cancer, how many more years would I be able to live? Lang Ran said that for primary liver cancer, if there were no metastasis, he could live for another four years. Academician Du next to him coughed violently, implying that Lang Ran was too direct, but he didn't waver at all. Academician Du smiled with satisfaction. As expected, he was a different kind of doctor. He asked another question. I heard that Lang Ran is carrying out a special liver cancer surgery project. Would it be beneficial to your project if you performed surgery on me? He smiled kindly and said that he didn't mean anything else. He just hoped that he could make use of his remaining strength to contribute to the development of medicine. Even if he died, it wouldn't be a waste. Zhu Tongji also understood that his request to watch the surgery was not because he was worried, but because he wanted this. The doctors and nurses were moved to tears. The enlightenment of the older generation was so noble. Lang Ran smiled when he heard this and said, if you survive, it will be very helpful to the project. Zhu Tongji asked Lang Ran to go and prepare, while he led Lao Du to the waiting room for him. At this moment, Tian Chi was adjusting the equipment in the operating room. Lang Ran was surprised to see someone in the room. Director Wang said that in order to make it convenient for academician Du to watch the surgery, he had arranged for new equipment to be installed. Tian Chi was answering Lang Ran's questions while taking notes. Only our company can handle this business the fastest. We are now connecting to the video system of the operating room. Dr. Lang, 
Do you need an introduction? Lang Ran was a little curious when he heard this. Are you working as a pharmaceutical representative? Tian Chi smiled when she heard this. I just bought a pharmaceutical company. The equipment has been calibrated. Tian Chi said to Lang Ran with a smile. You can use the operating room with peace of mind. Lang Ran also smiled and nodded in response. Outside the operating room, Zhu Tongji reminded Academician Du that the surgery was about to begin, and that he could ask him if there was anything he didn't understand. Meng San also found a way to squeeze in. The entire surgery was carried out in an orderly manner. Academician Du was not a professional, so he asked Zhu Tongji if the surgery went smoothly. Zhu Tongji smiled and said that of course he did. Academician Du was a little suspicious when he heard this. How do you know? Zhu Tongji said proudly. Whether the main surgeon's surgery is smooth or not, people in the profession can tell at a glance. The surgery is almost over. In the operating room, Lang Ran breathed a sigh of relief and told them to suture it up. Academician Du couldn't wait any longer. He asked Lang Ran through the mic, was the surgery successful? Lang Ran nodded and said, very successful. Academician Du asked, how long do you think this patient will live? Lang Ran answered calmly, probably more than 10 years. Academician Du sighed, he didn't really care about these 5 or 10 years. He just hoped that he could live for another 2 years to complete the project in his hands. In that case, there would be no regrets in his life. Lang Ran said that his patients did not die from the same type of cancer after surgery. 10 years is a very high percentage. Academician Du was very excited when he heard this, decided to let Lang Ran perform the surgery on him. In the evening, the lights in the special building of Jinghua Hospital were brightly lit. Two nurses were cleaning up the hospital bed. Director Wang instructed the two of them, Academician Du is the pillar of the country. It is an honor for everyone that he can decide to have surgery in our hospital. We must make thorough preparations and bring out our highest level. The two nurses immediately said, Don't worry, Dean. After Academician Du was admitted to the hospital, his students were a little worried when they saw their teacher having surgery in such a small hospital, and even didn't want him to have surgery. Director Wang sighed beside him, even our best facilities are not up to standard in the eyes of others, it is really a failure. Lang Ran came to remind Academician Du that it was time to rest, his students were still not happy. Academician Du smiled and told his students to go back, Dr. Lang is going to check on me. Hearing this, the group of people also stood up and left one after another. After everyone left, Lang Ran told the system to update the virtual human into Academician Du. Academician Du's virtual human quickly appeared in front of him. The portal vein was invaded by cancer cells, combined with fatty liver, cirrhosis, and hypertension. Academician Du lay on the bed, looking at Lang Ran who was facing him, but his eyes were closed. His hands were open and he whispered, Dr. Lang, your examination is very special. Director Wang, who was beside him, said that he didn't understand, but he was also very surprised. Lang Ran didn't notice the abnormality of the two of them. He found out that Academician Du also had gastric ulcer and enteritis. The coronary artery in his heart was also seriously sclerosed. Lang Ran had a general understanding, so he told the system to withdraw the virtual human. Academician Du saw Lang Ran open his eyes and asked him if he had finished the examination. What was the result? Lang Ran smiled and said that there was no problem, and told him to have a good rest. Director Wang said that some doctors wanted to watch the surgery tomorrow, and Feng Ji Jiang would also come. Do you want to perform a demonstration or close the operating room? Lang Ran didn't pay much attention to this. It's okay to perform a demonstration surgery. Director Wang said that he would arrange it. The next day, a group of doctors sat in front of the computer early. Lang Ran also knew that today was different from usual. The drug parameters could not be checked casually. He reminded the assistant to check the surgical supplies again. Lang Ran stood in front of the operating table, closed his eyes and practiced the whole surgical procedure by himself. The assistant thought he was practicing some musical instrument. The person next to him explained that Dr. Lang was simulating the surgical scene in his mind. Many doctors do this. From the stability at this moment to the reminder, Lang Ran, everything was ready. Lang Ran looked at everyone seriously. Today, the dangerous point of the surgery lies in the fact that the patient's portal vein is invaded. In addition, the patient is old. We need to finish the surgery as soon as possible. The less blood transfusion, the better. Director Wang immediately said that Dr. Lang hoped for less blood transfusion but our hospital had prepared enough blood in case of emergencies. Academician Du has a high reputation. We hope that he can return to work. Academician Feng Ji Jiang said nothing when he heard this. He lowered his head and wrote something down. Lang Ran had used all the skills that could be used to the level of grandmaster and perfection. The surgery went smoothly. He reminded Kong Wen to pay attention to the bleeding. 
Kong Wen said at this time that there was no bleeding. Lang Ran nodded and said that if there was no bleeding, he could continue. Academician Feng nodded, and the steps of resection were more proficient than the ones on the internet. The whole operating room also breathed a sigh of relief. The surgery seemed to be going quite smoothly. Unexpectedly, at this moment, the monitor suddenly made a rapid beeping sound. Everyone stood up in shock. Tuo Sidian said with a very serious expression. The blood pressure suddenly increased. Lang Ran was a little surprised. He raised his hand to signal everyone to stop. This time, the accident happened again. There was a sudden gush of blood from one place. Kong Wen saw that something was wrong and the blood vessel was broken. The most feared thing in liver surgery is the rupture of blood vessels. It must be blocked quickly. Lang Ran raised his hand to block Kong Wen's movement, signaling him not to touch it. He closed his eyes and thought. Lang Ran didn't encounter this situation when he used the virtual human. Why did the blood pressure rise so high? Why did the blood vessel rupture? Lang Ran couldn't find the reason, so he lowered his head and observed carefully. Zhu Tongji stared inside. Lang Ran's immobility for five or six seconds made Director Wang break out in a cold sweat, stammering and not daring to say anything. At this time, Lang Ran seemed to have discovered the problem. He looked up and told Kong Wen to suck out the blood that was gushing out first. Lang Ran pointed to a place. The blood vessels here are brittle, plus they are invaded by cancer cells. Previously, there were other tissues pressing on them. Now that the pressure is gone, the blood is gushing out. Kong Wen felt like fainting. The blood vessels were so brittle. He looked at Lang Ran with a look of admiration. So you already knew the reason at that time. Lang Ran said that it was just a guess at that time. And it was confirmed after the suction. He looked at Kong Wen and said that it's okay if it's brittle. It can still be sutured. It's just more difficult to suture. After the surgery, attention should also be paid to the medication. The brittle blood vessels should be given priority. Lang Ran took the hemostatic forceps and began to suture the blood vessels. The blood pressure dropped rapidly. And the bleeding stopped. A total of 880 milliliters of blood was lost. Lang Ran said that it was a little unexpected, but it was okay. Director Wang touched the back of his neck. It was all thanks to Dr. Lang's decisiveness in the critical situation. Zhu Tongji smiled and breathed a sigh of relief. If this accident had happened to another doctor, the patient might not have been able to get off the operating table. Academician Feng took the microphone and asked Lang Ran, if the resected blood vessel is not used, can we see it? Everyone was quite curious. Lang Ran asked them to send someone to get it. Director Wang smiled and called everyone to come and see. The assistant had taken out the brittle blood vessel. Academician Feng asked asked the nurse to give him a pair of tweezers. He tried to hold the tweezers a few times to get a feel for it, then gently clamped the blood vessel. Academician Feng was secretly shocked. This brittleness was even worse than he had imagined. Some doctors beside him asked him how the situation was. A doctor was ready to try. He said, we'll try it ourselves. Unexpectedly, as soon as he clamped it, the blood vessel ruptured. He was stunned. What kind of blood vessel is this? Director Fung gave it a name called Peach Blossom Blood Vessel. The doctor secretly admired it. This is the skill of an elite doctor. It's not on the same level as us at all. Everyone started to watch Lang Ran's surgery again. This was the critical moment. Removing the malignant tumor. Lang Ran removed a malignant tumor and asked the assistant to send it to the pathology department for examination. Lang Ran was not only good in the field of emergency medicine that he was in charge of, but also very good in the surgical techniques of hepatobiliary surgery. He was just being modest, but perhaps in this capital city, no doctor could be as good as him. Today's liver examination was a very creative clinical development technique. The result was the same as the previous one, and it could be said that academician Fung was very much looking forward to it. The pathology department had reported that the margins were very clear. The doctors were all amazed. This technique was really impeccable. In this area of high-risk elderly patients, Dr. Lang was probably the best in the country. The intraoperative examination was really very creative. Director Wang wanted to completely copy this surgery, but the technical difficulty was too high. The others were not satisfied yet, and kept asking Lang Ran how many more surgeries he had. They had to continue to observe. As soon as Lang Ran walked out of the door, he was surrounded by Academician Du's worried students. He smiled and said that the surgery went very smoothly. But Academician Du's physical strength was weak, and he needed to stay in the intensive care unit for two days. If there were no problems, he would be discharged soon. Everyone was immediately excited to hear this good news. This time, a woman came over and asked if they could invite a senior expert. 
After she finished speaking, she knelt down in front of them, begging them to let the expert also examine her husband. Lang Ran asked Director Wang what the patient's condition was. Director Wang bowed his head in thought. It's late-stage gallbladder cancer, with liver metastasis. Academician Feng said that he had also, often performed the surgery, and asked Lang Ran if he would like to study it together. Lang Ran nodded with anticipation. Zhu Tongji next to him coughed dryly, and said that he would also participate. Director Wang asked expectantly if Academician Feng would like to transfer the surgery. Academician Feng smiled and said that it was not necessary. The surgery would be performed at Jinghua Hospital No. 6. Director Wang immediately said happily that there was no problem. I'll go and prepare the consultation room right away. A few hours later, the director led everyone to the consultation room. Lang Ran took the medical record and the x-ray film and examined them carefully. Meng Shan squeezed in and felt indignant. Lang Ran was now not only on par with the two veterans, but had also become a top senior expert in the country. He couldn't help but wonder if his card could still be given away. At this time, Zhu Tongji also noticed him. He glanced at Meng Shan. Unrelated personnel in the expert consultation room, please go out. Meng Shan felt discovered and immediately slipped away. Zhu Tongji saw this and reminded Director Wang to pay attention to security. Director Wang immediately nodded and said that he would definitely be careful. At this time, Academician Zhu received a phone call. Old Du had woken up and wanted to talk to Lang Ran. Academician Zhu happily handed the phone to Lang Ran. Lang Ran took the phone and put it to his ear. The voice on the other end of the line was very weak, but still expressed his gratitude. Academician Du hoped that he could live a little longer until the election of academicians of the Academy of Engineering, and he must come and vote for Lang Ran. The two veterans were stunned when they heard this. This old man really dared to think. Academician Feng said with joy that perhaps this was the meaning of being a doctor. Academician Feng returned to the main topic. He asked Lang Ran how he would assign tasks if he were the chief surgeon. Lang Ran thought that if he were the chief surgeon, he would pay attention to assigning tasks according to the ability of his assistants. But his current experience with gallbladder cancer was rather lacking. Lang Ran looked up at Academician Feng. If I were to assign the tasks, I would read the books myself first. Academician Feng laughed and looked at him. You've never performed gallbladder cancer surgery before. Would you like to do one with me? Lang Ran said that he had resected 127 gallbladders. Academician Feng took out a book and told Lang Ran to look at it. Pay attention to the surgical stage of gallbladder bladder cancer, and pay more attention to the pictures so that you can compare them during the surgery. Director Wang smiled awkwardly when he saw this. Dr. Lang, is there still time to read the books now? Academician Feng laughed and said, do you think he's a newbie? Director Wang scratched his head in embarrassment. It's my fault for asking an expert a question. Academician Feng turned and walked into the operating room first, and told Lang Ran to come a little earlier. Lang Ran was ready soon after, and walked in with the book in his arms. Academician Feng looked at him with a little surprise. You finished reading so quickly? Lang Ran said that he hadn't finished yet, and handed the book to a nurse, asking her to hold it for him, and to turn to the page he needed when he asked her to. The nurse happily raised the book and agreed cheerfully. Academician Feng was a little helpless, but he didn't say anything. Everyone was present, so let's start. Let's open the abdomen and see the situation first. Academician Feng said as he slowly cut open the abdomen. He told Lang Ran that although opening the abdomen was a simple step, it still had to be done carefully, and this process could help the doctor get into the state. The next step would be to examine the abdomen. He gave up his position so that everyone could try. Today's patient was quite typical, so come and feel it. Lang Ran also reached out to feel it. He understood Academician Feng's intention, that many patients who had their abdomen examined first found out that the metastasis was beyond their expectations, and could only be sutured. After touching it and seeing that the other doctors were still observing carefully, Lang Ran was momentarily speechless. Academician Feng saw that Lang Ran was acting strangely, so he told him to speak his mind if he had any thoughts. Lang Ran said frankly that he was performing the surgery a bit slowly. Academician Feng was not polite either, and asked him what he had found out. Lang Ran stated his conclusion. This patient must have his posterior lymph nodes removed. Academician Feng nodded. Then at least it hasn't metastasized to the pancreas. But the amount of lymph node dissection was relatively large. And he invited Lang Ran to do the dissection together. Lang Ran activated the perfect level lymph node dissection technique. Academician Feng was stunned, and said to Lang Ran, so fast. Lymph node dissection is not afraid of being slow or making mistakes, 
but only of not paying attention, so don't be in a hurry. Lang Ran understood the professor's meaning. Lymph node dissection pays great attention to skills, and if you are not careful, you will miss something. Perfect lymph node dissection is to prevent the surgery from being in vain if cancer cells are left behind. However, his perfect level lymph node dissection technique would never miss anything. Lang Ran looked up and asked Academician Fung a question. Can I also do the dissection on the other side? Academician Fung was surprised. Have you already cleared the lungs? He lowered his head and checked it, and it was indeed clean. Lang Ran asked again. Why don't I do the dissection? Academician Fung only came to his senses when he heard this, and took a step back. He watched as Lang Ran skillfully performed the surgery, and left the rest of the work to him. Academician Fung looked at Lang Ran with some surprise, and some relief. It seemed that the new generation of doctors was growing up faster than they had imagined. The surgery ended quickly. The two of them left the operating room together. The family members saw this and gathered around. Academician Fung smiled and said that the surgery had gone very smoothly, and that the tumor had been completely removed. As long as he recovered well, his life could be saved. When the wife heard this, she knelt down and thanked the two of them. She kept thanking the experts. After that, Lang Ran went to the next hospital, which was the Donghuang District Hospital. As soon as he got out of the car, Lang Ran was surprised to find that Zhu Dongyi and Academician Feng were both there. Academician Feng said with a smile that both of them wanted to learn from Lang Ran. Lang Ran smiled and said that he was not welcome, and that he didn't mean it that way. The hospital director was waiting for them and invited them in. He asked Lang Ran if he wanted to go to the emergency department first. Lang Ran nodded and went there for a while, and found something wrong. He turned around and saw an old man sitting on a chair. The old man's eyes were closed and he was sweating profusely, and seemed to be in great pain. The hospital director saw Lang Ran stop and kept asking what was wrong. Lang Ran did not hesitate to point at the old man and state his judgment. I suspect that the patient has a myocardial infarction. Can I examine him? The hospital director also knew that there was no time to delay, and quickly called a nurse to ask about the man's condition. The nurse said that the man had a hand injury, and that there were many people there to change their dressings today, so they had asked him to wait a while. At this time, the head of the emergency department, Jin Tungshang, heard the commotion and came out. He asked the hospital director what was going on. The hospital director solemnly told him about Lang Ran's suspicions, and told him to deal with it quickly. Jin Tungshang did not hesitate, and went up to ask the man where he was in pain. The man weakly pointed his finger at his heart, and said that it was very uncomfortable there. Jin Tungshang went up and touched the man's shoulder, and secretly said that it was not good. His clothes were soaked with sweat, so the diagnosis was basically confirmed. He hurriedly told the nurse to get nitroglycerin and an electrocardiogram machine, and called the interventional department. Jin Tungshang lowered his head and asked the old man if he had had any surgery recently. The man said that he had only fallen and injured his hand. Dr. Jin asked if there was anything else, and the man, who was sweating profusely and seemed to be about to faint, still told the doctor that there was nothing else. Jin Tungshang also asked if he had high blood pressure. The patient's condition was getting worse, and he seemed to be unable to hear the doctor's words anymore, and could only say that he didn't know. Dr. Jin was anxious to ask more questions, but the patient was unable to answer. He told the nurse to take the patient's blood pressure. The nurse quickly ran over with a blood pressure monitor. Lang Ran saw that the situation was not good. The emergency department of Donghuang district was very ordinary, and the experience of the doctor and nurses was not as good as that of Yunhua. The doctor was still muttering. It's best to call the family over right away. However, the patient had already closed his eyes and passed out, and was no longer responsive. His hand also fell weakly. Jin Tungshang was shocked. Cardiac arrest. He quickly stood up and shouted, bring the stretcher over here. Lift the patient up, take off his clothes, prepare the defibrillator. Then he turned to take off the old man's clothes, and began to perform CPR. Jin Tungshang clasped his hands together, placed them on the patient's heart, and began to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Lang Ran frowned when he saw this. He could tell from Dr. Jin's frequency that he hadn't done this in a long time. Lang Ran stopped a nurse, and asked her to get him a white coat. The nurse was a little hesitant. Didn't Dr. Jin take over? Lang Ran took off his coat, and told her to get him a gown first. He explained that he had a lot of experience in prolonged CPR, the longest being over two hours, and that he could help. Lang Ran took the coat and put it on quickly. He told Jin Tungshang to open the airway immediately, and inject epinephrine into to the second intravenous line. Dr. Jin was very unhappy when he heard this. 
Was he being ordered around? There was no need to open the airway. He told the nurse to inject epinephrine into the second intravenous line. Lang Ran said that it was necessary to open the airway as soon as possible, as this would be beneficial for the next step. Advanced airway management is beneficial for all patients requiring CPR. Jin Tungshang glanced at Lang Ran with displeasure. This was in hospital CPR, and it would be effective in a few minutes, so there was no need to intubate immediately. If he was not a doctor from this hospital, he should not intervene fear. Lang Ran did not argue when he heard this, and took a few steps back. Sudden myocardial infarction in middle-aged men is often more serious. Whether or not the heart rhythm could be restored within a few minutes was actually not very certain. At this time, the nurse reminded him that he had been resuscitating for three minutes. Jin Tungshang nodded and told them to change people to continue. Another three minutes passed quickly, and there was still no progress. Jin Tungshang continued to press on the man's chest frantically. After a few more rounds, Jin Tungshang sighed tiredly. It was time to pronounce him dead. Lang Ran saw this and immediately went to save him. Wait, I'll press for a while longer. Lang Ran stepped forward and pressed. A minute later, he told the nurse to inject epinephrine. The nurse looked at Dr. Jin, asking for his opinion. Jin Tungshang waved his hand and said that if he wanted to save him, he could let Lang Ran do it. The movements of his hands did not stop, and he continued to tell the nurse to increase the oxygen. Jin Tungshang was not satisfied. Was it not over yet? Lang Ran glanced at him seriously. That's right. The patient was not dead yet. Zhu Tongji and academician Feng looked at each other and smiled. The hospital director saw this and was about to say something but stopped. Academician Zhu explained that Lang Ran used to work in the emergency department. He also had a lot of experience in CPR, and had a mechanical ventilation team under his command, and seemed to have resuscitated three patients with prolonged CPR. Lang Ran then activated his perfect emergency CPR skill. After more than 20 minutes, the patient finally regained his heartbeat and breathing. Lang Ran took off his gloves and looked at Jin Tungshang, and told him that he could send the patient to the ICU. The hospital director was very excited. The expert is an expert, and he really looked forward to the next surgery. Seeing that there was nothing else to do, Zhu Tongji asked Lang Ran how he planned to arrange things, and if he needed to rest for a while. Lang Ran turned to ask the hospital director if the patient was ready. The hospital director said that he had been ready for a long time. I was just delayed. Lang Ran said that he would go to the operating room now, but in the operating room, I need half an hour to prepare for the surgery again. The hospital director immediately said that it was no problem. Lang Ran went to the operating room and began to scan the patient's body. He could only look at the films and not touch the patient directly, so he could not use the virtual human. Lang Ran reached out and touched the patient's skin, which must have been the biggest drawback of the virtual human. He had gained experience and a sense of touch from many virtual surgeries, all of which were concentrated in his hands. Lang Ran wanted to verify his analysis and conjecture further, and this time he had to do something different. He quickly completed the virtual surgery. The range of the knife's incision was quite good, and the range of infiltration was not more than one centimeter from the prediction. Lang Ran was quite happy. It seemed that the resection of liver tumors in the elderly was gradually following a certain method, which would reduce the difficulty level. And this also means that in the next similar surgeries, he could also try not to use the virtual human. Lang Ran told the system to withdraw the virtual human, and prepared to start the formal surgery. Lang Ran held the scalpel and made a neat incision on the patient's skin. The surgery went smoothly. The director of general surgery, Hu Jinne, was amazed by all this from the outside. Academician Feng said that these operations were all very normal techniques for Lang Ran. Zhu Tongji smiled when he heard this. It's not new anymore after watching it, right? The test results were clear, which meant that the surgery was a great success. Lang Ran still did not react when he heard this, and calmly prepared to suture. At this moment, Hu Jinne was so excited that he jumped up. The two professors heard the movement, and looked at him with puzzled expressions. Hu Jinne embarrassedly touched the back of his head, and said that he was too excited. He went to Academician Feng, and asked him to ask Lang ran to perform surgery on him. Academician Feng asked him what was wrong with his liver. Hu Jinne lowered his head and said that a tumor had been found during a physical examination at the hospital. The location was not good, so his colleagues did not tell him after the examination. Academician Feng asked him what he was thinking. Hu Jinne said that he had contacted Professor Li, who suggested that he have surgery in China, and then go to the Anderson Cancer Center for chemotherapy after the procedure. After watching Dr. Lang's surgery, 
Hu Jinhe wanted to invite Lang Ran to do it, but since he did not know him, he hoped that Academician Feng could help him. Academician Feng asked him where he planned to have the surgery. Hu Jinhe said that he would go to Professor Li's number two affiliated hospital. Academician Feng said that he could help him make the request, but he could not guarantee that Lang Ran would accept. Hu Jinhe thanked him repeatedly. After the surgery, Lang Ran was in a good mood. Today's surgery was a practice using the virtual human to practice. It was very smooth to verify his conjecture. At this moment, Academician Fang's voice came from behind him. Lang Ran turned around, and Academician Feng said that he wanted to invite him and Lao Tzu to dinner today. Lang Ran was suspicious. Just dinner? Academician Feng guessed his thoughts and smiled. I also found a good case for you. He reached out to Lang Ran. Let's talk about it when we get to the restaurant. Lang Ran nodded. In the Diangfang restaurant in Beihai, Jingdu. Academician Feng said that this was the most famous royal restaurant in Jingdu. Lang Ran, do you eat this kind of food? Lang Ran picked up the teacup and nodded, and said that he was not picky about food. Academician Feng smiled and introduced the person next to him. This is Director Li Yuan, the director of the Department of General Surgery of the Number 2 Affiliated Hospital. Li Shun smiled and greeted Lang Ran. Then he went straight to the main point. Academician Feng said that he and Li Shun had both supervised a student named Hu Jinhe. He found out that he had liver cancer and wanted him to perform surgery on him. Academician Zhu wanted to help him refuse. Director Hu was not yet 60 years old, and even if his liver was removed, there was no guarantee that it would not recur. It would be better not to waste time choosing a surgeon. It would be better for the two of them to help him with the surgery. Academician Feng waved his hand. Let me finish. Hu Jinny's plan was to go to the Anderson Cancer Center for chemotherapy after the surgery. We have been following Lang Ran for many days. In this area of liver resection, you are currently the best in the country. Lang Ran still did not waver. But even so, there is no guarantee of a survival rate. Academician Feng felt that Hu Jinhe would be satisfied, and would continue to work after he finished his chemotherapy. Since Lang Ran was already in Jingdu, it would be more convenient to do it now. Academician Zhu was still a little worried. He had to help Lang Ran check carefully, so that he would not be deceived. Zhu Tongji looked at the other two people, and asked if they had brought Hu Jinhe's films, and he would help Lang Ran take a look. Li Shun immediately took out his computer and handed it to Academician Zhu. Zhu Tongji observed it seriously. The location of the tumor was not very good, and it was a fairly typical case of mid-stage liver cancer, so many people could do it. Lang Ran said that given Hu Jinhe's age, it was almost certain that he would experience a recurrence of the cancer. Therefore, it made no difference whether he did it or another doctor did it. Li Shun shook his head. He did not agree with this statement. In his opinion, there was a big difference. For example, if Lang Ran performed a liver resection, there would be no big difference compared to if others did it, then why would everyone invite him to perform the surgery? Lang Ran agreed with his words after hearing this. There really is a big difference. Li Shun was excited when he heard this. Then Dr. Lang, you have agreed, haven't you? Lang Ran did not answer. He only asked Hu Jinhe where he wanted to have the surgery. Li Shun said that he would do it at the number two affiliated hospital. In his department, two days ago, Hu Jinhe had started receiving intravenous fluids to protect his liver, and the surgery could be performed the next day. Lang Ran wiped his mouth, but I have to meet Hu Jinhe first, preferably today, so that I can coordinate with their hospital surgical team. Li Shun was very happy to receive the answer he wanted, and said that he could meet any request. He also asked what kind of surgery he wanted to do so that he could arrange it immediately. Lang Ran thought for a moment and then said, do a finger amputation surgery, two fingers or more. Then Lang Ran said that he was full, and that they should go to the hospital. There were many exclamations in room 3 of the orphanage. The surgical team was completely silent at this moment. With Lang Ran's technique, such blood vessels could also be sutured, which was really worth learning. After the surgery, everyone said that it was really comfortable to perform surgery with Lang Ran, and they had never felt that surgery could be so comfortable. Li Shun had been waiting in the corridor for a long time to ask Lang Ran how the cooperation had been. Lang Ran said helplessly that it was also normal, and that it would be better if the other doctor was more focused. Li Shun was embarrassed and said that he would tell him again. Lang Ran said that there was no need. After all, he had brought an assistant with him. On Li Shun's side, all they needed to do for the surgery was to help with the retractors. Li Shun hesitated for a moment after hearing this, and then agreed. Lang Ran continued to hold up five fingers to Li Shun. He decided that Hu Jinhe's liver resection surgery would begin at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. How could Li Shun dare to refuse? And immediately said that it was no problem. In the evening, Lang Ran lay on the bed thinking. 
he was used to using the AI, and suddenly not using it made him a little worried. Unable to sleep, he sat up again and took out Hu Jinny's films to look at. At this moment, Lang Ran was looking at the films when his eyes widened. During the day, he had not noticed that Hu Jinny's bile duct was abnormally twisted and adhered to the left liver. Lang Ran became more and more excited as he looked. This abnormal structure made the surgery the next day quite challenging. However, Lang Ran was still a little disappointed that only this one place was challenging. He looked at the films again and continued to study them carefully. At this moment, Lang Ran suddenly realized that he had already figured out how to solve the problem. And he was really excited. The challenge was gone. Early the next morning, the operating room of the number two affiliated hospital became busy. Lang Ran looked at Zuo Sidian and asked if the blood was ready. Zuo Sidian nodded. The number two affiliated hospital had prepared 2,000 milliliters, and 3,000 milliliters could be mobilized at any time. Next, Zuo Sidian introduced the two people next to him to Lang Ran. These were the two deputy directors of the number two affiliated hospital. Lang Ran nodded as a greeting. Lang Ran then said to start the surgery. The surgery was quickly and successfully completed. Three days later, Hu Jinhae was transferred from the intensive care unit to a regular ward. His wife felt very lucky, and said that it was very good that they had chosen this chief surgeon this time. The other colleagues also nodded in agreement. It was indeed very impressive that he could be transferred to a regular ward in three days. Another person said that he was very curious, and wanted to get to know this doctor. The nurse had a hard time remembering, and told them that there could not be too many people in the room so they had to take turns visiting without being noticed. Lang Ran went to check on the patient. He stood behind them, furious, and looked at the people in the room with a serious face and asked them to leave. A colleague was still very admiring. He stepped forward to get acquainted, but the nurse quickly stopped him. Too many people are not good for the patient's recovery. Everyone, please go out quickly. The doctor will check on him. Hu Jin looked at Lang Ran. Although his body was very weak, he still spoke to apologize to him. Lang Ran said gently, you are very weak now, don't talk, I will give you a general checkup. After the checkup, Lang Ran said that all the indicators were fine. Hu Jin you will soon be going to the Anderson Cancer Center in the United States. After the examination, Zuo Sidian looked at the schedule and said that Lang Ran did not have any surgeries today. So should we go to Dongwang District? Lang Ran thought of the doctor at the Dongwang District Hospital. He thought that even if he went, there would not be any surgeries to perform, and he could go for a visit, but that was beyond the authority of a flying knife doctor. At this moment, the system announced that there was a new task, train a new person and improve the doctor's technical level. Lang Ran saw this and decided to treat Zuo Sidian as a new person for the time being. He looked at Zuo Sidian and thought about what aspects of his skills he should improve. Suturing would be a bit slow, and it would be too tiring for his severed fingers. And Lao Zuo's health could not handle it. Testiclectomy and hepatectomy were too complicated. Moreover, improving a doctor's medical skills was not something that could be rushed. Lang Ran decided to go out for a walk, and changed his train of thought. He looked at Zuo Sidian. We don't have any surgeries today. Let's go visit the Great Wall. Zuo Sidian was almost stunned. Was it really possible to see Dr. Lang not performing surgery but going out to play? But the Great Wall was crowded with people, and Lang Ran was stuck and could not move. It was a waste of time. It would be better to go back and perform surgery. Zuo Sidian laughed behind him and advised Lang Ran to take it easy, and that he should just rest well, and that performing surgery would be more effective. Moreover, we've already come all this way. Zuo Sidian spoke, but there was no response. He looked at Lang Ran in front. Lang Ran was staring at a spot. Following his gaze, they discovered that there was a girl who had climbed up the wall to take a picture. The girl quickly lost her balance, and was about to fall. Then, the girl took a misstep and fell backward, and hit the ground hard. Lang Ran and Zuo Sidian rushed over when they saw this. He kept saying to the crowd, Take way, I'm a doctor. Lang Ran quickly reached the girl, and knelt down to ask her where she had fallen. And the girl said, holding her aching arm in pain, I think I fell on my arm. Lang Ran turned around and, asked Zuo Sidian to do a basic examination first. Zuo Sidian checked her over, and said that the other places had minor abrasions, and that the current diagnosis was a fracture of the left forearm. Lang Ran took the girl's injured left hand. The first thing he needed to do was to manually adjust it. He told the girl that it would hurt a little. Dr. Zuo, pay attention to the way I press. Lang Ran suddenly grabbed her finger, and pulled it hard to make a manual splint. The girl cried out in pain, and then, Lang Ran said that her hand had been adjusted. Try to move it a little. 
The girl moved her fingers gently, and her face was quite surprised. She could really move it. Lang Ran advised her not to climb the Great Wall anymore, and to go to the infirmary in the scenic area for treatment. This needs to be bandaged. The girl was puzzled when she heard this. Didn't I already move it? Why do I still need a bandage? Zuo Sidian sighed helplessly. Young people nowadays are really. The two of them stood up, and looked at her helplessly and said that they would take her there now. After the bandage was done, the girl's friend came to pick her up. The girl leaned on her friend and kept thanking Lang Ran. Her friend also helplessly comforted her, saying that if she couldn't play on the Great Wall, they could go somewhere else to play. The girl nodded obediently. Zuo Sidian sighed helplessly again when he saw this. Young people nowadays are really. Lang Ran originally wanted to go, but now he had a reason to leave. We won't go for a walk either. Let's go back. At this time, at Yunhua Hospital, Director Huo was telling his assistant to take him to the hotel, and to rent a car. He thought that he must bring Lang Ran back early, or else the emergency center would collapse. Two hours later, Director Huo finally arrived at the Donghuang District Hospital. As soon as he arrived at the hospital gate, he saw Lang Ran and Zuo Sidian standing there. Lang Ran was very surprised to see Director Huo. Why did the director come here? Director Huo complained and asked why he hadn't returned to Yunhua yet. Director Huo said that he had come here for a meeting. Currently, Yunhua's hospital beds had been empty for several days. Seeing that Lang Ran had not returned, the medical administration was preparing to transfer the hospital beds to other departments. Lang Ran's expression was not very good when he heard this. How could they take our beds? Director Huo sighed. You're not here, and the whole department has no momentum. The administration immediately coordinated the transfer of patients from our emergency center to other departments. I couldn't refuse to leave the hospital beds empty. Now, there are many patients coming to ask for hospital beds every day, and there are also patients from the emergency departments of other hospitals coming to our place to learn. Wang Jia and the others are worried that their bonuses will be less than when you were here so they all want to give up and not do it anymore. Lang Ran also sighed when he heard this. The capital is very slow to contact Fiadao, and it can't be done quickly. Director Huo said that if the medical records were not provided in time, they could go back to Yunhua. They could come to Fiadao later when they had collected enough medical records. Otherwise, they could also let the patients go to Yunhua for treatment. Lang Ran really didn't expect this method, and he exclaimed that the director was very reasonable. He asked Director Huo when he would return. He said that he would leave tomorrow morning. Lang Ran and Zuo Sidian couldn't help but doubt it when they heard this. The director came today and would leave tomorrow, which seemed to be wrong and not like his usual way of doing things. Director Huo happily took out his phone and booked a flight ticket. He said that he had two meetings, and that he just needed to be present. If it was convenient for Lang Ran, he could change to business class, and return tonight. Lang Ran suddenly realized this. What meeting? This was just to urge him to go back. In fact, Lang Ran also wanted to go back. He smiled and looked at Director Huo. We'll go back to Yunhua right away. The gate of Terminal 2 of Yunhua Airport. Tianqi was in the car, seeing someone coming out. He immediately stood up and greeted Lang Ran. Tianqi had come to pick up Lang Ran. Lang Ran was a little surprised to see the person in front of him. I haven't even opened the ride hailing app yet. Director Huo behind him winked at Tianqi. Tianqi smiled broadly. In fact, she and Director Huo had colluded in advance. Director Huo put his hand on Lang Ran's shoulder and held him back. If you go back to the hospital, go for a haircut first. Lang Ran turned his head to look at Director Huo, not quite understanding what he meant. Director Huo said with a grin that he had to scare the people in the medical administration so that they would know their place. Lang Ran could only remain silent when he heard this. At this moment, when the hospital found out that Lang Ran had returned, everyone's face turned red, and they were stunned. Lang Ran did not hesitate to call Wang Jia to count the hospital beds and give him the duty schedule so that he could arrange the duty immediately. The backer had returned, and Wang Jia was so happy that she was going crazy. She nodded repeatedly. I understand. Tianqi saw this and asked, are you going to work as soon as you come back? Aren't you going to rest for three or four days to recover? The colleagues who knew Lang Ran well teased him. You can't relax in the operating room anywhere. Dr. Zhou continued to say, let Wang Jia count the hospital beds himself. I have a patient with appendicitis who needs surgery. Do you want to do it? Lang Ran nodded when he heard this, and said that he could do it in the operating room. Lang Ran said that he had watched the movie, so he could just give him general anesthesia. Ma Yi Lin next to him reported the patient's vital signs. The patient had hypertension and had never been treated before, and was not taking any medication. 
Lang Ran nodded when he heard this, and ordered the surgery to begin. The appendix was quickly found, and Lang Ran signaled Ma Yi Lin to remove it. The surgery was over, and Lang Ran told him to suture it up. At this time, the system reminded Lang Ran that the task of training the newcomer had been completed. Lang Ran was a little surprised, as Ma Yi Lin had completed this task before. The reward for completing the task was an additional four hours of virtual human usage time. Lang Ran was very satisfied with this, and he couldn't help but sigh that Yunhua was still the best. At this moment, Zuo Sidian suddenly rushed into Lang Ran's office, and asked him if he had finished the surgery. If he hadn't, he should hand it over to someone else to do. He quickly went to the airport parking lot and prepared to go to the sea. It was too sudden, and he couldn't react in time. Lang Ran also understood the urgency of the situation. He told Ma Yi Lin to arrange the surgery himself, and that Wang Jia would come to deal with it later. Ma Yi Lin hurriedly agreed. As the two of them walked, Lang Ran asked about the situation. Zuo Sidian explained that there had been a collision between a cargo ship and a fishing boat near the Yuanbao Coral Reef. Some of the crew members were seriously injured and could not be sent to the hospital in time, so they needed us to go for emergency treatment. Next to the helicopter, Director Huo handed Lang Ran a white coat. Pioneer team, emergency rescue team. The emergency team and the rescue team have all gone over there, and they are just waiting for us. The helicopter arrived quickly. As soon as Director Huo landed, he asked about the situation, and where the patients were. The man said that the patients were all on the lower deck of the ship. Lang Ran hurriedly asked if there was an operating room, and what the conditions were like. The crew member said that the operating room was on the lower deck of the main ship, and that there were two rooms in total, located in the part of the ship that shook the least. The current location was far from the storm area, and the conditions for surgery were still there. At this moment, there was the sound of a doctor shouting for an emergency in the operating room. Director Huo knew that this surgery was not going to be easy. The crew member smiled awkwardly. That's why we had to trouble you. The two of them did not hesitate when they saw this, and went straight to the operating room. As soon as the two of them entered, Director Huo knew that this patient was dying. He couldn't let the patient die in Lang Ran's hands. Director Huo reached out to stop Lang Ran, who was about to go over there. Don't be in a hurry. There's nothing you can do here. Let's go to the operating room next door. Lang Ran finally stepped forward and told the chief surgeon that he was in the wrong position. He said that as long as he found the bleeding point, it would be fine. The chief surgeon glared at him when he heard this. This is an emergency scene, not a place to show off. Lang Ran ignored his gaze, and said that the bleeding point must be near the spleen. The chief surgeon was even more furious, and said that if it was the spleen that was bleeding, who wouldn't be able to find it? Who doesn't know that the spleen bleeds a lot? I've already searched for it once. Lang Ran took off his gown and walked out. The chief surgeon didn't care about him. He didn't have time for him to show off now. At this moment, Lang Ran had already changed into his surgical gown. Although he had guessed the bleeding method and location by virtue of his superb hand-stopping technique, but now he couldn't afford to make any mistakes. To be sure, he asked the system to create a virtual human. After Lang Ran checked it again, it turned out that he was right. The bleeding point was in the spleen. At this moment, Lang Ran found that the patient's liver also had a problem. I've got the situation under control. He looked at the chief surgeon and asked if he could try something. The chief surgeon didn't say anything when he heard this. Lang Ran didn't hear him say anything, so he reached in directly and activated his perfect hand-stopping technique. The chief surgeon next to him told him to suture it quickly. He came to his senses and immediately began to suture. After witnessing Lang Ran's technique, the chief surgeon apologized to him. Director Huo cleared his throat and said that everyone was here to save people, that they should be friendly to each other. Lang Ran thought that Director Huo was saying that he was not friendly, so he nodded and said that he understood. Lang Ran looked at the chief surgeon seriously. With your skill level, it's normal that you can't find the bleeding point, so there's no need to be embarrassed. Director Huo was speechless. I didn't say that to you, Lang Ran, but your words are not friendly at all. The chief surgeon was furious. All right, all right, all right, you're very skilled, though please guide me more. Lang Ran said that he was just giving a simple guide, and that the chief surgeon's technique in the suturing step just now was too sloppy, and that he didn't understand the anatomical structure of the abdomen. At this moment, Director Huo was petrified. He silently begged Lang Ran to stop talking. At this moment, Lang Ran remembered that he had been so busy giving instructions that he had forgotten that the patient's liver also had a problem. After saying that, he lowered his head and operated on the liver. The chief surgeon was stunned. What happened? Why do we have to cut the liver? Lang Ran didn't pay any attention to him. 
He told the nurse to send the slice to the pathology department. When the nurse heard this, she asked him if he suspected that the patient had liver cancer. Langran nodded. He said that it looked quite similar to the liver cancer surgeries he had done recently. After that, he told her to go quickly. The chief surgeon said that even if it was really cancer, it would not be appropriate to perform surgery under the conditions on this ship. Langran explained that this patient was bleeding severely, and that if he was sent to the operating room for surgery, his chances of survival would be greatly reduced. If we don't do it now, we won't be able to do it when we get back. At this moment, the pathology department also reported the results, which was malignant liver cancer. Langran understood in his heart, and began to prepare to cut the liver ligament. He looked up and asked the chief surgeon if he wanted to take a break or come and help. The chief surgeon said that he didn't need to rest. Langran heard this and began to guide him in cutting the liver ligament. These lightning fast actions continued. Unexpectedly, at this moment, they encountered a storm. The entire warship began to shake violently. The surgery encountered a major accident. The chief surgeon was shocked, and the patient started bleeding again when he wasn't paying attention. Lang Lang Ran saw this and threw the hemostatic clip aside, preparing to do it himself, just as Lang Ran had guessed. When he boarded the ship, he had anticipated that the ship would be unstable. Lang Ran told the nurse next to him to prepare the suture needle, the suture thread. Due to the sudden accident, the nurse was scared out of her wits. Only after the chief surgeon shouted at her did she come to her senses. Lang Ran let go of his hand, and the bleeding point was easily sutured. He turned to ask the nurse about the patient's current blood pressure. Everything was normal. Lang Ran was relieved, and continued with the liver resection surgery. An hour later, the surgery was successfully completed. Lang Ran asked if there was an ICU on the ship, and if not, to send him to the intensive care unit. At this moment, the nurse received news that a helicopter was about to transfer two seriously injured people. One is suspected of having a skull fracture, and the other has broken both arms, and is still in a coma. At this moment, Zuo Sidian and the others also arrived, and told Director Huo that the patient had arrived. Director Huo nodded. He took off his surgical gown. Since reinforcements had arrived, he and Dr. Zhou would be in charge of these two patients. Lang Ran and Lu Wenbin went to the operating room next door. Zuo Sidian was in charge of coordinating the operation. Everyone was racing against time to save the patients. At this moment, the nurse received news that a critically ill patient had been brought in, and that they needed help receiving him. Zuo Sidian immediately said that he would go and help. The patient was quickly carried down. The man who came with him was very flustered. This was their deputy captain, who had been hit by a rope, and then had fallen several times in a row. He hurriedly asked Zuo Sidian which operating room to take him to. Zuo Sidian helped carry him inside, but he still can't be sent to the operating room. He has to wait first. He refused to wait. The deputy captain is about to die. There's no time to wait. Zuo Sidian wouldn't let him go. He decided to go by himself. Zuo Sidian hurriedly stopped him. I also know that your deputy captain's condition is very critical. But if you want to save him, you can only wait. The man didn't believe it. Zuo Sidian continued to explain. The only person who can save him is Lang Ran. He's the doctor who has created miracles many times. He finally agreed, and then couldn't help but cry. He begged the doctor to save the deputy captain. He was supposed to be the one who was hit by the rope. But the deputy captain pushed him away. Otherwise he wouldn't have ended up like this. The person lying here should have been me. Zuo Sidian saw this and went to comfort him. That's why he had to send his deputy captain to Lang Ran. The few minutes of waiting outside the operating room felt like centuries. The door to the operating room finally opened. The man was so anxious that he started to hallucinate. He thought that the gates of heaven had opened, and that Lang Ran, who had stepped out from inside, was a god with a holy aura who had come to save him from his suffering. Zuo Sidian saw that he was in a daze and hurriedly patted him on the shoulder. He needed to take their deputy captain in now. He needed to go and write down the contraindications, and write down his blood type. He nodded repeatedly when he heard this. Just before entering the operating room, he shouted out, You must save my deputy captain. In the operating room, Lang Ran and Zuo Sidian were discussing and reporting on the patient's condition. After listening, Lang Ran had a plan. This is really a major surgery. I have to use the stimulant. Lang Ran did not hesitate and drank a bottle of stimulant. He then activated his perfect X-ray vision skill. He carefully observed the patient's condition. He quickly finished the examination, and the results showed that the patient had a fractured fibula and ribs. He would deal with those later. First, he would check the patient's overall physical condition, and then prioritize treating the problems in the abdomen. However, his physical examination was not very good. His spleen, 
liver, and kidneys were all bruised, and there were blood clots. Zuo Sidian was very surprised and told Lang Ran that they didn't have enough blood. Lang Ran nodded. He told Zuo Sidian to go and see what director Huo was doing. If he wasn't busy, he should invite him over. Zuo Sidian was a bit confused when he heard this. Lang Ran didn't explain much. He told him to go and explain the patient's condition clearly. Lang Ran could handle the liver and spleen, but it would be best to let director Huo handle the kidney. Zuo Sidian then remembered that Dr. Lang had never performed kidney surgery before. He hurriedly turned around and walked towards the other operating room. In the other operating room, Director Huo asked Zuo Sidian as soon as he entered, Didn't I tell you to go out and coordinate? Are you back here? Zuo Sidian explained, Dr. Lang's patient has a bruised kidney. I'm inviting you to come over for a consultation. Director Huo nodded after hearing this. Call Dr. Zhou, who is resting outside, in, and I'll go to Lang Ran's operating room right away. Director Huo was very happy to be needed by his student. I'm here, Lang Ran. Lang Ran said that he was about to open the abdomen when he saw the director coming. Director Huo said, you don't need to wait for me to open the abdomen. You can do it first. He then hurriedly stepped forward. The two of them began to open the abdomen. At this moment, the assistant who was monitoring the situation reported that the amount of blood loss was too great, and that it had reached 4,000 milliliters. Another nurse immediately hung up the blood transfusion and prepared to transfuse blood. Director Huo was a little surprised. Don't you have a blood recovery machine? With such a large wound, you don't even have a blood recovery machine? Are we going to have to rely on blood bags to hold on? Lang Ran turned to ask the nurse how much blood was left. The nurse said that there were four bags left, each with 400 milliliters. Lang Ran understood. It seemed that he would have to speed up the surgery. Director Huo saw that he was preparing to speed up and wanted to step forward to help suture. Lang Ran quietly said that his suturing speed was faster. Director Huo was a little embarrassed when he heard this. At this moment, the system issued a mission. Saving the deputy captain will reward you with a pain relief patch. Lang Ran said that even if he didn't do the mission, he would still save the patient. However, he was a little curious. What was this pain relief patch? But he didn't have time to care about it right now. Lang Ran lowered his head and continued to perform the surgery. At this moment, the assistant reported that the patient's body temperature had dropped significantly. Lang Ran did not panic, and told the assistant to control the temperature first. The assistant asked if they should increase the room temperature. Director Huo asked if there were any electric blankets on the ship, and said that they could be used to wrap the patient up or something, and then brought over here. The nurse immediately went to look for an electric blanket. Lang Ran saw this and thought that it seemed like he would have to wait a little longer for the kidney. Director Huo asked when the supply ship would arrive, and if there would be any more blood. The assistant was worried and sweating. The nearest supply ship was still two hours away, and they had only brought 1,600 cc of blood type B. Director Huo couldn't help but worry when he heard this. The other patients also needed blood, and these four bags were not enough at all. Zuo Sidian immediately asked if they could mobilize mobilize the crew. There must be about 10 people with blood type B on the ship, and 400 from each person would give them 4,000, and then they could ask the other side to send more, which should be enough. Director Huo hesitated when he heard this. The rescue work at the scene was still not over, and the other side might still have to continue high-intensity rescue work, but if they didn't take blood, it was hard to say whether this patient could be saved. What's more, what about the next injured people? At this moment, Director Huo came up with an idea. He explained the situation to the crew of the supply ship, and hoped that they would donate blood. The high-speed ship arrived to donate blood before the warship. The nurses prepared to draw blood from them, and told them to sit for 10 minutes before leaving. The sailors immediately said that they could rest assured. In the operating room, Lang Ran reminded Director Huo to treat the kidney. At this moment, the door of the operating room suddenly opened. A group of people walked in and said as soon as they entered, entered, we are the provincial leaders. Director Huo is busy with surgery and did not look up. He shouted loudly, I don't care what provincial leaders you are. You can't let too many people into the operating room. The people at the door said seriously that they were not provincial leaders, but were sent by the province to help with the rescue. Director Huo looked up at them when he heard this, then go to operating room number two to help. Everyone rushed to operating room number two when they heard this. At this moment, the man came to his senses and was speechless. They all came to help with the rescue. 
but why did Huo Kongjun seem like he was the leader? He was too lazy to argue. Because saving people was more important now. The doctors were all busy at their posts, seizing every second and minute to snatch people from the hands of death. A few hours later, Lang Ran's surgery was also completed. Lang Ran looked at the pain relief patch that the system had rewarded him with, and wondered how long it would last after he put it on. The system said that it would last for a month, and that it would not cause any pain during that time. Lang Ran was a little surprised, but would it fall off when he took a shower? The system said no. At this moment, Director Huo asked him what he was thinking about, and if he was tired. But a new patient had arrived, and Lang Ran immediately regained his spirits. He nodded and raised his hand to rub his neck. The surgery had been so intense, that even though he had taken some energy-boosting drugs, his body was still aching. He raised his hand and put the pain relief patch on his cervical vertebra, and the pain disappeared instantly. Lang Ran was very happy. Now he was back in top shape. The rescue mission continued from morning to night, and then to morning again. Director Huo was finally happy, because the rescue mission had finally been a complete success. Lin Honghou was also very happy. They had rescued a total of 67 people, and 21 of them had been seriously injured. Liu Wenbin excitedly patted Dr. Zhou on the shoulder. Everyone who had been brought in had survived, and they were all filled with a sense of accomplishment. The reporters on the shore had their cameras ready, hoping to get the latest news. Liu Wenbin whispered in Lang Ran's ear. Boss, you don't like to take pictures, so let's go back to the hospital quickly. I have something to tell you. I have to tell you in the hospital to feel it. Lang Ran smiled helplessly when he heard this, but he still agreed. When they returned to the hospital, Liu Wenbin went to Lang Ran's office. Over the past two days of rescue, he had some questions about liver resection, and Liu Wenbin excitedly expressed his doubts. At this moment, Lang Ran was a little surprised, because the system had just reminded him that the task of training a new person had been completed, and the reward was an intermediate treasure chest. Lang Ran quickly understood that Liu Wenbin's liver resection surgery had gone from no level to the introductory level. Lang Ran opened the treasure chest, and he smiled with satisfaction. He had raised a basic skill to the perfect level, and now he was wondering what to choose this time. Given his current situation, the two items that could be improved the most were exposure and separation. In the end, Lang Ran raised his hand and chose separation, and Lang Ran also chose tissue separation without any hesitation. At this moment, Liu Wenbin was still excitedly asking him if he had understood anything about liver resection. Lang Ran patted Liu Wenbin on the shoulder with satisfaction. You've already entered the introductory level. In the future, try to take on more related surgeries. And if there's anything you don't understand, just ask me. Liu Wenbin immediately agreed when he heard this. The next morning, Lang Ran went to ask Ta Zidian about today's schedule. Ta Zidian said that today's schedule was a patient with a Coles fracture. Lang Ran had originally planned to have him perform a liver resection surgery today, but now it was out of the question. At this moment, Dr. Zhou came out of the consultation room and called Lang Ran over. Dr. Zhou pointed to the person in the room. The patient had sudden severe abdominal pain and asked if he could give it to him. Lang Ran guessed that it was probably appendicitis, and it was a good opportunity to test out his perfect tissue separation skill. Dr. Zhou asked the patient to describe his condition. The patient said that he had been constipated for three, four days. Lang Ran's eyes were filled with disappointment in an instant, because it wasn't appendicitis. The patient held up his little finger, but sometimes I can go a little bit like this. Dr. Zhou was helpless and rubbed his forehead. It's not enough. Think about it again. How long has it been since you had a normal bowel movement? The patient thought carefully. About 20 some days. Dr. Zhou glanced at Lang Ran, and he must have been unwilling to take on this case. Then transfer him to the general surgery department. They are more professional. Dr. Zhou went out the door, and grabbed another doctor and told him to take the patient to the general surgery department. At this moment, there was the sound of hurried footsteps outside, and it turned out to be Yu Yuan running over. She had heard that there was a patient with constipation, and her eyes lit up. The two people in the room were stunned by her, and pointed to the door, meaning that the person had just left. Yu Yuan sighed in disappointment for a moment. Lang Ran saw this and said, if you want to do general surgery, you can go to the general surgery department for a few days. Yu Yuan sighed sadly. I'm in the middle of my residency now, and I have to wait until this period is over. At this moment, someone at the door called for Yu Yuan, and it turned out to be a nurse looking for her. The nurse breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, Yu Yuan is here. There's an emergency. She pointed out of the room with embarrassment, gesturing for Yu Yuan to follow her. 
the nurse explained with a blush. A 48-year-old man inserted a light bulb into his rectum and couldn't get it out. Yu Yuan's expression became excited. She stepped forward and lifted the patient's gown, and asked him if the light bulb was intact or broken. The patient covered his face and said that it was intact, and she asked if it was possible to avoid surgery. Yu Yuan hesitated for a moment. If it really can't be taken out, then surgery is the only option. The man was agitated. I'd rather die than have surgery. And I'll have to have an artificial anus after surgery. Not only is it useless, but it also stinks. Yu Yuan said that she understood. But they had to go for an x-ray first. She asked Lang Ran if he wanted to go with her. Lang Ran immediately waved his hand to refuse, saying that he didn't need to. At this moment, a doctor rushed over to find Lang Ran. It turned out that Director Shaw was looking for him because there was a very difficult patient and asked if he wanted to see him together. Lang Ran was immediately interested when he heard this, and said that he would be right over. Lang Ran had just arrived, and Sha Yenjung had already taken out the x-ray film and showed it to him. This patient was very special, and he wondered if he should have surgery. Sha Yenjung was still considering it. Lang Ran immediately said, then send him to our emergency room. Sha Yenjung hesitated for a moment. After all, this patient's condition was a bit special. Lang Ran thought about his perfect tissue separation skill and was very confident, and told him to send the person to the emergency room. Sha Yenjung thought to himself that he had already said said everything he needed to say. If the surgery was not successful, then it was not his problem. He turned to An Dan and told him to help Lang Ran with the paperwork. After admitting the patient, Lu Wenbin teased. Fortunately, our boss is willing to make friends. Lei Baum said that he knew that before he came, he had checked, and that Dr. Lang was a liver resection specialist in the province. Lang Ran told them not to gossip, and to let him check his health first. Lang Ran asked the system to create a virtual Lei Baum, and began to cut his liver. Looking at the objects that were constantly moving inside, it seemed that the situation was even worse than Lang Ran had imagined. At this moment, a nurse came to find him and said that Director Huo was looking for him. Lang Ran turned to Lu Wenbin and told him to do some tests for the patient first. Director Huo called Lang Ran over because he had seen the patient's medical records, and he didn't want Lang Ran to try to act strong. Huo Kongjun asked Lang Ran to tell the truth, how sure he was of this surgery. Lang Ran felt that there was no problem. Director Huo was confident when he saw how confident he was. Then let's broadcast it live, so that everyone can see. Once the surgery is successful, Lang Ran, you can put up your expert nameplate in his hepatobiliary department. The nurses and the head doctor led a group of people to the hospital, and it turned out to be the experts from the Anderson Cancer Center, their surgical team, from the chief surgeon to the first and second assistants, as well as the anesthesiologist and the nurses, were all present. Unexpectedly, they came to this hospital just to participate in three surgeries, to be completed within three days and broadcast live. The nurses were all stunned. Famous foreign experts came to the hospital and broadcast live while performing surgery. What an honor. So the medical staff were in a hurry. And they had to rush to adjust the equipment. Wait a moment. The medical staff quickly adjusted the equipment and started the live broadcast. Just in time for Director Hu to lead people to observe. Director Hu was about to lead him to the operating room when he asked a question. Where is the live broadcast room for the surgery upstairs? The medical staff had to go and have a look before answering him. Yunhua Hospital, Xixiang Province. Director Hu was stunned for a moment. Unexpectedly, it was Dr. Lang from Yunhua Hospital. At this moment, Dr. Lang was still working hard, because the patient was obese, he was not absolutely sure and could not touch the liver, and he had to try to use as little electrocautery as possible. Note that you can't touch it when you aspirate. This kind of liver is almost rotten, and the blood vessels have long been exposed. I didn't expect the surgery to be so clear. Dr. Lloyd looked at the live broadcast, and his hands couldn't help but follow along. But it was time for them to go into the operating room. And he was still engrossed in the live broadcast. And he decided to watch it before going to surgery. This surgery should take another hour or two. He might as well do the surgery first. And he could ask someone else to record the whole video. But Dr. Lloyd didn't think so. If it was replayed, the quality would not be as good. And it was also to avoid risks. But Director Hu began to flatter Dr. Lloyd. Dr. Lang is good, but he can't compare to your reputation. Your live broadcast video will not be interrupted either. Dr. Lloyd didn't pay attention to these words. No need to say more about this. I don't want to have surgery at the same time as him. 
Director Hu had to tell the nurse to postpone the surgery for two hours. The foreign experts were all watching intently. They hurriedly reminded Dr. Lloyd, who was performing a portal vein ligation. Director Hu didn't see anything, but Dr. Lloyd said with dissatisfaction, This patient has a collateral circulation. Can't you see it? It's an extra vein. If you don't pay attention, it will be a medical accident by this step. The patient's veins are quite small. This Dr. Lang is really cautious. His professional surgical team also thought so. That's right, he just stopped for two, three minutes. The first judgment was that there was a collateral circulation vein. This doctor is very good. But what surprised them even more was that Dr. Lang was actually using his bare hands to break the liver. Using bare hands to break the liver is not the point. The point is that the patient's liver is so rotten. If you don't use the right force, the liver will break immediately. But this doctor broke it perfectly. I want to go to Yunhua Hospital, Qixiang province to visit his team. The accompanying doctors all agreed. They would also go after the surgery here was completed. At this time, their conversation was not over yet. Dr. Lang's live broadcast surgery was perfectly completed. All the medical staff breathed a sigh of relief at the same time. Finally finished this surgery. It was really reckless. Lang Ran had just finished the surgery when he saw Dr. Zuo looking very flustered. He showed him his phone. Six or seven hospitals contacted him to perform the surgery. And the wounded district hospital needed arthroscopic knee surgery the most. At this time, Director Huo came over to check on Lang Ran's surgery. He told the director that the surgery had been performed successfully. And it was completed smoothly. Director Huo smiled. Just make an appointment and go to Sha Yenjung's hepatobiliary department to see the patient. After finishing a very tiring surgery, Lang Ran still planned to go to the clinic. Zuo Sidian was stunned. If it were me, I would have died. The emergency can't be stopped. So Lang Ran continued to perform seven more surgeries. And then he went to the hepatobiliary department the next day. But the expert's clinic sign had to be approved. Director Shaw said that it was just reported yesterday. And it couldn't be done today. Anyway, Lang Ran didn't have many patients, and if he was too busy, he could transfer them to his clinic. Director Shaw went back to his office in frustration. Nowadays, who would go to see a doctor and register for a regular clinic? They have changed their mindset and everyone is registering for expert clinics. Lang Ran was busy all day, and after he went to the regular clinic, the scene outside was very desolate. Director Huo had noticed the anomaly early on. He told Zhang Anman to take action and save the situation, so the nurses took turns to show their skills, personally guiding the patients. Dr. Lang on the opposite side, Lang Ran is the best doctor in our hospital's hepatobiliary department. His clinic is over there. At that time, a group of patients came to ask where Dr. Lang Ran's clinic was. He said that he was referred here by someone else, and he heard that his skills were unmatched. Unexpectedly, in the hospital, there were people who came to ask where Dr. Lang Ran was one after another. The doctors looked at each other, and their eyes were like-minded. Before they could answer, a patient came with a medical record looking for Dr. Lang's clinic. The doctors and nurses nodded hurriedly, meaning that they had found the right place and Dr. Lang was in the clinic. The man scratched his head in embarrassment. It seems that the news is not wrong. I came here to support him myself. The nurse stood still in support. These words don't seem to be wrong, but there was something wrong with it. The number of patients was increasing. Zhang Anman was going to ask them to queue up. At this time, Director Shaw, who was seeing expert clinics, was very puzzled. Why were there so many patients queuing outside? He curiously poked his head out to see that the regular clinic was the one with a long queue. Director Shaw was very sad. It turned out that he was the clown. After two days, Lang Ran was transferred from the regular clinic to the expert clinic. When Lang Ran led Zhang Anman and Lu Wenbin to the door, he couldn't help but be stunned. Two days ago, it was still a regular clinic. The boss should go to the expert clinic. Lang Ran didn't say anything and opened the door quickly. But Zhang Anman stopped him immediately, signaling Lang Ran to wait a little longer before entering. The situation inside was a bit strange. After observing carefully for a while, he came to a conclusion. The atmosphere inside was not the same as before. The expert clinic had a fragrant smell, not the usual smell in a hospital. Lang Ran didn't pay attention, and quickly turned the doorknob and entered first. Unexpectedly, the changes in the room were huge. The three of them looked around in amazement. An exquisite bookshelf, and the floor was polished brightly. The lights on the ceiling were replaced with bright ones, and even the tables and chairs were completely new. In two days, the clinic had undergone a major renovation. What did Director Shaw do? Did he do something wrong and pay for it with money? But Lu Wenbin felt that Director Shaw alone did not have such great ability. Lang Ran didn't care. As long as he could see patients, he could start taking numbers. 
Suddenly, Lang Ran received a task, patiently and meticulously, five patients, talking to each person for over 30 minutes, so Lang Ran looked at Zhang Anman, and asked him to arrange ten patients for him. The patients walked into the door one by one, and unexpectedly, it was such a young doctor, but he had registered for an expert clinic number. Lang Ran heard this and said that he was the doctor who was seeing the patients. He asked the patient where he was feeling unwell. The patient said it was cholecystitis, and he would have surgery after the examination. Lang Ran carefully checked the patient's condition, and then wrote him a form. He could be admitted to the hospital after paying the fee. He was indeed a good patient. It was interesting to have such an easy-going patient, but Lang Ran realized that he had not spoken for even a minute, and the real task had not progressed at all. He had to quickly see the next patient. Unexpectedly, the next ones were two girls. One of them was Tian Chi with bright eyes, and it seemed that she was not here to see a doctor. Lang Ran didn't gossip with the patient, and he gently asked her where she was feeling unwell. Mai Chun shyly lowered her head, pretending that her stomach was very uncomfortable. This is a hepatobiliary surgery clinic, and it's not possible to check the condition of the stomach. So Tian Chi quietly helped her move her hand, pretending to say that her gallbladder was not feeling well. Mai Chun painfully held her stomach, saying that her gallbladder was suddenly very uncomfortable. Lang Ran looked at her cooperatively. What kind of discomfort is it? Is it accompanied by a stabbing pain? Mai Chun was embarrassed by the question, and Tian Chi quickly came to her rescue. It's very painful, doctor. Mai Chun agreed. Now her gallbladder is really painful. She sometimes has stomach pain after eating. Someone said that her gallbladder must be bad, so let Mai Chun have a checkup. Lang Ran said that he understood, and quickly typed on the computer, to let them go for an ultrasound. Tian Chi pulled Mai Chun up. We'll go for a checkup first, and then come back to you with the results, right? Tian Chi suddenly turned to Lang Ran and asked, Are you satisfied with the renovation of this clinic? Lu Wenbin and Zhang Anmen were observing, and they secretly woke up. It's true that Director Sha has such ability. People are really different. Tian Chi smiled happily. If there are no suggestions for revision, it means that you are satisfied. Lang Ran was a straightforward guy, who only had patients and surgery in his mind. This patient has a high magnetic resonance, with multiple small local sclerotic changes, and the liver has regenerating nodules, which are probably caused by drinking. At that time, Dr. Zhou was happily holding a cup of water. I'm quite busy anyway, so I'm just being a little lazy. The door of the room was suddenly opened wide. The director called out to him. Dr. Zhou was shocked, and the cup in his hand almost fell out. A group of foreign doctors came to Yunhua, so he wanted Dr. Zhou to go and receive them. Dr. Zhou immediately understood which doctors they were, and asked if an interpreter was needed. The American Anderson Cancer Center. I remember you said that your English is good, right? They asked for Lang Ran, but there was no con contact information there, so the hospital was not notified in advance. But not all foreigners are like that, and the Anderson Cancer Center couldn't issue an official document. But they had to have some kind of identification anyway. You take them to the Shaojia restaurant to entertain them first, and then report to the hospital leaders after you have determined the situation. Dr. Zhou showed helplessness and said that he would take care of it. Dr. Zhou found a banner, and hurried out to greet the foreign friends who had come from afar. Dr. Lloyd stepped forward to greet him, followed by his surgical team. They all had their own thoughts. Dr. Zhou led them to the hotel let them rest for a while, and then led the group to dinner. Director Huo had some business to deal with, and would definitely come to meet them later. Don't worry, Dr. Zhou said that the restaurant they were going to was very special, and it would definitely become a good memory for them. They could eat whatever they wanted. They mainly wanted to meet Dr. Lang Ran and Yunhua. Dr. Lloyd wanted to get acquainted, and asked if he could introduce Dr. Lang to them today. Unexpectedly, the foreigners were so straightforward. It's strange. I have to be careful. He said that he had watched the live surgery and was very surprised. So he came to find Dr. Lang. After all, Watching the live broadcast was not as good as seeing it in person. I had to come to see it in person. Dr. Joe thought that it would be easy to just watch the surgery. It's easy to handle. Why don't we go to dinner first? So he led them to the Shaojia restaurant. Does everyone have any taboos? Dr. Lloyd spoke first, saying that he didn't eat greasy food. The members of the surgical team smiled embarrassedly. One said that he didn't eat awful. Another looked around, and didn't forget to explain that he didn't eat nuts. After asking, Dr. Zhou stood outside the door and called out to the owner, Xiao, 
to greet the foreign guests. At this moment, Dr. Bowman tripped and fell to the ground. Everyone was very nervous. When they hurriedly wanted to help their companion up, Bowman fell forward uncontrollably, using his knees to reduce the abrasion, but he forgot that the ground was very hard. After falling to the ground, there was a cracking sound. Bowman held his knee in pain and could not stand up at all. It seemed that he could not move. Dr. Joe hurriedly called out to the owner, Xiao, and asked him to bring the medical kit in the ambulance. When the owner, Xiao, heard this, he quickly went to get it. There really were medical supplies in the car. Dr. Lloyd was very surprised, and asked if this was the standard equipment for Chinese restaurants. But it was a bit complicated to explain, so it was better to let him understand that it was a civilian rescue team. Dr. Boyle came to Dr. Lloyd, with a very serious expression, and said that the situation was serious, and that his leg might have to be amputated. Dr. Joe listened carefully, but did not say anything. Bowman was furious when he heard this. Don't let Boyle operate. He only knows how to amputate. Dr. Lloyd looked around helplessly, and told them not to argue anymore, that they would talk about it when they got to the hospital. So everyone rushed to the hospital for an x-ray. It turned out that the meniscus was broken. The meniscus and ligaments were handed over to Lang Ran to do. Dr. Joe went to the hepatobiliary department and called Lang Ran back. If Lang Ran did the surgery, Dr. Bowman would be able to recover like a normal person after the surgery. At this time, in operating room number two, Lang Ran finished putting on his surgical gown and was waiting for the surgery to begin. Bowman was afraid of having his leg amputated. After all, he played tennis regularly, and occasionally went hiking. Lang Ran explained to him helplessly, who told you that it had to be amputated? The patient was too nervous now, and it was not convenient to perform surgery. Let's give him anesthesia. The doctor quickly took the ventilator, and hurriedly put it on the patient, and then calmly waited. A moment later, the patient was anesthetized, gradually losing consciousness, and then closed his eyes. They were waiting for the right opportunity. When the second hand of the clock reached the right position, the surgery could begin. Lang Ren quickly deployed his surgical skills to create a perfect meniscus through arthroscopy. Unexpectedly, Dr. Lang was not only good at liver resection, but also proficient in arthroscopic surgery. But the patient's meniscus was very badly broken, and there was too much tissue that could not be touched. The blood had to be aspirated several times so that the surgical field was clear enough. If Boyle had performed meniscectomy instead, he could have done it as well as Dr. Lang at this speed, and he could also guarantee motor function. But Lang Ran wanted Bowman to recover normally, which was not what Boyle had said. Boyle said that Bowman was too risky, too greedy, and that the level of trauma required meniscectomy. Lang Ran did not know anything about the outside world, and quickly completed the surgery. As they were about to finish, Boyle leaned forward. This surgery was completed too quickly. Lloyd and the others were very curious and wanted to go to the operating room to see it, after making sure that they would not touch anything. Director Huo led them in to observe. He swore with his hand raised, saying that he would definitely not touch the equipment randomly. Though so everyone changed into sterile clothes and went in. Lang Ran showed them the situation in the knee. He had to pick up the equipment, and gently poked the patient's knee. Dr. Lloyd nodded in praise. The surgery was very good. Thank you. But Boyle was very surprised, and did not expect that arthroscopic surgery could be done to this extent. Dr. Lloyd was suddenly very happy. Dr. Lang, when will you perform liver resection surgery? Lang Ran helplessly lowered his head. What was going on? Director Huo gave a thumbs up. I will arrange for Lang Ran to perform surgery for them to see. Everyone had just finished a surgery, and unexpectedly, they were informed that the next surgery was about to begin. Lloyd wanted to help but was firmly rejected by the director. After all, the emergency center was fully staffed. He saw that director Huo had misunderstood. Because Dr. Lang had cured Bowman, they wanted to do something to express their gratitude. The Anderson Cancer Center was a world-class medical center, and if they could invite a few experts to come here, they would owe them a great favor. So director Huo began to think, if there was a consultation, could it be broadcast live? Lloyd said that there was no problem. He was immediately relieved and waved his hand to signal the technician to go and adjust the equipment. The technician was very quick and finished adjusting the equipment in the blink of an eye. The signal was perfectly connected and the experts began to analyze the patient's condition. It could be a poorly differentiated tumor, and it is recommended to resect it. Chinese hospitals are very cautious about organ transplantation, and it is estimated that there is no money to do such a major surgery. Another expert did not think so. The current resection site is also very strange, and the recommended resection site is too conservative. How did the chief surgeon consider it? Lloyd looked at Lang Ran, who was waving his hands. Dr. Lang, would you like to join us? Lang Ran turned his head and looked. He was about to perform surgery, 
How could he lose focus to discuss? Lloyd enthusiastically raised his hand to invite him. You can stand here and discuss. Lang Ran helplessly stood there and reluctantly agreed. But Dr. Lang chose a very small resection range and asked if he should directly resect the liver segment by segment. Lang Ran explained to them that if he resected too much of the liver segment, he was afraid that the patient would not be able to wake up. Suddenly, the experts all fell silent and looked at Dr. Lang on the opposite side. These liver segments are all infiltrated with cancer cells. Reducing the resection range will not remove it cleanly, so it is safer to resect the liver segment. The patient's tumor is 8 centimeters, and if he survives, he will have to thank God. In fact, the risk is still very high. He suggested that the patient be sent to the Anderson Center, where they could find a charity that specializes in this. Lang Ran helplessly lowered his head, and such a consultation would not have any practical results, so he reminded Yu Yuan to help him adjust the volume of the consultation to a lower level. Lang Ran took the surgical knife. After everything was ready, the surgery began immediately. Mercedes incision in the upper abdomen is the most common approach to the right liver. The subcostal incision on both sides, and the extended midline. When they were young, the experts also liked this approach. In fact, there is no need to rush. They should discuss it thoroughly and then the surgery will be better. Lang Ran lost his focus again, and reminded Yu Yuan to lower the volume again. Lloyd helplessly stood there. Bao Lu was right, and the attending physician had done the right thing. The experts could already see the tumor, and hoped that the degree of separation would be higher. After Lang Ran was less disturbed, his operating speed increased dramatically. Now he was dissecting the gallbladder fossa, and the inferior vena cava was exposed. Lloyd was very surprised. Dr. Lang's judgment on the surgery was very good, and he was fast, maybe even faster than me. The senior experts also approached the screen one after another. The hepatic vein and bile duct had been separated, but the right vein was wrapped with a ligature, which was a very standard practice. When he was young, he also liked to do it this way. At this time, the female expert exclaimed in surprise, Did you miss anything? The amount of blood loss was very small, which was true. Compared to the hepatectomy we did, this patient's blood loss was much less. The hepatectomy performed by our Dr. Lang usually keeps the blood loss at this level. The experts were very surprised. The blood loss has always been very small. Is there any data to prove it? We have been following Dr. Lang's patients, and there is also a paper published in an international forum. The experts suddenly woke up, and immediately opened their tablets to watch. Yu Yuan looked at the computer and found that the live broadcast video was being forwarded, and the number of views suddenly increased to 40. At this time, the assistant doctor said to Lang Ran, the pathology department reports that the border is very clear. Lang Ran nodded slightly to show that he understood, and now the lymph node dissection could begin. The online experts were very puzzled, resecting along the edge where cancer cells have invaded. May I ask how Dr. Lang made this judgment? But the sound was turned down too low, and no one could hear it. The male expert kept waving his hand, and Yu Yuan had no choice but to increase the volume so that Dr. Lang could hear it. Lang Ran immediately responded. He looked back at the experts on the screen in confusion. The experts were asking him how he judged the extent of cancer cell invasion. Lang Ran didn't know how to explain, and had to explain that he often performed such surgeries. It seems that Dr. Lang's surgery is very different from our common understanding of hepatectomy. If Yu Yuan did not misunderstand, the words of the Anderson expert contained a gratifying truth. Excuse me, expert, do you mean that Dr. Lang's surgical method is the first in the world? The expert doctor was a little embarrassed. In terms of method, it can be said so. Yu Yuan asked with sparkling eyes. Do the other experts agree? One person spoke up and said vaguely that it might be true. Another expert folded his arms across his chest and asserted that it was definitely the case. However, the female expert was still skeptical. The first method is not necessarily the best method, but Yu Yuan didn't care. Thank you all for proving that Dr. Lang is the first person in the world to come up with a hepatectomy method. This phrase the first in the world made the number of live broadcast views start to increase rapidly. Lang Ran didn't care and seriously cleaned up the lymph nodes. It seemed that he didn't hear the sounds behind him. Since the number of views was increasing exponentially, he took this opportunity to do a little promotion. Dr. Lang's hepatectomy surgery has been carried out in many hospitals. If you are interested, you can contact my email. The expert doctors were also very interested, and asked Lloyd to quickly send them the materials. They should find a suitable opportunity to study this topic with Dr. Lang. These sounds were too noisy, and might affect Lang Ran's surgery. Yu Yuan immediately took the remote control, and quietly adjusted the volume of the screen to the lowest level. Such a complicated case, and he can be discharged in a week. Dr. Lang is really a godsend. 
but this is just the beginning of a long journey, and more than six chemotherapy sessions have to be performed. The patient smiled with satisfaction. I have received the best treatment, and thank you very much Dr. Lang. Lang Ran was not very happy. Even though he had tried his best, he could only give him three years, if he could find a way to prolong his life during the surgery. While he was thinking, a sweet voice came from behind him, it was Tian Chi's uncle. My uncle has brought a chef and a premium steak, airlifted, saying that he will give it to Dr. Lang to eat. Lang Ran was very confused. These words could be understood, but it was difficult to understand when they were put together. A few years ago, Uncle Tian Chi injured his knee in a competition, and it had recently become serious, so he wanted to have surgery. He was afraid that if he invited you to perform the surgery, you would not agree, so he gave you a cow, and three more chefs, but his health is not suitable for flying, so they can only take a private jet to Brazil. Lang Ran did not refuse to treat him, but he could not set off immediately. He left a little time. Tian Chi happily thought that they had to make thorough preparations before taking off. Therefore, within three days, all the wards in the hospital in Shangxi province were full. Tian Chi and the others had arrived at the airport, waiting for Lang Ran to come so that they could set off for Brazil. Lang Ran was seen walking very slowly, in casual clothes but exuding a handsome aura. After the group boarded the plane, they landed safely at the ranch in Brazil after after a while, Tian Chi rubbed his forehead in discomfort, having sat on the plane for more than a day. If he did not get off the plane again, he would probably get airsick. Lang Ran did not hesitate to take the initiative to reach out and gently rub Tian Chi's head. Tian Chi was so happy that she felt like melting. Her face flushed. Thank you. She happily introduced to Lang Ran. This ranch belongs to my uncle. If you like, you can come and play whenever you are free. Lang Ran seemed to be happy too and said to her, This is my first time abroad. Tian Chi asked curiously how he felt. Lang Ran said frankly that it felt like watching an MRI, but it was a feeling of dissection. Tian Chi was not happy. It turned out that it was not fun to be away from her, but she was very satisfied with the present. Because this was the Lang Ran she was familiar with, I like it very much. I still like it. Yu Yuan stood behind her and said shyly that the car was here, so they should go quickly. Tian Chi felt a little embarrassed when she heard this, and said that they should indeed hurry up. They arrived at the ranch and were surprised to see many other doctors entering one after another. Tian Chi angrily dialed the number. My uncle only told her that he had a hospital here, and has also seen a doctor. Lang Ran stopped her, and said calmly that it was okay. Just then, the housekeeper of Tian Guo Zheng arrived, and bowed respectfully to them. Welcome, everyone. Is Mr. Tian preparing for surgery here? Are there enough corresponding devices? This Guo Zheng Charity Hospital was donated by Mr. Tian, though new equipment could be purchased if needed. Tian Chi hurriedly asked, Why are you still looking for other doctors? Miss Tian, I hope you can understand. Mr. Guo Zheng's knee injury has always made him hesitant, so he hopes to consult more opinions. It was obvious that Tian Chi still wanted to ask more, but Lang Ran behind her interrupted her. The patient has the right to choose a doctor. The housekeeper breathed a sigh of relief. Then please invite the doctors to the meeting room first. The doctors walked forward one after another, but no one dared to speak loudly. After all, Tian Chi's expression was one of not wanting them to interfere too much. They had watched Dr. Lang's surgery through Hua Yun's video broadcast. Every time they watched it, they gained a lot. The fat doctor reached out to Lang Ran. I finally have the chance to meet you. I am very excited. I am Wallace from the United Kingdom. The two people behind Lang Ran were shocked. They did not expect that there would be a foreign expert. The sound of the door opening suddenly rang out, and Tian Guo Zheng smiled awkwardly. I invited some doctors over. I thought that the more people there were, the greater the strength would be, and more treatment plans could be proposed. The housekeeper respectfully held his documents, and politely handed them to each doctor. Tian Guo Zheng suddenly looked forward to speaking. What do you all think after reading the documents? The doctors introduced Lang Ran one after another, asking him to explain the documents first. Lang Ran began to check the physical condition, and secretly called out the virtual person to see how the situation was. After a while, the virtual person started to act, quickly checking the man, but Tian Guo Zheng was surprised. Dr. Lang Ran, you wanna check my physical condition? Hurry up. Lang Ran quietly withdrew his skill. It's just a simple meniscus injury, probably caused by a broken cartilage fragment. The surgery will take about 30 minutes. If we do it now, we can finish it before dinner. 
Tian Guo Zheng pretended to laugh with doubt, and turned to ask Wallace beside him, Dr. Wallace. Dr. Wallace smiled awkwardly. Dr. Leng Ran is right, but Tian Guo Zheng was thinking that the previous doctors had not spoken so simply. But from the patient's point of view, we must tell you that there is no such thing as a simple surgery. It turned out that this was the doctor's terminology. The foreign doctor deliberately said that it was very difficult in order to avoid responsibility. So he looked up and asked Lang Ran. Actually, I should have had surgery earlier, right? Lang Ran nodded very firmly. You should have surgery as soon as possible. Dr. Lang Ran was very confident, but they could not believe everything they said. It was better to see it for themselves. Tian Guo Zheng planned to find some patients with similar conditions, let them have some surgeries, and then make further plans. Lang Ran said it was no problem. Just do as Mr. Tian said. I always have time. Early the next morning, the patients were brought in. Dr. Lang Ran, you guys arranged to pick them up. Lang Ran immediately arranged for an assistant to help. Yu Yuan, you go and pick up the patients. I'll go to the operating room first. Did they use a helicopter to pick up the knee injury? Tian Chi's style seemed to be like that. The surgery started quickly. Lang Ran solemnly held the instrument and wiped the patient's body. Then he injected saline and took a mirror and handed it over. After careful manipulation, he asked the assistant to help him up. Tian Guo Zheng and the others stood at the door of the room and watched, and found that this was indeed a minor surgery. It's not difficult at all. He said with deep meaning. Is Dr. Lang Ran good at surgery? Wallace did not dare to lie. Very good. Mr. Tian did not understand the procedure, but it can be said that the surgery can be recorded as a teaching material. Although I don't know the condition of the previous patients, but just this surgery alone is enough. As long as the patient recovers and exercises normally, there will be no problem. Tian Guo Zheng was relieved and asked the housekeeper to go to the farm to choose the best cow and make a delicious meal for Dr. Lang. But there was only one best cow. And if they ate it, they would not be able to find another one to replace it for months. Since Dr. Lang is so skilled, it is right to use the best cow. Let him eat and drink well and concentrate on preparing for my surgery. So on the dining table, there was a delicious beefsteak waiting for everyone to enjoy. Tian Chi ate very happily. He had been to the farm many times, but this was the first time he had eaten such delicious beef. Lang Ran also found it very delicious. And when he was finished, he carefully wiped his mouth and was about to go to surgery. Lang Ran quickly took the medical instruments and began to inject saline. At this time, Tian Guo Zheng was still very alert. You guys turn the screen a little bit so that I can see it too. Although he had met countless strange patients, this was the first time he had encountered such a strange request. But Lang Ran firmly refused, and the anesthetic had to be injected. The operation was quick, and local anesthesia was completed in just a few minutes. Wallace quickly raised his phone, and Dr. Lang Ran's surgery today must be recorded. It was clear that the surgery was not difficult at all. For a great doctor like Lang Ran, it was even less of a problem. After the surgery, the housekeeper hurried over to remind Dr. Lang Ran. Mr. Tian said that he wanted to thank you very much, and hoped that you would stay here for a few more days before leaving. But Lang Ran shyly declined. Mr. Tian's surgery is complete, and I want to return home as soon as possible. But Mr. Tian can introduce a Brazilian football player to you. If Dr. Lang requests it, it can be done. After all, he had organized parties before. Obviously, Lang Ran's thoughts were not something that ordinary people could understand. But whatever he asked for, he would arrange. At this time, Tian Chi had finished changing his clothes and walked in, eagerly inviting Lang Ran to go horse riding with him. Lang Ran sat on the horse safely. He himself did not know how to ride a horse. Tian Chi said, let me teach you. She turned back and asked Lang Ran if he would like to stay on the farm every year. Unexpectedly, Lang Ran agreed without hesitation. Tian Chi was so moved that she hugged her cheek. Oh my god, he agreed. Tian Chi, have we succeeded? But Tian Chi did not hear a single word of the common problems that Lang Ran mentioned later. She rode her horse happily forward. Her hair swayed in the wind with her mood. Suddenly, a rainstorm came. She was about to teach Lang Ran how to ride a horse. And he was so smart. Lang Ran looked up at the sky helplessly. But now it was raining. Tian Chi looked at the rain, and said indifferently that it was okay if it rained lightly. At this time, the sky was pouring rain. Did she just want to ride a horse with Lang Ran? 
it was so difficult. Lang Ran turned back to look at her helplessly. The rain was getting heavier. Let's go back. Tian Chi looked at the heavy rain, and thought to herself that she might as well go back. Lang Ran couldn't catch a cold. The man on horseback galloped forward quickly, and the cattle behind him rushed over as well. The man was a cowboy on the farm, and they had to lead the cattle to safety. But wouldn't it be too dangerous to lead the cattle in such stormy weather? Tian Chi didn't think so. They were all professional cowboys. You must follow me. When the two of them brought the horses back to the stable, Lang Ran stood there and stroked the horse. Tian Chi quickly wiped her clothes clean and then hurried over to Lang Ran to help him dry his hair. Lang Ran did not dodge, but just looked at the girl in front of him silently. His expression suddenly became strange. Tian Chi suddenly realized that her actions were a bit too proactive. She bowed her head in embarrassment. For a moment, she had accidentally become intimate with Lang Ran. Tian Chi's face turned red. She suddenly threw the towel to Lang Ran, embarrassed to let him dry the rainwater himself. Tian Guo Zheng watched the actions of the two. Is our Chi Chi like this sometimes? His voice quickly reached his niece's ears. Tian Chi was embarrassed and blamed her uncle for talking nonsense. Everyone must have a good rest today, because tomorrow may be very busy. However, the storm continued throughout the night, and there seemed to be no sign of it stopping. Tian Guo Zheng looked out the window with concern. It seemed that this rain would not stop in a short time. But Dr. Wallace had already left by helicopter long ago. Now they also had to prepare to go to town. So the servants on the farm began to clean up, and bags of all sizes were piled up in the hall. Yu Yuan and the others were very puzzled. It was just a heavy rain, so why was it like moving house? If we don't go now, the entire first floor will be flooded later. They looked at the owner in surprise. How could the entire first floor be flooded? Lang Ran and the others were also a little confused. Tian Zheng Guo told them to clean up quickly. They would gather in the town of Cuba. Unexpectedly, at this time, people all around the city were packing up and running to the town. The town of Cuba was now also surrounded and crowded. The sheriff and the mayor had to come forward, and arrange for Tian Zheng Guo and the others to go to the town. Unexpectedly, the town had become like this. Quickly send someone to help. Lang Ran was very worried about the situation outside. After all, saving people was a doctor's responsibility. So Lang Ran decided to go and help. But Tian Chi told him to look out the window. Those are cowboys. My perception of cowboys has changed a lot in the past two days. There were many cowboys on the street. Their eyes very calm as they stood to one side and watched. Tian Chi was curious again. What was his impression of western cowboys? Lang Ran thought for a moment. I used to think that they only knew how to shoot. In my memory, the cowboys who stood opposite me were holding weapons in their hands. At this time, the patients in the hospital could only have surgery. Unexpectedly, the doctor refused firmly, and then ran out, leaving only the patients behind to beg in distress. Lang Ran couldn't bear it any longer, and he rushed towards the door of the hospital with a serious expression. Tian Chi didn't see that scene, but her curious eyes couldn't help but follow him. When Tian Guo Zheng saw this, he suddenly exclaimed, Lang Ran is the doctor I met. Tian Chi told her uncle that she would go with Lang Ran, so he had to arrange for someone else to take over. They helped the patients into the hospital, but unexpectedly, there were so many patients left inside. This time, Lang Ran also received the task, rescue 30 injured people, and the reward is an intermediate treasure chest. The two doctors that Lang Ran had brought with him were coming to the scene, and they were panting heavily, saying that they had also come to help. This situation looked like the end of the world. It was estimated that there were about 100 injured people who all needed emergency treatment. Unexpectedly, Ma Yin Lan suddenly laughed, which confused Lang Ran. Dr. Lang, have you been misled by the atmosphere outside? Isn't this a common occurrence in the emergency center? Lang Ran began to think to himself again, and he also suddenly nodded in agreement. Tian Chi said that the operating room could still be used. Now that there were two nurses, one of them would stay outside, and the other would go with them to perform the surgery. I will temporarily act as a nurse. Now they have to go and arrange and clean up the ward, make a list of the drugs and consumables in the warehouse, and establish contact with the outside world. But now there are still many patients. They are all waiting for the doctor to treat them. The patient's condition is an abdominal injury, but we don't have an x-ray machine here. Lang Ran stepped forward to examine the patient's body, and suddenly remembered that they were still short of an anesthesiologist, but that doctor had run away long ago. This left Lang Ran speechless. Ma Yin Lan looked around in surprise. No way, there's no anesthesiologist now, what can we do? Dr. Lang didn't know whether to give anesthesia or let the nurse go and find an anesthesia book. The nurse looked at him in confusion. 
What should she do if she found an anesthesia book? Ma Yin Lan had no choice but to point at Lang Ran, and said that the doctor could just flip through the book and follow it. The nurse raised her hand to indicate that she understood, and that she would go and find an anesthesia book now. Lang Ran looked around helplessly. Anyway, things had come to this point. There must be a backup plan to solve this. In fact, he had accumulated a lot of primary treasure chests, and what if he was lucky enough to open a book on anesthesia skills? So Lang Ran summoned the system, and opened the primary treasure chests that he had stored. He had originally planned to open 1000 times in a row, but now he had given up on that. As he watched the treasure chest slowly approach him, Lang Ran hurriedly told it to open all of them. He looked at the first item that appeared, and it was all energy potions. Lang Ran looked at the skills in front of him in disgust and made up his mind that he would never do such a risky thing again in the future. Lang Ran searched carefully, and then found two books related to anesthesia. But the first book was limited to local anesthesia, and the second book was limited to the coordination of anesthetic care. He had no choice but to pull himself together and look at the nurse who was running over with a thick book in her hand. The patient looked at them in confusion. What was the point of reading a book now? The nurse had to explain that the doctor had to flip through the book and follow it. The patient was so scared that he wanted to run away. A doctor who was preparing to teach himself anesthesia, he didn't want to do the surgery anymore. Tian Chi was furious. Did he think that Dr. Lang couldn't treat him? Who did he think he was looking down on? She handed the patient a check. If Dr. Lang failed to cure him, he could just fill in any amount he wanted on the check, and she would pay for it. By this time, Lang Ran had finished studying. Then he quickly folded the book shut. What were you guys talking about just now? Tian Chi quickly hid the check behind her back, and everyone pretended that nothing had happened. Lang Ran raised the book in his hand. Let's give it a try. Intravenous anesthesia. Everyone hurried to the operating room. Ma Yin Lan began to prepare the work in advance. The patient was also lying on the operating table, waiting for the anesthetic injection. But his expression became extremely tense. Ma Yin Lan looked at the patient in confusion. By now, the patient should have been anesthetized. The nurse immediately stepped forward to check, and nodded to them with certainty. The first step had been completed successfully. Next, we will try to treat the patient's wound in the shortest possible time, mainly to maintain his life, but pay attention after the surgery. The amount of urine, the amount of blood, and the amount of water discharged should be reported in turn. How much is considered normal? According to the patient's weight, the normal amount of urine is 1 milliliter per kilogram per hour, but other factors cannot be ruled out. Pay attention to whether the amount of urine decreases. The assistants and nurses had been waiting for this moment. Now they should start the surgery, right? But Lang Ran told them to wait a moment. Since the patient had just been anesthetized, he stepped forward to check. The patient had to wait a little longer to ensure that the anesthesia was as deep as possible. If the patient woke up during the surgery, to see the doctor cutting his body while he was in excruciating pain, and he couldn't speak or shake his head, then it would be a living hell. Therefore, after a few minutes, the patient had entered a state of deep anesthesia. Now the surgery could begin. The wound was inside the patient's abdomen, and the wound had to be cleaned and sutured, and then cleaned again and injected with antibiotics. There could not be a single mistake. Next, a drainage tube had to be inserted, and then the abdominal surgery could be completely finished. After the abdomen had been restored, Lang Ran quickly looked back at the patient. Now they had to start the shoulder surgery. Obviously, the speed had slowed down. Dr. Lang had almost never performed shoulder surgery before. Now, based on the knowledge he had accumulated when he was still in school, the surgical reduction technique used for fractures was appropriate to use at this time. The surgery went very smoothly. Lang Ran would stay and wait for the patient to wake up. Since there was no anesthesiologist, he would take care of him. Ah Yin Lan told him to rest assured, and that he would help the nurse clean the operating room. More than 10 minutes later, the data displayed on the machine showed that it was stable, and Lang Ran finally breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, someone pushed open the door and entered the room, and called out in a low voice, Dr. Lang, the surgery on the patient just now was successful. The patients outside know that you can do it, and they are all in a panic outside. Lang Ran told him to rest assured that if they arranged for each person one at a time, there would be no chaos outside. Moreover, Tian Chi would help to deal with it. At this moment, Tian Chi stood in front and said, Now everyone knows how powerful our Dr. Lang is. He will cure all of your illnesses. Everyone, come here and get a number. Because the waiting time is long, you will be subsidized $100 per hour. For those cases that are not serious, 
please try to line up at the back. Ma Yin Lan looked out the door in puzzlement, and it seemed that it was much quieter outside. Tian Guo Zheng was anxiously looking for help, but under the current conditions, the helicopter could not even find a place to land. Lucio, who was in charge of the rescue, was standing in the rain. Now the rescue of the town of Cuba would have to wait until tomorrow. But Lang Ran was in the hospital in the town of Cuba, performing surgery on each case one by one. His movements were quite fast. Lang Ran carried out his duties seriously. This surgery had just been completed. Lang Ran discovered that after more than a dozen surgeries, his anesthesia skills had become a little more proficient. But after more than 10 minutes, he pushed open the door to see what was going on, and no patients had been brought in. Unexpectedly, the medical staff had all fallen fast asleep. The two of them had persevered until now, which was already very good. He suddenly remembered that Tian Chi was still standing guard outside. She must have never been so tired. Lang Ran did not dare to guess, and quickly rushed outside, not even noticing that his hat and coat had fallen off. Lang Ran quickly ran to the door and then gasped for breath, and his voice gradually slowed down. It turned out that Tian Chi had only fallen asleep. It was rare to see her looking so quiet and gentle. Lang Ran looked at her figure, and his eyes were somewhat gentle and indulgent. He just smiled faintly. Lang Ran asked curiously, are you going to leave the patients like this? Why don't you wake her up? They are all slightly injured. The doctor must be tired too. It's okay to let them rest and see tomorrow. Lang Ran took off his surgical gown, and secretly observed them. Then he found that it was true, and he gently put the coat on Tian Chi. Then he raised his head and said to the patients, let's just leave it like this for today. Tomorrow morning, the rescue team will set off. They will start the rescue by helicopter in the air. The captain of the mercenary soldiers who came to the rescue said that he would go down first, and wait until it was stable before calling the people above to come down. After Lucio landed safely, and confirmed that there was no danger, he ordered them to come down as well. The team member trembled as he walked out of the helicopter not daring to look down to see what was below. Lucio saw him on top, and suddenly his eyes widened and he shouted, no, but it was too late. The soldier closed his eyes, stuck out his leg, and jumped down. In the pouring rain, Lucio had no choice but to quickly jump towards him and hug him tightly. The soldier gasped in fear, and kept thanking Lucio. But then he suddenly realized that Lucio was injured. He said that it was normal to get injured when doing this job. Unexpectedly, this person was not a member of his team. In fact, he was a desperate reporter who wanted to report sensational news. The corpses that had been reborn after the plague disaster were indeed a living hell. Reporting the truth would definitely attract a huge number of viewers. Lucio led them to the mission, and the reporter kept taking pictures with his camera. Lucio was a little worried and hoped that the Chinese doctor would not die, since they did not want to make the trip in vain. When they arrived at the hospital, Lucio quickly went in to look for the Chinese doctor. Unexpectedly, the group of mercenaries stood still and thought to themselves that it was such a contradictory scene. The patient sat in line, patiently waiting for the doctor to save them. Tian Chi wondered if they had come to see a doctor, but their uniforms looked like those of mercenaries who had come to provide relief. Lucio did not answer. He just wanted to confirm whether the Chinese doctor was still alive. Tian Chi suddenly felt uncomfortable. Our Dr. Lang is working hard to treat and save people, so how dare you curse him to die? Lucio smiled, so he was still alive. Quickly take me to him. Tian Chi stood still in anger. She did not expect this person to speak so carelessly. Lucio scratched his head in embarrassment and said that he did not mean to speak harshly, but that his mission was to protect the doctor. When the door opened, Lucio suddenly exclaimed, Are you Dr. Lang? from China? Lang Ran looked towards the door in confusion, wondering what this person was up to. Was it a strange patient or a strange rescuer? Lucio immediately told him that he had come to provide relief. Lang Ran's spirits lifted. Had the road been cleared? Could supplies be transported in? But the only option at the moment was to do as we did, and use assault boats to go in and out. I suggest we stay here for the time being. But Lang Ran suddenly stepped forward, saying that the rescuer seemed to be injured. Lucio did not pay much attention to it and lifted up his shirt. They were all minor injuries that were very common. If he were in a hospital with adequate conditions, they would indeed be just minor injuries. But here, Lang Ran's words frightened Lucio, and he nervously wondered what she meant by this. He had been infected, but the type of bacteria causing the disease was still unknown. There were not many antibiotics here, and there were not enough types. Since they often got injured, 
they could usually use the medicines in the first aid kit, and then they would not get infected after going to the infirmary. So do you want to gamble on the probability? If you get pricked by an AIDS patient's needle, the probability of getting it is much higher than the contraceptive rate of a condom. In my experience, if you can avoid gambling on probabilities, try not to gamble. Lucio said he understood. Lang Ran wanted to cut off a part of the front and then anesthetize it. The plastic pieces in the wound had been treated, but he still had to go to the operating room for treatment. Lucio was surprised. Why did he need surgery? Actually, cleaning and suturing the wound is a minor surgery, and the operating room environment is much cleaner. We don't have enough conditions right now, and if you get infected with a troublesome bacteria, there's nothing I can do for the time being. So after Lucio had been treated, Lucio happily expressed his gratitude. The person who went to save people was saved by the person he went to save. Unexpectedly, Langran also received a treasure chest. Perfect Ilionant Technique Book. But Langran did not need the skill book. This is one of the most common hemorrhoidectomy surgeries today. Langran complained. This kind of low-tech surgery. Even if you don't like it, you still have to take it. Lucio suddenly sat up. We also brought a satellite phone. Do you need it? Lang Ran said that he would contact the city and send a professional anesthesiologist. After some time contacting the city, the Brazilian doctor refused to take responsibility, so no anesthesiologist wanted to come. But if that's the case, we'll reduce the number of surgeries. If it's not a mandatory surgery, then we won't do it. So Lang Ran asked Lucio to help him ask him to go to the town to get some disinfectant, preferably antibiotics. Lang Ran quickly walked to the door and asked his assistant to go with him to visit the patients. And he went to check on the patient's recovery. He was fine at first, but his back was quite uncomfortable. Langran carefully observed the patient's expression. It was very painful. He did not expect it to be hemorrhoids. Brazil was originally sunny, but suddenly there was a heavy rain and flood. They soaked in the water to the hospital and then had to sit for a long time. Langran suddenly ordered Ma Ninlin to check all the patients to see how many of them had hemorrhoids. Half an hour later, Ma Ninlin came to report. 9 out of 10 people had severe hemorrhoids and needed surgery. Ma Ninlin was both surprised and puzzled. Did he know how to perform hemorrhoid surgery? None of us know everything. Ma Ninlin happily raised his hand and said he would be an assistant, trying to learn. Just like that, after a few days, Lang Ran and Ma Ninlin had performed countless hemorrhoid surgeries. In the town center, a guy was holding his butt and rushing forward, trying to stop the helicopter from taking off in front. But the helicopter quickly flew away. The reporter kept cursing. Aren't you taking pictures everywhere? The reporter was in tears of pain. Because of the footage, he had to soak in the water for the past few days. And his hemorrhoids had flared up and were killing him. Ma Ninlin was stunned and then laughed out loud. He took the reporter to the hospital, who kept exclaiming that he had lived for decades and had never seen a hemorrhoid as big as a duck egg, and that Dr. Lang had certainly never seen it before. Lang Ran had no choice but to tell Ma Ninlin to ask the patient to lie down for an examination. And this hemorrhoid was indeed quite large. The reporter shyly held his butt. Can you schedule my surgery now? Lang Ran refused without hesitation. No, you have to wait in line in the back. The reporter said that his condition was so serious, why couldn't he cut the line? Lang Ran had no choice but to poke fun at his pain. Your hemorrhoid is only the size of a duck egg, while the ones of the people over there are as big as goose eggs. Ma Ninlin was once again surprised and exclaimed, I didn't expect there to be even bigger hemorrhoids. After more than half a day, the reporter finally underwent surgery, performed by Lang Ran himself. Although Ma Ninlin had watched a few surgeries earlier, the force of this hemorrhoid was really amazing. Lang Ran saw that there was a problem. He carefully completed the surgery with a scalpel. Dr. Lang calmly said, take a sample of the hemorrhoid, and be thorough. For the rest of the time, Lang Ran could rest for a while. So he asked Ma Ninlin to do the final stitching, but he had to clean it thoroughly, and not leave anything behind. Otherwise, if it weren't for the fact that Yu Wei was in town helping with disaster relief, she would definitely have loved to come and clean this up. At the same time, in another place, Yu Wei sneezed loudly. Lang Ran had just walked out of the operating room when he was suddenly surrounded by a group of people asking if he had finished the surgery. They said that a relative of theirs was helping with disaster relief, and that their body had been soaked in water every day, so their hemorrhoids were also serious. Lang Ran was exhausted, but he still treated them, so for a whole week, he performed hemorrhoid surgeries. Everyone praised Dr. Lang, the Chinese man who had saved their entire town. The reporter was very surprised. Not a single person had died. Are Chinese doctors really that good? Yu Wei said that the town didn't need any more help, and that they should hurry up and find Dr. Lang. At this moment, the reporter with hemorrhoids lying on the bed explained that he had sacrificed himself for the sake of the article 
and that was why he had suffered such a great sin. The bearded man in front of him said nothing, also admitting that he had a point. But at this moment, he couldn't hold it in any longer. Why was Lucio so leisurely drinking wine, grilling fish so comfortably? The bearded man was angry but didn't say anything. After all, he couldn't refute it. The reporter rushed to the hospital. The camera flashes continuously. Lang Ran looked at Yu Wei and Ma Ninlin with annoyance. The worst thing for me is that I'm not good at dealing with reporters. Let them go find someone else, Chinese doctor. Under such conditions, how did you manage to create a miracle in an instant? Ma Ninlin scratched his head in embarrassment. Of course it's thanks to our doctor Lang Ran. At this time, Tian Guoqing led them away. The governor wanted to hold a grand commendation meeting for Dr. Lang. Dr. Lang was called the Invincible Saint. Tian Qi, who was standing beside him, was also stunned, and was speechless for a long time. Under such difficult conditions, Dr. Lang Ran still stayed in the hospital to diagnose and treat our Brazilian patients, and demonstrate the spirit of internationalism. It also allows us to see the superb technology. This opportunity is very rare at present. Dr. Lang, don't you want to go on stage and say a few words? Lang Ran ignored Tian Chi's flattery, his face still very calm. He gestured that he didn't like these things. Because the god of death was the Chinese Dr. Lang Ran, the nemesis of the god of death had become very famous. The news also quickly spread back to China. Colleagues looked at their phones and discussed continuously. Lang Ran is in the Brazilian newspaper. He's really amazing. Director Huo walked over to them, raising his hand to signal that when Lang Ran returned to China, they had to go and pick him up. The colleagues also replied in unison that they would go. That was something they had to do. However, there were some doctors who were jealous and resentful. This Lang Ran really likes to attract attention. The gift that Tian Guoqing had prepared for Dr. Lang. When he returned to China, he could wait for him to return home and then go to Chi Chi to collect it. Lang Ran was puzzled. These are all things I should do. Why give gifts? Tian Guoqing didn't think so. He happily told Tian Chi to explain for him. My uncle gave you a few cows. They will be shipped by plane to Yunhua and sent directly to my farm in Yunhua for temporary care. Lang Ran suddenly became a little curious. Do you also have a farm in Yunhua? When I get back, I'll take you to see it. Lang Ran followed Tian Chi out of the room and then turned his head to say goodbye to Mr. Tian. Tian Guoqing waved goodbye. We'll meet again next time. He looked out the window silently, secretly hoping that Lang Ran would treat Chi Chi a little better. But these words could only be kept in his heart. After all, if he said it directly, that brat Lang Ran would be too embarrassed. The housekeeper wanted to tease him. I really want to see Dr. Lang's embarrassed look. At this time, the colleagues at the domestic airport had been waiting for a long time and were impatient. It's so late, is it unscientific to pick them up? Dr. Zhou next to him saw this and told him to calm down. Be careful not to let Lao Huo hear that. Zhang Anman suddenly jumped up. Dr. Lang is really walking towards them. Huo Kongjun looked ahead with anticipation, but kept complaining in his heart that he had finally come back. Lang Ran's group was walking in the airport. They went straight back to the hospital and suddenly found that the director was leading people to pick them up. Director Sha patted Lang Ran on the shoulder. You've made Yunhua Hospital proud. What else can we do but pick you up? Lang Ran heard that there was also a celebration banquet but he wanted to return to the hospital quickly. A group of people suddenly surrounded them. I heard that you encountered a flood in Brazil. The conditions abroad must be very good. In fact, the surgery fee is almost the same as in China. It's just that the beef there is a little tastier. Director Huo walked back and forth. Where's Lang Ran? Why can't I see him when I get back to the hospital? Yu Yuan quickly explained to the director. Dr. Lang went straight to the operating room when he got back. She waved helplessly at the director. And the director sighed helplessly. He had no choice but to go to the operating room to find Lang Ran and tell him that he would hold a celebration banquet for him. Why did you come to the operating room again? Lang Ran said that he hadn't performed surgery in the hospital for too long. This surgery was his celebration banquet. After all, the celebration banquet was only for the old men, and the young people were not interested in it. Well, I'll go to the banquet. A few days ago, Director Huo was still very fierce. But after Dr. Lang returned, his face was beaming. Because he went abroad, many patients were left behind. The arrangement was all according to his situation. There were a lot of people coming to see the liver resection every week. Who said that Dr. Lang is the pillar? Now the patients who have been admitted are waiting. They can't finish their work even after several days and nights. Lang Ran's eyes suddenly lit up. Are there so many? It seems that I have to do my best. The all-powerful Dr. Lang has returned after a long absence. It's great that he's back, so Lang Ran happily worked all night. Early the next morning, the reporters also came one after another, 
they wanted to interview Lang Ran. The information has been given to you guys. Why do you have to keep coming to interview me? The reporters were not satisfied because his article was too formal. Is there something hidden in hiding it like this? The director rubbed his forehead helplessly. You guys are using this tactic to provoke me, it's useless. The reporters wasted their time with him. They planned to go to each operating room to find him but the director suddenly regained his spirits. Lang Ran is really in the operating room. We can't let them disturb him, so he suddenly raised his hand to stop them, preventing the reporters from bothering Lang Ran's celebration banquet. Director Huo pointed at them. They pointed at themselves, too surprised to believe that the director wanted to take them to visit the disaster relief surgery site that Lang Ran had just returned from. But the articles you publish about Lang Ran must be reviewed by me, and they can only be published after my approval. But director Huo felt a little guilty. There are only a few of them, they won't bother Lang Ran, right? But Dr. Lang just came back from Brazil and started to perform surgery again. Can his body handle it? That's Lang Ran. He treats work as a hobby. I'm sure you guys in the media know that. The reporters looked through the window. This is Dr. Lang's how many surgeries since he returned. This is the third surgery. Lang Ran has been working non-stop since he came back. At this time, everyone outside sighed and admired. Obviously, Lang Ran didn't hear it. He was still working seriously. But his assistants were very miserable. The dark circles under their eyes stared at them, just wanting to rest. Finally, Lang Ran realized it. He said that this surgery was the last one, and he would rest after finishing it. Lu Wenbin suddenly exclaimed, It's great, we finally survived. The reporters didn't hesitate any longer. They turned on their microphones and said, Dr. Lang, can you talk about your situation in Brazil? Lang Ran said that the beef in Brazil was very delicious, and the fish was also very delicious, but the weather was quite bad. The female reporter was speechless on the spot, thinking that she didn't want to ask these questions, so it was the male reporter's turn to make a move. Dr. Lang performed surgery on patients during the flood. Can you share more? Lang Ran was even more reluctant to tell outsiders. They were all simple surgeries. There was nothing to say. The male reporter broke out in a cold sweat. He thought to himself that his work performance today would be all gone. This liver resection surgery was very complicated. Can you guys wait until the surgery is over to ask? Lang Ran had already said that the surgeries in Brazil were very simple. Would be better if you guys just filmed this complicated surgery. The reporters thought it was very reasonable. So they took their cameras and started shooting continuously. Two hours later, the right liver resection surgery and the removal of stones from the hepatic bile duct were completed. The reporters also saw that Lang Ran's surgery was very powerful. They all left with satisfaction. The direct the director said to Lang ran through the microphone in the observation room. You can't continue like this. Health is the capital of revolution. Do you understand? Lang Ran took off his gloves and looked at the director, saying that he understood these situations very well. After returning from far away Brazil, you must be tired from the long journey. Don't be in such a hurry, rest and then come back. Lang Ran was very obedient and went out obediently. He planned to change into his regular clothes and go home to rest, but Zuo Zidian stopped him curiously. You've been abroad for a few days. How do you feel about coming back home? Lang Ran thought seriously. It's still the same as before. Nothing has changed, but do you know what this represents. The equipment, instruments and hospital beds have not been updated. This is definitely not acceptable. The equipment and instruments in our department haven't been updated for months. So Zuo Zidian signaled him to go and inspect the ward together. Lang Ran carried his anger and went to check it out and then he would think about what to do next. They hurriedly inspected the emergency center, especially the area of Lang Ran's support team. After a thorough inspection, the two of them came to a conclusion. An additional special care ward must be built. This place is the main battlefield after all. We can't afford to be careless at all. Zuo Zidian said that he would leave it to him, and he would definitely update the equipment to the most reasonable state. The sky gradually turned into dusk. A group of people were congratulating Lang Jichu. It's time for you to enjoy your retirement. Retirement. Lang Ran looked around in a daze. Why are all of my aunts, uncles and cousins here? His father told Lang Ran to sit down quickly. He had just returned home, and his neighbors had come to congratulate him. In fact, after watching the news in Brazil, his father had proudly treated the whole village. When the mother and son were whispering, Lang Jichu found out and signaled his son to sit down quickly. The uncle walked up to Lang Ran. You went to Brazil to provide aid. Incompetent people wouldn't go, right? Lang Ran thought to himself. He really is my biological father. He always finds something to talk about when he sits down. The uncle said that there was an uncle in his family who wanted to have surgery, and asked if Lang Ran could take a look. Lang Ran wasn't sure, so he asked what the situation was. It turned out that he had gallstones for more than 10 years, and this time the pain was unbearable, so he 
he was thinking about getting it removed. But Lang Ran was really not good at gallbladder surgery. His level was only at the lowest level of expertise, so he felt embarrassed. If it is diagnosed as gallstones, I can introduce a doctor to your uncle. But my uncle only trusts you, Lang Ran, because you have been on the news of the central television station. Can anyone do better than you? Lang Ji Chu, who was sitting next to him, also added fuel to the fire. They are all neighbors who came to ask for help. I can't afford to lose face, son. But Lang Ran was not happy. He thought to himself that it was mainly because because of his father's face. Lang Ran had no choice but to listen to everyone's arrangements. Okay, then let him come for a checkup on the day of the clinic. Remember that it can only be on the day of the clinic. Lang Ji Chu happily gave him a thumbs up. It's the right thing to do to leave it to my son. But Lang Ran's mother glared at her husband angrily, thinking to herself, you old fool, you're always finding things for your son to do. The day of the clinic arrived in a flash. The uncle brought his relatives to the door. Lang Ran was surprised to see the person standing at the door, and asked in surprise, is this your uncle? The neighbor, Xiao Chen, scratched his head. I work at an internet company. I can only take a lunch break, so I'm wasting the doctor's time. Lang Ran had already prepared his gloves. You should examine him first. Xiao Chen could only take two days off plus half a day on the weekend, which was two and a half days. If the surgery could not be performed, he could only continue with conservative treatment. Gallbladder surgery is very common nowadays, but it is a surgery after all. He could be discharged from the hospital in three days, and could only return to work after seven days. But he really couldn't take any more leave. It was not easy to find this job. Was there any other way? Lang Ran thought silently. Reduce seven days to two and a half days? The difficulty could not be described as a challenge. 